Since the end of the last series, I've been able to jump into Alpha 21.2 now and test out one of the new features, which is the death penalty setting. Previously, when you died in 7 Days to Die, all that happened is you got an XP penalty and you respawned and you were fine. Now they've added options to completely remove that penalty if you think that's too punishing, to retain your injuries so there's no self-unaliving to get rid of broken legs for example, and it will also keep you at 50% water and food so you can't use it for free food and water, but there's also permanent death which completely resets the player's progression and if you die in the game you die in real life. No, that last part's fake, but permanent death is an interesting phrase when you think about it because it's not permadeath in the sense of Minecraft hardcore where if you die you don't get to play the world anymore. It's permanent death more in the vein of Project Zomboid or State of Decay where if you die as that character, that character is gone and you have to start a new one in the existing world. So I've come up with some settings that I think would be the definitive 7 days to die hardcore that are difficult but not absolutely obnoxious. You could actually make 7 Days to Die even more obnoxious than this if you wanted, but I didn't want to make it just completely unplayable because that's not entertaining for you to watch or play along at home. So the settings I've gone for are good old insane nightmare. I, I do enjoy a bit of insane nightmare. Feral sense is off because it's the worst thing in the universe. Airdrops are disabled as ever. Loot respawn is disabled as ever. If I die, I delete all my gear and I completely restart my character. So not only will I die and have to reset my character, I won't be able to get the gear I was holding. It just gets deleted. Hopefully that won't even happen. I have a pretty good track record with unmodded series of just not dying because I'm decent at the game. But I thought Insane Nightmare Permadeath is kind of the same as what I did in Insane Nightmare like six months ago. So how can I make it a bit harder on myself other than just the death penalty. So I thought about why don't I make mining even harder and reduce my block damage. That's going to stop me from getting materials very easily at all and is going to make it so that I really am not going to want to break open loot with uh, pickaxes and stuff. It's going to be much harder to do that. And I've turned up the AI block damage to make it so that zombies have a much easier time of getting to me if I'm hiding in a house or hiding on top of a house. And I've also added that to the Blood Moon. I am not even going to try and build a base to survive the Day 7 Horde on this challenge. If the zombies are doing 50% more damage, they will eat through cobblestone quite easily. I think you would need concrete to really even begin to do much on these settings. At least with the way that I build my bases, which are... Typically not the most overbuilt things ever. I typically just have a few layers of blocks between me and the zombies because that's enough on default settings. This is going to make it much harder to use them, which is what I want because I probably just won't build a horde base. I was enjoying not using horde bases in the last series, so we'll be adding that in as well. But Insane Nightmare with all these settings still isn't hardcore enough, so I'm also going to add in the final stipulation that I'm not allowed to use trader quests. I can buy and sell from traders, but I'm not allowed to quest. In my opinion and experience, questing is a lot more powerful than just buying things from the trader, so that's what's going to happen there. Though I think that's reasonable. I can still use vending machines, I'm not trying to make it super duper hard. Besides, if I did, I wouldn't have anything to do in the future, would I? So we're playing on some pretty rough settings. This is my seven days to die hardcore settings and rule set. Let's get into the world. The seed is on the screen now with the settings I used and let's get in there. Let's get started with the tutorial and I will get back to you because you don't need to watch this for the millionth time, I'm sure. We do spawn right next to a POI here, but I would be absolutely suicidal to try that right now on Insane Nightmare. So just gonna pretty much ignore it and try and survive. There we go, tutorial done. 200 meters away from the trader, that is pretty helpful. Because while I can't do quests, I can still use them to like hide from zombies, so that is something. Uh, I got my four skill points, I'm gonna go for a good old strength build, and I'm gonna go for clubs because I find them to be the most versatile option on Insane Nightmare, and I am focusing on my combat build early because it's Insane Nightmare, and I'm not gonna go as far as to say you have to, it just makes it a lot easier if you just get a good 
start on your weapons and stuff. So let's go and talk to the trader, it will give me a little bit of XP, and then I'll look for a place to start building my house. Well, not building my house, I'll look for a house to move into is what I'm trying to say there, so that I can put stuff down and make food and defend myself slightly. I should mention another nice feature of Alpha 21.2 is lockable inventory slots. If you press these, you can lock that many inventory slots. It starts here, so for example, if I move a load of stuff out of there and then sort my inventory, it won't refill these because they're locked with nothing in them. And then if I put a bunch of stuff in those slots, you can see it won't move around. And if you use the chests or other things like that, you won't drag things out of your inventory if they're locked. So it's quite a useful feature when you actually have possessions. Here's our first enemy. As you can see, he has nightmare speed. There we go. Who is this? Trader Joel? That's good. I think we've had Hugh for the last two series. Forge here with a forge ahead in it and 14 forge seal. How many times did I just say forge? Got another forge ahead there in the cement mixer. Can we get lucky and get a third one in the chemistry station? Nope. Some vitamins though. They have their uses. Anything in the workbench? A repair kit. Okay. This chest usually has something good in it. Big hitter's book, five ammo and an insulated lining mod. Cool. I do need big hitter's books for my club so I will take that gladly. Oh, a pipe rifle. That's not awful considering how difficult it is to do damage on Insane Nightmare when you're first starting out. As shitty as pipe rifles are, it is ranged damage, which is extremely valuable. When enemies are able to basically four-shot you, four shots might sound like you have a lot of health, but, but consider that they move very quickly and there's probably multiple of them. <laughs> I feel weird not going straight for a quest. I'm not even 100% sure what I want to do, but I'm probably just going to start looting nearby buildings to try and get books and basic gear and cooking pots and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm still gonna raid Joel's house because that is still in the rules. So let's see. Southern farming, sure. Spears I don't need. Uh, bats and clubs to grade 20% slower, nice. Not too helpful during the wood era, but whatever. Handguns and explosives, I'll take both of those. Uh, let's go into his little basement area here. Not basement, his actual house. We got tech planet. Mm, sure, I might want to make a drone. They've done some drone fixes, so it might be interesting to see if it's good again. And it'll be pretty funny. Oh, a cooking pot. It'll be pretty funny if it kills me as well, like it did the last time I used a drone. You know, having everything deleted and my character reset because a drone bug killed me would be maximum content. I'm not going to lie. Got some padded armor. Genuinely amazing on this difficulty because if you can get a full set of padded armor, you can survive a couple of extra hits, which are very valuable when you're as weak as you are on Insane Nightmare. Does he have anything I want? He has some padded boots, but I wouldn't spend money on those. Um, cloth fragments are pretty cheap, all things considered. If I could get the glue, I could probably make use of that. Let me sell some of these things that are more useful in the late game. Get my, That would be enough cloth. I'm not even sure how much cloth that is, functionally. But I don't think it's as much as you would want it to be. And he has I'll a grill later that I can get. So if I was to find some glue, how many... Okay, you could make two more pieces of padded armor with that. I will accept that. Have you got a container around here, Joel, that I can temporarily store some shit in while I go find a place to live? Here's a backpack it'll do. Dump stuff. <laughs> I, I want to make sure I don't lose these. But, you know, stuff that might be of use to me, but also definitely isn't. So, where do we have nearby? We've got... Farmhouse over there, with a barn, I think, or something like that. We've got the animal hospital. Do not go there, there's dogs, so I will die. There's the greenhouse, that is green space house, as in a house that is green, not a greenhouse. We've got a blue house over there, I think that's the Hunink residence. I lived there two series ago, so I won't. Um, we've got those, those greenhouses, probably are pretty good, but I have to go and be careful and see if I can even take on a POI right now. I might need to just grind out XP. I'm not even sure how I would do it right now. I need some arrows, I'll tell you that much. For that, I will need feathers. I did just see a chicken. Let me try and sneak up on it. Now, that thing is moving very quickly. Bloody feral sense chicken. Fine, I'll keep an eye out for feathers and stuff. Let's go have a look around and see if I can find a house to live in. I will try and just avoid fighting any zombies for now. The fights are not going to be worth the trouble. If I'm not taking over something or achieving something with a fight, there's really no point in taking it unless you've been forced into it. That's some glue, that's good. I can make a couple of duct tape with that. And then if I get some more cloth, I'll be able to make more padded armor. 
although I can probably make one piece, right? Uh, padded boots. There's... Oh, they, did they increase the time it takes to craft these? What, what a weird change to make. We were just sitting at Fun Pimps HQ like, yeah, you know what? Cloth armor doesn't take long enough to craft. Whatever, let's put that on. We've got 10% damage resistance now. That's pretty good. As shit as it sounds, like, it's a lot better than nothing. God, I hate these rocks. You get half as much stone from them compared to the big rocks, but I don't see any big rocks around here. Oh, there's one way over there, but that's like my entire stamina bar. Get some arrows. Arrows are also very valuable at the very start here. I keep finding six feathers and one egg in every bird's nest. Is that coincidental or did they make a good change? <laughs> Let's take this fight because she's kind of in my way. It has been a hot minute since I've used the primitive bow. <laughs> there we go. He's damaged. Bonk. Good, we got the knockdown and bonk again and one more. There we go. He can knock them down with the wooden club on insane difficulty. It usually takes two more bonks to the head to kill them. Yes, I have played this game too much. How could you tell? Oh, there's loads of bird's nests around here. On the plus side, I don't really need to live right next to the trader now because I'm not doing jobs anyway. Like, it's nice to be near the trader so I can still trade with him. But I don't have to be, like, right in there, you know? I think I want some of this cloth, but that means I'm going to have to take down this guy. Well, of course, you stop moving perfectly. There we go. Usually the arrow will take like one hit off the time it takes to kill them. Which might be what saves you. Of course he got a hit and even though he didn't do an animation. Welcome to the game! That's why they give you a first aid bandage to start out. The first one's for free. How much cloth can you make out of that? Ah, oh, 10. That's pretty good. Uh, I need a little bit more though. You'll notice that I took 23 damage instead of 25. Which means that my two pieces of padded armor have given me an extra hit of survivability. And that's why we want loads of it. I'm just trying to find a good place to live. What tier are you? Also, there's free loot here. I probably should just get that. Tier 2, as shitty as it sounds, Insane Nightmare Tier 2 might kill me. So I don't know if I want to do that. Some more of that. Let's check this. Uh, let me also get the padded legs. That'll give me 15% damage resistance. Handy land and some cobblestone. Cool. Get some blueberries here if I want them, I guess. Let me scare him away with a rock. Don't follow it. There we go. Walk past him now. Let me get some stones as I go. I think that greenhouse through the trees there is going to be the way to go. I think it's a tier 1, and I don't even know if I'll be able to take on a tier 1 very competently right now, but it's my best chance. There are tier zeros to be fair, but I would rather have a house that has, like, walls. So, well, I have 30 feathers. I didn't even notice that. Let me make a bunch of arrows here. Hang on. Oh, tourist. Avoid him massively. He's not very fast, but my god, he'll kill me in two hits. Well, at least the run would be over quickly. Oh, there's zombies on the other side of that tree that I can hear. I'm going to scare them all away. By scare, I mean distract. There we go. There, they're off. Here's my 30 stone. Let's get some wood. Right, let's distract the tourist with a rock. Leave me alone, good sir. And let's make some arrows. And it might be wise to even get a couple of frames or hatches just so that I can block doorways if I need to. You know, the tourist really didn't give a shit about that, did he? There's a hatch, that's something. Don't want to knock down the tree, they'll all come running towards me, and that would be shit. Heck, junkie. I'll, I'll read it just to get rid of it. There's so many chickens around here. Oh, hello, Bo. Might have to fight him if I'm going to do anything here. Give me a couple of rocks, please. Here's one to repair this. And a couple more just to distract a few zombies if I need it. There we go. Is this a tier one? I'm fairly sure it is. No, it's a tier two. Well, I'm very familiar with this one at least, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, they spotted me immediately just to get my stamina back up then. Oh, he ran right through that. Holy shit, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Thought I had a second, but nope. Oh, you have too much health, you know that? There we go. Right, I'll let my stamina regen and I'll search this car. Should probably heal up so I can take a like, random hit if I get one. Chicken soup, can of chili, uh, that is enough health, cool. I'll try and sneak in here, but I don't have uh, perks that I'm used to. Yeah, and I can't even jump. Oh, hey there. Shit, we pissed off two of them, get on top of the car, that's fine. Let me heal that properly and go sneaky mode. The businessman is stuck up there, or down there, sorry. Are you really gonna do that? Okay. All right, well, let's just pay attention, I suppose. Come down here. There we go. <laughs> Hello, businessman. Good thing this car was here. There we go. Forgot there was two in that first room. Let me drink one of these waters. Oh, it's dark in here. I need broken glass. Go away. Let me try and sneak in. Hello, Bo. 
Ah, lucky headshot. Perfect. Anyone else in this room? I don't remember. Let me shut that door behind me so I don't get snuck up on. Anybody in here? No. Pretty sure there could be a dog in here, so I'm going to load the pipe rifles. If it does turn up, I can hope for the best. A dog isn't particularly more dangerous on Insane Nightmare, though. They don't get any faster, and they do the same damage as I always play, so... Oh, someone's coming. Didn't see them. Hello. Hmm, three arrows to the head. Good to know. It's really dark in here. And again, I am trying to sneak, but I'm also trying to make a YouTube video, so maybe a compromise can be made. Let me get some bones really quickly. No one there. There's some food here, though. Home cooking and chicken soup. Let me drop plant fiber. We can get that anywhere. Nobody in this room? Ah, yeah, they spawn up. They forgot. That was silly. Follow me. I'll get them stuck on this door. Tom here is stuck on something, and he's going to smack me in the head. These guys just die. Now, I'm going to close a door very strategically here, because the floor in there actually falls open when you get to the final room and a zombie dog will flank you so i'm gonna keep that in mind got some wood in here not really that's fine i'll keep that in mind and have those doors shut behind me so i have time to react if the dog does do that now there's a zombie above me in here and i don't know if i'm gonna sneak into them hi there oh i woke up the end dog that's not how that's supposed to happen. They're like trying to go through the wall, but it actually might work in my favor. Because there's spikes somewhere. Where are they? This has all gone quite wrong. Let me distract the tourist over there before it becomes a problem. Hi, dog. You are a problem. Oh, they've decided that this is faster now. Okay. Works for me. Oh, they're in crawl mode. This is really weird. Um, I can see that block damage already. <laughs> That Tom is making me very nervous with his bullshit there. There we go, the dog's down, that's a big help. Tom's dead. My stamina regen, this guy can break through that as quickly as he likes. Not how I thought I was going to tackle this room, but you know what? It's fine. Sometimes you hit the wrong wall and all the zombies wake up for some unknown reason. There we go. Let me go ahead and just repair this. I'm going to have to do it later anyway. Now let's head back inside. Yeah, they were supposed to fall through the floor there, but it didn't seem to work. Where's that zombie? Is that another one in the same room? How many of you are in there? Another frame and see what's happening here. Arlene? Oh no, it's a nurse. Hello. You come here, please. I'm not sure where she was hiding, but I woke her up as I went through that other well, I woke her up as I went through that other door. There we go. This place is probably clear, but I will still be careful because I don't have the quest to confirm it for me. So we cleared this. Is there anybody in this room? Doesn't look like it. Anybody? Oh yeah, there's... Oh no, there isn't people in here. This is where the dog was. Bookcase, hello. Forge ahead, tech planet, and a home cooking weekly. Lucky me. Got some leather here. Here's the end loot. I think there might be someone in the bathroom. There may even be more in here. This is where the zombie dog spawns. And then it falls through this usually. And that's how it's supposed to flank you, but something went very wrong with the POI. Anybody in the bathroom? Oh, I think we're clear then. Cool. So what loot do I get? Uh, some metal armor. Let me crouch because there's zombies walking around. 10% uh, more damage with clubs. Cool. And a first aid kit and a serrated blade mod I can put on my knife. Um, the armor I will just scrap for iron right now. I don't want to use iron armor on Insane Nightmare. It's a terrible idea early on. Weapons bag here with handgun magazine, polymer string mod, and a baton. See what's in the passing gas container. Two tools digest, nice. Some ammo here, cloth stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna make this my house. It's the most convenient choice. It's not great, it only has one floor. Much like Project Zomboid, you usually want to aim for one with two floors. Well, it has a basement, which means it is technically two floors, but one of the floors is in the ground, so it doesn't really count. I would like to have stairs to defend from, but doorways work. It's not an impossible job to reinforce some windows and take out some doors. So let's have a look in the rest of the loot here. Oh, a bottle of acid, nice. A bit of grilled meat, or uh, charred meat, sorry. Some bones, fridge here, some cornmeal, more bones, more bones. I could really use a storage crate right now. I don't need that hatch anymore, I don't think. There we go, and I need a campfire, but I don't have enough wood. Uh, I don't have enough stone for that. Is there a lock toggle thing over here, or am I just gonna have to break my way out of this house? 
some old trash here. No glue, that's unfortunate. Let me drop some stuff here. Uh, let's see, what do I need to keep on me? Money would be smart, first aid kit would be smart, wood would be smart. I've got some cobblestone I don't really need because I'm probably not going to do a horde base. So I can turn that into stone and use it for a campfire here. Water would be reasonably smart, my arrows of course, and maybe the 762. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Fuck these 6 slots, now if I press this nothing's going to leave my inventory and I'm good. Let's make a campfire, get myself a cooking pot for that as well. Even start purifying a bit of water there. Anything else I can cook in here? I could bake some potatoes, it might be worthwhile for the start of the game here. But what do I want to do now? I need to get myself a bedroll so that this place doesn't respawn anything. I could use a land claim as well. Uh, probably wise to use both. And then go get some plant fibre. Uh, there is a clothing thing here, I should probably search that. Ah, BDU, nice. And some shorts. Better than nothing. Paintbrush, play, nice. The reason I am including the ability to trade with traders is because of how unfathomably difficult it is to get water filters without using the trader. Uh, they do technically exist in loot, but they're exceedingly rare, and I just don't feel like doing that. The water change was tedious enough, the game is lucky I didn't mod it out. Got a backpack hidden in here. Ah, armor piercing mod for my wooden club. The armor piercing is meh, but the extra damage it gives your club is just good. I have to bash through this fridge the hard way. Is there another door to it? I forget. Some bow parts. Yeah, I'll just break through the fridge. It's less health overall. Is that another rucksack in here? Ah, another big hair is nice. We can make a club at the next level. Might as well do it. It's just 10% more damage for free, basically. There we go. We got a sledgehammer book here. I'll just read it because I don't have the research mod installed anymore, so I'm not going to keep them around just to sell them for 20 dukes or whatever. So we're coming up on the night time here. Another bottle of water in there probably. I'm probably just going to sit in here at night and hope that the zombies don't come after me because the extra block damage they do would probably let them rip right through it. So it'd probably be wise to just sit up a ladder quietly, minding my own business. Some more water in here probably. Oh no, just paper. Okay. Unfortunate. Use some more wood. I wonder how safe it is out there. Okay, I've got five frames. I can probably make a nice little ladder to stand on top of. During the night, I'm just going to pray that I don't get found. That's a pretty standard insane nightmare first night for me. Uh, unless I've built a base, which I've very explicitly not done for the purposes of actually enjoying myself slightly. So let me jump up here. Any, any loot up here? No, right. I will be nice and safe up here with my torch. And now I will wait. All we got done in the first day there was finding a house, but it's fine. Think about it this way if you're kind of displeased with how little I did. The less I get done at the start of the game, the longer the series will be interesting for. That's that's how that works. So, silver lining. Tomorrow, we'll probably walk around and clear a few houses. I'm not sure what to do with myself without quests. And it's going to suck to not have tier 5 infestations, which are just like an infinite ammo glitch, basically. Uh, but I will adapt. Alright, it's the morning of day two. Let's get out there and see what the world has for us. Usually at the start of day two, I tend to expect a wandering horde, and I would very much like to not be at my house when that inevitably arrives. So let's have a wander around and look for some easy POIs to take down, because that's going to be my main source of progression, is looting books from houses and things like that, the Rosalind residence. It's a risky play on day two of an insane nightmare series to go into a PY you've never seen before, so I will be wise and not do that shit. Is that a tier zero I see? Those are often quite good early on for books. It's very quiet out here. I see someone, okay. Big hitters, cool. Other big hitters, we can make a club at quality three. I'll need to grab some wood before I do that. Where's a tree? Hello. Another 10% extra damage. Probably an extra mod slot too, if I had to guess. Nope, not yet. Vehicle adventures, nice. I will need those because I'm not going to have the trader to give me my first bicycle either. I didn't think about that. So that's going to be something to focus on as well. Oh yeah, I got the mod for this so my aim has to change again. I saw a mailbox over here. This, uh, give me the paper honestly. I will use that for shotgun shells later since getting ammo is going to be slightly harder than it usually is because mining is harder and because I have no quests, so no tier 5 infestations for me. We can get acid from cars, forge ahead, nice, we can actually make a forge. That should probably be a top priority. This is another POI I'm not familiar with, the Barbosa residence. I'm going to go over to this other place I saw first, though. Washington residence, it has a doghouse, though. need to be very careful 
her own PYs which have dog houses because those indicate dogs. Could you believe it? Is there anyone around? Doesn't look like it. Let's have a look inside. I'm gonna hear a zombie outside. Hello, Joe. Right, let's have a look inside here for any kind of books. Hello, businessman. I missed. Got skill point. That's pretty helpful. Let's just go for more strength, I think, so I can get even more points in Pummel Pete. There's another guy there. Look up someone behind me. Kill him quick. Okay, she's stuck on something. That's fine. Give me my arrows back. Hi there. Bonk. Some meds in the shower here. Medical journal and Fort Bites. Fort Bites could be a good emergency item to use. This is locked. Can I, like, bash this once? It took more than one hit, but yeah, I could do what I was trying to do. Anyway. Welcome to archery in Seven Days to Die. Okay, that's just bullshit. <laughs> God, I fucking love hitboxes, don't you? There we go. I need a wrench, by the way. Oh, we got a zombie coming. Two more. There we go. Anyone hiding back here? Anybody in the roof? Okay. What have we got in here? Free water. More potatoes. Home Cooking Weekly. We can make cornbread. That's something. More potatoes. And another Home Cooking Weekly book. And the thing in there. The weather has gone to absolute shit. I might consider reinstalling uh, Gunsnares and Steel's weather mod just to stop this shit from happening because it's genuinely intolerable for you guys to look at. Let me turn the brightness up for a bit. Are you a tier 2? The Goldsmith Residence is a tier 2. Okay. Got a mailbox here with some paper though. Another mailbox here at the Hunic Residence. Pistol Pete, I will just read that. Uh, tier 2, probably don't want to do the Hunic Residence. There's a guaranteed biker in here. And bikers will punch my head clean off if I fight them right now. So I would rather not. It's also going to be so much harder to get guns. Because the trader is the main source of those. At least their quest rewards are. I can probably still buy a decent gun from them eventually. But it is going to be harder. Pistols Digest potatoes here. Don't want to do this PY right now. We've got the honey farm right next to me and we've also got this little barn thing. I don't know how difficult it is. Let's have a look. I see a crawler over there. He's just free XP. Ah, there's the uh, the grace PY over there. Well, one of them. Bob's boars and Carl's corn and that's useful to have so if I need food, particularly meat, I can get it. Hello bow. Let me try and get a sneak attack on him with my bow. Anyone home? Corn seeds here. Hello, skater guy. Ah, oh, look at him go. Ah, oh, trapped myself on the same side of the room with him. Ah, oh, hello, snake. Free meat. Anyone else hiding in here? Doesn't look like it. Got working sift tools crate. And a cooler. Some salmon. Okay. Oh, and there's a weapons bag up there. I bet there's a vulture guarding it, though. I'm thirsty. Let me deal with that. I'll just drink both my waters to clear up an inventory slot. Got some steel from that, that's pretty good. Uh, shotgun weekly, some arrowheads, and some parts. Cool. Nothing much in here. I actually need to go back to my base already because you don't want to be over encumbered pretty much at all on this setting because you'll just get swarmed too easily. You need to be able to run. So let me head back, drop some stuff off, and try and avoid any completely unnecessary fights, but I think I can take her. Oh, I stood up too quick and didn't get the sneak attack. Filled up my first storage container already. What a menace I am. Let me see here. I need to make a forge. That's an important tech step so that you can um, make like iron weapons. Although it's going to be a hot minute before I can make a good level baseball bat. But still, I need to be prepared for the future. So I will need cobblestone. I need a little bit more than that, but that's fine. Uh, duct tape. I don't have any of. Let me scrap that one bandage. Three pipes. Did they change the recipe? Did this not used to include four duct tape? Uh, I need two more leather and I need to make a log. I think I probably can do. Oh no, I need a bit more wood. But yeah, I'm not actually that far away from the forge. It's just a couple of ingredients that are needed. Mostly, the difficult one is going to be glue. Let me take a look at that really quickly. Uh, have I got three water at all? Do I have enough bones, first of all? I would have enough for some, but I don't think I have any boiled water left. Okay. We could always visit the trader and buy something, but I'm not going to have anywhere near as much money as I normally do without quests giving me like 9,000 dukes every time I do them. Let's head back out here and see what else I can find. I want to avoid that town area over there because it's kind of crowded right now, and I don't have the stamina to fight like three or four zombies at once. At least not out in the open. 
pay for. This is level 2, so I probably could do it, but I'm not going to right now. There are easier PYs around, and I need a better idea of what's going on around here anyway. Ah, I'm hungry. Did I bring the salmon? I did. Probably find some useful stuff in here, but I don't know. This is tier 3. That would, that's really pushing it, because you might find a feral, and if you find a feral right now, you have a short period of time where you can run away, or you're just going to die, because you're not going to be able to box him, and you're going to get two shot. Frog and weekly, nice. Let me make a few pieces of cobblestone since that's one of the things I need. Oh, I should be careful. I am actually in the POI right here. I'm safe. Mason's barn. Hey, it's actually next to Mason's farm. That's cool. Oh, this POI in front of me has boars. That's where I could get a couple of leather, but it's a bit of a risky way to do that. Let's make my one log. Ah, book I already know. Another level two. Is there any tier ones on this bloody map? They're all tier two, which aren't too hard, but I would prefer to just do the little shitty ones. Do you need more bones? God, I hate bone knives. I didn't realize how shit the damage was on that. I'm just gonna stone axe it for speed sick. Oh yeah, it's because of block damage being down 50%, isn't it? Duh. That would apply to gore blocks as well. Is there a boar in this little field here? I can't remember. I would like to be able to take on just one boar at a time. And I think the ones in that blue PY ahead of me and to hunt in a pack, so I would rather not. There is a lot of good crops out here if I need them, but I'll wait until I have at least a rank of living off the land before I do that. Otherwise it's wasteful, because I can't reset POIs on this, because I won't be able to do quests. So I have to be smart about the natural resources available to me. Is this... Ah, Moe's Grocery. Okay, there is a guaranteed forge ahead in here. Just have to be careful not to get myself killed trying to get to it. Here we go. Forge ahead. Cool. There's also a crate up here, which I think is unguarded. It's a shamway crate, but hey, a crate's a crate. Some ammo, some feathers and eggs, and the shamway crate. Oh, this block damage is really noticeable now. <laughs> now that I've pointed it out to myself, I'm just like, yep, that's that's your life now. I'm cooking, I can make grilled meat. I'll try and buy a grill from Joel if I don't find one soon. Right, let's see if I can get to the end loot of this place. No sense clearing the whole place. It's not like I have a quest, so that is one of the advantages. But at the same time, XP. Get her to come over here. Do the same with Bo. There's also glue in this POI, I'm pretty sure, so I might want to go back through it anyway. But I'll get the end loot first. Might find a bandage or something that'll save my life. Where are they hiding the zombies in here? I know they're here. There's one guy's leg. It's worth it to lure him out, I'd say. You better not be feral, you little shit. A tier 1 POI, day 1 in the forest biome. Oh, stamina. Anyone hiding in there? Am I clear? Alright, I'm clearing the final loot at least. Medical journal, nice. So I can make first aid bandages, that is going to be massively helpful for this difficulty. Uh, machine gunner, probably useful, and the molotovs are definitely hugely helpful. Hey, a pipe shotgun might be shit, but it is also not shit. In a weird way, I have some ammo for it as well. Like, it sucks, but it's better than, like, just standing there and getting hit and having no stamina, you know? Don't need crushed sand, don't need golden rod. There we go. Right, I'm going to try and clear the rest of this place out, though, because there's probably glue in the various shelves in that other room. Glue is very useful to me right now for a variety of reasons. The main one being that I can make a forge. Another big factor being that I could also make more padded armor to survive more hits. Fear Hunter. I'll just read them. I don't really care about selling them that much. Hello, Mo. Yeah, no idea what hit him. Any more zombies in this one room? Someone outside, but that's not really an issue. Okay, I think I'm clear in this room to just give it a loop. Motor tool parts, lock picks, nice. More lock picks, repair kits. One duct tape, that's basically same as a glue at this stage for me. Bookshelf here, just some paper, that kind of sucks. Uh, wood, okay, random seeds, some cloth. Yeah, I won't say no to it. Murky water is also just glue at this point as well. It's glue with extra steps, but it's still glue. There's another murky water. So I could make it now. I would just need to get a bit more cloth and a couple more leather still. I'm quite over encumbered. I need to make some decisions here. Hi there. Oh, a hammer. Nice. Not going to be the most helpful thing ever because obviously I'm not building a horde base unless I really need to. But still useful, especially when you consider that the zombies are doing extra block damage. There's a safe up there. I don't know if it's worth wasting my time on, but I mean, why not, right? Let's give it a try. First try. 
a scrapping for fun book, that is actually quite helpful because then I would be able to make a wrench if I got more duct tape, some forged iron and mechanical parts. A wrench being a key thing that you need in the game. I think there's one more zombie in here. No wait, there's two I think actually. One hiding here. The mechanical parts, three, perfect. That's three of the four that I need to uh, make my own wrench. So I will need more duct tape then. Still, that would be a huge victory in getting easy forged iron and things if I can get a wrench very early on. Okay, that's this place, I think. There might be a mailbox. Oh, hello there. Get away from my kill. Oh, that should give me the leather I need. Oh, let me get my stamina back. Right, where's my base? 390 meters this way, let's get back there. If I can get a forge up and running, I can get enough forged iron to make a wrench, which will give me easier access to forged iron, and all the things that wrenches are for, of course. I would need one mechanical part, though, but I think I know a way to get one. That was lucky. One second, there's a post office over here. Has it got a mailbox in the... got a sniper. There we go, one mechanical part. So now, to make a wrench, all I would need is duct tape and forged iron which I have the bones and some of the water, I think, to make those kinds of things. Just need to make it back to my base alive. Ah, some better padded leg armor in here. Some glue, just actual raw glue, that's helpful. Turn that into a duct tape really quickly so it'll stack with the others. All right, we're back here now. Let's see, uh, those pipes were needed. Um, a little bit of cloth, there's that. Have I got some on me? Yeah, 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 and then I would need water and bones. There's water. Got 63 bones. You need purified water, of course, to make this. Where'd my wood go? I need that to fuel this. So if I make six water, that'll take five minutes, but it'll give me enough to make five glue, which is more than I need to make my wrench and my forge, which would be a very, very good start. It might not seem like it, but for the settings and rule sets I'm playing on, Having a wrench and a forge by the end of day two would be very, very helpful. Maybe we should go check in at the trader and see if there's anything I want to sell him. I don't need sledgehammer parts, don't need knuckle parts, shotgun parts, I'll keep robotic parts. I will also keep pistol parts, no. Bow parts, no. These can be sold. Brass can be sold as well. Let's go talk to Joel before he closes so that I can get some stuff if I need it. I might be able to buy some water, which would speed up the process if nothing else. That's some more glue in there as well, that works. Mailbox I missed here as well, some paper. Ooh, a pipe machine gun now, that is useful. Plus a medical journal. Almost able to make first aid bandages. There's a snake there, that's also helpful. Hey, a t-shirt. I'll keep my beedoo. Grab that. Kill this bloody snake. No, he didn't die. More free meat and bones and leather from him. And he's got a couple of washer. I'll buy that to help me out. So I've got like 500 dukes back. And a skill point. Probably want to save up for a water filter, honestly. Oh, cooking grill would probably be a smart choice if I could actually afford one. Uh, let's see. It's no rush, really. I don't need sometime. meat that badly. Let's go back to my base and see if I can get this forge going. Let's see about getting a shovel. Uh, some plant fibers. It's got some loot under here, by the way. Ah, another one of these. Level 2 club and another medical journal so I can make my own first aid bandages now. Nice. Just need to find a desert now and I will never die. Any iron nearby? None particularly convenient, but there's a little bit over there. Keep that in mind. Oh yeah, I can probably just make the forge now. It was uh, the wrench that I needed more glue for. Here we go, most of my water's done. Let's queue up a bunch of glue. You can glue up another one there, so there's eight more. Two of that can be used on the wrench. And then I'll be able to make one more piece of padded armor. Probably the gloves, and then I would need one more piece. So maybe I should go and get some cloth after this. But first, is that forge done? Yep. I might want to consider buying Trader Joel's and because they are quite expensive to make early on. And it would help me out quite a bit. But let's see, we got forged steel, forged iron. Have we got any clay? I've got 83 clay on me. What else can I turn into iron? Nails could be melted down, iron arrowheads, pipe batons, the pipe rifle could be turned into iron. Uh, because I don't need it to use 762 anymore because I have got the pipe machine gun, of course. So let's melt some of these down and see if I can get enough to make 12 forged iron. I would need 144 regular iron, I think, which I should have between all this. Oh, and while that does that, let me go and get some more cloth from some cotton. Although, I can probably 
do that a bit of an easier way first. Uh, these curtains aren't really doing much for me anyway. Glue's almost done. Start turning some of that into duct tape. Let's see. I need two for the wrench. And I need two for the armor I'm going to make. So four. That'll leave me with not quite enough cloth to make the armor. But we can get more quite easily. Let's see. We've got enough to make the padded gloves. And then I need a little bit more. Yeah, I need one more cotton. Or two more cotton. That'll let me make cloth fragment. There's nine more cloth after that. We should be able to make the hood. And I will have a full suit of padded armor, which will make me take 25 and a half percent less damage, which is a significant damage reduction. We're going to go from a, taking about 25 damage per hit down to about 18, which is pretty damn good, for, especially on day one and something that doesn't give you a speed penalty. Uh, let's see, that rifle was worth 40 iron. That was kind of shit. Let's put the baton in. Probably going to give me 40 iron as well. Let me just do regular iron quickly. Uh, start queuing up some forged iron though. Anything else I need for the wrench? Oh, uh, padded hood wrench. What do you need? Just the forged iron. Cool. Here we go. I've got the last two forged iron that I need crafted in here. So in seven seconds, I'll be able to make a wrench. A wrench is significant because it will allow me to get forged iron easier. It'll let me get any kind of scrap I need, like more mechanical parts in particular. Since this isn't doing anything, I'll just stop that and take my wood back. Um, getting lots of scrap easily is quite useful for making money, especially when you don't have access to quests. Because you can go and scrap a bunch of cars, you'll come back with a load of lead car batteries that you're never going to use. Three of those can be sold to the trader every trade cycle so you can get like an easy couple thousand dukes. It's not a huge amount of money but it's definitely something. Especially if you can get like level sixes that you don't care about you can easily make a lot of money there. Uh, what was I doing making the wrench? Did I set it to craft already? Dead cool. That'll take a minute and a bit. In the meantime I would like to just go around outside and see if there's anything useful. What I really need now that I've got a forge and a wrench is just knowledge. I need tools, I need weapons, and that requires books, which is going to entail going into these houses and maybe finding bookstores and looting them, as well as moving around a lot and getting mailboxes. Those are obviously a good source of books. There's two duct tape there, that's pretty helpful. Don't need it now, of course, but you will need it in like 10 minutes anyway, so... Oh, hey there. Oh, and it wakes up a friend, does it? That's fun. Fortunately, she's stuck on the other side there, so... That was very rude. Anything interesting in here? Some gas, I suppose. Some wood. Cooking pot. Be useful for my second campfire, if and when I make one. Here's my wrench. Should have marked that Moe's grocery so I could get an easy cement mixer. And scrap it down for forged iron. Hello, snake. Where'd my knife go? Free meat. Yeah, so we took 19 damage from that one hit. That's pretty good. Comparatively speaking, of course. I mean, we basically are now playing survivalist difficulty, if you think about it that way. There's a zombie coming, apparently, but I don't see them. Hello. Got some books here. Uh, shotgun weekly, cool. It's gonna be a while before that's worth anything to me, but you need to get them to get them. Big hitters, some coffee. I don't know if I can make that yet. Some chicken ration, which can't be used to craft anything, so I will just eat that immediately for some health. Anybody hiding in here? Nope. Metal helmet and a sewing kit. Sewing kits are quite useful for various things. Pocket mods come to mind. But yeah, where's the pocket mod? Clothing pocket mod, two leather, one duct tape, a hundred cloth. Could make one of those if I just found a bit more cloth, which isn't the hardest thing ever. Oh, this actually has loot. For some reason I thought I was looting like a tier zero POI. Someone's to my right there, which is kind of scary. Ah, Mo, you woke up, huh? Oh, me made it through. Hi, can you, like, stop that? Get caught on that door, please. Some loot here. Art of mining, perfect. We can make blackstrap coffee. It's good. So does blackstrap coffee not need... It doesn't need the cooking magazines. That's one of the best recipes in the game, then. I know it takes five gunpowder, but like that's not the hardest thing in the world to get. I mean, ten coal, ten nitrate, you can craft it in your pockets, or if you've got a chemistry station, five coal, five nitrate. And then you get really good coffee, and you don't need to go and find 30 magazines to learn how to make it. I don't actually think coffee takes 30 magazines, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it takes ten, it's still a pain in the ass. Uh, scrapping for fun, a couple more repair kits. Uh, where's my wrench? So the wrench can also get me a lot of cloth from this. Oh my god, the health damage I forgot. 
I'm gonna need some points in salvage operations to make this even tolerable. Speaking of which, there's another point in strength. Oh, I'm thirsty. Have I got anything? No. Any food or drink I missed out here? Doesn't look like it. I can take these and smelt them for clay, though, if I want. One here as well. It's only like eight clay, but hey, it <laughs> saves me digging with my shitty shovel. Here we go. I need three more. That's just three the cotton, basically. Take that into cloth. Where's my base? I'll start heading back. And then I can get one single clothing pocket mod, which will open one inventory slot. But hey, it's something. If we can do it two more times, I'll have three inventory slots open. Ah, I have nothing to drink. That's slightly annoying. But I also kind of don't care. <laughs> I'll just sit and wait for the trader to open tomorrow and I'll buy something from him. Let me smelt those plant pots later, at least. So yeah, there's my pocket mod. Throw that on my BDU. There's one inventory slot. So yeah, this is an okay start, honestly. It might seem quite slow compared to my easier game mode starts, but like a forge, a wrench, pipe machine gun if I need to spray kill things. I got some molotovs. For a start without traders, this is not bad at all, especially since I wasn't building myself a horde base, which would have given me lots of free levels. This is looking pretty good. Tomorrow I will go out and I'll probably try and take on some of those tier 2 POIs that are nearby, which will be filled with lots of wonderful things like murky water and books. Books being the main thing I need a lot of right now, so I can get a baseball bat and actually be able to kill things reliably. Uh, I would also like to get a double barrel shotgun, but that's just going to have to wait for that to turn up. I will also need four more forge ahead books and eight more vehicle books. Or do you only need five to get a bicycle? That's pretty helpful. Yeah, I'll make my own bicycle because I don't really have a choice. Save up for water filters so I can buy them from Trader Joel. And I'm not allowed to use quests, remember. So that's why the progression is going to seem a lot slower in this series, which is the point. It's hardcore seven days to die. It's insane nightmare. And you're not allowed the crutch of traders. Plus the block damage bonuses and nerfs that are applied with this as well. Hi, welcome back to 7 Days to Die Hardcore. I am dying of dehydration. We need to get some water. Now, the difficulty here is getting water filters without doing quests is a little bit harder because you can't take any quest tier rewards to get yourself easy water filters, but it's not too bad because I don't really do that anyway. But yeah, I'm going to wait for the trader to open and get some water so that I can not have a massive stamina penalty while I'm fighting zombies on Insane Nightmare because that is an easy way to die. Uh, then we can go and hunt down a bunch of extra murky water and save whatever I can find to get myself a water filter and then make a dew collector and then, you know, three bottles of water a day is something to keep my character alive, but maybe I want to get a second dew collector at least for that. Because I'm not going to have the kind of insane money that you would normally have in 7 Days to Die to just constantly buy water and coffee from the vending machines because quests are your main source of money when you're allowed to do them in 7 Days to Die. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more thoughtful about how I spend the money and in turn a little bit more thoughtful about how I get water. Until I get a water purifier helmet mod, in which case, don't have to worry about it anymore. But I didn't even find one of those in the last series, so sometimes the RNG can be very bad, but this time I'm actually looking for one, so hopefully I'll be able to find it a little bit easier. So, I'm gonna sit here and wait for the treasure to open and hope a wandering horde doesn't show up. Oh, I'm gonna get into a fight here, it seems like. I don't have the stamina for this shit. Yep, two hits and I was out of stamina. Water is something to very much consider. Found some, uh... Aloe cream in that bag though, so I'll be able to get a bandage soon. You know, I think that might be the only zombie that spawns in there. Maybe we could have a look over here. Nails. Oh, there's another zombie. He's gonna run on top of this truck here and use my bow. That's right, hit the truck. Whoa. Would you come over here, guy? You're being annoying. Would you just hold still, guy? There we go. There's a backpack back here. Uh, nothing of particular use to me, though. Backpack in here as well. Armor part, I can sell that at least. Alright, here we are. So I'm gonna waste what money I have on getting some water. What would be the most efficient way to do this? I have enough to buy, like, one yucca juice smoothie, which would give you 78 water. That seems like it probably is the best way to do it. The more expensive, the better. I can currently afford it. It would also give me some food as well, so that would be nice. And that'll give me basically a full water bar for one drink and a little bit of food. So once that is all 
inside of me. We will go and clear BY. I'm thinking this barn place next to me might be a good place. Since it's close. And then there's that house over there. And then maybe... I don't want to do the animal hospital because there's a dog in there. And sometimes I think there's a wolf as well. But I could maybe survive that with my pike machine gun. I'm not sure. But let's try and take down this place. You have to be careful here because there's a lot of rooms that do have multiple zombies in them in this POI. So I wouldn't recommend it as a starting POI on Insane Nightmare. But I'm just going to be very careful. we got a large lady in the back there. Shouldn't be too hard to deal with. But be careful. Let's kill this guy first though. Right, one down. I think there's three in here usually. There's one of them hiding back there. Trying to sneak in here. Might be another one above me. It's her dealt with. Get her to come outside. Now her we have to be more careful with. Because she does twice as much damage as the rest of them. And she's not super fast, but she isn't exactly slow either. So you gotta be careful with your stamina management. She's gonna take a lot of hits to kill. There we go. Someone else is in here, but I'm just gonna go in... Try and wake him up. Because ladders make it difficult anyway. Is there no one here? I definitely heard one. That's concerning. There's a bit of murky water. That's something at least. To be able to turn that into purified water to actually use. Uh, fortifying grip mod. I'll just take that. Sure. In fact, maybe I should sell almost all of those. Because they're worth 160. That's not a small amount of money on this challenge. Let's move into this next one once I've actually got some stamina. I'm not even going to risk the sprained leg here. Do that. Okay, there's no zombies in this room today. Cool. Let me do this. Skirt. That is a decent bit of cloth. There's a zombie in this room that's woke up. He has a friend, it sounds like. Didn't matter too much, though. Oh, he has another friend. Well, that might matter. Oop. I'm sliding. One's down. Come on, take some fall damage for me. Looks like the other one burned. That was a good use of a Molotov. Alright. At least this top floor is probably clear. There might be one in this room, though. Ah, oh, no one's up. Cool. Check the toilet. Water is gold. Ah, there's loads of cloth in here if I need it as well. Metal helmet. Mushroom seed. Steel armor part. Right, this one is going to be questionable. Usually a few zombies in here. I probably want to just make it to the door and activate that. There, I can escape now. And let's drag Mo outside first. Because once you're out of their sound volume, I don't think they can actually hear you. We can just fight as loudly as we want out here, Mo. Who else is in here? There's almost definitely someone in there. Surprised that didn't wake them up. Oh, it's another one of her, is it? Okay, let's take on Bo first. Oh, he died in one hit and I didn't wake up the other one running away. That's just good luck. Anyone else hiding in here? Aside from her, obviously, the obvious one. It's like we're clear, so it's just this one last lady who's going to take a million hits to kill. Might want to try my luck at a little bit of a sneak attack with a knife, because that'll get extra damage and get some bleed, but I don't really have the stealth for this. But I'm not hindered by much armor yet, so... Nah, she woke up, fuck. Well, let's get some bleed on her anyway, and run away. Use this fence to my advantage. They struggle with them often. Ooh, that was close. Could use my bow, but I bet she'll eat all of these arrows. Right, middle floor clear. Let's have a little loot in here. There's an arrow I left behind. Some metal. I can take these for wood if I need to. Uh, a, a piece of meat. A is something. Uh, sink. What do you have? Another sandwich that I would really prefer not to eat because they damage you anyway, so what's the point really? Right, this one's going to be hard to sneak into, so I need to make sure I don't get too caught on this door on my way out. That's just going to be a matter of remembering, which is very difficult. Actually quite hard to do that. So... I'm expecting one in there. This could be a place with a biker, so I should be very careful. Let's lure this one guy. I'm trapped on the door. Ow. I suppose that's fair. If he can hit me and I can hit him, that's, you know, makes sense to me. Well, that isn't fair, though. I can't go through doors. Oh, we woke them all up. Okay. Nope, that wasn't what I was trying to do. Oh, shit, they got out. Painkiller time. There goes all my water. That went somewhere quickly. <laughs> not to worry. I killed one of them with a fire, though. The health is minimal. The painkillers are not something I worry about managing, because I rarely use them. Just need to let my stamina regen. Uh, the murky water didn't make me sick, so I'm lucky there. Um, gave me 10 water back from the 40 used for painkillers now? Jeez. 
But it's fine. We, we got one murky water out of there. We'll replenish that. I thought I had a few more seconds to uh, throw the Molotov, but clearly not. There's a skill point. What am I working towards? Let's get another pummel peat. That would be quite important. Free stamina regen is very valuable. Another one of you fuckers. I'm sick of them. Come here. After you hit these ones, you really have to spin around and sprint because they have such a ridiculous range on their, like, retaliation hit. Like, they really lunge forward. There we go. Technically, I shouldn't be taking on tier 2 POIs this early on Insane Nightmare, but here I am. Anyone else in here? I imagine you all woke up. Right. Got some armor, some stock, that'll give me some water and health and food, so that's good. Some slightly better leg armor, yep. Won't really save me much to have 0.8% less damage, but hey, it's something. Uh, let's see, where's my stone axe gone? Oh, did I put it in a chest? Or am I just being blind? I might have put it in a chest. Maybe I, like, dropped it in a panic, I don't know. Let's see, what do I need? Some plant fibers? Give me two seconds. There we go, I need to make a level two anyway, really. So, it's fine. Yeah, I've got my painkiller back. And a first aid bandage and some fort bites, but fort bites would be suicide right now. Demolitions book, that's helpful. If I can get a workbench and make pipe bombs, that would be very beneficial. So I'm going to head back to the trader, see if I can sell him a couple of these things. Might buy myself even more water, but I'd rather save up for a water filter if it's at all possible. What teas can I make? I can make red tea. If I get one chrysanthemum, I can make my water go a little bit further, but it's barely worth it. It's the problem for the cooking time it takes. Like five minutes out of your day to make that. Hey, Joel. Here, have the fort bites. They're genuinely just a liability. How much is the water filter? 2,200, but if I could get some sugar butts, I could probably make that less. Not that I need to do that right now. Uh, it'd probably be smartest to use the yucca juice smoothie again, which is wasting all my money again, but that's because of a colossal fuck-up on my part, so that's just the punishment for the crime. I do want to make that chrysanthemum tea, or whatever it's called, red tea. So if I can find a single chrysanthemum, that would be nice. Here we are. Where do I fucking live? I have to be careful not to get into too many fights, because I am quite severely over-encumbered, but can I come in here? I think so. Ah, uh, level 2 stone axe. There was something up here. Backpack. Nah, just knuckle parts. Oh, filing cabinet though. In the land, cool. Right, let me store some of this shit inside. That water is cooking. Let's head out and look for somewhere. Hopefully I can find somewhere easier. Like a tier 1 I could probably do without any issues right now, but you don't have the luxury of being told where all the tier 1s are if you don't have quests. Or tier 2s might just have to do because they're nearby. This is a tier 1. It looked like a tier 2 from outside so I didn't come over. Hey, water thingies. There go, that's helpful. Kind of sham. I don't recognize this place, so I'm going to be careful. Oh no, I do recognize it. It just looks a bit weird from this side. Come in here slowly. The zombie probably won't spawn in until I cross this boundary. Ah, it's on this side. Oh, she woke up. Grab that. Come outside. That's just hiding some dryers and stuff. That's hiding some meds. Anybody actually hiding in the back of that room? Nope. Cool. Definitely going to be someone in here. I see a foot. Yeah, I think it's just a bit of a... Oh, the hitboxes are killing me today. Look, they're not actually hitting anything. They're still not hitting the zombies either. They're killing me, game. There we go. Follow me outside. Then there's a crawler as well. I keep forgetting the tables are terrible. Give me the arrow back. Hey, there's some food here. I'm cooking weekly and some more water. Cool. Let me repair my wooden tools and weapons here. Anyone hiding behind that? Yep, there is. Come on, Steve. Oh, he's dead. Cool. Uh, betting there's someone on these stairs, especially since there's broken glass. Hope this isn't the one with the dog in the hallway. Yeah, no, it's not cool. These doors are blocked. That's nice. Ooh, that was close. There we go. I think I will check this for vultures. They're easy XP. You can kill them quickly. Uh, pistol Pete and some vitamins. Cool. I'm just going to eat vitamins when I find them, and I'm going to throw away broken glass when I'm trying to take vitamins, because there's going to be a confusion there that I don't want to happen. So what I'm going to do instead of going around is just break in the doors that the game puts there. I need to put some frames down to actually climb back up that. God, I miss parkour. There we go. Right, so I want to break down these doors from this side, because the zombies on the other side of them, if there is any, will wake up, and I'll have a bit of a door to protect myself from them versus trying to climb in the window, you know? Hey. Come here. Probably another guy in there, but I'm going to try my luck on this door now. See a nurse? This is the end loot. It's, um... Oh, can I thread that needle? 
Yes, I can. Let's fight her. Oh, there's someone on her side as well who's coming out. This is Steve. Alright, I don't know if we're safe yet, so I'm going to try breaking down this door now. Anybody else hiding in this room? Nope. Anybody else hiding in that room? Looks like also a nope. Yeah, what do we have in the loot then? Uh, padded arms, which are better than mine. A great heist book. I'm never going to have 5,000 dukes, but I'll take it. Uh, another home cooking weekly and more whatever it's called. Water was the word I was looking for. God, I need a better axe with this 50% player damage. Bandana there, that'll be good for cloth. Some more glue, nice. Some food pile on the floor here. Those are usually home cooking weeklies. This is a good POI then. It's filled with good loot compared to that one barn. All the cloth out here that I can. Poncho. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to scrap it. But you know what? I'll take it. I could use a lot of extra leather anyway, so... Temperature's not really going to be that big of a deal in this biome. Magnum Enforcer, cool. And a first aid bandage. Check the toilets. We get the water, nice. T-shirt, is that better than what I have? No, it's not. Let's scrap that for cloth. Some bones and cornmeal and a potato. Coffee maker. Some murky water, that's helpful. A potato again. Give me a grill. Nope. Give me a grill. Nope. Could buy a grill, but it's 600 dukes. That's a lot of my water filter fund. Here's another home cooking weekly. This uh, grilled, not grilled, charred steak thingy. Some ammo with some 9 mil. I don't know if I have anything to shoot that yet, but... I'll need it later. What's in the washing machine? A cap. I was hoping for some more water. We can make bacon, eggs, and coffee now. That's a good use of my eggs and water that I have. But I'll need a grill before I can make it. I think. Let me see. Bacon and eggs. Doesn't actually tell you here what it needs. Well, I could make it with a pot. I'm just saying. But we've been over this a million times. The 70s die character is an absolute moron and cannot do cooking correctly. Let's head back to my base. I've got Six spare murky water now, that's a lot better. Don't know if I want to turn it all into red tea, or better yet, coffee. Yeah, I should probably do coffee, actually. It's a much better use of your water, but I also do need it for glue. But I have a bit of spare glue, so it's not too bad. Ah, the bacon and eggs requires a pot. Cool. That's good. I did think it was weird that you would need a grill for that, but that's just what I remembered. Some eggs and meat. We can make five bacon and eggs. It will take all fucking day. Uh, what about blackstrap coffee? We got any coffee beans? Five coffee beans, a little bit of gunpowder. And that's all the gunpowder I have. But we have got some nitrate and some coal around? Somewhere. Yeah, we can make two gunpowder. That's not perfect. Uh, there's a little bit here, though. There we go. We can make two more gunpowder. Hey, it's, it's something. Yeah, we can make four blackstrap coffees now. I just need the water. I'll queue up three. That's good enough. Let's get back out there. See if I can loot one more house. Fucking dark in here. Uh, is this a tier one? Looks like a tier one. It is, the Barbosa residence. I may have been here already, though. There's a little room at the back here. I'm kind of cautious about this. Oh, it's locked. Oh. It's not, not anything to worry about. The back side's just fallen off. Steel tool parts and some cloth, and I can get some polymer. Right, well, let's have a look inside this place. I'm not familiar with it, but it's only a tier one, so how bad can it really be? It's suspiciously quiet. I wonder if the ceiling is going to break on me, that would suck. Yeah, you're so predictable, game. Come out here. Let's not activate the other zombies with your bullshit. Come on. Can you not figure out this hole? I'm sure now he figures it out. Right, get a little bit confused by the truck. There's a bin here. Don't, I'll take it. Who else is around and don't fall from the fucking ceiling again? It's lazy. There's a toilet in there. That's water. I bet someone's hiding in there. Nope, they're hiding behind the bed. Or were they? Yeah, yeah, they were. Oh, some red dye. Oh, that sounds like two zombies. Gotta be careful here. Fortunately, this hole in the wall seems to really confuse some of them. Ow. That's right, come on the truck. Get a little bit confused by it all. The more times you can make the zombies jump or fall in a tight space is good for this difficulty because they have to go through laborious animations to do so. You just need to save yourself the stamina of doing it so that your stamina can regen in time to hit them. More murky water in there. A uh, glue, nice. So it wants me to go onto the roof, I think. I distrust this immensely. I'll let my stamina all regenerate. Yep, hi there. Ah, oh, there's two, shit. That's annoying. Let her flop over there, try and do the same to him. Uh-oh. There we go, he's fallen down. Probably want to fall off the roof onto this. Let them just 
pile up on top of each other as my stamina regenerates. Bonk and bonk. Bird's nest here. Egg and some feathers. Some more glue, nice. Some wood and lead and I do not want to actually fall into that loot room because I was not born yesterday. I'm going to fight them in the doorway, which is over here. I wonder where they're hiding. Are they not gonna... Oh, they're gonna be annoying, aren't they? Well, let's break open a little bit more. See if I can get... Ah, I can shoot them in the hand, probably, if I'm just very close here. There we go. I bet there's another one in there, but I can probably take that one on my own now. Let my stamina regen. Anybody in? Oh, there's two in here. That's fine. That's fine. Let's do the same thing we did every other time. Come to the hole in the wall. They'll get a bit confused. That was a bad time for hunger to strike. Now I have a stamina, stamina penalty. Heal up. Hide up here. It's the other one's stuck on the inside of the house. I got any food on me? I got potatoes, but it's like two food. If it's enough to stop the stamina penalty, I'll take it. Unfortunately, it's not very easy to tell. <laughs> Who are where exactly? Oh, hey. So we got shotgun book. Nice. We got nothing too helpful. Bleed would be more useful than armor piercing, though. So I will take that. Even if it is just minor bleed. Some water, some food, some of that. Oh, let me eat the food so I, like, you know, don't have stamina penalty. Break this thing open. It's nightmarish without a good axe, though. I'm going to be so comically underprepared for the Day 7 Horde. All because of water getting in the bloody way. Uh, steroids and blood bags. Let's get that. Uh, there was some stuff in here as well. There's some meds. Nice vitamin. Painkiller as well. Some trash. Medical cabinet, more vitamins, get some of this scrap polymer. Anything else hiding in here? I think that's everything. Let me take this back real quick. Oh, curtains, hang on. You know, it might almost be worth it. Let me see. How much is one electrical part? Six. Maybe it's worth gathering up all the electrical parts I see and selling them. It might be like a good source of income that doesn't involve having to go and scrap every car that exists. I also get a bit of extra scrap polymer from this. So you'll see that they kind of scale a little bit better than 6 per, it's more 6.4. 64 dukes for 10 of these. Unfortunately I didn't find many club magazines today, that would have been very nice. A couple of extra murky waters here, let's make sure we boil those as well. What can I sell to the trader? You know I could sell vitamins, I never use them. And I don't care about getting infected, so let's do that. You could always sell leather as well. That's a bit of a risky play because you might need it suddenly, but it is also quite valuable at this stage. All right, let's go talk to the trader, see how much money I can get. I doubt it's going to be 2,000 already, but you know. You know what, I'm going to scrap this car as well. Might get a lucky level 6 battery and that would probably very much help. I've got an engine, I could sell that, but it's probably more worth to me actually using. Then again, later on I'll be able to get lots of engines, so probably should just sell that. Like, as soon as you get a couple of ranks of salvage ops and salvaging becomes less annoying, and it's not like I've got anywhere near enough parts to make a motorcycle anyway, and I never make many bikes either. So yeah, maybe I should just sell that for 200 dukes now. Alright, no luck on a battery from that car. Let's go talk to Trader Joel really quickly. There is also that bag of stuff I left here earlier. Let me see what's in there. Uh, a shirt, which is probably more used to being cloth, and a few vitamins I could sell him, that's for sure. Hey, Joel. I don't think it would be worth getting sugar butts for this, by the way. I don't think I would really make any profit from it. Right, there's uh, a thousand dukes. That's enough at least to get halfway to my water filter. I can probably get the other half of that tomorrow. So during the night, I'm going to pretty much just sit in my base and wait, because if I encounter a feral right now, I will simply die, and I don't want that. I'm sure there's a few people wondering why I did spend the nights inside when everything's always insane nightmare anyway, but ferals will kill you very easily and they spawn just, you know, on their own out in the wild at night, so I want to avoid that. Because it, it just will kill me. It's just that simple. Tomorrow we'll go and take down some more PYs. At least I have some food and water and we're getting there on the dew collector, or rather the water filter, but the rest of the dew collector is relatively easy. Let's see, before I go... Let me grab those. Do I have any sewing kits? That would be a factor. I will eat some pumpkin. I don't have any sewing kits. Okay, once I get some sewing kits, I will make another pocket mod or two. I'll help with the inventory capacity. I'm just going to sit up here until morning. Alright, it's the next day. I'm thirsty and hungry, but at least I actually do have bacon and eggs and some blackstrap coffee. Uh, this needs more fuel. Give me a second. Right, let's get out there and start looting some other stuff. Oh, I've angered someone. 
What tier is this POI? Oh, zero. It'd be worth a loot. You might get some good books and like water from in here sometimes. Someone's definitely above me. It sounds like I've pissed them off as well. Got a skill point here. Uh, what do I want after some of the Pummel Pete? You know, big and fast would be smart. That time between club swings can be deadly. Ah, there's two sewing kits, nice. That can let me make my other two pocket mods. So there's, there's, a, there's an actual poncho as well. Football helmet. I'll probably just stick with my padded for the no mobility penalty. That's quite nice. Another sewing kit. Oh, didn't mean to open chat there. Anyone else in here at all? No one's hiding in the bathroom. We got any water? Not just paper, okay. Bones. Wait, so are we clear then? Oh, there's a bookcase back here, cool. What's in here? Tech planet, ooh. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's have a quick look through the building. Tech planet again. Some murky water from the coffee machine. Big hitters, nice. We can make a level 4 club now. Barely an improvement, but it is an improvement nonetheless. You can put two mods on there now as well, so I'll find another one and do that. A little bit of iron. Alright, this place was not particularly interesting, but there is a mailbox as well. Sniper, okay. This other place across the street is also a tier zero, I think, so we can give that a quick look as well. Vehicle adventures, nice. I'd like two more of those before I can do much with it though. Uh, wasteland treasures. I can now get some honey from trees, cool. This is tier zero, let's go in a little bit stealthily. Some leather boots, some leather shoes. Where's this guy? Is he upstairs or downstairs? Hi! Anything in the toilet? Murky water, nice. No one else on this floor, I guess? More water in there. Anyone up here? Oh, a hunting knife, cool. Oh, books. Hello. Sniper again. Some paper. Off-road headlight schematic. I will sell that because it's 160 dukes and I don't need one. Home cooking weekly. We can make pumpkin bread and blueberry pie. The floor breaks there. Okay. Toilet here. More water. Surely there's someone hiding in here. Nope. Anything out here? Does it take me somewhere at all? There's a bag on the roof. That's something. Ah, splint. And a padded hood. Okay, so there's that's it basically in here. Let me go back inside and loot a couple more things. Right, let's take this stuff back. I don't want to be over encumbered for very long at all because it will get you killed on Insane Nightmare. So that was a good little haul. Got a little bit of extra water and a couple of things I can sell. Right, stuff dumped. Let's go back out there. We've got some lockpicks here. Let's try this police car. Sometimes you get mineral water out there. That would help me a lot right now. There we go. That was my last lockpick. Uh, level 3 pipe shotgun. It is an improvement. And a first aid kit. Cool. Won't say no to that. More houses over here, which is like what I need right now. Bookshelves and food related stuff are mostly what I'm looking for, so that's perfect. It just comes down to finding houses that I won't die in. My charmer book. Ugh. Another tier zero here. I'm not sure where that zombie is. See up here. Oh, well, not yet, me is. Someone else is coming, is it outside? Oh, it is. Right. My uh, armor is damaged, but getting cloth is quite easy, so we could probably fix it quite easily as well. Which part is it? Probably you, right? There we go. Get back in there. Anyone else hiding upstairs? Nope, I think we're clear. More sewing kits. Lots of coffee in that one. Another home cooking magazine there, that's nice. There's 12 of those. Probably another one in here as well. Yep. But hey, there's a back room here. Everybody in it? Guess not. Some cloth and a sewing kit. Oh, there's also this area over here. Anyone in here? Nope. Cool. Cooking pot. Medical journal and a random trash bag. Bit of duct tape there. Right, so I have taken some damage. Is it worth eating food? Probably. Continue having a look around. Seeing Arlene over there. Well, at least I know I can three shot an Arlene now. Hey, there's another one of these pairs of tier zeros. Tech junkie. Probably should sell that, actually. Try and remember that next time. Uh, scrapping, I will actually read this door unlocked. Okay, this is an actual tier two. What about this one? Tier zero. Shelves and a kitchen. Everything I could possibly need. I hear a zombie, I don't see them. Where are they hiding? Oh, they're on the other side. Or are they upstairs? I think they're upstairs, actually. They were just trying to dig to get to me. Hello? Hi, Mo. There we go. Anyone else home? 
No, it doesn't look like it. There's a lot of loot in here, though. Anyone hiding up here? Oh, the floor's a bit shaky there. Let me go downstairs and investigate if that's safe. Anyone hiding in the kitchen? Nope. Anyone hiding in the garage? This is a massive tier zero. I guess we're clear. Let's have a loot. Two lockpicks. That's helpful because there is a safe in here. A bit of charred meat. Fortitude glasses. I mean, I don't think I have anything better, so I'll take that for now. Then again, 100 dukes right there. Probably just sell them. Good pile here. Ah, some chili. Use that to heal. Art of mining. Diamond tipped blade mod. Meh. But you need it for the completion, which I do want. One more vehicle adventures. Cane killer. Nice. Let's try my luck at this safe. Well, bad luck for me. I'm not going to sit and bash it open with a level 2 stone axe. On 50% block damage, though. Battle extender mod I can sell. Cool. Alright, I think we're done in here. I'm severely over-encumbered once again. I need a bicycle now. Not that it would really help that much. I could take these and scrap them. Okay, let's get back out there again. This is what this game is when you don't have quests. You just kind of come back to your house instead of the trader. There's a dire wolf in the shed if you're looking for a very difficult way to get meat. Ah, two duct tape. Nice. Keep this this time. 100 dukes in there, which is... A measurable percentage of what I'm trying to work toward here. Could be a snake here. Hi. Oh, a repair kit and a hat mod. Keep the hat mod, put it on a piece of armor I find, and just do silly things to its value. Explosives magazine. Book I already know, which I will just sell. Bow's market is not a particularly difficult POI, I don't think. It might be worth going in there. Anything interesting in here? No, but I could use the polymer. Any books in here? Good. Clear this first room. I'm expecting a tourist for some reason. I don't know why. Someone's there. No one's here. I don't want to go down there, but I'm going to have to, I think. Well, no, I could probably just break in the side of the place. Ah, I can make bikes now. That is definitely going to be something I need to do. The problem is, and I'm pretty sure that's... Yeah, you need a workbench to actually craft the parts. Because life is pain. Um, How close am I to getting workstations up? I need four more to make myself a workbench. That is not impossible. But also, it's more than zero. So it's not ideal. Anything interesting down there? I'll go down once I've cleared the rest of this place. Uh, let's see, is there an easy door to smack in here? I hear someone. Hello, Arlene. Oh, that was unfortunate. See, this door looks pretty weak. Let me search this truck as well. Some glue in there. Nothing in the truck. I've already been here, apparently. Now, let's break this door down, then. Oh, I'm over-encumbered. What can I scrap? Ah, uh, let's drop the crushed sand. Who needs that shit? Ah, uh, I remember this place. It is a bitch. Hi, Mo. Well, that's annoying. I was hoping he was going to help me with the door. I don't have to go into that fucking basement. Murky water. I don't need the... I don't need gas right now, actually. Let me throw that away. Oh, it's dark in here. Okay. Right, so this is the one where there's zombies in the roof, right? So I probably want to be careful here. That is an interesting miss. Ah, another one hit. There's books here. Hang on. Egg hitters. Nice. More books down here. Fists. I'll just read it for the sake of it. All uh, right, let's see. How can we activate these? Ah, that's how you do it. Yep. <laughs> Just go up there. Here they come. Is he a little bit confused? Get stuck on that. Love it when they start crawling and it completely disrupts everything. All right, this doesn't look like a fun place. Let's see if I can get any hits on anybody. Oh, nope. I don't think I can. Ladders are dangerous. That is at least these zombies. can't just go through them. That's cheating. Well, I might have to shoot someone here then. Get away from that biker before I shoot, actually. Yeah, he didn't hear me good. The other one got caught inside. Grr. Wasted a first aid bandage. Probably get another one at the end anyway, but you know. There we go. I think we're clear, at least in the section I'm going to go into. Right, what do we have? A uh, book I don't need, and two first aid bandages. I will... Eat one, and I'm now at an even with what I started at. Medical journal, cool. Coffee, I'll just drink that because it'll over encumber me anyway. Some ammo, I'll load that into this for the same reason. Rifle magazine, a bit of gunpowder, and some leather. A bone. 
Let's see what else is in here though. There's a lot of containers. Probably a decent amount of murky water in this. Oh, an actual beer. Cool. Home cooking weekly. Make pumpkin pie, which I'm probably not going to do. Two glue in there though. Some dukes in here. Bunch of shit in that one. Hey, a grill. That'll save me 600 dukes. Alright, I'm quite over encumbered, but let's try and get back home. Avoid that biker as if he's an instant death. Because he is. He's just a feral in the daylight. Another tech junkie book I can sell. Magnum Enforcer book I'm also going to sell because I really just need to get one water filler and then I'll be fine. Okay, so I've got a bunch of stuff here that I'm going to try and sell to Trader Joel. Let's see if it's enough to buy a water filter. Hey, Joel. Wait, we got enough to buy it. I can probably make it cheaper with sugar butts if he has any, though. So I should consider that. So, actually, it, he doesn't have any anyway, but I don't think it would save many money. 300 on a discount for something that's less than 3,000 is not going to be an even trade. So just buy the thing. Um, One water filter, please. Now, you restock today. Have you got anything I should like be worried about and trying to get? Doesn't look like it. I mean, a level 6 stone shovel, anyone? <laughs> I mean, a second uh, water filter would be good anyway, but yeah, not top priority. Now. Let's go get a do collector set up. That'll definitely help with the water issues I've been having, at least. Won't completely get rid of them, because you still need water to uh, make glue, and you need shitloads of glue, especially since crafting is probably going to be my main source of better gear. But it'll definitely help with the water because I can't just buy, like, coffee every day. Like, in the standard game, I buy all the Mega Crush the traders have every day, even though it costs 700 each, because quests just pay you so much money. Uh, and the traders rarely have anything you actually do want to buy. But obviously, I can't do that when I'm not being paid by quests. So, I have to be a little bit smarter about everything. The there's one pipe, there's duct tape, there's polymer, there's glue, there's cloth. Let me get all that cloth as well, actually. Uh, what else do you need for a do collector? Oh yeah, three more pipes. I've got two more pipes. Of course I do. Why would I have enough pipes? There's more glue there. Uh, but I can get a pipe quite easily. Let's see. Sink? No, sink's not the way to do it. Where's a toilet? A bed would work, but I'm on the way to the toilet anyway here. Hit it with my stone axe, I'll get a couple of pipes. Right, let's craft the do collector. Now, the other thing I want to get is a couple of pocket mods. What am I missing? Oh, more duct tape. Uh, that is perfectly doable, though. I only need two. Just do that. Put the polymer away. I don't need that. Some more eggs and meat here. Now, where's my wood? Ah, here we go. Let's craft a few more bacon and eggs. And two more pocket mods. Yeah, I've got my grill now as well, so that's helpful. Throw that in there temporarily. Right, so where do I want to place my do collector? Because it does generate heat and it does mean that screamers might appear, but it's not like a lot of heat to have like a campfire and a forge occasionally running and a do collector running, but I probably want to put it on like the roof so they don't attack it. This will do. Uh, we can maybe just put it on this actually. Oh no, it's red, okay. Uh, this is nice and flat, or is it? Well, it's going to float, but it's fine. <laughs> Works for me. Let me put these pocket mods on stuff. God, what a look that is. That's my wrong chest. Um, and on the shorts, there we go. We've got three inventory slots. That's pretty good. So we got my three inventory slots open. We've got a do collector. We've made another little bump of progress in this episode. We got the forge and the wrench in the first one. We got the do collector and some full set of pocket mods going. And we've got food and water largely handled. What I need next is definitely, like I said before, just more club magazines so that I can get a baseball bat and that will just really help with the combat for horde night i think i'm just gonna like hide on a roof and just hope that that's enough uh, but we'll see hello and welcome back to seven days to die hardcore today we need to find more magazines so that i can make a higher level club because this one is not gonna last me very long now obviously the trader is kind of of no use to me because i'm not allowed to do quests for this challenge so we need to go out and find more places that i can loot for books mostly gonna be houses i would imagine i also need to find uh, a couple of forge ahead books because that will let me make a workbench which will then allow me to make a bicycle because of course i can't just take the quest reward bicycle because i'm not allowed to do quests so that's going to be a pretty big priority because this running shit is for plebs i think i need two more forge heads shouldn't be too hard shouldn't oh we got a zombie over here <laughs> There might be a cement mixer over at this under construction house, which is a guaranteed... Oh, I don't know where they're coming from. Hey, Arlene. Uh-oh, missed. 
As I was saying, the cement mixer is a guaranteed forge head on standard loot settings, at least. Ah, there's one. There's one. We need one more. And then I can get on a workbench, which will be very helpful. I don't think there's another cement mixer in there. There's not usually POIs with multiple. Let me go ahead and eat a bandage since I got punched in the mouth by Arlene. Yeah, let's check this uh, orange house over here. Oh, hey, double bird's nest. Ten feathers, nice. Have I checked this mailbox yet? I haven't. Paper. Well, that's unfortunate. I can definitely do this house though, but there might be a dog, but a dog isn't the end of the world, so... Hello there. I'm outside. There we go. Bootcase here with wiring and tools. Cool. Okay. Give me that toilet water. Oh, just paper. Okay. Bandage and some iron. Ammo pile. Some 762 and bullet tips and a beer. I can actually use that 762, so let me put it in here. I can't remember. Sometimes I think the dog is in here. And that would be kind of shitty. Oh, hello. Okay, I think it's in that room then. Oh, there's a wandering horde. I have to deal with a wandering horde first. Because if I shoot the dog, they're going to hear that, which would be a problem. Because a wandering horde will straight up just kill me right now, so I need to get a little bit of stone. Here's one stone, that's something. Oh, I had 40 on me. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> so I heard them running around. Let's try and further send them in that direction. Oh, no, they're going the complete opposite direction, actually. Just throw a bunch of rocks in that direction and hope for the best. Go, oh, leave me alone. Okay, I'm probably safe, but I should just remember that they're there and that I might need to make an emergency exit from that building and start running. Now, it might be smarter with that in mind to actually break into this POI from the side so that if I do alert the wandering horde, I can run away easier. There's a dog. I need a bit more. Yeah, let's see. Can we see his head? And hopefully he doesn't just run right through that. Ooh. Come to the other door. That is annoying. Oh, hey there. I hear people moving and I don't trust that it's not the Wandering Horde, so I'm going to sneak away. Up on to here. And I'll crouch and try and kill this one straggler I seem to have attracted. Was a random nurse. Oh, she's definitely seen me then. Okay. Anyone else hiding in here? No. This loot is mine. A bone knife, which is worse than mine. Okay, so that was pretty shitty. <laughs> There's a passing gas container here, though. That could give us a forge ahead if I'm lucky. It did not. Still, I'll need a wheel anyway. So let's continue in this direction. Here's someone wandering around over there, but I don't know if it's a biker, so I do have to be careful. Some painkillers, nice. A new batch of houses here, which means mailboxes. Some vitamins. Which, yeah, people have reminded me, and the reason I forgot about this is because it wasn't the case originally in Alpha 21, but people have reminded me that you can use this to just disease resist and drink all the water you need. The reason I forget that's a thing is because in Alpha 21, when it first came out, you would still take damage from drinking murky water if you used vitamins, but I think they patched that. But my brain is not going to remember that as easily. Mailbox here. Sharp sticks, ooh. Another mailbox over here as well. Uh, bow hunters. I mean, it's okay. And some plant fiber, I think. 10% more damage is 10% more damage. Uh, I could loot this house. It might have some books in it, I don't know. Just need to watch out for guard dogs, I think. There's someone on the other side of this fence. Ah, hello. Right. Any guard dogs. So let me, let me double check my vitamin thing here. So, that should protect me, but will I take any damage? Let's see. Yep, you still take damage. So I was- so I was gaslit. Yep, they gaslit me. Bloody comment section. This is why I never listen to you. <laughs> I think it might work with, like, murky water in a glass, though. I swear they did patch that, though. Maybe they unpatched it. I don't know what to believe anymore. Whatever, we can't really do that then. Because health for hydration is not really a valuable trade. I really don't trust that. Yeah, there's a guy. Oh, there's an Arlene, hello. Run in a straight line. Leather duster. I mean... Nah, I'll just scrap that. Oh, well, the weather just went to shit. Let me drink this blackstrap coffee. Where is the actual... Do oh, yeah, it's a window we go through, I remember now. 
some padded arms, which are exactly the same as mine, so just scrap them. Let's see if I can get any sneak attacks in here. That is just... What am I supposed to do with this game? Like, look, what is this? The mobile users think I just cut to black. There we go, brightness is now up so that people can actually bloody see. Ow. Oh good, it woke up his friend. Oh shit, there's a cop over there. We need to leave here soon. Oh hey. Oh, I was lucky. Stick hitters, I can make a club at 45 or something. I'm kind of trying to aim for a uh, baseball bat though, but hey, it's still an upgrade. Hi business guy. Couldn't switch to my weapon fast enough. Oh, there's another guy in there. Sneaky. I think we're clear in here now. Anything actually on the roof here? Oh, bird's nest. Uh, some trash. Right, let's go get the actual loot then. Some shotgun shells. Home cooking weekly and some food. Which I will eat to get some healing. Some armor. A book I don't really need but I can sell. A bookcase here. With big hitters I can make a level 1 baseball bat. But a level 1 is going to be a downgrade from my level 5 wooden club, so I'll wait until at least level 3, I think, which would require... how many? Uh, let's see, 17 to get to level 2, so like 24 to get to uh, level 3 baseball bats. God, I hate this system. Oh, there's another home cooking weekly. At least we're getting somewhere with those. Oh, there's another one. Probably another one in here. Oh, actually not. Okay, that is... All... oh wait, there's a bag here. Pair kits, ooh. Right, let's see. I need to sort out this inventory. There's too much shit in it. I'll accept being three points over encumbered. Oh, hey, some red dye. Right, let's try and get back to my base alive. And then head out in another direction for some more exploration. Oh, I've attracted someone. Actually, I haven't. He just sounded like he was running towards me. Hello. Five into this mailbox. I haven't. Leave that. I'm gonna go a long way around so I can search all the mailboxes over here because I don't think I've been in this part of the map yet. Uh, one of these I already know, but I'll sell it. Oh, I have been here apparently, okay. Well, let's just head back to my base then. Now, if I really need a Forge Head book, there is one in here because it has a cement mixer in the basement at the Jericho Ranch. It's not the POI I would like to take on at the moment. It's a bit of a mean one, uh, but if I need one, it is definitely there. So if I've not found it by like the end of the episode, we can go there. So I'm going to gather up a couple of things I can sell to the trader here really quickly, just so they don't clog up all my inventories. And maybe he'll have a forge ahead or something. Hey, Joel. Now, does he have anything I need? No. All right, back to looting then. Um, maybe I could do... Nah, I don't want to fight animals right now. Like, dogs aren't too hard to kill, but they're more trouble than they're worth. Let's see, what tier was this, uh, house under construction? It might be a good way to get some working stiff tools crates. Tier 1, okay, let's, let's try it. Oh, there's a couple of zombies over there, let me go deal with them. Hey, a skill point. Probably want to get some minor 69er, because... It, the lock damage is killing me, so that'll help a lot. Where are they hiding in here? I forget. Nobody in here, I guess? Or here? There's one guy. Pretty sure there's another one, though. Yeah, hi. Ow. That was more hits than I'd have liked. Hey, there's a bathroom. Anything in this? Construction crates have a good chance of forge ahead books, so if that's what this is, we could have a good shot at one. Oh. Okay, there's some other containers to check though. Some glue. Right, well, let's go down here. Where are they hiding? Oh, there's one. There's another one. Nope, hit boxes. Where are you going? Why? Ooh, hello. Right, this last area can be a bit of a bitch, so I'm going to be careful. I'm fairly sure they're supposed to be hiding back here, which is very concerning. There's one, no, two, sorry. Was not the one I was trying to hit, I'm not going to lie. Okay, he's a little bit confused. He might actually forget where I am if I just sneak back here. Oh yeah, the AI in this game is just absolutely outstanding. 
Oh, hey there, other guy. I think we're clear in here now. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a zombie upstairs, of course there is. There always is. Standard armor plate there. Not incredibly helpful, but it is something. Whoa. Some medicine. Medical journal and steroids. Some shotgun shells. Let's check these crates. These are more what I'm interested in for this place. Tools digest, okay. Tools digest and handy land. And there's another one back here. Scrapping. Alright, no luck on the forge heads, but that's okay. Anything else nearby I can look before night comes? See a couple of zombies over there. I could use the XP. Ow. I'm gonna start carrying my bacon and eggs around so I can heal using that instead of my bandages. Oh, hello, nurse. Any more mailboxes around here? There could be. Tier U, tier 1. Hmm. Is this the one with the dog in the attic? Because I can just not go to that area. Yeah, this might be worth a shot. I know it has some bookcases near the beginning. Why did that still damage me? Urban combat makes cigars. Oh, that's so good. Oh, wait, but I need to find some testosterone. Not the most common loot item, and I don't feel like fighting a bear. But hey, it's something. Getting a cigar is always a pain in the ass, and that has definitely eased that a little bit. Just need to find a testosterone extract. It's doable, it's just not gonna happen in a random house. I'm gonna have to find the medical POI or something. Home cooking weekly, let's heal with some food here. No one's hiding in there, okay. Oh, there's a door here. Secure my exit. Hi there. Alright, that's the bottom floor clear. Let's kill the one that hides in there. Hey, Mo. Oh, hi. Forgot about you. Anything hiding in here? Um, I don't know. Let me check. <laughs> oh, I see. It just leads to the hole in the wall. Yeah, and there's nothing really there. Okay. So up here, we have to deal with a dog. Dogs aren't too bad, but I am going to have to waste ammo to deal with it in this kind of range, I think. So let's just do that. Oh, fatigue. You bitch. Uh, first aid bandage. Ah, woodcutting mod. That is actually quite helpful because percentage boosts to my block damage are always welcome. Can cure my fatigue at least. Fatigue really sucks on insane difficulty because it makes you take 10% more damage, which on insane difficulty is another like 2.5 damage that you already can't afford. That woodcutter is really helping at least. Traps, shotguns, two tools. Okay, let me get some easy bones. We can make level 5 stone tools now at least. That will be worth actually doing. Wasted some healing, but it's okay. I'm gonna carry my food around now. Let's loot the rest of this place. And I've still got first aid kits if I desperately need healing. But that would be avoided, ideally. <sighs> Another cooking pot. It's gonna scrap that, because I can make my own now, so who really cares, you know? There might be some mailboxes I've not looted over here. Hello. Fight me. Where's the... Oh, it's in the driveway on this place, right? There's a zombie in there. Spear hunter. Ew. I'll sell it, though. Isn't there some easy loot here? There is. There's a gun crate and a working SIF tools crate. Let's break in here and get that. Oh, this is a passing gas crate, actually. I'm blind, apparently. Uh, scrapping for fun. Handy land and a duct tape. Well, that's not ideal, but I'll take it. Does the Judy Witch POI have a mailbox? Right, well, I'd better be careful. There's another Jericho Ranch here, so if I need another Forge Ahead, there is one here too. Uh, but let me check these two mailboxes, and then I'll head home. Handy land. Uh, knife guy and a batter up, I already know. Right, well, let's head back to my base. I move very slowly, so it's probably time to turn back. In the morning, I think we'll go to the Jericho Ranch and grab that one cement mixer and get that forge ahead. So I can make a workbench and then also make pipe bombs and a bicycle, which are both going to be very useful things for me. So I'm going to wait in here overnight and we'll head out to the Jericho Ranch in the morning. Try and get what I need. I need another bloody storage crate. 
All right, it's the morning of day six. Let's get back out there. Uh, where is the Jericho Ranch? That has the cement mixer in it, which has a guaranteed forge ahead for me, which is the last one I need, I think. So this is a tier two, so I'm going to have to be careful. But hopefully it won't be too hard. Now, there's usually some zombies in this room, so let's have a look. I woke someone else up, apparently. Oh, hey. You die, please. Hey, there's stuff up here. Wait. Let me eat some bacon and eggs to heal. I really need a baseball bat so I can, like, two-shot these zombies and not get hit as much. Is there anything actually up here? Or is it just some... Ah, sports bag. Uh, duck bill mod could be useful. Anybody down here? We already woke that one guy up. I doubt it. Chicken soup. And there's usually a bunch of snakes down here, but snakes aren't, like faster on this difficulty so they're not really a concern i just have to try and not get hit by them because they do still do the full damage that a zombie for example would do oh good there's a zombie upstairs that i pissed off it's not concerning at all is he gonna come through the big hole in the ceiling he's trying hmm. my shotgun's actually pretty good i should keep some shotgun shells on me oh this is gonna be a shit show isn't it just a random guy decided, oh, I'm running away now. And I mean I am running. There's too many of them down there. Let's get you through here. Run away. Get them all stuck on the other stuff. The soldier's going to be an absolute pain in the ass. Skill point, let's get some Niner 69er. Is that? Yeah, there's one. Try and trap one of them in there. Other guy, follow me. Oh, bullshit. Hey, okay, he's dealt with. Oh, let's use my last bandage. Let another one through. Oh, these stairs are the worst. Wait, open those, and I'm going to get this soldier way away from these stairs, because he's going to be a pain in the ass otherwise. Ooh. Oh, bullshit. They stagger and hit me. I don't understand. It's not scientifically possible. Got so much armor. There we go. Yeah, so size, yes. I do not feel like taking on the last room in this POI because this is a particularly infuriating tier 2 with a lot of rooms with more than the amount of zombies I can really realistically take on in close quarters right now. There's the forge ahead though and I can now make a workbench, cool. And we've got a first aid kit for my troubles. Yeah, the end of this POI is just not worth the trouble. There is a lot of bookcases though, vehicle adventures, electrical traps, bow hunters. I mean, we could certainly give it a try. I'll just run away if I start taking too much damage, but I've got a first aid kit as a backup plan, so I should be okay. I've got water on me as well, so I can actually use my painkillers for once. Nobody in here? Yeah, I guess they're all upstairs. Is there anything in this room? Short answer is no. Right, let me break a way out here. Worst case scenario, I get chased out of here and have to just run home. I'm gonna make my own little defensive position here. Right, let's see. There's some books here. Tools Digest, cool. If I could get, like up to level 3 iron tools, that would be nice. Let's try and lure them gradually, rather than taking on the whole thing at once. Yeah, you, come here. Follow me downstairs. Now we woke up another one. Oh, did we just wake up everybody? Fun. Well, come downstairs then. Fight me. I think they're a bit confused. Oi, come here. Okay, she's down. Anybody else wake up? Doesn't seem like it, right. Oh, that bit there's open as well. I didn't notice that. They could fall out above you. Let me break this. Oh, time to leave. Oh yeah, they're going for those spikes upstairs. Are they going to make it through those spikes though? Seems like it. They're going to be heavily damaged at least. I actually don't know if there's any more. Doesn't seem like it. Uh, let's see, level 5 pipe machine gun, very nice. A book I already know. Ammo. Another first aid kit and some more painkillers. Bookcase back here. Uh, I'll just sell both of those. Is there any actual loot up here? Doesn't seem like it. Right, let's break open these containers. Uh, vehicle adventures wiring, I'll take the tech thingy and sell it. Some um, cornmeal. Right, let's go back to my base. I need to start crafting a workbench. And I need to sell some of the things I've got. Why does this sign have a dash at the end of it? Over here it makes sense, it's Bob's Boars. But that's Carl's Corn Minus. What, what does that mean? 
Mm. All right, here we are back at base. Do I even have the shit I need to make a workbench? That is an important question. Let's see, we need forged iron. Got that. Uh, mechanical parts. 16. I need a little bit more of those. That's fine. Five duct tape. Well, there's glue and there's a bunch of cloth. I do think I have a couple of duct tape somewhere. Here's one. Let me make four duct tape. Uh, 100 nails. Sick. Okay, we can probably easily make some more nails. I'll need some iron. Hang on. Smell that into there. Um... Where'd all my wood go? Or did I use it all to defend myself? Alright, we need some wood as well. Wood, a few mechanical parts, and the nails. That should be relatively easy. There's enough wood. Let me see if there's anything made out of mechanical parts inside my house really quickly. These probably give mechanical parts, right? Oh, hey, there's loot under here. And oh, lead. Okay. There we go. There's some mechanical parts I need. Now I just need nails. Yep, we can do that quite easily. Let's craft 94 of those. That'll take a minute and a half. I've got enough fuel. Just about. That'll do. Okay, so that's everything. Then we need to worry about the actual bicycle itself. So we'll need another mechanical part for that. I'm thirsty, one second. Uh, another mechanical part, two wheels. Two wheels, cool. Um, the chassis. That's another three mechanical parts, another three duct tape. Let me craft that. Leather and springs. Leather. I don't have springs. Did I sell them all? Slightly annoying, but not the end of the world. There's two more mechanical parts I missed, apparently. Okay, yeah, I'm missing springs. And I'd also need another three leather, uh, three duct tape, sorry. Uh, leather and more mechanical parts, pipes and some more springs. Okay, so I just needed the, like six springs and a bunch of mechanical parts. Is there a uh, bed in here still? That would give me springs quite easily. Not, I think I scrapped it if it was here. Uh, where's a house? Those nails done? Yeah, they are. Cool. Right, let's start crafting the workbench. I think six minutes, jeez. Right, so the chassis, that's more springs and more mechanical parts. Car would be useful, probably. Hey, there's a shopping cart. I'm gonna repair my wrench before, because I don't want to have to cancel the workbench halfway through. There's some more mechanical parts from that shopping cart. Let's go check this house over here that I think I've cleared. Most houses have beds. Probably enough beds to give me six springs, I imagine. Please just not have a bed. That's so weird. Or maybe I already scrapped it, actually. That would make more sense. Let's go check the house across the street. I could scrap cars, but it takes like 10 stamina bars worth to do that on these bloody things. Much faster to just look for a bed. Here's a bed frame. I don't know if you get springs from those. Oh, you do. Okay. At least enough to make the chassis, but I need three more to make the handlebars. And it seems like there's no more beds in there. Not to worry, there are many more houses. This place got a bed. Oh, it sure does. There's enough springs, but I'll just finish scrapping this bed. My workbench isn't done yet anyway. Cool. All right, well, while we wait for the workbench to craft, let me go back to my base and gather up a bunch of things I would like to sell to Joel today. All right, let's go see Joel. Another minute on the workbench anyway. There we go. We're up to 2,373 dupes now. Could buy a second water filter if I want, but I'd rather just save it for things I could actually use. He restocks tomorrow. So probably want to wait and see if he gets any good books that would be a good use for my money the workbench is done let's head back to my base and set the bicycle parts to craft not sure what i'll do in the meantime what tier is the vet again two hmm i'd rather not really before i go fully into tier two pois <laughs> ironically i live in a tier two poi but before i really just send it and go into all of them i'd like to have a better baseball bat or a baseball bat at all for that matter the thing is, is tier 2 houses are one of the best sources of books, because they have a lot of bookcases. And books are what I need to make the baseball bat, but I need the baseball bat to do the tier 2s. I don't need a baseball bat to do tier 2s, but it would be nice. But I don't think I'm going to get that luxury. The bicycle chassis and I'm assuming handlebars are fine too. Have I got everything else I need for this? Oh, I need one mechanical part. Really? One? Why you like this? Fine, there's another appliance down here. Do you give mechanical parts? I don't even know what this is. Some kind of, like, washing machine or dryer or something, but weird. Weird looking. Is this glass on the front? Never even really thought about this. I'm gonna go with a circular oven. Anyway, I got my mechanical part, so let's go hunt down some stuff to do while we wait. Actually, the bicycle crafts quite quickly, never mind. Sit here and do it. Craft a bicycle, and there's my bicycle. I am now much more capable of hunting down mailboxes because I can escape zombies quite quickly if I need to now. 
doesn't really help me inside the POIs, but it helps me find more POIs a little bit safer. Still, I like a motorcycle. At this rate, I'm going to have it on day 60, because this game isn't very well balanced around not having quests. Or it's extremely unbalanced with quests, and it's supposed to be this slow. Could also use this bicycle to find another trader relatively quickly. Just follow main roads. Traders are two forge head books each. So if I was in dire need of, what comes next? Lockpicks, I guess. I could get that. That's so padded. Nonsense. I need to find 20 more to make cement mixers. Oh, what fun. You know, guys, I'm starting to think this game's a little bit grindy. But here's this house. Oh, three. No, thank you. I will simply die. You got a mailbox? I've been here. We have the Fates Motel here. Is there a mailbox for it? There is. Just paper. Big sad. I could probably go into the more town-ish areas of the town. If I'm careful. Is that a Trader Jen I see? That's good. Let's go talk to her. Not hello. Get away from me. Is it a Trader Jen? Or is it just a church with a weird wall around it? Oh no, it's Trader Jen, yeah. I think she's not too far away from Joel. It's actually very close to Joel. Let's have a look in here. There's a lot of book potential in Trader Jen's. Big hitters, nice. It's like the only one I found in two days. Despite having three points in it. In game. Heck junkie I can sell. Oh, this military chest is real. Rubbing combat landmines won't detonate. Cool. That's one thing off my mind, I guess. Pistol purse, damn it. Lockpick is useful though. There's another grill. Some food. A jacket, me. I'm hoping for some nerdy glasses soon. Bunch of gunpowder in there. One forge ahead and some forged iron. And another forge ahead and some concrete. Oh, that door's locked for some reason, okay. There's some books in the back here. Still peak, cool. Needle and thread. Not very good, but I'll take it. Murky water. And back there. How do you get up there? I see loot. Or do you need parkour? Now oh, just some bones. That was not worth the trouble. Alright, Jen. What do you sell? First, buy some random shit from me, would you? Right, and what are you selling? There's some first aid bandages for 90 dukes. I'll take that. I'll also take the aloe cream because that is just first aid bandages for me. Uh, we got two big hitters I will buy. Art of mining I won't buy, but it would be good if I could get it. But limited funds. I saw a beaker, I think. Where was it? Where, where do the beakers even live? Oh, some cobblestone. Yeah, it's very cheap. I'll buy that in case I need to build a base. I don't want to, but you might have to. 1500 for a beaker. Look, this is so shit. But given how beakers can be, I'm going to take the opportunity to get a beaker. There goes, like, all my money. I would be kicking myself if in 20 days I wanted to make a chemistry station, but I just couldn't find a beaker. So take one if you can get one. Let's read these two big hitters. Got some meds, some cobblestone, a bunch of stuff from her POI in general. Let's go put this, some of this in the bike and continue scooting around. Well, that's just a wandering horde with a biker in it. Two bikers, three bikers. Well, this whole place has to be thrown away. I'm going to be contacting my friend at the CIA and asking for several nukes to go here. They are some pissy bitches back there. They're still chasing me. I think I see a warehouse over there that has two Forge Ahead books in it, so that's good. There's also this place, which is a good POI, but I won't take it right now, because I don't know there's a tourist in there and I can't be fucked. Just like real life. Art of mining I already know, okay. Let's fight this one guy. So there's a mailbox over here, with a tech junkie in it. Hey, it's money at least. There's a post office here, which has a couple of mailboxes at it. Where's this guy going? Paper. There's also some books in this place. I'm just going to have to be very careful about how I go in here. Oh, it just had to be one of you big ones, didn't it? That's right, get stuck on that question mark. <laughs> I don't know if stuck is the right word, but you know. I would like to kill your friend first. Right, let's get my stamina back and have her get a little bit confused by stuff for a bit. Ooh, jump that, run across. Yeah, that's right, get confused by the bad ears. I'll fucking do it again. You will not learn. That's your whole thing. Being dumb as shit. There we go. And these books are now mine. Close that. Handyland, K. Okay. Tools. Sledgehammers is shit, but whatever. Tools again. Tools, handguns. Repair kit. Huh. Cooking pot, good to know. Well, there's a safe in there. Not got any lockpicks on me. I think I have one in the bike though. The there's one. 
No, I don't need cooking pots. Now I can make my own. Let's give this a shot. And we were unlucky. Okay. Any obvious books? Are there any mail containers in here? There's one of those things at the back, but it doesn't seem worth the trouble to go halfway through a tier 3 POI to get that, so let's continue. Uh, if I remember correctly, the Hogzilla Ranch actually has a mailbox. Oh, a spare wrench, nice. Sledgehammers in this economy. Flashlight. Sell that, I guess. No mailbox for that house, that's slightly annoying. There's a whole neighbourhood of houses over here that I've not looted yet. Hey, one guy. Book I already know. Forge ahead, cool. Art of Mining, the one I would have been buying from Gen C. I made the correct choice. Art of Mining again. Compact stacks. Not as useful as it used to be, it doesn't give you XP anymore. Despite them saying it was a feature. They lied. Does the... yeah it does. Paper. Okay, I'm gonna mark this place as decent for books, because it is. The deracinated domicile does have a few bookcases in it. I don't have time to clear it right now, but good to know about them. Oh, the working stiff tools truck is probably worth looting as well. Tools digest and some cobblestone. Hello Arlene, give me some XP. I see a couple more potential mailboxes over here. Oh, uh, I've pissed off one guy over there. Oh, he's lost me, okay. That's her up. Still not finished that, I'm surprised. How many more do I need? One more. The chain modification, which is the one I actually want, of course. Uh, I feel like there is supposed to be a mailbox here, but it vanished, or I've forgotten where it actually spawns. Anyway. There is a lot of farms in this little city. That's good for me. Mailbox, hello. Those digest, I can make iron tools at quality 3, might be worth doing. Uh, I don't know, what level do you get level 4s and 5s at, actually? Because there is a lot more harvesting tools than there is in other things. Okay, you only need 4 more to get to level 4, and then it's probably another 4 to get to level 5. I'll just wait for that. I'm not doing much mining in the first week anyway. Spear Hunter. Ooh. More damage against mountain lions. Big hitters. Continue. Could be a mailbox for this farm, right? Yes. Yes, some paper. Grab that. Run. Don't let me hit you. Ooh. You got big hitters in the hunter mod schematic. I'm gonna go around mo there. There's a lot of repeated POIs in this one down. Uh, shotguns. Let me read these while I'm here as well. I'm not sure if I'll actually use the hunter mod, but why not? Does it have a mailbox? It does. Have I been here, though? Fireman's Almanac. Sure. I could do with extra block damage, after all. That'll let me make the Fireman's Axe mod for axes. Okay, I've been here. Have I explored this entire town? I've explored outside the town. I have not been far into the city. I went through it once. And it was scary. Alright, let's head back to my base. It's about to be nighttime. I don't have to worry about nighttime as much now, because I can comfortably outcycle a feral. Uh, it's still dangerous, you could easily make a mistake and end up dead, but it's better. Once I do get a baseball bat worth using, I'll be able to go into the towns properly. For Horde Night, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I think I'm just gonna stand on the roof of a building with my bicycle at the ready. And a bunch of frames, and then if the building gets like undercut too much and falls down, I'll just run to the next one. I probably won't even try and actively fight it because it's just gonna be a waste of resources. Because I still don't feel like doing a base because ugh, I hate base building, and I'm not really gonna be able to like street hoard an insane nightmare day seven hoard with a fucking wooden club. I'm good at the game, I'm not that good at the game. So standing on a roof, maybe some pipe bombs, get a little bit of XP try and survive and run away in the morning. Hey, no one said you had to kill every zombie on the Horde Night. All it does is make the next one harder anyway. Right, so I'm going to sit up here during the night, and in the morning we will get ready for that Horde Night and try and get some more books. Hopefully I can get myself some iron tools and a baseball bat soon, and then I'm probably going to turn my attention towards getting a good double barrel shotgun, I think. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today is going to be Horde Night. We don't have a Horde base, of course, so I'm going to need to get a bunch of extra frames if I'm going to survive that, because I'm going to need to basically run between various locations to survive. I'm probably going to like get on the roof of the vet or some building over there and just hope I survive. I'll need some wood. So where is a tree? Here's one. I'm going to cut down a couple of trees. Then we're going to go and find some coal. Actually, actually, I was thinking about making gunpowder there, but if I'm going to be mining, shouldn't I make a better pickaxe? Yeah, I could do that. Let's do that first, 
And I could do an axe as well, now that I think about it. But I might need more forged iron. Because I don't think I have 8 days spare, but let me check. Got 52 forged iron there, plus some leather, and I've got glue lying around somewhere. I hope, anyway. There's 3 glue, but that's not a lot, is it? Maybe it split the stack at some point? Oh, do I not have enough glue? That would suck a lot. Uh, there's some gunpowder, though. That is something I will need. Uh, coal and nitrate and bones. Let me see if I've got any extra bones. How is my water doing? I've got two water made and I've got three murky water here. So maybe I could get another five glue. That would at least be enough to get me a better pickaxe, which would allow me to get more nitrate and more coal, which would be the easiest way to get more pipe bombs, which would allow me to do a lot more damage on these horde baseless horde knights. Let me go sell these random things to Trader really quickly. Well, we wait for that water to all purify. I'm hoping I can maybe buy a Mega Crush, or in the event I end up without any way of defending myself. Oh, he's not open yet, of course. Uh, is there anything else to do around here right now? Let's see. Where is some coal and nitrate? There's some coal, there's some nitrate. Cool. How much gunpowder do you need to make a single pipe bomb? You need 12. So that's 24 of both coal and nitrate. How the hell? Did, what? I was in first person on a bicycle, question mark. Insane. Anyway, so I need 24 coal and 24 nitrate without a chemistry station, of course, to make that much gunpowder. That's not too hard, even with 50% block damage, though. I do just kind of want to get an iron pick first, though. There we go. We've got enough glue. I'll need to go and quickly get a little bit more wood, but that's fine. Go punch a tree once. Could also use more iron so I could make an axe to get wood easier. That would also be probably pretty smart. Uh, oh, yeah, you don't need to make iron tools in the workbench anymore. It is not Alpha 19. So that's crafting. I will need... Oh, I've got a dew collector on the roof, and I haven't been collecting from it, despite me spending the first couple of days dedicated to getting that. I should probably do that. That would get me access to three more glue, which would probably be enough to make the fire axe. The limiting factor then would be the forged iron, but I have a wrench, and I have a pickaxe, of course, to get my own iron, but I think the wrench route would be easier if I can just think of somewhere where there's something made of forged iron, and nothing is coming to my brain right now. But if I see something, I will get it. We can add in some more glue here. There we go. We can cancel that water temporarily. And I'll have that glue done in less than a minute. Let me go get some wood. Oh, I actually have a little bit of iron in my forge. That's helpful. We could maybe get a little bit more forged iron. I will have to get even more wood. This is a vicious cycle, damn it. Go. That'll be the glue I need. Throw that in there. Uh, let me also craft up the five gunpowder I can make. Let me do that in the workbench since it'll take too long in my inventory. So let's get a little bit of extra wood. Trying to minimize my use of this stone axe, because, you know, it sucks. Now, uh, let's see, I would only need 28 forged iron, so it wouldn't take a lot of iron to make what I need if I can just find one cement mixer. I know where one is, but it's a little bit far away. Oh, wait, the, the Easy Matt's house has a cement mixer right outside of it, so I could go and do that, actually. Let's do that. It also has a table saw inside, if I can be bothered to gather that up as well. Which is a few forged iron, I forget how much. Also, lampposts do give you some forged iron, but they're mostly for steel, and I would rather wait until I have some salvage ops to do that, if I choose to do it at all. The last thing I'll need is some actual pipes. 19 is a good amount, but I could definitely use more. And of course, one way to do that would be to craft some at the forge, but also scrapping is a perfectly viable way of doing it. Ah, there's a table saw out here as well. Here's my pickaxe done. Nope, oh, got a skill point. Let's see. It wouldn't hurt to have an extra rank of salvage ops. I'm going to need that at some stage anyway. So let's just get it out of the way while it's going to benefit me right now. All right, that got me... Well, like... Did that give me, like, 12 forged iron? Maybe. Let's get the cement mixer as well. Yeah, there's another 12 forged iron. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's, like, a table saw somewhere early in this POI. I've cleared it, so it wouldn't hurt to check. It would just be a bit of a waste of time. Right, let's see. I do need pipes, and there is a toilet back here. There's one more. Just checking for any extra table saws in here. As they are a nice little boost of forged iron. Oh, opening the wrong thing there. Some springs and clay, cool. Anything down here? Uh, I don't know if these give forged iron, I doubt it. They give pipes, I do need those, so I'll just do this as well. Yeah, just some pipes and mechanical parts. These are pipes as well, aren't they? Although, I think you can pickaxe them. There we go, nice little extra four pipes there, it's something. I also got a whole lot of extra iron there, so that'll help. Oh, more pipes. Oh, these are cloth. That's good to know. Probably better to use your axe for that, I didn't check. Right, let's head back to my base really quickly. I've got enough forged iron crafted in the forge anyway. 
Oh, maybe the fire axe actually takes less materials to make. Oh no, it's the same. Okay. Let's grab that. Here's a fire axe as well. That'll help. I've got a claw hammer so we can get rid of the stone axe in its entirety. Which is now obsolete. Let's add in more iron to this forge. Where is it? There it is. And I'll ask it for more pipes. Because that will help quite a bit. Let me put some stuff away. Right, let me go sell some stuff to the trader here. I'll be waiting for that fire axe to craft. I could do with an emergency mega crush. Not quite enough to buy a mega crush. That is slightly annoying. I would have brought other stuff if I had known. <laughs> it's fine. We'll get some more stuff later in the day and we'll do another trip to him. Has he got any good books that I should be worried about though? Nothing particularly desirable. Otherwise I'm good. More pipes ordered there. Right, so we're going to need a lot of... Yeah, 50 pipe bombs. Let's call it 60 pipe bombs, right? Pipe bombs. How long does that even take to make? Probably could do it. Uh, but how much... First of all, I need plant fiber. Have I got that line around? Yeah. I'll need a little bit more if I'm going to make 60, but definitely doable because it's plant fiber. Uh, oh, there's some frames there. Those are useful. Um, so yeah, 12 times 60 is 720 times 2 means I need 1400 coal and 1400 nitrate. I don't know how painful that's going to be, on 50% block damage with iron tools and like two ranks of minor 69er. But I'll fucking give it a shot. I've got my fire axe done now as well and get extra wood. The wood is just going to be to make a lot of frames because I'll need them in case I fall off of a building or something because we're doing this without a base and I'm not fast enough to literally outrun the horde. So I'm going to have to like stand on fences and stuff. Chop down a couple of these trees so I can watch my back easier and get wood. Here's 200 wood. How many frames can you get for that? 100? That should cover me. I'll chop down another tree later because I will need fuel as well. But let's get on to the nitrate and coal. I think you get 50 per node without mother load. So this might actually be quite a difficult ask. I'll probably want to aim for 700 initially of both and then make sure I can actually craft that because gunpowder does take a while to craft actually. So maybe I should do it in like batches of 300 or batches of 240. That way I can make sure I do get like intervals of 10 pipe bombs because it's better to have 30 pipe bombs than it is to be halfway to 60 pipe bombs but have no pipe bombs if that makes sense. Also what does it take to make molotovs these days? Uh, cloth gas cans and oil. I actually don't know if I have the gas, but keep that in mind. I'm more of a pipe bomb person myself anyway. Right, there's 250 nitrate, let's go to the coal. This is still absolutely painful, but it's certainly a lot less painful than it would have been with a stone axe at least. Right, here we are at the coal. Let's do the same here. Right, there's 250 coal. Let's go and craft 125 gunpowder, that'll take four minutes. We could head back to my base and half that though by crafting half of it in the workbench. And then I'll come back out and mine another 250-ish. Maybe I'll go for like 500 now. But I definitely have a few pipe bombs. Do it again and then do it again until I run out of pipes. There, I've got 72 pipes now, so I'm good on those. Let's uh, cancel 100 gunpowder. Do 50, or 60, whatever, in there. 50 in my inventory. Let's go back out and do another run of it. Getting 500 of both, which will let me make another 20 pipe bombs. Okay, there is... All the gunpowder. I started the crafting earlier because I didn't want to waste my time. Uh, but that is 500 nitrate and coal's worth of gunpowder crafting. I'll go put some more in the workbench as well. Here we go. I've got 300-ish already. So let me queue up some pipe bombs as well. There's 24. They'll definitely be done for Horde Night. So that's a good amount for your first Horde. Especially since I'm only going to be using them to kill big clumps of zombies anyway. Because we're not going to have a base to filter them down but it's certainly more resource efficient than trying to make like enough ammo for that to work. What is it you need for molotovs as well? I can do those in my inventory while we wait. I would need cloth and a bit more gas. I don't have a chemistry station so I can't really do too much in regards to gas but we got enough for two molotovs. It's something. It's damage but we can take the wrench out to a couple of cars and queue those up as well. I'm not sure how much gas you get per car or for how long it takes me to take down a car. I've not really tested it. Uh, but let's go and have a look at this one over here. Probably get at least a Molotov out of this thing. It's not very time efficient though, especially compared to the pipe bombs. Oh, I heard an enemy. Where are they? Are they inside? Are they on the roof? I'm so confused. Are they in this little doorway? Oh yeah, it's just one guy inside. Here. 
Oh, I missed him, but he sees me, it's fine. Oh, can take a hit for that one. Right then, back to the car. So yeah, I have to play it quite safe this Horde Knight, despite the fact I'm not using a Horde base, obviously. Uh, because I don't have much ammo and I don't have much healing, so my only real options are run away and throw pipe bombs. And Molotovs. Oh, my thing broke, actually. Doesn't look like it's going to give me enough gas to even make another Molotov, though. That's kind of boring. I'll get enough to make this one Molotov, but yeah, I don't think right now, at least, scrapping cars is an efficient way for me to make Molotov cocktails. Maybe when I have a better scrapping tool and some better salvage operations and maybe a faster vehicle so I can cover more ground, it would be a smart choice. But right now, nah, that's not really worth it for the damage it does and the time it takes. I could have got the materials to make like 10 pipe bombs in that time. I would have taken a hot minute to craft them, but still seems a lot more worthwhile. Right, let me see. Can I go sell some stuff and get myself one emergency mega crush? They're like 750 dukes, and I have 600. Right, there's 760 dukes. That should be enough. Assuming he's selling any, that would be, yeah, 720. Cool. That will just mean that I can actually physically outrun the zombies for a good six minutes, which would be an amazing way survive if I fall off a roof and get like a broken leg I would just barely be able to survive um probably avoid falling off the roof if you're doing this at home like you will probably just die I have a cockroach like tendency to just not fucking die I can't teach you that skill you just have to have it I'm a bit of a talented cockroach in that regard so I can't really give you any advice on that Let's see, how are these doing? We've got 10 pipe bombs, there's another 14, that's going to be good. So we've got like 38 pipe bombs coming, that's solid, but we can definitely get a couple more done in the next few in-game hours. I've got fuck all else to do anyway. Not like I'm going to have enough time to go out and hunt down a bunch of books that I need to continue playing, so let's just take the bike out back to the materials and get another 240 coal and nitrate and get maybe 10 more pipe bombs out of that. Remember, one pipe bomb can kill like 10 zombies if you just time it right. So, if you've got 40 of them, you can kill a few hundred zombies. We got another skill point. I'm going to put that right into mother load because I'm realizing how much I need it. Right, let's head back to my base. I'll split the crafting between me and the workbench again. And that'll probably be the last batch we can make before the horde actually comes. Pipe bombs are definitely one of the most important weapons in this game. If you're ever looking for a resource efficient way to survive your horde nights, even if you have a base, pipe bombs are a solid way of doing it because they cost 12 gunpowder and they'll kill like 10 zombies. If you compare that to even the cheapest ammo type, which is 9mm, that's 12 9mm shots. Now, maybe on lower difficulties, if you're very accurate, you can kill like 10 zombies with 12 9mm bullets, but even with all your perks maxed out, oh hello on insane difficulty, it's going to be hard to get that many kills with that much gunpowder. Not to mention how much easier it is to just get like iron pipes compared to having to get brass and lead. And grass is of course quite easy to get as well, you just go punch it. So yeah, pipe bombs are a very, very easy weapon that scale very, very well into the late game and keep working for horde knights. So you should know about them if you're new to the game. And even if you're not new to the game, you should be aware of them now and use them. I'll wait for the last of my gunpowder to craft up in the meantime. Hey, I got a diamond. That'll pay for something. Right, what else do I need for a horde knight? Probably want some extra healing here. I've got some aloe cream, a bunch of cloth. Wouldn't hurt to get a bit of extra food if I can find an even number of eggs. If not, I can go out and find one. There's a bandage pre-made for me. Let's uh, craft two bandages. I will cancel that gunpowder and just chuck it in the the workbench here. Obviously it is more efficient to use a chemistry station if you have one. I obviously don't because it's day seven on a very difficult challenge. So yeah, there we go. Six first aid bandages on the way. We've got some extra coffee in here. That'll be good as well. Uh, have we got any spare wood? No, we do need to make sure we have a little bit of extra wood. If I need to reinforce something for any reason, I want to be able to do that without having to gather wood during horde night. There we go, we got a little bit, doesn't need to be a lot. I doubt I'm going to be building any sudden bases or anything. So I've definitely got 24 pipe bombs there. No, sorry, 44 pipe bombs. Uh, let's see, more pipe bombs. We can queue up another three there. And yeah, it's just gunpowder we're waiting on for those, so that's fine. I'm not going to bother hunting down that one extra egg. Two more bacon and eggs will be more than enough. We got everything else I need. 
throw away the cloth here, put that back in there. Don't need it right now. Now then, ammo. There's 60 shotgun shells, a little bit of extra arrows. I really essentially have no ammo at all though, because my shotgun shells are unperked. So they're not going to really do much damage and they're coming out of a pipe shotgun and I have one mod for it, which is the duckbill mod. Uh, this is going to be the very definition of a last resort. I don't have any spare 762, do I? I've got some on me, so we could definitely at least load one mag into this for one easy panic kill. Pipe bombs, a little bit more gunpowder, one more pipe bomb, and that is all the gunpowder I have. So we'll hold the rest of these ingredients for the next batch that I make. Uh, I will need some extra pipes for the pipe machine gun and the pipe shotgun. Unlikely that that's going to come into play, but... It'd be pretty awkward if I couldn't find any pipes, so let's just make sure we have some. I've got arrows, but I would honestly rather not waste my time trying to kill things with arrows, because on insane difficulty without any perks, it's going to take like four or five arrows to kill one zombie. That's just not an efficient use of your time, so pipe bombs it's going to be. I've got a bit of extra beer as well, which will help. Maybe even steroids would be worth it for that extra run speed. Splint's not going to be too helpful, but it could be at the same time, so it's better to have it if we can store it. My one extra pipe bomb. So we've got 48 pipe bombs, 3 molotovs, 60 shotgun shells, 100 frames, and a dream. Let's go find a place to try and endure this horde. I think a good place to start would be on top of a very tall but straight building like this house over here. The reason it's good that it's straight is I can stand on the edge of the roof and throw pipe bombs down quite comfortably on this one. It doesn't have a huge overhang. It has a bit of an overhang, but nothing I can't really handle. Let's climb up here. And I'll just try and survive up here as though it were an actual horde base. Now, there could be very easy routes to me. We will find out quickly based off of what the zombies do. They'll probably try and just eat out the inside of the house until it falls underneath me, which would be great because they won't get through this house in time which means I will survive. And that is the only goal for this first horde, is just survive, because insane nightmare with all the other restrictions I have on me, I'm not going to be thriving for a while. I'm going to need to get myself up to mother load three, get myself three ranks of shotguns, and then I think, unfortunately, I'm going to have to dump stuff into some agility, at least seven so that I can actually use run and gun and parkour to actually survive. I might need to get 8 agility, which isn't ideal because what I would really want is intellect to get lots of skill books and stuff. This is going to be a very difficult challenge overall, I think. I do have my bicycle over there. That is going to be a last resort because vultures tend to spawn when you get on vehicles on Horde Night. And those are hard to deal with, but I can kill a couple of vultures with my pipe machine gun. If I need to make a hasty getaway, I can, you know, go 100 meters, jump off, kill two vultures, go 100 meters, kill two more. It's, it's manageable if you're skilled enough, but I would really like to avoid that. Now, this is just plan A. There are other houses, other buildings I can go and climb up on. But really, what I'm going to be doing here is trying to avoid any fights with any zombies, because I can barely win a fight with one zombie right now. So why on earth would I ever want to get into a fight with multiple of them? Or like a horde night worth of them. So we're going to avoid that. So now I'm just going to wait. All right, it's night time. Let's see how this goes. I'm only like game stage 19, so it's not really going to be the craziest horde ever. But like, still on as many zombies as it can handle. All right, they sound like they're... I just immediately fell. <laughs> Ooh, I better move. They're going to start piling up right at that window. That's convenient to know, though. So we can get them over there. Just have to try and not fall like that. So if I sit here and do that, I can get explosives in there. Okay, that killed like three zombies. Not bad. Let's let them pile up a little bit more, though. Just have to watch I don't get punched in the back of the head by one that found a way around or something. Okay, so they're going to be inside the building as they try and get to me. That works perfectly fine. Let me break this one block. Or are they trying to do something else now? They might have found another window they want to go to. That's fine. I'm going to break a couple of these blocks so I can see them a little better. Hello, one lady. Completely missed that shot. I have not used a duckbill mod in a while, so it's a bit weird to aim. Not that my shotgun shells are particularly valuable to me anyway. But watch out for any of these blocks here starting to crack, because that's a sign that they're about to break through. Now, but right now, they seem to be just... Trying to punch out various windows. Let me move over here and see. Yeah, I can't see any signs of them there. 
It's maybe time for another pipe bomb in that window. See what we can get. Didn't kill anyone, that's concerning. There's one dead. Yeah, they're definitely being a little bit erratic with their choices of places to destroy. Make sure these other sides aren't getting beat up too heavily. Looks pretty good to me still. The couple of zombies in that room. Three zombies it looks like. Again, this is just for this challenge. I'm just trying to survive. I'm not trying to maximize the amount of XP I get by any means. Besides, extra XP just means the next Horde Knight will be harder. They're breaking something down there. They're making some progress. Good for them. I see a few zombies in there. Let's give this a shot. There we go. Four kills for that, looks like. Definitely damaged a couple more in there as well. Survived one hour. Hey, can't go wrong with that. If you can do that another five times, hey, you've survived Horde Knight. <laughs> They're also getting stuck on stop signs and shit over there because the AI in this game is just fantastic. So, working quite well for me. Maybe time for another pipe bomb? Ah, I only got one of them with that. Where are they even trying to break through on this side, I wonder? They keep finding new windows to break. That's the weird thing. There's another four dead. Solid. Yeah, I think I'm at such a low game stage that the game is still being very generous with the max alive. Because obviously I have it set to 64, but your game stage will always override that. 64 is your suggestion to the game that like, just fuck my shit up, just do what you want. Uh, but it'll still have a max based off your game stage. So it seems like it's only like 10 right now, so this is pretty manageable. We're not going to eat through the house anytime soon, I don't think. They are doing 50% more block damage, though, remember. That is a thing in this challenge. Hence why I didn't even bother trying to make a base, because they'll just they'll tear through cobblestone very easily. Ah, they've made a nice little doorway there. There's a few more of them dead. We've survived till midnight. That's a good start. Do that two more times. We'll be in the morning. Pretty quiet, all things considered. I can't be that low a game stage that killing like 10 zombies would have done it all. I know I'm only level 10, which is like half what I usually am, but still. See, I want to jump down, but I don't trust that it is just the one zombie. Definitely sounds like two, actually. Is that it? Seriously, I killed the whole horde on a day 7 horde. Without a base. Well, shit. Why have any of us ever built a base ever? What are we doing with our lives? Any more bags for me? Hey, loot. Obviously, this was a POI I cleared throughout the week, so it was extra safe. He didn't even do that much damage to the fucking thing. Yeah, that was pretty good. I didn't need that many pipe bombs. I used like seven. All right, well, I'm going to go back to my base. And in the morning, we'll head back out there and see if I can get any more books. Actually, it might be wise to use the fact that wild zombies don't really spawn on Horde Knight. To go through the center of the city and grab up any mailboxes I want for easy books. I still have to be careful of zombies and POIs, but there shouldn't be any roaming zombies at all. Or any wandering hordes, because technically the blood moon is still going, which means that wild zombies don't spawn, but uh, the POI zombies still do. So I'm basically free to just roam around. Sharp sticks. Book I don't need, but I can sell it. Tools digest, cool. I think I'm going to do a few more Horde Knights like that and not use Agility until later on for when I want to be doing more interesting Horde Knights because that will mean I can prioritize intellect and get my crafting skills up. Uh, things like crucibles and vehicles which would make the game substantially easier in the 90% of the game which is not spent in Horde Knights. So yeah, I think we'll do that before we prioritize Agility then we can buy a Forget an Elixir, get rid of intellect once I have everything I need from it and then just put that all into agility, which would be smarter than doing it the other way around. Art of Mining? Not quite done with that yet, but we're getting there. Vehicle Adventures, Home Cooking Weekly. In the morning, I'll go and see Trader Jen and sell her some stuff, because I've not checked what she has after the Day 7 trade reset, so that would be worth checking in with her and selling her some of the books that I have multiple copies of, just while I'm like 800 meters away from my base anyway. Machine Gunner, 
There's some walking behind me. There might be a wild zombie that decided to spawn. They're not completely gone, but it is unusual. It's, I'll fight one zombie. Hopefully he's not a feral, though. If he is, I'll just knock him down and run. Oh, he is a feral. Ow, 30 damage, but could have been worse. Thanks to my armor, he's a lot less scary. Yeah, there's some zombies in that POI that seem to be allowed to roam around, and that's why he's after me. So you still have to be a little bit careful, but most of the zombies are just not going to be awake. Tools Digest. Ah, we're mining. Nice, so that's a free rank of mother load, which is very helpful, considering how absolutely shitty that block damage penalty I gave myself is. So, is that a mailbox I saw? Yes. Explosives. I can make grenades. I won't, because I only really make pipe bombs. But it's nice. Another book I can sell. Even if I'm not getting the skills I need from this, this is a lot of money. Tools Digest. We can make iron tools of quality 4. More tools. Puffer coats. Book I already know. Paper. And scrapping. Cool. Is there some mailboxes in front of the ostrich tower here? I forgot. Oh no, this is 2-bit tower. Nah, it doesn't look like there is. There's a mailbox. And it's just another book I don't need. And it's morning. So now I've officially survived Horde Night, even though it definitely happened like three hours ago. So Trader Jen's going to take a while to open up. So let's head up to the north there, where I marked some books earlier. And let's go give that POI and its surrounding POIs a little bit of a look through. Have I looted this mailbox? I haven't. Sledgehammer Zoo. In fact, I'll wait at Trader Jen's because I've got too much shit in my inventories now. And I don't really want to stick around the cities during the day, because ironically enough, they're quite dangerous during the day. They're even more dangerous at night, but I was lucky in that Horde Night mostly stops zombie spawns. Now there will be ferals running around everywhere and it'll be scary. Ooh, mailbox. Tactical warfare, that's kinda shitty, but I'll take it. A couple of people have been asking me why I don't just sell those, but you only get 20 dukes per magazine. And that is a lot of storage capacity to waste on... How many different books is it? Like 23 different classes of book? I'd really rather not, to be honest. You know, a full stack of them is only worth like 400 dukes, I think. It's just not worth the trouble. Oh, I've not touched these. That's annoying. I might have to fight this one zombie. Post digest. Post digest again. Andy land. What do I have to do to get some baseball books? Other than the one that I just... Ah, very funny game. Very funny. I hate it here. Let's continue over to Trader Jen's. All right, Jen, what do you have today? First, What's let's sell her a bunch of books. There we go. 1,300. Not bad. First aid bandage is always welcome. Couple of forge heads. Not really worth it, I don't think. Actually, you know what? Sure, let's take those two forge heads. And that is 10 pipe bombs worth of gunpowder, which I will take as well, because it's kind of annoying to gather it. Otherwise, Thanks I'm good. So, we can now make lockpicks. Now, there is a PY in the town area that I am interested in. Before we head up to that little area where I found some good book POIs. Uh, I'm absolutely filled with stuff, but it's fine. Um, if we head across the bridge again, there's a couple of warehouses, and I think one of them has two cement mixers in it, which are both a guaranteed forge ahead, so that would mean we would get a little bit more of those. Cement mixers aren't going to be the most useful thing for me, since I don't want to build a base anyway, but, you know, I will need a chemistry station later on, as well as a crucible, so... It wouldn't hurt to get a couple of easy books while I'm out here. That is assuming the warehouses I saw were actually the ones I'm thinking of. If not, then meh. Who cares? We'll just go somewhere else. Ah, yeah, no, I think I was looking at the wrong one. It's the op center. Oh, I'm hungry. I'll deal with that in a minute. There's a working sift tools truck here. These are a good chance of those as well. Tools digest. We can make level 5 iron tools now. Let's wait for steel, probably. Let's eat some of this other shit before I use bacon and eggs. Wait, do I not have bacon eggs on me? I must have left it at home. That's annoying. Or I ate it all. Oh no, I ate the one I had and then I crafted two more and never picked them up. That That's what happened. Okay, so first stop here, we have the deracinated domicile. This is usually a solid source of books very early on. You'll get at least a couple of bookcases usually. Hi. books here, big hitters, nice, we're up to 18 of those. No one's hiding behind there. Anything in the purse? Some dukes, hey, I'll take them. Added hood, slightly better than mine. I'll take my die back though. Two bookshelves there, but there's also usually a zombie hiding right there. 
Uh, weighted head mod schematic, that is quite useful. And regular armor plating, I'll just sell that, I think. Oh, there's two of you. That's fun. Oh, he bled out. Whoa, he ducked. <laughs> Stuck behind that. Oh, you're going for that door? Okay, do that then. Uh, let's see, strength, get another rank of mother load. Uh, he's really chewing through that door, huh? Stamina. What's in the bookcase? Sniper. Yeah, I'll just read that. Now, sometimes there's a biker in here, so I'm going to be a bit careful. Just one generic guy so far. Anyone else? I feel like they're in the ceiling. Yeah, I think they are. Let me just go back out the room and then, like... Hi. Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. Get stuck on that. Ow! Okay, well, she's dead at least. Let me eat this chicken. That's right, bash the door a few times. Okay, and we're in. So, some armor parts that I can sell. Tech junkie I can sell. Bandage, ammo, gunpowder there, nice. Medical journal and some crafting components. Hoodie. Anything else good in here? Come on, nerdy glasses. Damn it. Ah. Small motor tool tank mod, I will just sell that. If it was a large, I would take it, but no point wasting 160 dukes on something I'm going to replace inevitably. Who casts an vitamin? Nice. Right, let's go back to Trader Gen, sell her some stuff, and I think I'm going to have to go home and drop off just all the excess stuff I brought for Horde Night. But it might be worth coming right back up here, because there is a few other good tier ones. I just kind of can't move. The main focus I have now for, like, the next week is going to be getting clubs up to at least rank 24 so that I can justify making a baseball bat. So that would require six more. I really don't know if I'm going to be able to do that in this town. Probably, right? Like eventually. But maybe I should take my bicycle and head out down this main road here and see if I can find another trader, which would not only give me two more forge ahead books, which I do need, but it would also give me opportunities to buy more books and it would give me another town to check for books easy book pois you know a crack a book would be massively helpful for me right now i don't know if i could actually take on the crack a book cafe but the tier two one which is better anyway i could definitely take on so let's go and cycle out and see if there's any particularly good book pois or traders in this direction okay so as it turns out that was a dead end <laughs> so let's try up north Okay, so there is a road out of town to the north here, but there is actually a couple of other houses out here that I want to check before we go anywhere. So let's deal with this one zombie guard in the place first. And then this house over here usually has a couple of bookcases in it, so let's go and take it down. Nope, woke up someone behind me. Nope. Ah, you got knocked over. Usually a third one. Nope, not today, cool. Uh, some miso soup, painkillers, a full stack of those. I mean, really, if you've got a full stack of painkillers in seven days to die, you've got everything you really need. Everything else is secondary. Some paper, bookcase here. Dangerous Guide to Archery. Oh, there isn't many more books, but I'll just clear the end of this place because there is also a couple of useful things I could get. Hello. Bonk. EDU, am I wearing one? Yeah, just this one is better though. Let me switch those out. Some cloth. I was hoping for nerdy glasses, but that's what I get for being stupid. Uh, batter up, or whatever it's actually called. Scrapping for fun. Some wood. Right, let's go deal with the zombies in the attic here. Some food. Ow. He's still alive, jeez. Uh, jacket. I can scrap for cloth. What's in the end loot? Chest piece, which is... Same as mine and a first aid kit, cool. Uh, a medical journal and a spare painkiller and a couple of first aid bandages. That was pretty good loot, all things considered then. Nice being able to open crates relatively quickly again. We can make steel tools a quality one, but I'll wait until at least three. Uh, right, so let's go check the farm across the street. Aside from the final room, it's a pretty easy POI, and it's still a pretty easy POI even including the last room. It's just you got to be careful. Is there anybody in this uh, shed, by the way? No, is there? Oh, no, there is. Hello. Is there anything hiding up here? There's a bag. Ah, fortifying grip mode. I'll take that. I could use any extra damage on my club. Black die. I'll chuck that on one of my clothing items. Open up the door. And now let's check the place across the street. Hi. Hopefully one of you will get to me before the other one does. Close one of them out there. 
There we go. Just in time for the other one to arrive. I'll get my stamina back though. Two zombies here again. I'll do the same thing. Apparently that is the strongest door in the universe. Ow. No way you got hit on me there. Still, we separated them quite well. Hello there. God damn it. Right. Let's get one of them stuck on a doorway. Here we go. Oh, missed him. Come get stuck on a door. Ooh, be careful here. Jeez. <laughs> Not to worry. Hop the fence. Where'd the other guy go? Whatever. Back over here. I've got no stamina, so I'm going to be very careful. Ow. Bullshit. Oh, we got another zombie coming. Got to be careful here. Ooh. Get them caught on a load of shit over there. To the bicycle. I shall separate them with speed rather than intellect. There's one down. Now, another one did show up, so I'm basically back to fighting three, but the, they've lost me. So I now have the advantage again. Oh, me died. Cool. Did they actually break the store? Now that zombie's just a bit confused. Hey, loot. Right. Let's loot this place. Ooh, a triple armor pocket mod and an improved chess piece. A grave digger mod. We can throw that on the axe there. Or the pickaxe, that'll get extra damage. Could also put them on the fire axe if I wanted. Either works. More vitamins. Let's see what else I missed in this place. A grill. Alright, there's not much in this POI. Certainly not many books, but there was other things in here. Bog picks, nice. Right, let's take a bicycle ride up the north road here. Tools Digest here with some more log picks, nice. Alright, let's see where this road takes us. Hey, a BDU bomb. This road goes on for a while, like, <laughs> we have gone a good length away from that red marker. We're two kilometers away from the red marker, meaning we're about three kilometers away from my base. Hey, I see civilization ahead, and it looks like it's in this biome as well, that's helpful. I think I'm seeing Trader Jen's compound as well, but it could be the fire station. Alright, we got a Trader Hugh up here. This looks like a pretty decent sized city, or town. Let's have a quick look through here then. <laughs> We get a forge ahead in here, possibly one in here, oh, an antibiotic, that's also quite helpful. And another forge ahead. Hammers, ooh, glue, nice. There's usually a first aid kit in here, or a medical kit. Any of these lootable? Nope, they're all empty, that's unusual. Where's his uh, ammo box thing? Couple of mags for the pipe machine gun. Any of these got anything I can loot? Military clothes rack, another bidu bottom, military fiber, fucking worthless. Uh, let's talk to Hugh, see if he has anything I want to buy. Uh, let's see, he's got one big hitter, which I'll buy. Something. Need like four more. Everything else. Ooh, nerdy glasses would be good, but I do not have 3k jukes right now. Uh, when does he reset? Day 10. Okay, so the goal is to get 3k jukes before day 10. So we can get those nerdy glasses. Plus the red dye would be nice. Uh, I can probably do that. To be honest, if I just keep playing the way I've been playing, but save a bit more money. That's probably pretty doable. It's unfortunate that he is like three kilometers away though, so I'll have to make plans to make that kind of a journey. Right, let's go into the town and see if there's maybe another trader or anything immediately useful. There's going to be a cement mixer here, but I'm not going to be able to get to it, thanks to fucking biker guy over there, but I'll come back for it. Give me the rest of these mailboxes. Bar brawl or whatever. We have to be careful. Zombies actually spawn in this part of the BY here, so if I got a stone, can I get one stone please, game? I need um, Mr. Biker to piss off over there. Did he just ignore that entirely? There we go, he's following it, I think. While well, he does that, grab the cement mixer for my free forge ahead. While well, I'm here, I'll check the service truck as well. Tools digest and some iron. Check the mailbox. The other mailbox. Machine gunner. And a book I can sell. See what else we can find before it's night time. Another sellable book. Now, the trailer park right next to me would be good, but I don't feel like fighting the dog right now, but there is like four or five mailboxes there, so keep that in mind if you're trying to do a similar thing as me. There's one big hairs. Some ski goggles. Those are actually worth a decent amount of money. Exploding arrows and bolts is very useful. Probably won't do it early on, but later on that is quite good. 10% more damage against deer. Meh. Let's fight this one guy. Night Stalker, yeah, 5% more XP from kills at nights. That's just more XP from horde nights. That's 
meh, pretty useful. Caper, ooh. Night Stalker again, bladed weapons. Uh, this has an ammo box in it here, right? Shotgun shells. Is this the one with the cement mixer at the front, or am I thinking of the wrong house? I think I'm thinking of the wrong house. Spear Hunter, we'll just sell that. There's a wasteland biome over there, that's good to know about at least. We might find some testosterone extract in that house when I want to make a cigar. Look, I don't need. Wiring Sniper. Mailbox here. Spear Hunter. I mean, it is money and I do need it for nerdy glasses. Right, well, what I'm going to do is just cycle back to my house for now, but there is a lot of good stuff in this town, so I'll keep that in mind. But it is a big time commitment to come here, you know, four kilometers away, uh, just for some books that I can definitely find in my starting area. Anyway, don't worry about me dying during the night. I can outcycle anything, so it's just not a problem. Uh, I just have to spend the next, like, 15 minutes doing it, but you don't have to watch that. In the next episode, we'll continue on with my quest to get a decent weapon and maybe get enough money for those nerdy glasses as well. Let me know if you're still enjoying the series, and in the meantime... Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today, we are going to be trying to get nerdy glasses, which are going to require 3,000 dukes. Now, I have a few basic things here to sell to Trader Joel, but this might be quite difficult to do because I have to get 3,000 dukes before the end of the day, and I'm only at 1,000 so far. But we're not going to make any money just standing here talking about it, so let's go see how much this is worth first. One thing I also need to account for is how far away the trader who actually has them is. He is a comfortable, what was it, 4 kilometers? Yeah, 3.8 kilometers away. So I'm going to have to leave at like 6 p.m. Ah, yeah, we can't sell anything. Okay, so a good way of making money would definitely be scrapping. That can get you engines and batteries, which will get you a lot of money, but there's kind of a lot of RNG involved there. But you can sell gas and springs and oil and scrap polymer. I don't have a particular need for a lot of these because I'm not going to be building a base, so I don't need to save any of these things for traps. So this might be a solid way to make money. The only problem is the 50% block damage does apply to these vehicles, so it does take a hot minute to break them down. An alternative solution would be to get some lockpicks and go and hunt down some ATMs. That might be smarter. Let me go check what lockpicks I have. And then we'll go into the town center and have a look for some ATMs. I've seen a couple for sure. If we can get those open, I can get a bunch of cash. I can also craft my own lockpicks now, anyway. So that will work quite well. Let me see. Oh, there's some forged iron. There's some mechanical parts. There's more forged iron. There's five lockpicks. Oh, and a diamond. I forgot I had that. Vitamins aren't doing much for me, neither are steroids, which are actually pretty good value. 50 pair, that's pretty solid. Let's have this make me some lockpicks. 20 will be a solid addition to my stuff there. Let's go and cycle into the town here. I'm a little bit stuck on the terrain. See if there's any ATMs. There is a pawn shop right over there, which I'm pretty sure has an ATM at it, but I might be wrong. Also, I'm not sure if I've collected the mailboxes in this little area, so there could be a bunch of free books for me as well. To fight this one guy... Oh, there's a dog. I'm going to take out an alternate strategy of first verifying if there is an ATM. There is not, so there's no point stopping here. Let's continue over here. I doubt the fire station's gonna have one. Any ATMs at this, like, gas station thing here? Doesn't look like it. Of course, on the rare occasion I actually want to find one, I never can. Hey, burned guy. Ow. Alright, let's have a quick check over here and then I'll go into the actual downtown area where I'm bound to find one. Because if I get lucky, that could probably pay for the nerdy glasses itself, which would be nice. But like I said, there is luck involved. Who's chasing me? Bo, go away. Well, oh, stamina. Run away. I wanted those mailboxes, but I can circle back around. Surely the Super Shamway would have an ATM at it. Not on the outside. Right, well, let's go over here. Never run out of bullets again, get brass from doors. Okay, very helpful. I genuinely have no idea how the ATM has suddenly become the rarest thing in this game. They are literally everywhere. What has happened? Oh, a gas station. That might be a good chance. Hang on if I search this. I have not. Damage to wolves. Meh. The old wash has a vending machine. Those sometimes have ATMs next to them, but not this time. Maybe on the side? Oh, doesn't look like there's an ATM here either. Life is pain. 
Okay, so it seems like all the ATMs in this town have decided collectively that they don't exist. I hate when things do that. Hold on, I see a gas station back there. Might get lucky. I mean, surely a truck stop would have an ATM. Oh, it also has a cop. There is an ATM. However, I'm going to have to kill half the population of this world just to get to it. It might be smarter to try and use stealth or lead them away. Get them, get them away from this building and then I'll just circle back around. I'll do this and I'll get like 51 cash. That's just how it is. I got any stones on me? I don't, but I can get some. Right, so there's still a cop wandering around, but I can probably distract him with a rock. I don't think he heard that one. Here he goes. That's right, go punch that car. Let's unlock this. If it doesn't work, I swear to God. I do need to run back and get all my other lockpicks anyway, but God, that would be annoying. Who broke? Oh my God. There we go. How much we got? 600, which is worth about 800 dukes. That's probably better than what I would have gotten from trying to scrap cars, unless I got really lucky with a level 6 battery. Oh, there's a zombie behind me, even though I cleared this place out. Clearly. Uh, that's fine. Let's go down to Trader Gen, sell her some things, and then I'll go get my lockpicks. And then I'll probably just head up to the town where Hugh is, so that I can guarantee if I hit the money, I can just be there, get the Nerdy Glasses, and then I can focus on getting club magazines. I imagine I'm about... 2,300 dukes right now with what I have. It's not going to be worthwhile, by the way, to get sugar butts because sugar butts cost uh, 300 and they give you a 10% discount, which means that if I spent 300 on sugar butts, it would reduce the price of the nerdy glasses by 300. So you're not actually getting a discount there unless you happen to have the sugar butts without buying them, in which case share that knowledge with the class because that's not a thing you can do <laughs> unless you stole them from your friend. Which, I mean, crime is a valid way to get discounts, I suppose. But that makes you a criminal. Hey, Jen. Buy Even some shit from me. I've got just what the doctor ordered. Oh, we've got it. We're good. <laughs> I underestimated how much I could have sold all that for. Apparently. 4,000 dukes. Do you have anything good, Jen? Nothing I feel like using my money on. So let's go see Trader Hugh. He has the nerdy glasses I need. We have enough money for it. That was actually quite easy. I might go and get the lockpicks anyway because those ATMs are going to be a solid source of money on this playthrough. Normally, I think ATMs are pretty much worthless because using your cash to craft shotgun shells is usually a better use of your cash in the base game. But because I'm playing without quests, getting money is incredibly hard. And to add to that, as if it wasn't bad enough that you have lost all that potential income, you also have 50% block damage in this challenge, which means scrapping probably the second best source of making money after quests, is also shit until the late game. So, treasure hunting and ATMs, despite being completely worthless to me in the base game, might be a decent way to make money. Does that make them good? No. Because I've had to not only tie one arm behind my back, I've tied all five of my arms behind my back. And that's what it took to make those mechanics useful. But yeah, I'll be able to get to Trader Hughes before... He closes today, even on this bloody bicycle. And accounting for me going on this little trip. Oh, there was an ATM there for fuck's sake. Why is Arlene still fucking chasing me? What's your problem? Right, let me try my luck at this ATM. First try. Oh, and we got 14,000 dukes worth of cash there. Not bad. Yeah, I got some books there. Do I want to read this one? Yeah, I want to craft 9 mil AP at some point, probably. Bench quality 3. I'll probably just wait until at least five probably just wait until i get a ratchet or an impact driver although my main source of getting better scrapping tools is generally quests and i find getting scrapping tools to be quite difficult so maybe i will actually craft those there's my lock picks i got some spare food lying around yeah that'll do right let's head up to trader hugh and buy those nerdy glasses from him and then spend the rest of the day hunting down books in that town. Where is it? Oh yeah, four kilometers to the north. This is going to be a very long cycle for me, but at least you don't have to watch it, right? All right, here we are at Trader Hughes, and he's gonna give me my nerdy glasses. Now, those aren't the most important thing for me right now, but it's kind of like the beaker, where if you see them, probably get them, because when you want them, the game will refuse to give you them. So I'm applying the same logic there. Let's sell him some of the other stuff I have here. Some of my money back. There we go. Has he got anything else I want to buy? 
Yeah, I'm good. Right, so let's have a look around this town for more books. Because that's the main thing now, is just getting enough club books. Oh, I have a skill point. Uh, getting enough club books to make a level 3 baseball bat. I've been told that the developers have changed how they work, so now your baseball bat, even at level 1, should always be better than a wooden club. That's nice and all, but I still want to wait until at least level 3 to make one so I don't waste too many materials, because I'll make a level 3 and I'll just keep that until I can make like a level 3 steel club, and then I'll make a level 5 steel club if I don't find a level 6 very soon. So we need 3 more books and I'll finally be able to get away from this bloody wooden club, which is the bane of my existence. It kills zombies in 4 hits, which is like better than what most weapons are going to be able to do on Insane Nightmare. At least with reference to how much stamina you use, of course, you could probably kill a zombie with two hits of a sledgehammer, but that would probably take the exact same amount of stamina, so I'd rather have the safety of the club and the extra knockdown stuff that it has as well. Not that sledgehammers are bad for knockdown either, but I just prefer clubs. Alright, let's have a look around for any mailboxes or ATMs as well, of course. Or a newspaper stand. I'll sell that at least. Oh, this one has an ATM, I think. Yep, it does. And I've got like 20 lockpicks, so I should be good this time. I don't know what I need the money for right now, but given how hard it is to get on this challenge, might as well amass it while I'm here. There's another 1,200 dukes worth. That's pretty good. Let's keep searching. You might find another one over here as well. No, the forever video doesn't have an ATM. You're telling me that the Blockbusters ripoff accepts cards? Sure, game, sure. Wouldn't be surprised if the fucking Blockbuster ripoff was accepting Roman Denarius, to be honest. Ooh, there should be a cement mixer over here. I'm interested in seeing if the bowling alley has an ATM, though. It does. Yeah, that makes sense. The target audience for ATMs and bowling alleys are the same people, so makes sense. Right, like five lockpicks later, there's another 900 cash. Hey there, cement mixer. Forge ahead, thank you. Might even wrench this for some free forged iron. Gotta be careful though, there is a dog in that little ditch there. Sometimes it gets stuck though, but I still don't want to risk it. There we go. What else is around here? A massive wasteland mountain. That is a thing that is here. I want to do absolutely nothing with that information though. Ah, bullshit, I need that bloody baseball bat. To be fair, if I went into the wasteland, as dangerous as it is, I would probably find decent loot, but I'll wait until I'm a bit higher level and have a couple of decent guns as well. Uh, tools Digest, cool. I didn't read it there for some reason. There we go. Uh, another batter up, not the one I need though. Because welcome to 7 Days to Die, that's how it works. The book you need, very specifically, has a 0% chance of dropping until you've read another 100 books you don't care about. It's the law. It's hard-coded into the game. Don't ask me how they do that, they just do. Any useful stuff over here? Whatever this even is. Oh, it's a radio station. Hey, get away from me. Ah, we're in the wasteland. Get away. You know, if I could, like, jump to the end loot in there, I'd probably get some really good stuff, but I'm not sure where the end loot is on that POI specifically, and I don't feel like fighting radiated zombies with a wooden club, so I won't. Ooh, that might be the good warehouse. Let me check. Oh, I don't think it is. Or perhaps I'm just looking at it backwards. It's also a very real possibility. Yeah, it's not the one I'm thinking of, but I will stick my head in and see if there's any cement mixers. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, run away. There's at least four million zombies in there, I can tell. Is this another one of these roadworks? I mean, surely there's an ATM at Big Buns. They're not accepting cards here, are they? Surprisingly, no, they're not. You'll have to bring your own cash. Yeah, this isn't one I've read. Uh, open, sorry. I can make bellows, that's pretty nice. Uh, Tools Digest, nice. Bunch of extra forged iron is also very helpful. Ah, there had to be mailboxes right next to this one guy, didn't there? Let's fight him. Great heist book I can sell. One big hitters and one vehicle adventures. And the final batter up I need. So I can now make the metal chain mod, which is really good because it gives you extra knockdown, which is what the club excels at anyway. But much more importantly, completing the batter up skill tree, or skill book volumes, at whatever you call it, uh, you get your full stamina refill from powered attack kills with your clubs, which is easily like top three most overpowered effects in this game. So that's going to help considerably. I should run out of stamina a lot less now, especially once I actually get that um, baseball bat. It might seem insignificant, but being able to kill like three or four zombies in an open fight will allow me to do incredible things in terms of my progression anyway. I'm not gonna cure any diseases. 
So keep an eye on my stamina as I kill this guy. Full refill instantly. And the nice thing about that is it also doesn't cost you any food or water to regenerate that stamina. So there's an added sort of uh, benefit that you might not have thought of, which is you'll save a lot of food not regening all your stamina on melee attacks. Yet another reason clubs are really good. They're also just like the most food efficient thing you can use to kill someone with. I mean, some people don't think that way. Some people don't consider food efficiency when it comes to clubbing someone to death with a wooden object. I'm just different. I believe they call it insane, actually. Uh, there is usually a cement mixer here. Hello. Another forge ahead book is always welcome. Here we go. Why am I hungry again? Cat food it is. I mean, it's probably just tuna. I just don't think about it too much. Let's break this as well while I'm here for extra forged iron. By the way, you don't get forged iron from broken workbenches anymore unless they unpatch that. Did they change it? Yeah, it looks like you don't get forged iron from those. I am still correct about that. Not a bad source of regular iron, which is pretty easy to turn into forged iron if you already have a forge, but... Oh, did I piss off everyone inside? Yeah, the 12 forged iron is probably not worth fighting all these guys. Let's continue. I need more books. Scrapping for fun. Curious fists. Ew. Give me things I actually need. Shotguns I will accept. I might use shotguns. Right then, well, I don't have much time before sundown and I'm still not kind of capable of fighting at night. Probably very quickly take on this place and then cycle home and try and take on some of the harder PYs in my town now that I have this ability, I think. We tracked anyone else? Nope, we're good. Let's check if this place has any books inside it. It has so much potential for bookcases, I can clearly see that, but none of them actually spawned. You bought all these bookcases and didn't put any books in them. Typical. I mean, why the fuck would you even use a bookcase anyway? You have a phone. I'm cooking weekly. That's suspiciously clipping with the ground. Right, well, looks like no luck here. I'll go see if there's any other mailboxes nearby, but I'm probably just going to cycle home. But at least we got the nerdy glasses today. That was my main objective for this day, at least. So once I do go back to leveling my intellect, or once I start to, I suppose would be the correct term, I will be in a better place. Oh, this is the trailer park. Okay, let's maybe try and raid this really quickly. Yep, I expected that. Come here. At least get these mailboxes. Big hitters. I'll read the armor book, but I've never crafted armor in this game. Tech junkie I can sell. Oh, hey, one guy. Hey, he dropped candy. Well, that was just rude. Some ammo. Well, at least I broke even when, on my ammo here. Uh, what piece of armor is broken? Do I have any cloth? I've got a bandage. That'd probably work. Mailbox. Armored up. That's nah, kind of shit, but it's fine. Could loot these actual buildings, but there's no rush. The loot's only going to get better. Books aren't really a leveled loot, so you may as well just get what books you can, when you can. Yeah, but I'll probably spend the rest of the episode down in my normal town. Ooh, that might have a mailbox. Uh, and that will just save a lot of travel time and stuff. Marble, or I already know. At least I can sell these. These are a solid source of income. So I'm going to cycle home. Again, you don't have to watch that. Don't worry about me dying. I can outcycle everything. And in the morning, we'll go out into my normal town and try and find enough books to at least make a level 3 baseball bat. Uh, maybe I'll save it till the end of the episode and see if I can maybe make a level 4 or 5 if I get lucky on the books. I doubt that given past results, but you never know. So I'll cut to that for you. All right, it's the next day. I've got some extra lockpicks here. Let's go and find a PY to take on that I might find some damn books in. Maybe some of the ones I've been avoiding, like the vet. It's not known for being fantastic for books, but I do also need a bit of testosterone extract, and this is a medical adjacent PY, so it should have a decent chance of giving me that, and it's quite near the trader, which is convenient. So let's go in here. Some dukes and cash, nice. Nurse is going to attack me. Oh. I got stuck on a stool. Anything in here? Coal. I mean, better than mining it. Medical journal and a painkiller. There's a snake in here. I got a knife on me? I do. Give me the meat. Tech planet, I'll just read that because I might want a drone later. Filing cabinet. Home cooking weekly, we can make vegetable and meat stew. Nice. Let's try this wall safe. I do have like 30 lockpicks now, so it does make sense. 200 cash, some shotgun shells, some leather. I'll take the cash at least. Right, I'm expecting a dog here, but I'm also expecting a zombie. 
And I don't know which one's going to come first. Hi. Well, we've got multiple to deal with. Okay, so is there going to be a dog? Or is it in this next section over here? No dog? Maybe there's a dog later in the POI then. Is this going to make me fall? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and not do that. Let's break down a door. Bookcase here. Just some paper. That's unfortunate. Anyone in the kitchen? Okay, that's the later part. What about back over here? Okay, I think I'm mostly clear. Let's have a quick look. There's some books up here. Wiring, I mean, might be useful. Murky water. More murky water. Always welcome. Nothing much really going on in here. Right, so I'm expecting an absolutely infuriating fight out here. Involving at least one dog. I got frames on me. I mean, this isn't a clear quest. I have no reason to actually go in there, do I? Why not just go to the end loop? Let's see, great heist. 10% more damage to safes. It's a small boost. It could be useful. It could also not be. Another grave digger. I'll just put that on my axe. Use that to bash up in this other loot. Two skill points to spend. Maybe one in that and one in minor 69er. And keep up with my pipe bomb crafting very easily. As long as I have pipe bombs, I can do anything. Hey, I'm each too. And handgun magazine. Doesn't look like there's anything good in there. There is a biker who I don't want to fight, so I'm just going to leave. No batter up books, unfortunately, but hey, we got other stuff. Let's go talk to the trader. I have some things to sell. And then we can continue with my more brave looting. Hey, Joel, you probably reset today, right? No good books, unfortunately. Nothing good, actually. Well, I'll just sell some things to him. It's fine. Maybe we could go up to Trader Jen. She's not a particularly far away trader. She's only 800 meters away or something. She might have other stuff. Let's put a marker on her. I'll drop off some stuff back at my base, and I'll go and see if there's any other POIs I want to do on my road to Trader Jen there. Oh, you know what? There is a savage country in the town center, which have a bonus chance of giving you clubs and bows. And so that might be something worth looking into, but it's a tier three and I don't know if I can really take a tier three. It might just beat the shit out of me, which would be unfortunate. Uh, let me go empty my do collector, by the way. Oh, and I want to check something. Are the farm plots on this house real? Because some houses have real usable farm plots. Some just have decorational ones that don't actually work. Well, let me see if I've got any seeds. Not that I'll really be able to harvest much right now because I would get like less than I spent on a seed to get it. But farming could be something I do later, maybe. There's a bunch of seeds. Give it a chest. Ah, they are real. Cool. Okay, this house has built-in farm plots. I'll have to break some blocks first to use them. Well, actually, no, I only have to break blocks to use the ones that are that tall. Underneath the window, I'm pretty sure I can use something like potato. Oh, no, potato requires two blocks, doesn't it? What uses one? Does nothing require... Oh, no, it's not even going to work with one because these are on the block where you farm. So, yeah, you will have to take these out. There we go. I had just enough seeds to fill up all these slots. Is there any on the other side? No. Okay. Still got a little garden going there now. I don't think it'll ever be worth using, but hey, maybe I'll need something and I'll be able to get it from that. Let's see, did I get the loot out of the back side of this house, by the way? Looks like I did. Uh, this POI is probably pretty manageable. I just have to take down the pigs. The pigs have spotted me. These creatures are unkillable. Ow. Alright, time to cycle away. No, they gave me an abrasion, really? Ah, oh, pigs. I'll get them. I will. Pipe machine gun's just a bit shit. I'll cure that with a first aid kit, because I have a bunch of spare ones. And it'll cure the actual abrasion faster. Those pigs are still chasing me. There we go. Uh, have I got any cloth on me? No, but I'll keep an eye out for that. There is a lot of meat though, that's something. Let's go see what this POI has to offer, in particular what it has in terms of books. It is a house, so there should be occasional bookcases. Hey, there's another guy there, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna cycle away now. This is my life, welcome to Insane Nightmare. Stamina's a bitch. Where'd the other guy go? Did he bleed out? I guess he did. Rifles, leather, oh, two more zombies, fun. Hey, a lucky head pop. Oh, fucking lumberjack. Nope. Well, 
What a waste of ammo this place has been. Some books down here. Anyone else in this area? Another one behind her as well. Football helmet. I'm sticking with my padded for the mobility. Magnum Enforcer. Yeah, that's probably going to be good to get extra discounts if I can find a 44 weapon at some stage. Some food and water. Home cooking weekly. Getting a good amount of those at least. Another one. Ah! That's close. Assuming that's everybody in here then. Any engine? Nope. That open. To be very careful here, but it's usually pretty easy to handle it well. Run away to come outside. Who else is in here? Ah, there you are. That's a pedal, isn't it? Oh no, it's just the light being weird. Fair enough. Guessing that's everybody if I'm able to stand up and attack people in here and not die. So, let's see what the end loot has. Tools Digest, cool. Tools Digest and Home Cooking Weekly. Urban Combat, nice. A mod, which could probably go on something useful. My axe. Uh, rifles and fists. Well, that sucks. It's like it forgot to boost the club magazines in my loot table. Right, well, let's go around and see Jen. My inventory's full of stuff. What are you selling, Jen? First aid bandages, pretty cheap. Same with the aloe cream. Bellows, but a bit of a waste. I can make my own. Nerdy glasses. Well, I was rushed for no reason, clearly. Otherwise, nothing. Not even any good books. Nothing I want to spend money on anyway, no. Well, that sucks. I'm not going four kilometers to go look at Trader Hugh, though. Let's have a look around this area, see if there's any better POIs. That place may have a couple of good books in it. Let's go over there. Anything in this here? Working stiff tools crate, that may be worth my time. An anvil, nice. That's a lot of iron to save, not having to make my own. Cooking weekly. Can make steak and potato meals, nice. Hello there. Nope, I woke up another one. Spear, some ammo, some steroids, bow hunters, and two duct tape. I am just not gonna fuck with anything on that side because there's no books there and I don't feel like falling through the floor. Home cooking weekly. We make yucca juice smoothies and beer. Those are pretty good cooking items, to be fair. Now, this area could be quite dangerous. There's a lot of rooms all converging on you at once. Try and lure one zombie out at a time. I didn't lure one zombie out at a time. I took that guy's leg off. That kind of works in my favor. Did they both die? I think they both died. Right, who else is around here? We've got one in the bathroom, one there. Okay, any more in these rooms? Ah, yes, there's one at least. Oh, bullshit. Eat the meat stew. Needed a bit of food and water anyway. Anybody in this room? No. Oh, yeah, there's one here. Alright, so for the attic, I'm just gonna go up. Wake everybody up. And apparently get myself killed. That happens every single time I go through that door. Oh, ladders and hatches. You're nothing but pain. We have wasteland treasures, purify water. Eh, could be good. Uh, peas, some mods, some meds. I got my painkiller back at least. Have I got any water? Yeah, I'm gonna need to drink that because the painkiller does have a tendency to eat all of it. Oops, skill point. Let's get some more mother load. That'll make mining way more tolerable. And there's the big hitters. I need to at least make a quality three baseball bat, but I'll wait until the end of the day. Might be able to make a four. You never know. Doesn't seem like it. I mean, it's going at a snail's pace. Oh, I'm gonna need uh, six more. Yeah, that's probably not gonna happen, but I'll see what I can do. A couple of other containers that are of value to me in here. I'm cooking weekly in a blueberry pie. And stash with a tactical warfare. Some better boots, it looks like. And that's most of what you're gonna get in there. Oh, missed this. Hang on. Vehicle adventures. That would have been annoying if I'd missed that. Well, I wouldn't have known, but now I know. I managed to drop some stuff back at my base, clearly. I have too much shit. Yeah, you know what? I find it very unlikely that I'm going to find that many batter up books in the next few in game hours, so I think I will just make that baseball bat. I don't know why it's being so difficult to get baseball bat magazines. I have three points in it, but it's only at 24. Compare that to harvesting tools, which is at 38, or food, which I don't even have points in, or workstations, which I don't have points in, or vehicles, which is doing pretty well even without points as well. I wonder if they broke it. 
Right, shit dropped off. Let's see where else I can loot around here. I know the Hunig residence is usually pretty good for books. You'll get a couple of bookcases in there. But you also get a biker at the end, and a biker will kill me very easily. So I would have to be quite careful. But I also do have my gun. But I could probably take it. I'd just rather not. Oh yeah, I should make the baseball bat. Give it a test run. Completely forgot about that. Baseball bat. 40 forged iron, 2 leather, 2 duct tape. I definitely have that. And if I don't, I can definitely make that much iron anyway. There we go. Craft that in my inventory. That'll take 3 minutes. Wonderful. Hey, yeah, there's this house again. The one I just cleared, but now it's here. Let's see if I can do it a bit more intelligently this time. Oh, an engine. Nice. Tools digest. Cool. Hey, lucky head pop. Hey, another lucky head pop. Okay, meds in here. Medical journal, cool. I mean, once you have first aid bandages, it's not all that worthwhile to get anymore. Unless you're on uh, multiplayer. Or I guess if you're playing on really shitty loot settings, making your own medicine would be more valuable. But I just wouldn't do that. <laughs> Who else is there? I've not broken through their doors yet. Mo, come here. And you... Okay, she's dead. Probably someone hiding in here. But then this time, I'm not going to let myself actually come off the ladder. Yeah, there we go. That's way easier. Let's get stuck on this doorway here. Case, vehicles. Oh, med hiding under there. Hang on. Medical journal and more painkillers. What's in the end loot? Art of mining, I already know, and a fire mod. I'll put that on my baseball bat when it's crafted. Shotgun weekly and a scope. A shotgun and some ammo crafting supplies. Medical journal and more painkillers. At least the game's given me loads of those. Right, let's switch over to the baseball bat. Let's compare the damage really quickly. 23 versus 16. And then for the more important one, the power attack is 30, is 44 versus basically 29. But we can also put mods on here. So let's get bleed and fire. Scrap the club at no value to me now. So this is going to be a lot better. This is in here before we leave. Hey, there's books here. Of course, I get a big hairs now. Wiring 101 in the hidden stash. Machine gunner. And a lot of money's worth of uh, silver. That's good. College jacket. Nice. That'll give me a run speed bonus, which is very useful on the settings, of course. Right, let me go drop some of this loot off and then we'll take on that last POI I want to do today. Give the baseball bat a test run. Hey, there's a guy standing over here. Let's hit him in the head. Two shots, pretty good. Let's give it a bit more of a test run in here, though. Pretty good. Dead in two hits as well. Now we can properly take on multiple zombies at the same time. Still have to be careful because my armor's slightly shit, but like it's tolerable. How did he hit me? I was mid-air. Oh, no stamina. Door, please. Ow. He hit me with everything. That lady was very disease. Pretty sure I've got plenty of antibiotics though, so I should be good. Not about honey, but like I have actual antibiotics. Hey, zombies. Ah, oh, you're behind me. What the fuck? Cheating. Right, so for here, I'm gonna fight them on this level, because that seems like the safest thing to do, because this is where the biker usually is. In that back room there. Just blast him. He's basically just a feral. With a bit of armor. Oh good, he's crawling. I'm sorry, where was the stagger on that hit game? I want my money back. We got a bandolier mod here. It's pretty helpful. Especially when it takes seven years to reload your best shotgun. Some meds to make up for all the bullshit hits I'm taking. I don't know if there's anything upstairs worth fighting about, but I might just do it anyway. Two tools digest and electrical traps. And the lab equipment box has a beaker. Of fucking course it does. I spend 1500 on a beaker and the first lab box I open has one. Seven days to die. Anything else in the kitchen here? There's a cooking pot, but those aren't of particular value to me anymore. 
see if I can get up here and only activate some of the zombies. Hi. Oh, big lag spike. Okay, there we go. I think we're cleared in here now. This house is pretty good for things with forged iron in it that you can scrap downstairs. Where's that um foot locker? What do you have? Ah, lucky goggles, but the shittest variant and they're not that helpful anyway. I think that's all I need to do right now. It's good to know I've got a bunch of extra springs and cloth in here if I need it though. Yeah, the, the baseball bat, aside from that one time it just didn't stagger a zombie, which is just game being the game, it's pretty good. In the next episode, we will... I don't know, what do we want to do here? Let's see, what am I going Maybe work towards getting a mini bike. But I know as soon as I start actually wanting vehicle magazines, they will disappear off the face of the air. And I will find 15 club magazines, because that's how the game works. But it does make sense to maybe get a good vehicle and a good gun next. Those are the two main things. Now, the mini bike is obviously not a good vehicle, but it's better than a bicycle. And I might be a long time before I can get a actual motorcycle because I'm not going to be particularly specced into intellect very quickly. But maybe that isn't the case. But either way, I'm going to have to get minor 69er essentially out of the loot table before vehicles can really do much in the loot table themselves. So maybe the goal should just be to find as many tools digests as possible as quickly as possible so that I can then play the rest of the game because they will completely oversaturate most of the tool loot. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea though. The next thing I am going to build up is my intellect and I will go for Grease Monkey. Just get vehicles quickly. Once I have a motorcycle, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I'll I'll live with a motorcycle. I like the gyrocopter, but I'll live with a motorcycle for however long I have to. But yeah, we're making decent progress. It'll probably be a safe day 14 horde as well. I'll sit on a roof with some pipe bombs and a shotgun and survive. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today is very rainy. You gotta love the weather in this game, but... Oh, there's a vulture horde. Uh-oh. Right, well, let's try and deal with that. There, now that I've wasted all of the ammo, and gotten a bunch of feathers at least, um, we can continue with what I was saying. Today we're going to be trying to continue to get various kinds of magazines. In particular, the ones I want the most are going to be vehicles and some kind of weapon, probably shotguns. So with that in mind, I should probably get some points in Boomstick, but also I should consider leveling Grease Monkey a little bit. But the thing is, with Grease Monkey, I'm just going to find a lot more harvesting tools than I am vehicle books, because that's just how it's going to be with how the loot tables are balanced with regards to how many points I have in Minor 69er. It's just going to overpower the loot table. So maybe just... Oh, there's another dead vulture. Maybe just hope for uh, vehicle magazines, but really just try and get as many tools and associated magazines just out the table as I can. I mean, it would be nice having an auger. I am on 50% block damage, so like good tools are very much welcome. They're just not a top priority compared to like a good gun and a good vehicle, which would do a lot for me in terms of being able to take on further away POIs and carry more loot and fight harder POIs as well. Have I got lockpicks on me? I don't. Let me go get lockpicks. Those are important because I can't just bash through things on this setting. The 50% block damage makes that pretty much impossible until I get an auger. So lockpicks are actually useful. There we go. 28 lockpicks is a good start. That means I can actually do tier 3 POIs now because I'll be able to fight the zombies with my baseball bat and I'll be able to actually unlock the end loot. So maybe we should find some tier 3s to take on. Uh, I'm not 100% sure where those will be, but I'll have a look. Hang on, there's a police car here. I might get a good bit of ammo from this. Oh, I've already looted that one. Well, okay. I'll have a look for another police car while I'm out here, though. Could definitely use more 762. This house is only a tier 2. It's huge. Hmm. There is a tool store here. Is this any good? Ah, it's a tier 0. Oh, I've angered a zombie inside. One moment. Yeah. Might be worth taking a look in here. There's one skill point. I think I'm going to favor shotguns over vehicles right now because the loot table is just going to be oversaturated anyway. Ah, working vending machine. Cool. Good to know. Hang on, there's a zombie over here I want to deal with as well. Oh, I'm hungry. Lovely. Didn't bring any food and that's a drinks vending machine so I'll have to keep an eye out for some. 
clear this place out then, and then I'll have a look and see if there's anything useful in here. Oh, there's a lot of materials in here, I think. Seeing stone and sandbags. Businessman, hello. Anyone on the roof? There's a little path here. Can I jump up it? Not without parkour, but let's try that. Ah, there's a working set of tools up here. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Tools digest and two lockpicks. Cool, I can make steel tools of quality three. Might be worth doing if I can find the materials to do that, but I don't think I have the parts. Let's unlock the safe. Some 9mm and a Molotov. Weird thing to put in a safe, but okay. Knife guy. Not the most helpful. Another working set of tools back here, though. Another tools digest and two headlights. Those light bulbs are actually sellable for a decent amount. Anything useful back here? Is there a way into this? Oh, hello. Any zombies? Another tools digest there. At this point, most working sift tools crates are going to have a tools digest for me just because of how my perks are allocated. Wiring 101. Bottle of acid and some garbage, which is quite helpful because I'm not going to get any whole chemistry stations from... Oh, that's a soldier. I'm going to be a little bit more careful here. I'm not going to get any full chemistry stations from, like, quest rewards because I'm obviously not allowed to do quests. So keeping an eye on how much acid I have would be smart. Forge ahead and some more acid. Four steel tool parts, that's actually not bad. That's enough to make a level four steel pick if I was able to make those, obviously. It's probably pretty soon on the horizon considering how quickly my tools digest is getting leveled, though. All right, I've got probably... Oh, might have missed this. There we go. I've got probably all the useful stuff I'm going to get out of that tier zero POI. Let's continue searching for something a bit more lucrative. A tier 3 working sift tools would be really useful. I don't remember if I've got one around here, though. There's a tier 3 poppin' pills on my right. This place is tier 3 as well. Uh, a tier 3 savage country might be good as well, because I think they're better for finding clubs, because this game's weird. Well, there's a savage country. I think it's tier 3. It might even be 4. Tier 3, cool. And then there's a working sift tools next to it, which I think is also a tier 3. Oh, I missed these. Tools digest. Paper. Cool. I need some food. Hmm. Maybe go visit the trader, drop off some gear, get some food, and then come back and deal with those two POIs. Uh, what tier is the pawn shop? Three as well. I could probably do all three of these in today or maybe across these two days. I'm not sure. But let's go get some stuff. They're all going to be pretty good for various things that I do want. So that'll be helpful. I've got seven steel tool parts total, it looks like, unless some of them are split into other places, which they might be. But that means I could make two tier threes if I wanted to. I would just need the steel. The question is, is it worth it or should I just wait for fives? And I think I should just wait for fives. I have a blueberry pie, nice. I guess I'll be making a lot of grilled meat then. That's fine. It's a useful early game food source. Can't complain too much about it. Not great though. Right, let's head back out to those three POIs I found. Leave me alone. And then let's have a look inside here. Zombies, come fight me. Okay, how many of you am I going to have to deal with in here? Several. Ooh, wanna use feral, okay. Oh no, they just actually went through the fire, that makes sense. No one hiding in here? Is there anything up there? Hey, a weapons bag. Uh, hunting and three pipe bombs, not bad. Let's go clear out the roof as well then. Forge ahead, nice. See that one dog. There we go. See what's in the end loop. Uh, pipe rifle, that kind of sucks. Tools digest and pistol peat. A first aid kit, which is nice, and an iron breaker mod. Put that on my axe there. See, we got some other containers here though. Uh, tools digest and a stone shovel and another lock pick. Some 762 there, which is quite helpful. Another tools digest, five steel. Some water, some more water. Another uh, tool crate bag here. Tools digest, We're up to 50 of those. That's going quite well, at least. There's some more zombies to kill if I want extra XP and easier loot, though. Down here. There's one over there who's not 
really related to this. He can just fall down and I'll deal with him later. And there's usually one or two here as well. And is there any loot here? Just the weapons bag. This used to be where the end loot was in that. And then a big hitter. Let's fall down here. Where'd that one guy go? If I'm not mistaken, there's also like a weapons bag or something similar up where that one zombie was. Ah, ammo bag. Some 762 in it. Nice. Right, so now I can loot this place. I should break this door down though. Uh, or I could just get into a fight with a zombie in there. Hang on, there's a zombie outside as well. Where are they? Ah, there you are. Let's use the first stage bandage. Yeah, I think I'm going to take my chances with actually fighting the zombie that's up here. Because it seems easier than having to break through a thousand health door with an iron pick on 50% block damage. Fall down, open the door, turn around, fight him. Got another tool crate in this room here. Uh, get hammered. It's not all that useful stuff, to be honest. There are some more tool crates at the back, and I do also want to loot this other stuff. Uh, I'm focusing on the tool crates right now, so I don't forget any. So we've got, what, three in here? Four. Tools digest. We can make steel tools of quality four. Another tools digest. Another tools digest. And scrapping and fireman's almanac. Okay. Right then, so there's still a lot of good loot to be found in here, though, so I am going to get that. Cash register. Some money. Mostly the loot I'm looking for is in these shelves. These steel tool parts, great. Two lock picks. Another lock pick there. Oh, repair kit, nice. Two duct tape and a lock pick in there. Another duct tape there. Two more lock picks. I'm going to be swimming in them. Two more motor tool parts. Those will be useful later on. A level one wrench. And some iron nails to finish it off. Oh, wait, I missed a shelf. Some cloth. There's some meds on top of the vending machine. Medical journal, first aid bandage, and a cast. Lockpick in the bin, apparently. Uh, is this... Yeah, it's filled with trash, which could be useful. Money and wood. And shotgun parts, that is quite helpful too. I am over-encumbered. But I got a good amount of full magazines and various useful things. And there's more resources here if I need to get them. Like, for example, nitrate or wood. Stuff like that. Ah, I learned an elixir in a random shopping cart. Didn't know you could get that. Let's go dump some of this stuff off at my base because I'm already full. Right, let's go check out uh, maybe the Savage Country. I could get a lot of cloth out of that, which I don't need right now, but it is a extra useful thing about Savage Countries other than just the bonus bows, spears, and club magazines. Besides, I could get some red dye, and we all know I like that. Big hitters. Savage Countries are also a solid source of pocket mods. So that would be nice. Got a lockpick in that trash there. Steel club parts, nice. Right, let's have a look inside. I want to fight all the zombies at once, please. I'm feeling lazy. Look back. Nine mil. There's three of you in here. Another skill point, just more shotguns, please. Anybody hiding in here? Seems like a no. Right, let's go deal with the what I think is the final room anyway. There's one guy. Come here. We've attracted another one. Works for me. I mean, if we can just get them all to chain together. There's one hiding up there. Oh, I missed. Also drop her while I wait. Oh, there's two of you back there. While she sits like that, I'll also attract him. I think I'm clear, but let me go check the roof really quickly. No, no zombies, just a little bit of loot. Electrical traps and a reasonably expensive piece of armor I can modify and make even more expensive and sell that off to a trader for some dukes. Alright, so, end loot, what do you have? A uh, tech planet, a mod I can put on some armor to make it more expensive, for example. Look at the price of the mod, 38. Look at the price of the armor, 324. Almost doubles the value and that definitely was not the cost of the cooling mesh mod, so that's good. If we can find another one, it'll happen again. Some meds hiding here. Ooh, first aid kit. Uh, sharp sticks, ooh, big hitters, sewing kits, another big hitters, and I'm standing on another one of these. Another big hitter, see I was right about these. Some ammo. Any more hiding back here? Doesn't seem like it, let's, wait, there's this. Some clay, I can just dig clay. Medical journal and a bunch of meds. Right, so let's have a look in these back areas here. Gonna end up with a whole lot of extra cloth at least. What do you have in the gun display? Bit of ammo. Some mods and shotgun parts at least, that's useful. Let's just put the structural brace mod on my hammer. It won't do much, but it means I don't have to carry it around. It's a 
iron arrows, some shotgun shells, some more buckshot. There's also books here. Forge your head, cool. So side chest. Egg hitters, we can make a baseball bag quality four. I'll probably just wait for five or to make a steel club, I'm not sure. Any more bookcases or is it just clothes left? It looks to be just clothes, so I'll start gathering all this up. It takes ages to scrap, but it is worth it because you get so much cloth that you can just use for duct tape throughout the game. Suppose you could also sell these. They're like 8, 10, 50 dukes, depending on specifically what the clothing item is. But I'd rather have the cloth, to be honest. Some armor and sewing kits in that one. Alright, so I've looted all the containers in there, and as you can see, I've got a lot of cloth from this, plus a decent amount of leather there. Uh, which can be a bit of a bitch to get early on, so it'll be nice to have a nice stockpile of that. Just need to scrap the rest of these damn clothes. Takes seven seconds each, it's painful. I'm gonna cycle home because I don't want to be caught out here at night. And tomorrow we'll take on the pawn shop. And I'll probably have time for another POI. Looks like I could maybe get like two tiers these fully looted in a day. Which is funny because when it's quests and I don't bother looting, I can do like four or five of them. But when you actually bother to loot them, they do take ages. Normally, I would have no incentive to actually loot things, but now I don't have quests, so what the fuck else am I supposed to do in this game? You open boxes and have one of three reactions. Gah, that's annoying. Hmm. Oh hey, that's actually the thing I was looking for. Those, that, that's this game. Open boxes and have mild reaction simulator. Let's see, can I make some bellows? Duct tape. I've got nine water in there. Right, let's make a bellows. Where'd that anvil go? Oh, there's a thousand iron there. Anvil, where did I put you? There it is. Right, so I'm gathering up all my cloth and leather just to see how much of I have now. I have 4,000 cloth fragments now. About 3,500 of which came from that PY I was just in. So that's pretty good. That's, you know, 400 duct tapes worth or 400 bandages. Can't go wrong with that. Craft some more water here. I'll need more fuel. And take all this meat out. Forge, take the bellows and the anvil and some fuel and that, melt that down, cool. We place a box like there and I'll just have this be my cloth and leather box because I'm so incredibly cloth wealthy now. Alright, so I will sit here during the night. How many pipe bombs do I have by the way? 20 plus a little bit more, so that'll be enough for day 14 horde, hopefully anyway. Yeah, I've got 40, 20 in here as well, so... Good amount of those, so I shouldn't have to worry. So, during the night, I will just sort of wait for morning. Because going out is still a little bit dangerous. Petals are very scary. And I wouldn't want to get hit in the back of the head by one or get caught by a wandering horde out there. Let me drink some water really quickly. In the morning, we'll go back out and kill things. Loot buildings. Okay, so it is the next day. There is a dog over there that I will have to deal with in a moment. Uh, we're back here in the little town area because I want to take on the pawn shop. Now, I don't think I've done that in Alpha 21 since they changed it, so this could be pretty interesting. Apparently it's crowded down here. So where do we start? Not in the actual pawn shop. Do we start in the salon? Sure looks like it. Let's see who we can kill books that's a good sign they still hide in zombies behind those mirrors doesn't look like it uh grave digger mod cool who else is in here pissed off someone on the other side of the building it sounds like oh, i got a toilet pistol nice can actually use my nine mil now okay you got a bloody cheap shot some meat here because I am hungry and I could use the healing anyway. I am not falling down there, that is stupid. Let's go break down a door. 5,000 health, jeez. Let's find a weak point. Ah, this will work. Ah, but does it lead somewhere useful? Seems like it doesn't. Hey, a tool digest. And that's where the ceiling caves in. This seems still like a lot safer than having to blast my way through that wall. See somebody hiding back there. Is there a key? Oh, there could be a dog in here. That would suck. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to hit him and run away because I can't afford to let him hit me. Oh, off he goes. To be annoying somewhere else. Get him caught in the doorway a little bit. That's right. Follow me outside. 
That also works. Armored up. You're telling me there's no buttons in here? Why the damn hell not? Oh, this place is good for electricals. Good to know. Where are all the zombies hiding? Is it behind all these locked doors? This is all extremely suspicious. There's the end loot. So we have to go up. Okay. So how many zombies am I going to have to kill out of stealth? Because of the weird way it wants to do this. This fucking thing is going to make me fall into a room, isn't it? I'm just not going to do that. Simply refuse. Let's see. What's the weakest point of this? 3,000, 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. Hmm. Where's that door actually lead? Ah, behind extra thick walls. Love that. So what I'm assuming is going to happen here is zombies are in these little rooms. And as you fall into this room here, you have to open that up and it'll open up all the other doors and they'll come running out at you. Which is horse shit. So I'm going to try and do something a little bit different. Let's see, is there an easier site to do this from? Not really. Let's do this door then. See, this is another POI the fun pimps cooked up at their asshole school of level design. You can either bash down a door or you can go on a suicide mission. Which would you like? Oh, hello, Feral. Run away. Run away. Run away. Hi there. Ooh. And a cop, really? Yeah, he's gonna pop. I'm gonna go run outside now. Up out the window. Or not the window, the thing I made. There we go. Cop pop destroyed some of the loot, but what do you expect, really? Right, let's get the end loot. What an absolute kidney stone of a POI this is. Tools Digest, Sniper, some good armor that I can mod and sell with mods on it. D24 plus 67, of course, naturally equals 700, as we know. Shotgun Weekly, nice, I was actually looking for some of those. I'm only able to make pipe shotguns, but hey, it's progress. Uh, shotgun parts. Again, that'll be more useful later. Uh, sham. Wiring, electrical traps, a couple of mildly useful things. More damn clothes racks, as if I didn't have enough cloth already, but hey, I might run out, you never know. Right, let's hope that was all the last of the actual zombies in here. Wait, so these areas don't even have zombies in them. Does it just spawn guys behind you then? Fucked by this safe. The Ketters, Lucky Looter, find more dukes, nice. Better bone knife, but I have an iron hunting knife, so I should be good. Some 9 mil and some sledgehammer and club parts. Shotgun parts and a mod. Let's put another point into shotguns here. A first mod. I can also put that on guns if I want the guns to sell for more. But uh, if I had a good gun right now, I'd not be selling it anyway. Maybe if I found like a level 6 hunting rifle, I would mod that. But the problem is, is I can't even put a burst mod on that, so... Bunch of safes in here. Are any of them actually good? Uh, this one is. Really? You put four safes in here? Is that... No, wait, is that five? Oh, perspective is killing me. Yeah, four safes and one of them's real. Wow. Can you even open a safe with a lockpick? Is that a thing? I don't really know much about lockpicking. I'm just noticing a distinct lack of hole to put it in. <laughs> oh, a rad remover. That's pretty good. I'll put that on my uh, gun here. This is on burst mode now. I should remember that. But I shouldn't really be full autoing this anyway because the accuracy... Pretty much works like first shot is roughly on target, second shot's a bit wild. The third shot might as well be ricocheting into your leg. Oh, three lockpicks. Uh, is that all that's in here? Okay. Any extra loot hiding up in this uh, area? Maybe this is where the zombies sit. Up here, but I came up here and I didn't see them, so that seems unlikely. Halo books. Uh, shotgun Messiah 7, targets at full health, take 20% more damage. Uh, batter up that I can sell. Shotguns again. I can make a level 1 double barrel shotgun, but I don't know if that's strictly worth the materials to actually do. Another engine. I'm gonna go put some stuff on my bike, but I might need to make multiple trips out of this POI because it is filled with stuff. Alright, I've looted this place of pretty much everything I think is of value. Let's head back to my base, drop off some stuff, and then see if we can find another place to loot today. I'm interested in finding more gun-related POIs because I now have a very good chance of actually getting gun magazines and that would be quite helpful. Well, I missed another bloody ATM here. The $3 store has one. I mean, I won't complain. I still need money. This is a tier 3 as well. This might be worth something, but I don't know if you'll find guns in here. I know this game's set in America, but I don't know if the, uh, the equivalent of a dollar store is going to have many guns for sale. Let's see, 2,000 dukes worth, let's see. Can we see anything inside? More cloth if I need it, I suppose. Um, there, uh, Fucking hell, there, there is actually a gun rack back there. <laughs> but it's empty. 
I'm more interested in seeing the end loot though, because that's where you can see the actual crates, which are where the best stuff is. Uh, let's see if there's any other windows. Yeah, no other windows that were particularly useful to me. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep looking. I could pillar onto the roof of this passing gas. I don't have to kill everything, so there's not exactly the most reason to kill everything, you know? Although I think there's books in the lobby of this one. So I might do it anyway. What does the end loot have? Art of mining I already know, and some ammo and meds. I mean, it took me two seconds to get it, so I'm not going to complain. Some books, medical journal, let's fight these guys. More books. Magnum Enforcer, Craft AP44, and a Shotgun Weekly. Nice. We clear? I think I'm clear. So this has a bunch of passing gas containers, which kind of are what I'm looking for. If you remember, I am also looking for vehicle magazines, but yeah, realistically, they're just going to give me tools to digest. Scrapping, okay. I do have a point in that, so that does make sense, actually. Vending machine. Now, I think there's actually more zombies hiding in the back. Is there not a crate in here? Yeah, the shamway crate. Uh, chicken soup. And there's usually another one here as well, yeah. Home cooking weekly and some sham. Uh, more books here. Beer hunter, sell it. Retracting stock mod, also sell. Any more books? Here's another set of them. One vehicle adventures and a book I can sell. There's a lot of useful loot in here still, but I'm not going to use my time on it. Looking for shotgun focused loot. I could pillar up to the roof of the poppin' pills. It would probably have lab loot, but it's also very easy to get to, so it might be worth it. I think that's an abandoned shotgun messiah factory over there, but I don't think it's as good as you would imagine, because I think it's a tier zero, so it won't have much in it. Uh, okay, like, let's pillar up to the roof. Oh, did I go to the exact wrong one? Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, the, the exact wrong side, anyway. There's a mutated zombie up here, but I can probably take him. Ooh, a feral light, though. Jeez. Oh, it's a feral mutated zombie as well. It's not even a normal one. Well, I love that for me. Let's hope he staggers. Here we go. Feral light. You're also really dangerous. I shouldn't be doing this, but whatever. Knocked down already! Oh, god damn, I'm gonna shoot him. There, he fell off the roof at least, it's something. Eat that first aid bandage. Oh, hi. Right, so I probably have time to get up here, steal the loot and leave. Before that hatch breaks. So let's do that. And remember kids, don't do this on multiplayer servers because people will hate you. Also, they broke through already. Hate that for me, but I think they're stuck on something. So, probably get away with this still. It's also a good POI to actually loot because it does have a lot of meds in it, but I don't need those right now, so. Oh, come on, open. Seriously, six lockpicks. Fucking thing. Tools Digest and a double armor pocket mod. And a treasure map, which might be useful. Some meds. Some more meds. Bar brawler. Eh. Grab these medical supplies. And let's get over here. They'll never catch me. So where was that shotgun messiah place I saw? Over here? Have I looted these? Yes. Yeah, here it is. Ransack shotgun messiah. I really wouldn't expect anything good in here, but it might be worth a quick run through. Anyone home? Anyone hiding in the back? Not here anyway. What about over here? Bathrooms? Nope. Anyone in here? Working food vending machine. Let's see, what do we have? Yeah, nothing particularly good. And some armor. I could definitely sell that at least. Shotgun shells in the desk. Let's check upstairs. Working water vending machine in here. This would be a nice base. <laughs> Gun safe, hello. Might get a book out of this. Uh, shotgun, uh, shotgun weekly, sorry. Another pipe machine gun. These are static, so you don't have to really worry about the damage. Um, and some club parts. Wouldn't call that a bad bit of loot, but nothing crazy. What about back here? Anybody hiding up here? Surely there's one shotgun crate on the roof for those of us brave enough to venture this far. There's a hatch here. Hey, there's one. I'm expecting at least one more zombie as well, though. No, nope, nobody's here. Cool. Polymer string mod. I've got one on my bow already, so I'll just scrap that for polymers. Demolitions and a tempered blade mod. Okay. Well, I mean, I did find a shotgun magazine in here. I can't complain too much. Let's keep looking for anything that could be useful. I searched that mailbox. I haven't. Tools digest. I make steel tools quality five. That might be worth diverting my attention to. Now, there is this place. 
which has very easily cheesable loot. Let me run past this guy real quick. Have I not got any washer on me? That's a pain in the ass. Bet there's shotgun crates in there though. Hmm. Isn't this a tier 4? No, it's still tier 3. I don't feel like doing the whole thing though, so let's see what we can do here. But onto this. Anybody want to come and fight me? Hello. Hello, dog. There's a snake somewhere. There he is. Hold still. Right, so for the end loot, it's just in this room next to me, but I want to give myself a little escape route because it does just swarm you with zombies as it usually does anyway, so open this up. Now, I don't remember if they come straight away, but I'm getting ready. Oh, hello. You can see them up there. That means if you had a creative grenade, you could definitely use that to your advantage. Let's try and drag them out. Ow. Oh, watch that biker. Whoa, he'll do a lot of damage if I let him hit me. <laughs> well, that's just all the zombies in the world. You'll love to see it. Let me climb up here real quick. I'm going to first aid kit. If I get hit, I will just shrug it off. Oh, hello, Arlene. Shit, run away. Didn't think about my stamina penalty. There we go. Oh, she's feral. No fair. Oh, hello, Baker. Yeah, that's right, you get stuck on that for a couple of seconds while I do this. Eat the shit out of him. Don't let him get up. There we go. See if we get anything good for that. A knife guy. Don't plan on making a knife, but it's nice to see it. Knife to see it. Ha ha ha. Weapons bag. Big hitters. I'll take that. Gym meds. I'll bash open these. No shotgun crates, unfortunately. Handguns, wood splitter, two electrical traps, tech planet, and a tech junkie that I didn't mean to actually read. And food, and let's unlock the reinforced chest. Pills, tech, flashlight, pipe rifle, meds, and ammo. Can make a level one auger now if I wanted to. Now, I wonder, did I clear that Moe's grocery over there? I know I hopped in to get the Forger headbook, but there is also pretty easy end loot there, which could give me a shotgun box, which would maybe give me a skill book. You'll notice a lot of maybes in that sentence. Welcome to Alpha 21. I am quite over-encumbered. This is very dangerous. I have been here, okay. Right, well, let's take some of my stuff back to my base, because I am very much over-encumbered. There was a wandering horde. I am going to ignore it. Right, well, if I want to make a steel pickaxe, I would need 50 forged steel. I don't have a crucible, obviously, but do I have that amount of forged steel lying around? If not, I do have a wrench, but I would rather not wrench, if it was possible. I forge steel. Yeah, it seems like I don't. Give me my wrenches. Multiple, because I would like to avoid wasting repair kits if at all possible. Uh, I also need to drink something. I have loads of water, so that's fine. I'm going to sell some things, and then I'm going to see how much steel I can wrench. I only need 50, which isn't too hard to salvage. Looks like I probably won't get it done today, actually, but we can definitely get that done at the start of the next episode. Um, again, I can't really go out at night because a feral is a bit too dangerous right now. And I don't have time to record into the night either. Hey, Joel. Right, there's 8k jukes. Got anything good he's got? He does have enough steel, but that is so wasteful, but it's also a lot faster. This is... An unintelligent decision. I should probably get some sugar buzz if I am going to do it. He's not selling any. I think awesome sauce helps, right? Let's see. Uh, 1,500 for a 20% discount. Let's see. 7,200. I don't think it would save me any money. Well, if I want it quickly, I should do it. And it would be good for the video. So let's do it. <laughs> let's make the game even harder. Now, let's see. Here's something I want to check. So it's 6,750 divided by 45. So each one is 150. If I buy them individually, are they actually 150? They are, okay. You gotta watch them for that. Because some things are just like that. <laughs> so there we go. Wasted a bunch of money, but also steel pick. Very, very helpful. Especially this early on. I'll be able to gather up a lot of materials for gunpowder, for example. With my eight ranks of various mining perks, it does make sense to invest in it. And I actually do have some more money. I don't think I sold them all my cash there, so like I do have more dukes. Uh, let's see, the rest of the steel pick is pretty easy. Let me find the stuff. Uh, steel tool parts. Leather, I put that in a separate box, but I might run across some. There we go. 
and 15 duct tape. That might be the hardest part of all of this. <laughs> Let's see, there's a bunch of cloth. I've got more stuff I can sell. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine on money. Um, glue. I know I picked up a lot of glue, but wh which container has it gone to? Might be just about time to start making an actual storage system. Oh, there we go, 15 glue, perfect. Turn that into duct tape. That'll take 40 seconds. Split that in half. Oh, I threw away my leather, apparently. There we go. Anything in the bicycle? Ah, a couple things. Again, more shit I could have sold. Okay, there we go. Let's craft steel pick. That'll take two minutes, but that's fine. Do I have mods for that? Because that's going to require four. Um, could sell that iron pick later. Let's see what mods I have. Fortifying grip mod would certainly work, but do I have a bunker buster on anything? Hmm, can I make bunker busters? No. Well, that's something I definitely want. Where did I put that structural brace mod, anyway? Did it go on... Didn't it go on my hammer? Did it disappear? I think the hammer ate the mod, which is concerning. But maybe it just ended up in a storage container somewhere. Oh, did I put it on the... Yeah, I put it on the shovel. That makes sense. There, so there is four mods. Are these two exclusive? No, they're not. Cool. So my pickaxe will now be really good, which will help when you get those POIs where you have to bash down a door and I'm on 50% block damage. How am I doing on the double barrel shotgun, by the way? Only level one? I'll hold off on that. Although it would be pretty cheap as well. One shotgun part ten. Yeah, you know what? I might do that just to get something better than like a pipe shotgun. But I will probably make like a level five at some stage. Or I'll just wait for... What is it called? <laughs> a pump action. Um, I'll maybe need that mod. Polymers. Why do you need polymers in like... A farmer shotgun with the barrel sawn off. It's so weird. Springs and two duct tape and a shotgun part. Uh, I might have to make new glue. Hang on, where's my bones? Give this some fuel. Oh, I need to pick up the water, of course. That'll do. Question is, is do I even have any shotguns? Uh, shotgun shells. 60. Oh yeah, I've got just under a stack of them. Like that two duct tape. Normally I wouldn't get such a shitty upgrade so quickly, but when you're dealing with a usual type shotgun, it does kind of make sense to actually upgrade to just a regular double barrel. Even if it is just level 1, it will make much better use of your shotgun shells than a type shotgun would. That is, if you're not a double barrel shotgun hater, people are objectively wrong by the way. Is that pick done? Oh yeah, I already took it out there. Um, these four mods, so that will now do a decent amount of damage. That's made of wood, let me find some stone. 250 in a bit, 254. That's pretty good. That'll get through a 5,000 health door in 20 hits, which could be done pretty quickly. And I also now have a pistol, like a proper one. So I can probably get rid of the pipe machine gun because it's not my favourite weapon ever. It's good, but I would swap it for pretty much any tier 1 other than the hunting rifle. Where did I put the damn pistol? There we go. So I can have a little second area there as well. Where's my 9 mil? I have a bunch of it, which is quite convenient. Here we go. Double battle shotgun. Oh, didn't mean to drop it on the floor. This can only have like two mods. Let's go for a rad remover and flashlight. The duck bill is a bit situational, so I'll just hold on to that. That'll do. You can put the burst mod on the pistol. It really doesn't affect much, but you know, something. It's better position my firearms here. Here we go. So now, that flashlight's really weird. I'll be able to see at least. So yeah, this shotgun is kind of not amazing by any means, but it's also very cheap to make. Uh, and it does, well, kind of have to compare it unmodded. Nine damage from that versus 11 damage from this. But you get two shots with this, which is massively helpful. And I can put two mods on it. So we got a double barrel shotgun, we got pistol, and we got the steel pick, which is going to be very helpful. Tomorrow we'll continue my quest to get more magazines of this uh, kind of thing. Maybe getting up to 27 and getting a level 1 pump action shotgun would be nice. And then also getting enough vehicle stuff to get up to mini bikes, obviously we got one because that whole loot table is devoured by harvesting tools and it'll just have to wait till that is ripped out of the loot table to really do anything. Now that I've got three ranks of shotguns though, I will start leveling intellect and getting ready to put points in Grease Monkey, but it's a kind of a waste as long as we have that many points in Minor 69er and that many books still to find. So, 
we will continue this in the next episode. There will obviously be a Horde Knight, and I'll be much more prepared for it this time, although I still don't feel like wasting all of my shotgun ammo, so I'll probably do some pipe bomb stuff. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today we are going to have to do a Horde Night again. Well, not today, but in this episode. Uh, that will actually happen on day 14. So in the meantime, I'm going to want to prepare for that by just continuing to get better gear. And it's still quite annoying to get better gear without quest rewards. So I'm going to have to hunt down books. I wonder if this house over here would be worth going into. I know it's got a few books for me and it's only a tier 2, but it's one of the more lengthy tier twos but i think i can probably handle it at this stage with my double barrel shotgun let me just refresh myself on precisely what ones i actually need so i still want to get a bunch more harvesting tool books because that'll obviously get this out of the loot table and harvesting tools is just the worst for that it just takes up the loot table forever and i still would love to get myself at least a level 5 baseball bats but if i can get myself to steal clubs anytime soon that would also be great shotguns would be more helpful but another thing i also need is like at least seven more uh vehicle magazines because then i'll be able to make a mini bike which would be a slight upgrade for my bicycle normally it's so pointless to get a mini bike because progression is so fast in the game but without trader quests progression is definitely slower so maybe the mini bike will have a place in this playthrough now have i cleared this before it doesn't look like it let's get him to go into the landmine there there we go anyone else up here here's someone running i don't think they're in here where are they are they inside the building that's weird we can deal with them later so this area is a bit scary i'd rather not jump right down into it there's one guy oh i missed there we go there's another guy nice got a nice easy head pop wonder if it'd be worth just jumping down there with one of my guns out and just killing who i can well actually let me let me not jump straight to the gun i can probably handle this a little bit Ow. who else is still running wait where is that is it above hello this is kind of weird well my yeah babe's above <laughs> some loot somewhat useful things i suppose right let's come down into this area oh they broke the door down for me great nice let's head down into the lower area of this house there's usually someone in there not today and there's sometimes someone in here as well yeah there's a crawler in there skill point i don't actually remember what i was doing <laughs> probably intellect getting ready to put points into grease monkey so i can find more vehicle magazines anyone in here no didn't notice that other guy fine we can spare medicine at this stage usually a few in here can i get any easy shots oh there's one of the big ones Let's try and lure her out actually come here lady Ooh, upstairs oh, i think we woke up the other ones is that someone outside not sure where i'm hearing them oh i think we're clear let's have a look through this poi uh we got waste on treasures i can sell armor mon that'll be useful later medical journal another medical journal there bit of ammo egg hitters great oh i need water probably find some in the py somewhere uh bow hunters and a couple of somewhat useful things i should probably replace the bow i have i mean it's just free damage there we go might be able to lucky head pop a few more now that would be nice glue now let's check back through the rest of the py home cooking weekly more glue here we go an actual bookcase duck bill mod schematic sell that and they're usually a zombie behind that i guess that's maybe one of the ones i accidentally woke up is there a loot over here looks like it i'll just trash bag yeah better than nothing oh a level six chess piece more books here shotgun weekly nice that's another one i do need you can make a level two double barrel shotgun now probably wait before i do that uh some cloth an arrow or a bolt no, it was an arrow. Armor parts are quite good for selling. Okay, that's everything in here, I think. Only a couple of book containers, but still, we got a couple of books I need. It's all progress in the end. Need to eat and drink, though. Let's see, we got dog food and some chicken ration. And I'll get some water from somewhere. Did the traders reset today? I can't remember. Trader Joel is very close, though, so I'll probably just go check. Where the hell did I leave the bicycle? The other side of the bloody building? Of course I did. Right, I've got a bunch of stuff I'm going to sell to the traders. Let's see, have I got any water already? thingy up yeah i do let's also cook this right let's go talk to the traders hey joel all right there's a decent amount of money back at least 
I'm going to buy this one bottle of acid, because I still need more if I am going to make a chemistry station at some point. It's not immediately on the cards, but, you know, you don't want to get bottlenecked by something if it's so easy to get. Alright, that'll do. Let's go see if we can find more places to raid. Preferably ones that will actually give me a good amount of books. Have I looted this one place right next to my house? Oh yeah, I have. I see the bridge I built. <laughs> hmm. What tier is this house over here? Three? Did I bring lockpicks? I did. I could probably take it, if I'm careful. Hello? Oh, there's a lumberjack. Run outside. First room down, I am still alive. Someone behind me. Where are they? Ah, they're in the shower. He's also very confused by the glass, so I can easily handle that. Steel club parts, nice. That'll be useful relatively soon. Uh, hmm, somewhat useful. Oh, more red dye. It's always useful. There we go. Uh, let's see, is there anything on top of this? No, right, let's try the gun safe. Gun safes usually give you some kind of weapon magazine, even if it's just one, it is something. Knife guy, damn it. Well, I did get more club parts at least. And some 9 mil actually. Let me just read the knife guy. Uh, right next room. That was poorly timed. Whoa, stand up. I hate it when they do that. Here, some stuff, some paper. Hello crawler. Let me get a sneak attack on you since you didn't see me there. Ooh glue, lucky me. Anyone in this room? Hi. Oh, there's two. Anything in this garment bag? Cloth. I mean, I can't complain. Cloth is very useful, but I do have like 4,000 of it. Uh, some leather. More cloth. Bookcase here. Vehicle adventures. Nice. It's always nice to get those when I don't have any points in Grease Monkey, so they're actually quite rare. Uh, ugh. When will they ever fix the bloody reload bug on that bow? That's been there since at least Alpha 20. It might have even been older than that. Just when I remember first really seeing it. Of course, I didn't really use bows in Alpha 19 because they were dog shit on any difficulty above Adventurer. So maybe it has been there for just forever. Get down from there. Leather duster. Anyone else in this kitchen area? Hi. Close that for now. Hi. One easy head pop there. You dead. Just to be sure. Bookcase. Paper. Is there anything more disappointing? Actually, yes, getting sharp sticks is pretty disappointing when you're not running a spear build. Oh, someone's above me. Hi. Is it just him? Doesn't seem like it would be. Oh, hi. Ooh, lumberjack. That's right, hit the door. Oh my god, this ladder is like the most difficult thing I've ever had to climb, to be fair. How many things do you climb? Not even just in the game, like how many things do you climb in real life? Unless you're specifically a rock climber, you probably climb ladders and maybe occasionally trees. If you're on the younger side or... I don't know, maybe, maybe some older people just like say, fuck it, I'm gonna climb a tree today, and then they climb a tree. Is that a thing? I bet you that's a thing. Like, not not even like tree climbing hobbyists who just decide, yeah, I'm gonna make like tree climbing my whole personality and I'm gonna be insufferable about it. Of course, I get nerdy glasses. But like, just people who just wake up one day and just go, I have the urge to return to monkey, I am going to climb a tree. I'd climb a tree, but I'd fall and die, which is a suboptimal outcome. I also see no benefit to climbing a tree. Name one benefit to climbing a tree. You can't even escape bears. If climbing a tree doesn't save you from bears, then why the fuck is anybody ever climbing trees? I mean, what other purpose would you have? What am I talking about? How the fuck do you go senile at 22? I see a guy. Can I thread that needle? Of course I can. Of course I can. Who did I think I was? Oh, hey there. Well, that was the end of the POI. There must be something more to it, like the ceiling must collapse or something. I guess not. Let's unlock the chest. Uh, forge ahead, that's pretty nice. Art of mining, I already know. A couple of useful things. Furious fists and another pipe machine gun. Another beaker. See what I fucking mean about if you... Oh. If you decide to go out of your way to get a beaker like I did, just in case, I spent like three K jukes or whatever buying a beaker and I said, Like a seven days to die never gives you beakers when you want them. And then I said, as soon as you buy one, you'll never stop finding them. And this is my second beaker. It's day 13. I have three beakers. I don't even have enough acid to make a chemistry station. But I found three beakers. And two pairs of nerdy glasses. Seven days style loves to do that. 
It gives you the best RNG when it no longer matters. Like it knows, but I know it can't possibly know because it's not, it's, it's not a living thing. It can't know things, but it seems like it knows things. Electrical traps. Ooh. See, did I miss anything upstairs? Doesn't look like it. Okay, that POI was pretty easy then. Once again, I have to send my loot. Oh, tough guy sunglasses. Once again, I have to drop off my loot back in my house. I don't know how you loot goblins deal with this. I find this infuriating. I normally don't loot as much, but you kind of have to when it's all you can do to progress. I need more red dye. My vehicle needs to be red. This is unacceptable. Alright, to loot. Deposited. Let's go find somewhere else to loot. I have to say, this is a baffling experience, to be honest. I'm just wobbling around looking for buildings to break into. I'm not used to that. At least not in the game. We got Fire Station 8 here. It's another Tier 3. Next to all those other ones I did. Hello. Why am I hungry? Anyone else is visible from here? Oh, well, they're not visible, but I can get them over here at least. The person outside. Oh no, she's in there. No, their skill point. Let's just keep pumping intellect. I can't do anything with Grease Monkey right now anyway, because the loot table is absolutely destroyed with mining books. And you land. Cast in a fire truck. Okay. Also, they really need to put like a firefighter zombie in this game because all these fire stations with no firefighters is weird. Hey, an army chest. Handgun magazine. Hmm. Nice and black dye. I could maybe put that on my bike. It's, it's the other favourite colour. Yeah, black isn't actually a colour. Shut up! Oh, hey there. Run away. Hey there. Back of the Moonforcer. Nice. Oh, good, a mutated zombie. That's fun. Whoa, he's fast. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm jumping off the roof. Fuck that guy. Oh, yeah, and you know what? Fuck that guy, too. Oh, you want some of this as well? Hmm? Okay, apparently he didn't. Oh, yes he does. No, he doesn't. Ten years in development. Ten fucking long years. That's just under half my entire lifespan, you know. If I was as half-baked as this game was, I'd be having a much better time. That is a joke about drugs, kids. Don't do them. Uh, tools Digest, nice. And Muffler, nah, it's the shit one. I'll just sell that. Yeah, loads of 762. I wouldn't have expected Savage Country crates up here, but those are good for... Oh my god, fuck your car. Those are good for club magazines, as shown by the club magazine. And another one. And we got a cracker book here as well, if I can find the angle to hit it. There we go. Uh, shotguns. Okay. Uh, right. My, I need food, so I probably should go back to my base regardless. If only I had the mental capacity to just put food in my bicycle. But I haven't had that hardware upgrade yet, so you're just gonna have to settle for me being fucking insufferably unintelligent at times. What can I say? It wouldn't be very interesting to watch if the main character didn't have any character flaws now, would it? This wouldn't be very interesting to watch if the main character was flawless now. This wouldn't be very interesting to watch if I- This wouldn't be very interesting to watch if it was per- if, Oh my god. This wouldn't be very interesting to watch if I was perfect now, would it? Just kidding. I am perfect. I am fucking flawless. More loot. How many more do I need to get, like, steel clubs or whatever? Ugh, two more to get a level 5 baseball bat, which might be worth the cost it takes to upgrade it. Depends on how much duct tape it takes, really. It's the major factor there. I wonder if I can find some industrially, tooly, hardware-y, style-y POIs around here, because those would have working stiff tool crates, which would let me get more mining books, which are something I need to eliminate from the loot table. Ugh. Oh, hey, a mailbox. Oh. Have I looted this house over here? I bet I haven't. I know I said I was looking for, like, tool POIs and stuff, but listen, there's only so many POIs in the world. Bonk. Anything up here? Hmm, there's something up here. Hang on. Maybe I need a block. Hey, a weapons bag. Big hitters. Nice. Some duct tape. Some ammo. Okay. Good to know that's there. Probably already did know and then forget it and then we learned it and I'll forget it again. That's how I do these POIs. Anyone home? Hello? Hi. Come here. God damn it, come here. 
<sighs> Fine, I'll use my bow. Oh, where the fuck did she come from? I'm guessing that door on the right, but still. Ah, oh, a bunch of loot. Bookcase. Oh, wow. Uh, vehicle adventures, bed catchers, shotguns, and fists. We can make a baseball bat at quality 5 now. Urban combat, take less damage indoors. I think that's what one it was anyway. What do you want me to read? If I could read, do you really think I'd be a YouTuber? <laughs> yes, reading is actually quite a big part of it. <laughs> ah, that was poorly timed. Yeah, I'm at the stage of my life where I just eat first aid kits when I get abrasions now. It's a weird place to be. It feels very wasteful, but also I've been in the end game of Seven Days to Die, and I know that I end up sitting on thousands of first aid kits, so there's no point in being particularly worried about how many you're using. Hello? This is being annoying. Can I just break this door down? Aye. Fucking bull bug happened again. Here we go. Oh my god, it happens like every time. Stop it. Anyone else? Yes. Hi Arlene. Thanks for dropping in. Any stuff up there? Probably not. You got a stash up there Arlene? Huh? The good stuff maybe? I don't know. I think I mean meth. Uh, that seems what Arlene would be into. No, no meth up here. No meth in here either. Uh, a couple of somewhat useful things there. Some iron. Desk. Rotten flesh. Why on earth would there be- no, I'm not even gonna ask. There'll be someone who stores like a burger patty in their desk. A couple of rotten over time. Level 3 double barrel shotguns are available. Another shotgun weekly. Of course, as soon as I panic build a shotgun, the game throws a million of them at me. Right, uh, door please? There we go. Right, I'm filled with stuff, but I have got the bike. I can maybe afford another PY here. Have I looted this yellowy greenhouse next to me? Got a little side building here. Anyone here? Hi. This is mine now. Anyone home? Oh well, this is just a lovely environment to be on an insane nightmare. I'm not jumping down places. Sometimes I wonder why I even go on the roof if I know I'm not going to jump down places. Anyone in here that I can get an easy shot on? Hello. How dare you live? Anyone else? Hi. Is that the one with the weird floor? Doesn't look like it. Right. Hey, good. Home cooking weekly. Nice. Oh, I can be one of these guys, jeez. You're not allowed to survive two of those. Okay, three's acceptable, to be fair. He is one of the highest health non-feral zombies, so I'll take it. Anyone here? Right. Is there a downstairs? Uh, let me open this. I feel like I'm gonna have to run away. Hello? Well, oh, that sounds like just millions of them. Back down the stairs. Nope. No, no, not today, thank you. Anyone else? Also, where's the valve to turn off this pipe that I know is inevitably going to show up, like, a minute from now? Here we go. Bookcase. Pills Digest. Yay. Hello, zombies. Oh, I've woke them up. Let's get them stuck on the door. Hi. The other one burned or bled out. What we got here? Magma Force I already know. A couple of mods. Some armor. I'll keep the mod and put it on. Actually, since it's a, a plate, even though it's just 1% damage resistance, damage resistance is damage resistance. I'll equip that for now. Oh, meat stew. Nice. Bear Kitters. Make a steel club at quality 1. I don't know if it's going to be worth doing, but probably. Hey, level 20. Let's just get more intellect. Right, that's everything from that be a while. Let's head home. During the night, I'll just, uh... Oh, and we could maybe make a steel club. Even if it's just level 1, let's see. Steel club level 1. Pen steel? Hmm. I have to do a little bit of scrapping for that, but I could probably do it. People have been telling me that the Fun Pimps have patched the game in such a way that now a level 1 tier 3 weapon should always be better than a level 5 tier 2 weapon. Unless you get a really shitty roll on your tier 2. So, might be worth doing. Maybe keep that level 1 steel club until I can make level 5s, which would be a while, but not too far away. How many more do I need? Uh, let's see, that is 26, or am I... No, 36. Math is hard. Um, 36 more books isn't too hard to get, I guess, over the course of the next, like, in-game week. So, yeah, maybe we could... 
try and get a steel club really quickly. I might even have the 10 steel lying around, I don't know. I don't have a crucible yet, so it's not the easiest thing ever, but it's not the fucking hardest thing either. Let me go put a bunch of stuff inside and see what I can do. See if I got one steel club part lying around somewhere. Oh, there's one. There's 12, actually. Uh, 10 steel, 3 duct tape. There's one, and there's two of that. And I'll get some cloth from the cloth box. Then I would just need 10 steel. Have I got a wrench on me? Annoyingly, no I don't. Let's see, wrench or associated thing, where did I put that? Here we go. Right, easiest way to get 10 forged steel. Hang on, let's see. Uh, do these wooden tower thingies, I forget what they're called, have any actual green boxes on them? No, they're just kind of there. Let's go find some lampposts. Here's one. There's three steel from that. No steel from that transformer, annoyingly. Look at all the damn streetlights in this town. Here's another one, I think. Oh, and another one of those green boxes. Only got one steel from that, but it's something. There's an additional two steel. One more steel from that one. At least there's a lot more streetlights over here. None from that one. Here we go, there's ten steel. I can make my level one steel club, and we can compare it to the baseball bat. It'll probably be done by the time of the morning, at least. Let's head back. Steel club, two minutes. Yep, that'll be ready for the morning. So I'm just going to sit in here overnight and wait for that. In the morning, we'll go out and kill things with my new steel club. All right, so it's the next morning. We've got my steel club here. Let's compare its stats to the level three baseball bat at least. So 23, 33, 43, 66. Uh, block damage is irrelevant. 20 versus 23. That's not bad. Let's. Uh, how many mods can you have? Three, that's pretty good. Um, so that means even more effective damage, essentially. There we go. So 75, uh, damage as a base there. Obviously that number's pretty meaningless when you're playing on such a high difficulty with so many perks. It really doesn't represent how much damage I'm doing at all, but it's a good, you know, gauge. If nothing else. So let's go out there and look for more things to loot. Where's my bike? Oh, I left it over here. It was blending in with the grass. And tonight we'll do a horde, obviously, because it's day 14. I'm not sure if I want to use the same building I used last time, because obviously it took a lot of hits, but they also didn't really do much to it, so maybe it would be worth it. I don't know, we'll give it a try. I'll, I'll set up a, like a backup ladder somewhere else as well, I think. So let's head back into the town here and see if there's any more like tier threes, which seem to be doing quite well for me, that I haven't looted yet. There is the $3 store. Where's the actual entrance to this place, though? Ah, here we are. Let's have a look and give this club a test. Hello? Come here, Vulture. Come on. Oh, you're gonna be a fucking bitch about it, huh? There we go. Right, come on, zombies. Alright, he bled out, actually, so that's pretty good. Alright, alright, that was an arm shot and a headshot. If I can get two headshots on them, that would be useful. So I don't want to fall down there, it's just never a good idea to do that when you're playing on such high speed zombies and you don't, and you're not particularly familiar with the PY. So let's go downstairs, see if there's somewhere I can break in that would be a little bit less, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, suicidal? Yeah, that would be the word. Um, I'd like to get somewhere near it if possible, if there's maybe an emergency door or something. No. Okay, so I think we'll just have to break in the front fucking door and just do it that way. Works for me, I guess. Um, let's see. Probably want to just take down the big door. It has the least health for how much I'm opening. Let's do that. Oh, I see some zombies. They might be able to help me. Wait, I saw a zombie. Maybe I spoke too soon about there being zombies. I think this is a really high dismemberment chance. Because almost every hit I've done to the arms has been taking the arms off. That's a good sign. Hello? Ah, biker. Yeah, just... Ooh, run away. Doesn't really matter how good my club is, it's gonna struggle against the biker. The armor and the health combo is just a bit much. And I missed both my shotgun shells, I'm pretty sure. Where is he? Oh, he's stuck. That might work for me. There we go. Yeah, bikers are still not something I'm gonna take on with melee weapons. Oh, hello, Arlene. There's a bunch of books in here, that's nice. Hey there. Interestingly, it seems to kill normal zombies in about three body shots, so that is quite an improvement. Even if it's still just only two shot headshots them. It can be a bit less accurate and still kill them pretty easily, which is nice. 
Oh, here's the end loop, though. Is there, like, a button in this room, or am I supposed to come in there from somewhere else? That's, that's the thing with doing the PYs out of order. They're confusing. <laughs> right, well, there's definitely more rooms with more zombies in it anyway. Let's go have a look. All these doors are locked. Hey, filing cabinet. Shotguns. There's a thing in there that might be of use to me. Do I need to claim... Ah, I see. Oh, a vending machine. I'll take an extra mega crush. Oh, hey. I'm at stamina. Bloody hell. There we go. Anyone hiding in here? Nope. Anyone hiding in here? Yes, hello cop. He's gonna pop in there and that's fine by me. Hey, filing cabinet survived. More shotguns. Pop that open. Any zombies? Certainly sounds like there was somewhere. Let's jump up here and lure them out. Hold still. Oh, you're going that way. Okay, that works for me. Ooh, stamina. There we go. Anyone else hiding back here? Nope. Let's get some of this loot then. Uh, an upgraded piece of arm armor, that's nice, plus a tools digest, and a book I can sell. Here we go, right, let's open up these Savage Country boxes, because they give me clubs. See? Armored up, okay, technically not a club. Sharp sticks, ugh. Medical journal, forge head, cool. Uh, that's everything here. Let me get my shotgun out, it suddenly became really quite dark. Right, let's loot the rest of this place, I saw a lot of good book containers throughout it. Some glue, nice. Bed kitters, cool. Medical journal, home cooking weekly, and breaching ammunition shotgun messiah. Bed kitters again. Those digesting bed kitters. Shotguns now, the loot is going my way. That's much better. Solid PY for books, actually. You wouldn't think it, because it's just a, like a, because it's just like a dollar store, but apparently they have a lot of books in here. Electrical traps. Oh, that's a college jacket. Do I have one of those? Oh, I do. Alright, this place has been looted. Let's head back to my base and drop some of this stuff off and then we'll come out and see if we can do another POI. Probably get one more done at least before I need to go prepare for the horde. Right, stuff dumped. Let's go and see what else I can find. We're making steady progress on all the books I need, so that's good. I think what I'll do in terms of progression is get a level 1 pump action shotgun once we get 5 more of those books. Then I'll get a level 3. Once I unlock that, and then I'll just wait for the auto shotgun at level 1, and then get a level 3, and then maybe get a level 5, or wait for a level 6. I'm just trying to think of, like, a balance between having shitty weapons, and wasting loads of materials constantly crafting new weapons. There is this place here, which I think is a tier 3, right? Yeah, that'll do. When I've got a pump action, I might take on some tier 4s. Or some better armor, actually, that would be quite helpful. Hello, wanna fall down, please? How do I get in there? There's books. Or is that later in the POI? Seems to be later. Okay, let's go up. There's a vulture. Hello. Oh, shit, a dog. Hello. Ah, I didn't mean to jump over this. Slightly annoying. There we go. Oh, there was a door. Well, I feel dumb now. I I'm not falling down there. Let's see where else we can go. How many POIs rely on that bloody trope? Let's make them fall on the roof. Let's see, maybe the front door would work? That's where the loot is though, that's gonna be scary, but better than falling in head first. Oh yeah, I didn't search this ambulance. Oh, scrap polymer. Whoa, let's move. <laughs> that is a lot of scary zombies. Let's make sure the pistol's loaded here as well. There's one down, good. Try and get the biker. He's the most scary, because I can't outrun him. Go away, cop. There we go, he's down. Yeah, let's handle the cop now as well. Oh, he gonna do it. He's gonna pop, I'm gonna run away now. Keep away from my bicycle, actually. There we go. Also seems like it damaged him, which is helpful. Oh, missed. Hi. There we go. Is this the end loot? It is. Some vitamins, there's a zombie outside, I hear him. Where is he? You, it's off. Hang on, have I searched that truck? No, gimme. Bill's digest. Nice. Right then, back to the loot. Search the end chest first. I'll clear the rest of the POI as I go. Bill's digest, big hitters, some armor and mods. See a guy. I'm cooking weekly. Seriously, I missed him. Ugh, I hate this bow. There we go. Where's he gonna go? Oh, weapons bag, hello. Big hitters again, plus a bunch of shotgun parts, which is very nice. Oh, another tourist, really? Ah, you got knocked over, lol. Just means you die. I've got a club. Let's check this wall safe. Ugh, lockpicks. 
Forge ahead. Cool. Need more of those. Do want a crucible as soon as I can get one. Hey. Anyone in here? Kind of a weird room to have no one in, I'm going to be honest. Piss off. Ah, another toilet pistol. Well, first pistol. And then there's more in the end room, apparently. Okay, I think we're actually clear now, so that's good. Duct tape, cool. Right, skill points. Just more intellect. I can't really do much with my intellect until I get Minor 69ers books out of the table. So it's just going to get pumped up very high for now. Uh, I'll get it up to like, what do you need for four ranks of Grease Monkey? Eight. Yeah, I'll get it up to eight and then I'll save skill points after that. And then once Mining Tools is gone, I can just dump all my points into intellect things that I need and max out those skills as I go. The main ones being I need Forge Ahead, which you can get from the lock picking skill and Advanced Engineering if you'd like. I'd prefer lock picking because it only boosts Forge Aheads and Grease Monkey, which would get me the Vehicle Adventures books. Not much loot in that VOI. We can probably definitely get another one done though. Have I not been here? The Deserted Working Sift Tools, or is this like another one? Maybe yeah, it was another playthrough. I don't even know. But there's loot here. Four mechanical, four motor tool parts. Uh, yeah, I just missed that one container. Fair enough. What else we got going on over here? What tier are you? Donuts, donuts, it's tier three. Well, might as well. Another vending machine. There's lots of those. No one's in here. Okay, weird. Anyone? Nope. It's too quiet. Got an armored up. Um, door. Oh, hello. Blue. Nice. Anyone on this part of the roof? Not really. What about up here? Nope. Looks like I'm clear to just go inside. Open that up. Remember there's a body behind me which will slow me down if I try and run away. There's usually a feral here, I think. Not today? Okay. Maybe I got unlucky several times in a row. Uh, big hitters. Nice. Uh, battle extender. Just sell that, probably. Vehicle adventures. Cool. Need four more for the mini bike. Tools digest. Okay, that's all that's in here. On to the roof. Where's the vulture? Come on. There's always a vulture. Is there really not a vulture? What the fuck? Hello there. Two sewing kits, cool. Where do I go? I'm very confused actually. Uh, down here? Yes, it was down here. Ah, you're a feral. Maybe that's who I was thinking of. Then I would fall down there, which seems like a really shitty idea. And maybe I should break that door next to me and go back down. I'm thirsty. Did I bring anything? Ah, no, I didn't. That sucks. I think I have to find a way downstairs, but there isn't any stairs here. There's only an elevator. Because that's how buildings work. Uh, let's do this way. Is there no way onto the... Well, I'm asking a silly question. I was going to say, is there no way onto the loot level? No, there won't be. Maybe this... Uh, no, that won't lead me anywhere. What the fuck? How much health the walls got? Oh, you fuckers. All right, this is probably not a very good place to break in, but you know what? I've started doing it. Let's continue. Okay, this is a weird room. Ah. Uh, oh, he's going to cause trouble. Hey, cop. Well, that was a lucky head pop. Big hitters, still can't make another club. How many of these do you need? Some glue. Oh, some more red dye. Need that for my bike. Tools digest. Oh, nothing in there, I guess. Some water. It'll only be murky though, right? Yeah. Oh, that was poorly timed. <laughs> I'll use a first aid bandage then, fine. Seems like the other guy's stuck right now, which might be a good opportunity to kill Arlene. Die, please. There we go. Automatic elevator door, really? Ow. Okay, not that way. Ah, and there's the end loot. And is the only way in there from above? No, I'm being dumb. This POI goes up and down a lot. Uh oh. Run away. Get him stuck in a door, geez. There we go. Hold still, would you? Then we go up here, hello. Ah, got caught in the ladder and missed both those shots. Hey, some loot. Ah, no, no water though. Oh, we're going outside again. Okay. Ah, stuff. Right, here's the end loot. This is gonna be scary. Oh, that was really poorly timed. Oops, stamina. Let's go out here. Ooh. Let me eat a first aid bandage and some solo. He's being a dick. Come here. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> the timing on that was so shit. Oh, let's just first aid kit. Get all my health back and cure that abrasion. Here's the loot though. Graphing. Wrench quality 4. Hmm. Might make a level 5 once I unlock that. Nah, in fact, I'll just wait for the ratchet at this stage. Let's open this. 
Tools Digest, Off-Road Headlights, and the Mods and Armor. What can I put that on? The Cripple Mod. Hmm. It's still another sharp sticks and a Molotov. B-Tech Planets. You would think I was specced into them. Dead Kitters. We can make a Steel Club of Quality too. That only took like eight books or whatever. Grabbing for fun. Alright. Let's go home and get ready for the Horde. Okay, I got a load of stuff here that'll help for Horde Night. Let's go find a building to stand on. <laughs> Oh wait, do I have... I've got one vitamin, that'll probably do for this horde night. It's my game stage. 40, that's not too bad. Hey, this is my house. Ow. Might need to kill all the zombies in here again. Right, well, I should be okay up here. I was up here last time and I survived. I'm not quite at the stage where I can just run around in the streets because I need more agility for that. But, should be alright up here. If the building collapses, I've got Mega Crush that I can take and run around and pile up onto a, a building. I've got beer if I need like loads of stamina, so if, if the building shows signs of imminent collapse, I should be okay. All right, here comes the horde. Let me take a vitamin really quickly. Uh, I've got pipe bombs on my hotbar. Yeah, cool. So now we wait. I'm gonna use pistol ammo because I don't have much shotgun ammo at all and it's still my main like EOI weapon. But the pistol, I can easily spare like 150 rounds of this and still have a stack, so. That'll be good. Now they're, if you didn't see the last one, they're going to run up to like here and try and chew this part up and I'm going to try and shoot them. Ah, extra XP at night. I forgot I had that. That's quite helpful. Right, uh, there's a bunch of them in there. I can't see them, but I know they're there. Okay, maybe they're not there. Where are they then? Here's one. Oh, are they trying to go this way? Let's see if I can use this block here as a bit of a better angle. There we go. That's what we're looking for. This is going very well. Hey, a skill point. Just save that for more intellect, I think. Where are they all? Let's try a pipe bomb in this window here. I only got one of them because I think it bounced off of her. Hmm. Ah, are you trying to come out there? That would make sense. Ah, wasted pipe bomb. You hate to see him. Whoa. Uh -oh. Fell down. Gotta be careful. <laughs> Take that back up. Hey, this seems like an actually pretty useful place to fight them. Whoa, I'm surfing someone. We done? This house might not be as usable next week, but it's still standing. I'll probably give it a try. What loot do we have? Some ammo, some food, some meds and more ammo and mm, armor. Any bags falling through the house here? It's Food and water, or blood and water, I suppose. Anything hiding up here? No, it doesn't seem like it. Well, we survived. That went pretty well. Still don't need a base, not even with my lack of agility, so that's good. Okay, so in the next episode, we'll continue looking for good shit, TM, and, and I'll see if I can finish off like harvesting tools so that I can really start pumping the vehicles and workstations books, which will really just push me right forward in technology and I'll essentially beat the game, as it were. I'd really like to get four more vehicle adventures just to get a mini bike, because the uh, bicycle storage is trash, and, you know, stamina obviously sucks. Being able to do, like, two POIs before going back to my base would be really nice, and that's what the mini bike would allow, so I think I'll do that. I'm gonna head back home and wait until morning, because if you leave the game and rejoin before Horde Night actually ends, it'll restart the Horde Night, which would be useful if you want XP, but I don't particularly feel like doing a second Horde Night. First one is annoying enough. So in the next episode, we'll continue this. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Hardcore. 
today, would you believe, we're hunting more books. I mean, I think it's getting a little bit repetitive now, but welcome to the game. If you haven't seen the last video, basically what we're aiming for here is, is 100 uh, harvesting tools so that we can get out the loot table, which will open up more of the loot table for me in terms of workstations and vehicles. Obviously, if you don't put points in Miner 69er, you don't have to worry about that, but Miner 69er is such a necessary perk for me because I have absolutely no patience and I need that to be able to tolerate the mining mechanic without turning up damage values, basically. But if we can get four Grease Monkey, or whatever they're called, what are the vehicle adventures, uh, we can get a mini bike, which would be a substantial upgrade, which is so weird because I usually skip them all the time, but I mean, motorcycles are even further away, so that's gonna suck. And workstations would be useful because I do need a chemistry station and a crucible, even if I'm not gonna build like a horde base, I will need these. So they're still definitely something I want to consider. And of course, a big one is gonna be better clubs and better shotguns because those are my thing right now. So let's go and find some POIs I haven't yet messed with. Maybe there's another town. There's Trader Hugh way up there who doesn't seem worth it. Is there another road out of this town? Hmm. Let's go up here and see if this road leads anywhere and if it'll take me to another town with like another trader. Even though I can't reset book POIs, it would still be extremely valuable to find a book POI because whatever way you slice it, getting, you know, 40 books which are going to be weighted towards something I need is going to help me in some way. You know, if I get like 20 mining books and 5 shotgun and club books, that's fine because it just means I'll have less time spent hunting down more of those mining books. Even though it would be much more satisfying to roll into the cracker book and get like 40 <laughs> vehicle adventures magazines. It's the same either way. One's just more satisfying. <laughs> By the way, just a bit of a service announcement while I have some people on this video. Uh, one, we hit 50,000 subscribers. Yay. Uh, well done, everybody. Pat yourselves on the back. Anyway, if you're wondering where the other series that I'm doing at the moment is, the one with Lainey, that is going to be two times a week because obviously it's very difficult to schedule recording sessions and streams with people who are on other continents from you, although the time zones aren't too difficult to work with. East US to British is like a five hour difference, which is workable, um, but it is still something that I've chosen to do twice a week rather than five times or three times out of fairness to the other person I'm dragging through this. <laughs> So expect to see that twice a week, rather than it being like the full thing or being every other day. And once this series ends, assuming it doesn't end at the same time as the series with Laney, I would expect another game to take its place briefly. So we'll be moving to some other game three times a week with the Laney series carrying on. And then once the Laney series ends, we'll bring in another Seven Days to Die series three times a week. And we'll be back to my pre-Christmas schedule of three Seven Days to Die videos, two non-Seven Days to Die videos. Videos. Not sure what games I want to do yet. Medieval Dynasty's been fun, but I don't know if it's any good for making videos on. Can I bag a lockpick on me? I do. Let's check this police car. Complete waste, but I can always go to the wasteland and hunt down police cars much later in the game anyway. A scope, some ammo, a spear, and a first aid kit. Cool. Oh, another police car. This one is also locked. Let's get some loot out of this one as well. Level 5 wooden club. Thanks, game. But the ammo's nice at least. Right, so that road does not lead anywhere. That's concerning, because I don't see any other routes out of this town. This looks like one, but I've checked and it's not. It's the only road out of this town to the north? Oh my god, that's going to be so painful to find things, because the easiest way to find other traders is to basically just follow main roads, and you'll get taken to other patches of the A-Town thing. I, I'm hesitant to call this a city, and I'm hesitant to call these town when they're touching many cities, but whatever. Well, we came all this way. We might as well loot some stuff around here. There's a mailbox I've not touched, with a book I've already read. Well, shit. What tier are you? See, I can probably do this then. I'm holding off on tier fours until I get a proper pump-action shotgun. The double barrel's good, but if there's, like, five zombies coming at you, it's not going to help as much as a pump action would. Red tea, nice. It's so dark in here. I have my bright- don't I have my brightness up to 100? And it's still this dark, jeez. There might be a biker in here. I have to be careful. This is insane nightmare. Oh, that was poorly timed. Where's the other guys in here? I know you're around here somewhere. There's one. Oh, my bow went crazy there. There we go. Anyone else? He's still alive, obviously, but 
Am I good? I think I'm good. Right, let's get the axe out and chop open this passing gas container. Like, give me a vehicle book or maybe just something else. Yeah, tools digest as I expected. Which is why we need to get rid of it. Two glue, nice. Right, so sometimes when you round this corner, and by sometimes I mean very frequently, there's a feral. I'm gonna be a bit more cautious here. God, this lighting is terrible. Hi there, feral. I got lucky he's actually in there now, so made that much easier. Anyone in here? Oh, books, hello. Paper. Ew. Right, there's almost always someone in here as well. Oh, and he's also a feral. Fun. Hey, you go hit that door. Right, there's usually a dog out here as well. You know, some people really hate when I do this, by the way, when I know where all the zombies are in POIs. Like I can do anything about it. I wonder if they want me to get amnesia. That's about the only solution. I suppose you could play with those awful, terrible, disgusting, vile player-made POIs. Uh, but I don't feel like opening a random door and being attacked by 37 feral whites. Some people shouldn't be allowed level design tools, and that's okay. Because I don't have to play them, unlike the ones in this game. Well, that's a lot of stuff. Double barrel shotgun and quality 5, nice. Might you do a pump action at quality 1? I can find the steel. Hmm, soup. Anyone in here? Probably should have had my weapon out, just in case there was. And we usually get one in here. Hi. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Hey there. Oh, up the fence. Ow, oh, the barbed wire got me. That's annoying. Okay, hitters and a bipod. Might be useful. I dislike this room. No one's in there. Hey, food. Home cooking weekly and some peas. Can I see one zombie, please? We get smacked in the back of the head. Good one guy. Works for me. Right, let's go bring them downstairs and get them caught on doorways. Just easier that way. Hey, you stuck? Well, that's kind of funny. No, one of you come through. Oh, he's popped. That works. Stop crawling, that's illegal. Shotguns, coffee, some ammo. Two skill points. Putting that again into intellect, because I'm going to need like eight of it for when I want to get vehicles and stuff. Here we go. Probably everybody, right? No, oh, a couple more. Ow. He sounded further away. Hey, when they do that, oh, fuck off, bitch. Jesus fucking Christ. Where'd the other guy go? I fucking hate it here. Um, and you know what? This one errant first aid kit's kind of annoying me anyway. I find another first aid kit in the loot. I'm going to shit myself with rage, though. So be prepared for that. Someone is in here. Where are they? Hi. Oh, please, no first aid kit. Okay, cool. Right, let's check the end loot. Like the actual container. Tools digest, couple first aid bandages, batter up, and armor mods and ammo. Cool. Nothing amazing, but my clothing remains unstained from the shits of rage. Which is not a sentence I think anyone has ever said before. That's always fun. Home cooking weekly, cool. Now, there's another container in here somewhere. Let me let me spend centuries digging that up just to satisfy those one or two loot goblins who demand I know where every weapons bag and every POI is. But also because I do kind of need like shotgun books so it makes sense. Ah there we go. Uh, Big Hitters as an alternative book I will also accept. Plus a muzzle break. I'm gonna eat. Oh, I don't want to eat. I'll waste that. Ah uh, you know four paper can fuck off. There's also a thing on the roof, or a way out on the roof. I assume there's loot up here as well. Maybe just a duffel bag? No, nope. I've been fucking scammed. To be fair, maybe that's how you're supposed to find the weapons bag? Is there like an obvious spot I'm missing? I don't fucking know. I'll just figure it out the way I did before, which was that looks funny. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Gonna need a real big full breath of stamina to get over this. There we go. And again. Right, so I am completely full of loot, so I'm probably just gonna go back to my base. Can I make uh, pump shotguns yet? I can, I could make a level 1. Could I wait though? The thing is, is I don't have steel anyway. How close am I to getting level 2s? Because a level 2 is still kind of shitty, but it's better. And if I only need oh another 8 books, fuck off. That'll take centuries. Uh, let's go make a level 1 pump action. I mean, what's the harm, right? Uh, we're going to get 15 steel. You know, I'll worry about the 15 steel when I get back to my base. I have too much stuff on me anyway to go gather steel. Although I'm seeing a bunch of these uh, three or four lampposts out here, so that would be good to remember because they're quite good for steel. Okay, so back at base, let's make a level one pump shotgun, which will hopefully be a considerable upgrade for my level one double barrel. So I need a shotgun part. There's one. Uh, 15 forged steel, that's probably going to be something I have to hunt down, that's fine. 
three duct tape. There's three. 20 scrap polymers. And three springs. There we go. Level 1 versions of all these guns are very cheap to make. I've never noticed that before because I rarely ever did it before. Um, steel. Might be worth checking the trader. 15 steel isn't crazy expensive. Let's see what other shit I can maybe sell them while I'm there. Alright, there's a bunch of stuff. Let's go and see if Trader Joel even has any steel, first of all. But more importantly, if I can afford 15 of it. He does have the steel. It will cost 2,000. Probably isn't worth doing sugar butts, but I could also get more profits off my other stuff, so maybe it would be. Either way, he's not selling any, so let's just buy it. Selling this other stuff first. We go 8,000 and buy 15 steel. Any good books, by the way? No. Okay, let's go make that pump shotgun. There we go. While we wait for that to craft, let's go take down another POI. I need more books, goddammit. I really want vehicle adventures. Maybe I should check Jen, because I don't think I've checked her this trade cycle, and if she's got like three in there, that would be really helpful. Hey, a vehicle adventures, that's pretty good. Alright, three more. Then I'll be saved from the bicycle hell. Stun baton. Some somewhat useful books there as well. Hey, a police car. Oh, a pure mineral water. Nice. Plus some shotgun shells and a pipe machine gun. The pipe machine gun's not very helpful, but the shotgun shells are. Alright, Jen, tell me you got some vehicle mags in here. Or other useful things, I suppose. Um, no, no she doesn't. Well, she has two beakers, because the game likes to spit on me like that, but I'll take all these first aid bandages. And, you know what, I can also make first aid bandages, so I'll take the, uh, aloe there. I haven't found the desert yet, so may as well. Alright, nothing there from Jen. Oh wait, did I loot these? I did. I just closed the doors behind me, because I'm respectable. Um, right, so I want to go check out those gas station POIs nearby then, I think be the best use of my long, long cycle out here, I think. <laughs> Lock picks and a tools digest, cool. Alright, let's go in there and see what we can get. Oh, this is only a tier 1. Did I bring my wrench? I did not. I could have got steel from these gas pumps. Hi, guy. Anyone else back here? Oh, cardboard box. Sandwich. Who puts a sandwich in a cardboard box? Some murky water. Right. Let's see if I can get any sneak attacks here at all. Here's the bit to run to if I need to escape. Hello, biker. Stay down. Stop resisting. There we go. Pop that open. Oh, isn't there... No, oh, there isn't a passing gas container up there. Must be thinking of the wrong POI. They all start to blend together sometimes. Some somewhat useful stuff there. What's in the minivan? Right. I mean, I need gas. I'll take that two gunpowder as well. Right, let's try and get some sneak attacks on here as well. Another biker. Fuck off, game. Stop being a fucking weirdo for the worst and you know it get up here ow come on last guy he dead no he's not right we done we done let's get the loot splint ammo book i know oops i don't need but the blueberry pie is nice and two tools digests well they do contribute but they're not as satisfying as the real thing as we know oh fuck that wandering horde by the way it's bloody army zombies. Ooh, let's keep searching. This place got any, like, vehicle crates or anything like that? It's only a tier zero, so the short answer is probably not, but it also might. Hang on, let me try and jump the fence. Also, I should check this. Ah, vehicle adventures. Not where I expected to find that, but I'll take it. Electronics crates are an okay source of it, though, I suppose. Not the best, but they'll, they'll do. <laughs> More nerdy glasses because this game is so funny. There's two loot in this like, tile thing. Weird. Didn't I see an actual electronics store around? Hmm. That would also be a decent way to get some vehicle adventures. If I can get like one skill point. Oh, this is locked. If I can get like one skill point and put that into Grease Monkey, I could probably just barely twist the loot table of the electronics crates in my favor. But that might be worth doing. That's not what I was trying to do. We've got a food pile, home cooking weekly, home. Is there no actual electronics crate or anything in here? Well, why would I have an electronics crate, really? Car wash. Uh, where's my bike? Oh yeah. Yeah, let's go have a look around for maybe some electronics stores then. Or 
similar places that might have that kind of loot. I wonder what crates the high school has. It's not going to be very easy to break in there though. Not with my 50% block damage, so I'll probably just leave that. Here's another electronics truck, but have I searched this one? Yes, that's annoying. Into the city. Although, I think there is an electronics truck in this uh, power station POI. I just have to be kind of careful not to get ripped to shreds going in there. Which I shouldn't. It's just the entrance, is it? No, oh, it's an army truck. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of a different one. Hello. They're still beating the shit out of things over here. I think I saw an electronics store down here, though. Yeah, this. Has a couple crates in it, I think. Now, here's a question. Have I been here? I have been here. Well, close that behind me. Uh, right. So, the electronics store could have a couple of crates. There's also zombies and a dog. Let's deal with those. Better do it on my terms. Come on. I forgot where I was. Right, let's see. Zombies, hello. Usually one up here, right? There's a door. Hello? I know one of you's in here. Whoa, hey. And then there's a crate back here. Do I have a skill point? No. Well, I'll just take my chances. Hiding and traps, kind of what you would expect there. Let's check up here. Anything in this area? This is weird. What what caused this? There's no like bomb or anything. Hi. Okay. How, how do you actually get in this office again? Locked there. Oh, do you go in through the roof? That seems like a bad idea. Oh, hey, medicine cabinet. Ah, shit. Grab the key. Run away. Follow me outside. This is far too dangerous territory. Did I get anything good there? Boots. There we go. Hang on, I think I attracted other people. Is there more of them or is that just the one? Just the one. Right, so there's filing cabinets in here. Explosives and fists. Shotgun, uh, ammo, check the safe. Nothing too helpful there, but hey, it's better than nothing. Big hitters and shotgun weekly. That's schematic, I already know. Let me check these as well. I don't think I'm going to get anything good from them, but you get a couple of magazines, which might be of use to me at some stage. Or maybe I won't get any magazines. There we go. There's two. Oh shit, am I full of stuff? Right, let's go back then. Hey, an electronics truck. Have I looted you? I have. Deeply saddening news, I'm sure. Really quickly before I go back to my base, I'm going to go check when Trader Joel actually resets. Because it might be worth checking again for a couple of vehicle magazines. He resets tomorrow. Then it would be wise to come back tomorrow and check him again. Right, so... Oh wait, my pump action shotgun's done, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get that equipped with some stuff. We can scrap the double barrel, it's of no real use to me now. Oh yeah, they removed the ability to put the two times scope on the pump action shotgun because the fun pimps hate fun. What other mods can I put on here then? I've got even more shit I could sell. I didn't even notice this big pile of stuff here. I will sell those in the morning. Okay, I don't have any other mods I can put on a shotgun, but now I can at least do it. Or what's on this? Triple M? That conflicts with the rad remover, so it doesn't really work. Yeah, we have this now, so that's good. Eight shots. Solid. Um... Much better than two, I'm sure you'll agree. In the morning we'll give this a test, but I do want to check the traders for any potentially very easy magazines I could get. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Right, it's the morning of day 16, the traders won't open for a couple of hours, so let's go find someone to terrorise in the meantime. I've been here. Yes, I have. I know I haven't done this place, let's have a look. Well, the shotgun's good. What part of my armor's damaged this time? Uh, I don't have any cloth on me anyway, although... No, I have a padded arm armor in my bicycle inventory, but that's no real use to me down there, is it? Oh, I forgot how good the shotgun stun is. Makes them so slow. Anyone up here? Nope. I hate the end loot. Uh, shotgun Messiah. Targets within 3 meters have a high dismemberment chance. Nice, that's a really good one. Working stiff tools. Tools digest cool. All works to get me where I need to go eventually. Another fucking beaker. Oh my fucking god. That is the fourth one. <laughs> right, well, let's go back to Trader Joel. My inventory's full anyway. Okay, no vehicle adventures at Joel, but there is uh, Jen as well. There we go, got a bunch of money. Have you got anything good? No, let me buy a drink. I have stuff at home, but I have money to spare, so it's fine. So, yeah, I'll go up to Jen now, see if she's got any. She 
probably won't, but if she does, it would be really, really helpful for saving time. If she doesn't, I'll keep searching the nearby POIs to her. She's got a lot of them there. Most of the ones near here are very much looted, so it's kind of annoying. Hey, Jen, you got any good books for me? Oh, she's got three. Perfect. Well, actually, I think it's one more than I need, but I'll take it. Yeah, I was right to come here. More first aid bandages as well. I'm also going to buy these pipe bombs because I'm lazy. Let's see. Forge ahead and three vehicle adventures. Right, we can now make mini bikes, which would be a substantial upgrade, mostly for the inventory capacity more than anything, but it would be nice to use less stamina cycling around, obviously. Uh, let's see. So we'd need another 14. Nope, that's 24. I'm very good at maths, I promise. Very, very good at math. Um, so the mini bike chassis needs forged iron, nothing too crazy there, and the mini bike handlebars, again, nothing too crazy. I might have to scrap a couple of things here or there, but mostly I think we have everything we need for that. The big issue is going to be gas because, ugh, I don't have a chemistry station despite all my millions and billions of beakers, and I obviously don't have a desert biome and I obviously also don't really have the best uh, scrapping tools because I need really good ones compared to the base game because I'm using such low block damage. I probably want to make a steel, what's it called, a ratchet as soon as I can get one. Even just a tier one would probably be pretty good, but I'm a few books away from that. Actually, how many books am I away from that? Let's see, I need two more to get level five wrenches, three more to get level one ratchets. That's not unobtainable, but let's focus on the mini bike first. I can always buy gas from the traders, but obviously money is harder in this challenge because quests just throw it at you and I'm not allowed to do quests, but it's not, not crazy difficult to get, that's for sure. You get a lot of books you can't use in this game if you just hold on to them, or armor you can't use, hold on to those and sell it off. You should be able to keep up on money. It's very rare the traders actually sell anything good anymore. Now they're kind of just useful for um, sort of like one-off items like the beaker, the cigar, or the nerdy glasses, or they're useful for more mundane things like wood, cobblestone, gas, steel. Whereas in like Alpha 20, you used to be able to actually buy good gear from them. But now you've got to wait till a very high trader stage for that. At which point you'll probably have the stuff anyway, if you're playing normally. So yeah, traders are not as good as they used to be for getting stuff. If I was doing this challenge in Alpha 19, I would have a pump action shotgun like level 5 on day seven because the trader would be selling one and i'd just be like okay i'm gonna buy that obviously and then i would go around and scrap a bunch of cars get a billion batteries and sell them off right so first up mini bike chassis forged iron do i have any made up i do i also need mechanical parts duct tape i definitely won't have made up but i've got glue line around leather there's some leather i've got more than that i think i put it in the cloth box though uh, the one electrical part I need, and then just duct tape, glue, like six duct tape, I'm going to need more of this probably. Okay, so that's what you need for that, and then the mini bike handlebars is springs. Here we go, headlights, electrical parts, and short iron pipes. I might actually not have any of those because I use them to make pipe bombs, so I might have to craft a few. Oh no, here we go. Right, let's queue up the handlebars, and then the chassis. And then for the actual mini bike, I have everything I need except for the wheels. Are the wheels around or am I going to have to spend acid on those? I would hate that. Do I actually not have wheels? That's so weird. Um, they're extremely common loot. If you can find like a gas station and find a couple of passing gas containers, they have them. Obviously, in this playthrough, I did have to craft my own bicycle. So I guess that kind of makes sense. I mean, I've got the two acid. I just kind of don't want to spend it. All right, what do we need for wheels? Uh, more forged iron. Let's see, I'll actually have to craft that because I know I don't have any. So three more forged iron. Scrap polymers. Here we go. Oil. Coal. Hmm. There's two acid. There's 13 coal, but that's not enough. Okay, bizarrely, I need to go get a bunch of coal. That's fine, though. <laughs> of all the things to be missing for a mini bike, it's the coal. I got some around here. There's some. I only need a little bit, so this shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Just need to hit it like twice. Uh, I can make these in my inventory. What am I missing? Oh, yeah, the three more forged iron. Let's go back to my base really quickly. There we go, queue up another wheel. How are these doing? Ah, they're done too. Once that wheel's done, I should have everything I need to make the actual mini bike. Just need a wheel. I'll take another minute after that, that's fine. There we go, craft that. I need to get a drink. Where's that mineral water? There we go. 
Hey, right, let's see if I can round up all the gas I have, which is probably not all that much. Yeah, where's my wrench? Let's go and hunt down a couple of cars while we wait for it to craft then, I suppose, because I will need gas. I suppose I could check how much it costs at Trader uh, Joel. That might be worth doing. Just to hold me off until I can at least get a decent ratchet. Okay, so it's 90 per 100, so it would cost you a lot of money to get a lot. Let's get like a thousand. That's enough to fill a mini bike tank. And the mini bike will obviously help quite a bit in getting more gas because you'll save a lot of stamina. Because right now, if I want to, you know, let's say there's a car over here, I gotta cycle over to it, which I could do at this absolutely agonizing speed. Well, let's be real here, I'm gonna sprint cycle. So when I eventually find this car I'm hypothetically thinking of, uh, let's see. Here's one. When I eventually reach the car, I'm at half stamina, and then I have to painfully and slowly scrap down this car. And at the end of it, I'll probably only get like a hundred gas. So yeah, the, the mini bike will at least reduce half of the annoyance there, but I really do need a better wrench. But I can probably count on three scrapping books coming pretty soon. So I won't stress about it too much. Hey, there's an acid at least. Forgot I had that thing. This will be a lot more worthwhile now because I will need at least two more acid to make my chemistry station once I have that ability. And I'll probably need at least two more wheels in this playthrough, but I'll probably loot them. The first time I've had to craft wheels since like early Alpha 19, I think. There we go. Yeah, 170 gas. Not great, but it's something. Mini bike done. There we go. We can finally say goodbye to using the bicycle. Ah, it's so shitty, but it feels like driving a race car compared to a bicycle. So let's go find some stuff to do with the rest of the day. Those three uh, scrapping books actually would be a good thing to try and get. Kind of a hard one to guarantee though. But I have a point in salvage ops, so I should have a higher chance than finding vehicle books, for example. Let's see if I loot this barn here, because this usually has some working stuff tools in it, which would obviously have a solid chance of giving me scrapping stuff, though not the best. Hi. Ah, I one-shot him, nice. Is there a boar around here today? Doesn't look like it. Oh, it's still Arlene. Ow. Here, is there anything good in here? I don't remember. Surely something under these hay piles. Field shipping crate. Ah, secret stash then. Uh, let's see. A muzzle break and knuckles. Okay. Okay. Okay, game. Okay. Oh, I'm hungry. Can't really solve that right now. Hold still, you shits. Let's see. Great heist. No stamina will sneak sprinting. That's pretty good. Banded arm plate as well. An extra 2% damage resistance is never bad. Oh, you can only put one mod on that. What about you? There we go. The mods and ammo. The meds. Forge ahead. A single bone knife. Okay. Well, that was extremely shitty, but whatever. Let's see. Skill points. I probably don't want to use that one on Grease Monkey now, because I am trying to actually get scrapping books just for a little bit, though that would only interfere with that further. Once that's out of the way, I'll probably will use it for that. Let's go find another POI. I have so much storage in there, I can actually use it. I don't think I finished Moe's Grocery, although I've definitely looted the end of it. Anybody here? Maybe I did clear it. But then why is the front door closed? Why did I not open it? That's weird. Oh well, I guess I have been here. Let's check this place. Tier 3, right? Oh, tier 2. Okay. Another wrench. Whoa. Oh, another wandering horde, seriously? Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, that seemed inevitable, to be honest. Well, that was a nice little bump of XP, I suppose. Anybody in here? Some books. It's an armor. Oh, you're feral. That's not good. Ailing cabinet. Big hitters and wiring. Now, another pipe machine gun. Where do I go now? Oh, I see. Slide. Blue. This is probably dangerous, to be honest. Grab the loot. Run. A good book, not particularly. 
Ow. Is the first aid kit worth it? Eh, yeah, probably. Medical journal. Pick these shamway crates. I mean, surely I'll get some kind of edible food from this, right? Could go back to my base, but I don't want to. Ravioli, salmon, and a home cooking weekly. Shotguns. Okay, let's keep looking. Okay, cement mixer. Didn't know there was one of those in this POI. Now I know. We can make cement mixers now as well, but that's not too helpful for me. This place probably has working stiff tools crates. I don't think I've ever done it though, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Am I supposed to go over this? I'm so confused. Where are the zombies hiding? Ah, hello. Behind me. Hey. Type rifles at quality 3. Yay, I'm saved. Probably a dog here. I hear him. Where is he though? He's stuck on the barbed wire over there. Hey, come back here. Damn, he's fast. Hey, an ambulance back here. Cars are a decent source of various books, actually. Maybe I should search these. Oh, there's also a book pile on the floor. That would also be smart to search. Pills Digest, we can make augers at level 3 now. That SLP I already know, which is unfortunate, but I'll live. And an engine. What's going on over here? Any zombies? Let me try this engine real quick. Are they above me? Where are they? Oh, I see. I mean, at least that's somewhat creative, to be fair. Who else did I aggro? Oh, there's another one back here. Bye bye. Crafting for fun. Need like two more. There's also a thing up there that I'm interested in. Onwards. No, this seems like a bad place. Oh, he's dead. Perfect. More of these engines. These used to all give you one engine. I miss those days. Now you have like a 5% chance. How do you have a 5% chance of getting an engine from an engine? I don't understand. Oh, hi. Follow me outside. Medical journal and a first aid kit. Scrapping. We can make wrenches at quality 5, which might be worth doing. Shotguns and big hitters again. Of course, now that I don't need either of those, the loot table is just filled with them. That's how it always works. Oh, I was checking my fucking inventory. Dickhead. There we go. Who else is around then? Oh, this looks like a fun area. Hey, where are they hiding all the zombies then? Probably above. Yeah, I see the guys moving already. I'm gonna jump through this barbed wire, because I don't give a fuck. Bunch of other people in there. How many of you are in there? Oh, I don't need this anymore. I can just hit them. Well, that was a million zombies. Let's see if the loot was worth it. Egg planet and rad remover and the woodcutter mod for an axe or something. I don't really have much to put those on yet. And ammo stuff. Grapping for fun. We can make a ratchet at quality one now. That's probably worth doing. How long is it until I get like, quality two though? If it's like one more book I can hold. Ah, that's like so long. Probably just make a quality one then. Futils digests. Uh, vehicle adventures. Cool. Always nice to get one of those even when you don't really need one right now. Let's open up this chest. Scrapping for fun. Tools digest. Better boots than what I have. Let me dump some stuff and I'll get those mods back. And a couple of other useful things. Okay, this is a pretty decent BOI actually. Except for that last section where there's a hundred thousand zombies, but hey, I handled it. But let's head back to my base and make that upgraded um, ratchet. Although I'm going to need to get steel. That's always a pain in the ass. Especially since my main source of steel other than buying it is obviously ratcheting it. Well, wrenching. Eight. That's not too bad, actually. I can probably do that. Let's see. Where's that gas station near here? I could probably get that from just wrenching the, um... Oh, what are they called? The gas pumps. Ah, down here. There's two forged steel. There we go. There's four. I could technically wrench that vending machine, but they're a miserable source of steel. Let's, uh, get some of these lamp posts instead. There's seven. Where's another lamp post? Ah, there's one over here. Oh, garbage cans? Pumpkin seeds. There's eight forged steel. I'll finish scrapping this though, so I don't confuse myself later. There we go. Just need a couple duct tape now. One of which I can actually just make now. Let's head back to my base. Also, for future reference, this wrench did like 22 damage. That's when it's slightly damaged though. Hang on. Maybe I should repair it and test it. If they work like augers at all. Checking. Let me find another car. Make the maths. Foolproof. Okay, no. So wrenches aren't affected by durability, and this one does about 22 damage. Which is dog shit. And there we go, there's the ratchet. So the status comparison is 16. It actually does a little bit less damage. Oh no, how is that even possible? <laughs> and the stamina cost is more. Right, let's give this a test. 
This is interesting if that is actually the case. Something they may even have to patch. If it's that shitty. Let me go find something to actually wrench though. Those damage values are misleading half the time anyway. Where is a car? Ah, here's one. I'm assuming I haven't damaged this. Let's see. Okay, it does a lot more damage. This did 36 damage. Which is like 50% more, but it's listed as doing a lot, a lot less damage, which is very strange. Still, this is doing about 50% more damage. That's probably pretty worthwhile. Costs a little bit more stamina as well, but presumably not a huge amount. Let's see. Yeah, it's, it's pretty manageable. So this will substantially increase the speed I can do these things at. That combined with the fact that the mini bike can get me around without using stamina means it should be a lot easier to do this stuff. And I could even go out at night and do it if I wanted to. Okay, so today we got a couple of decent upgrades. We got the pump action shotgun, we got the mini bike, and the ratchet, which is a pretty good place to be. What should I do next though? Let's see. I probably want to focus on just getting rid of harvesting tools now. I have all the basic stuff I need. If I can get rid of harvesting tools, I can dump points in Grease Monkey and Lockpicking and start properly power leveling workstations and vehicles. Once I have the best vehicle I want and I have the best um, workstations I need, the chemistry station and the crucible being the main ones, everything else will fall into place because there's no real point in me getting the ability to make like level 5 auto shotguns until I can just produce 150 steel quite quickly. That would that would be like 3 days of work for me right now so there's no real benefit to going much further. I wouldn't say no to like a level 3 pump shotgun and then just wait until level 1 auto shotguns come around and probably will just wait for level 5 steel clubs to come around as well. So we're doing pretty good, we're on, we're on the cusp of reaching the end of the tech barrier even without questing probably be around about where I want to be by like day 28 at the latest which isn't much different from the base game it's just you go about it very differently and it starts off a lot slower and I can put mods on my wrench here to make it even better let's see what can what kind of damage can that do find another car really quickly it was 36 now it's 49 that's not bad if we can get it just a little bit higher that'll be quite useful Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today I think we might just be able to get the last of the Tools Digest books I need to get rid of the Harvesting Tools books from my loot table, which would require a further 17 of them. But once they're gone, that opens up all of the sort of hardware stores and tool POIs and stuff for getting me workstations and vehicles, and those are obviously the main things that I want for my progression right now. Because uh, there's no point in me being able to make a shotgun if I don't have enough industrial might to produce it now is there so let's go and find somewhere in the middle of the town that'll be tool related and i'll just see if i can get through all of the ones that i need today hmm there's a bookstore here might be worth giving that a quick check hang on there's a zombie whoa hold still oh car hello moil okay right so is there any actual books here there are vehicles okay and big hitters cool paper zombies are coming handguns and shotguns though more books. Oh, a batter up, I already know. That's kind of unfortunate. Anything in the back here? There's a mo, but other than mo, there's also this cracker book crate. Tools, scrapping, explosives. Cool. I will remember this place, because I could probably do it, but I do want to look for more of a construction or related POI. I don't think this actually counts. It's just a bit of road work. Anyway, let's keep driving along. Ah, now see that construction site over there is more what I'm looking for. Let's head over service truck here these sometimes have good uh, chances for vehicle magazines not today though another stumbaton i got lock picks on me i do let's check the police car what do we get a level six wooden club um great let's kill this one zombie and continue now that uh, gas station poi there is of interest to me i'll wait until i have tools uh, digest out the loot table because that's also a very good chance for vehicle magazines with all the passing gas containers in there so i wouldn't want to waste that oh it's this construction site okay i have to be careful this one's more dangerous than the one i thought it was i can probably take it though right let's see where where are you actually supposed to go into this one i always just jump over the walls but there's presumably a door right ah this would probably be it zombies let's fight Hello? Oh, a bag. Glue. Anyone home? Certainly is. So I did get a skill point there. Is that enough to get my intellect up at all? Yep. Eight is probably all I'll need. I don't plan on getting Dating Adventurer because I can't do quests for this anyway. I got a forge ahead from that cement mixer. 
one bone. Oh, there's two cement mixers in this POI. That's actually good to know, because that is basically two guaranteed forger heads on standard loot things. So, while it is a tier 4, and you maybe don't want to come here on, like, day 1 of your insane nightmare playthrough, two guaranteed forger heads is always something you should be aware of. Okay, so there's definitely going to be some kind of explosion happening over here. Hello there. Right, let's search this truck. Come on, vehicle adventures. Or tools digest. There we go, vehicle adventures. Cool. I need another, like, 21 of them to get anywhere. Oh, he's going to come out. Ah, he stands on a landmine. It's probably supposed to set off those barrels, but it doesn't. So, uh, fuck me, I guess. Also, he's feral, which is disgusting. Evil. Why would you ever do that to me? More red dye. Nice. Hold still. He didn't hold still. Do I have any need for this red dye? Anything I need to put it on? Not clothing-wise, but let's chuck it on the shotgun. Why not? Some books here. Hammers. Boo. Nice bit of medicine there. Did I hear a vulture there? Guess not. Rude. Alright, first floor area, I guess, is cleared. Let's go into the real building. I'm assuming there's some vultures waiting for me here. Oh good, a biker. No one's on this area. They're gonna make me go across, aren't they? Okay. Get some headshots. I could aim this bow. There we go. Yeah, they've all taken at least one hit. I need better armor. That's just rude. Now let's waste the first aid kit on that. Yeah, my armor. Oh, that's just gonna take a while to get out of, isn't it? Ugh. As I was saying, my armor is very shitty. And if I take hits, which this is a very tight POI, so it's quite likely. Um, that was weird. It still has... I'm so confused now. Anyway, yeah, if I take hits, which is very likely because of how tight the POI is, I'm going to take a lot of damage, which just kind of sucks. One of those POIs, though, there's not a lot of room to run. Not without parkour, anyway. Hello there. Better be able to shoot through this. I can. We're getting close to the top now. That's good. They all, like, fell off. Can they find the ladder? I'm not convinced the pathing is going to work for him. Meh, yeah, I guess the other guy's gone. Some ammo. I'm going to let him run along. That's why I'm going to let him run along. I don't trust that crane not to just collapse. It's happened too many times. So I simply refuse. I'm just going to make my own path here. Hmm. Bunch of zombies in here. Really, you're gonna go that way? Ah, hold still. I think he fell through it, so that's weird. The other guy fell down. He won't be dead, but he's also not my problem, so. Works for me. Hi. Jeez, soldier, just die. I'm out of stamina here. Come on, Bill. He burned or bled out, one of the two. Up he goes. Cheese, lumberjack. That's right, fall down. They're legally no longer my concern once they go down there. Give me that. I'm cooking weekly, cool. I see a bunch of shit from up here. I should probably go over to those warehouses, forge ahead, because uh, they'll probably have working stiff tools containers for me. So this was also useful in that regard. We got big food pile here. Home cooking weekly and some food. Steel club parts, some meds, and in the actual toolbox, tools digest as I expected. Hammers, no. My life is ruined. Meds, and let's unlock the chest. I think they just made something collapse underneath me. I hope it doesn't take down the whole damn building. It was just one guy. I bet it was the crane, actually. Oh my god, just open, please. Ugh, this game stinks. Tools Digest, two of them. Chess piece I don't need. One of those I don't need. Do I need that? Yeah, I'll take that over bleed, I think. And I'll take this other stuff. Screw the blood bag. We'll throw the barbed wire away, and then we go extra knockdown chance is always good on a club. So, now we just need to get down without dying. Oh, you're feral. Or were. How many of you are down here? I suppose you could use the crane's ladder, but I don't want to. <laughs> it's too unreliable. I need a duffel bag. Vitamins, okay. And we're down. I think all the zombies are dead too. Of course, someone had to show up, didn't they? 
fill the mini bike up with stuff and go investigate some of those other places I saw. Oh, there's also a warehouse like right next to us. That would also work. Ah, it's the Eco Trash Recycling Center. Have I been here? No. I wonder where the end loot is. Listen, I don't have quests. I see no reason to clear every POI properly. I wonder if I can just piss off the zombies who are inside here enough that they'll come out and greet me. That would be very helpful. Ah, there's the end loot. Where's the button? Hmm. I could just unlock this from here. <laughs> well, this is helpful. Two scrapping for funds and a bunch of various somewhat useful things. I'm trying to remember which of these is the one with the actual button on it, because that would be really helpful right now. Just open these all up, get the fight going. Not this one. Hey, random lady. I'm going to shoot this one in the face with a shotgun to really wake them all up. You want to go to that one? Okay. There we go. Probably finish off the work here. And I'm in. For future reference, wait, is the button? Oh, it's over here. That's weird. But noted. Now then, let's get the other bits of these loot. We got some ammo and a bone knife. Working stiff tools crate. Wrapping vehicle adventures and wiring. Cool. And 20 more of those for a motorcycle. And tech planets. Okay. Some meds. Alright, nice easy loot here. Let's continue. I wonder if this has anything good in it. Let's see, what tier are you? Zero? Yeah, it's a tier zero. We might find like one, one tool crate though. Let me read that uh, treasure map just to get it out of the way. Where are my bandages? I must have went into the fucking mini bike I'll have to waste the first aid kit on that. Uh, some of my armor needs repaired. Mildly annoying. There are no crates in here at all. I see a bag, but that's not a crate. Truly really a peril of wisdom. Ugh, one guy. Come on, let's fight. Farming, I suppose. Uh, there's another duffel bag up here. Nothing good. Anything hiding over here. Nothing hiding under the rubble, it seems. Maybe something in the back of that truck. Hello? Anyone here? No? Just more bags. Ah, forge head, though. Okay, nothing much in this POI noted for future reference. <laughs> Where are my first aid bandages? Get back here. Ah, we have a sham wave warehouse. That's not as good as I thought it would be, but let's consider it later. But there's more useful ones here, I think. This might be another easy one to sneak to the end of. COC chemicals one. I think I just activated a door inside somehow. Try and break through these walls. Ah, perfect. There's the end loot. And I'm probably going to have to fight a great deal of zombies in this room, aren't I? Shotgun. We claim two casts. Neat. Hey, one guy. Come here. No, come here. Hang on. Are these barrels explosive? Pretty sure they are. That works. Certainly softened a few of them up for me. He's feral. Run away. Whoa. Go away, please. Nope. You're not going to get me, Hazgamat guy. We can loot the truck. Ooh, a repair kit. Anybody still in here? Sure seems like it. You stop making all of the noise. There we go. Oh then, the end loot. Ah, two boot containers, nice. Weapons bag, big hitters. We can make steel clubs of quality three. Probably just wait for five, to be honest. Mine's doing very well as it is. Medical journal, uh, another skill point, shotguns and rifles and pulling mesh, shotguns and flashlight mod, and let's check the tool, uh, the pills crate, medical journal, and let's check the chest. Uh, tools digest, an urban combat I know, and a suppressor. Could be useful later, I don't really need it for anything right now though. I need food, but I don't have any. I have some sham and a blueberry pie actually. Uh, you know what, yeah, let's do it. Let's just, just do it. Let's, let's just get out of the way. And dump all this in here. You can do probably another POI with that. Now I wonder if the Grace POI, the other one, has any good tool uh, containers in it. Ooh, it has a free cement mixer though, I didn't know that. Let's try and avoid Grace for the time being. Until we've identified the loot is worth fighting for. So we got a passing gas container, a cracker book, and a working sift tools. That does sound pretty worth it, but I'm going to have to go through a hell of a fight to get this stuff. Right, let's put one point in Grease Monkey. Let's just get that started. Tools Digest is coming to the end of its usefulness for me. Come on, zombies. Let's just all fight. Come on. I'm going to have to kill the entire PY, basically. 
We still got a bunch of meat from it if I brought a knife. Yeah, I did. Hey, come back. Good job. You came back. You died, but that, you know, whatever. Whoa. Fucking eggs. A bag here was in this. No sandwich, I don't care. Give me the, give me the pig. Back up there. Now then. The more interesting side. Probably want to get my bow out. Now where, uh, where does the pig spawn? Ah, there she is. I was just gonna piss off all the zombies. I, I think I can make her fight them if I just attack her and then like run away. Just cause a bit of havoc down there, make them all fight each other. Now I know Grace can get up here because this game is just comedy at times. Um, oh, hello. Ooh, reload faster, please. I ain't letting her hit me. God damn. Hey, there's books up here. Which one of you is the dead one? There we go. Pretty sure Grace can't climb um, ladders, so this might be her undoing. Problem is, the zombies will eat her. And I would rather that didn't happen. I need to, like, get back across Ooh. and deal with the zombies. There they are. Come here. Where are you hiding from me? Oh, there's millions of you. Loot bag. First aid. There's, like, a lumberjack somewhere who was really upset with me. Grace is dead. Let's get the, the meat from her. There we go. Got men mixer here. Got a pig with more meat. Okay, check these book containers here. Shotguns, nice. Some books here. Vehicle Adventures, nice. Anyone else gonna bother me in this area? Doesn't look like it. Right. The end loot. Some ammo. We got another shotgun book. Candyland, weirdly. Candyland again. Suffering. Medical journal. And let's check this weapons bag. Shotguns again. Let's go. And let's check the end loot. Uh, two, two tools digest. Slightly better legs. The triple armor pocket mod. Okay, and that's pretty good. And I've learned another place where you can guarantee yourself at least one cement mixer. There may be another one in there, I just don't really care to go search through it all. Let's dump more stuff in here. Can I move? Hmm, debatable. Let's see, do we really care about these books at this stage? Just... We could probably do another POI, but I'm gonna play it safe with my inventory capacity and just like not but there's still a good few POIs we can come back to later and deal with how am I doing on those tools that I just then I need 10 more and then I'll be done with the bloody annoying thing so that's good that'll free up the loot table for me to just fill it with vehicle magazines get that out of the way and workstations as well speaking of workstations how long till I can make a chemistry station 15 more mm, not too bad I need 19 more to make a motorcycle a motorcycle would let me just loot all day basically at this speed so that would be nice. Oh, I should check Jen and see if she happens to have any, like, tool magazines or something. While I'm out here. You know, speaking of while I'm out here, why don't I do the thing with the end of the high school here? Uh, have I got everything I would need? Probably. Let's go do it. Just a little bit of a break in to the end loop. It's not cheating, you see, because loads of POIs just don't let you do this. So the ones that do clearly are intentional. Gotta be careful here, there could be radiated zombies. Ooh, a radiated white, really, in this economy. I should probably lure him alone away. I was gonna set up a little thing here, but like I'm an idiot, so. Come on, Mr. Radiated White, we're taking this elsewhere. Oh, is he stuck? Maybe I won't take it elsewhere. There we go. Now, Mr. Crawler Man here should be able to get through that. Hey, destroyed my thing. Hang on, I'm reloading. You're not allowed to hit me when I'm reloading. Someone else in here. Where are they? Ah. And then a very easy tier 4 loot. We got electricals and wiring and somewhat useful stuff there. Uh, handgun, magnum enforcer, and shotguns. When do I get a level 3 double barrel? Or not double barrel, sorry, a pump action. Four more books. That would probably be worth making. I don't know. Life of World and a scope. And let's try my luck with my lot of picks here. Gonna need to make more of these fucking things. Uh, tools digest, scrapping for fun, bunch of useful stuff, let's go. Easiest tier 4 loot right there. I'm sure there's probably an easier one if you've got a gyrocopter, but I don't, so I will have to endure. Hey, a vehicle adventure is nice. Alright, and let's go talk to Jen. I get you. Any good books, Jen? I mm, know. Six medical journals, though. I suppose it makes sense, but geez. Let's just sell her a few things and I'll check in with Raider Joel, I think. Come on, Joel, give me what I need. 
You fucking dick. Okay. He does restock soon though, so it's not too bad. So tomorrow we need to go out and hunt down nine more tools digests, and then I'll be free to start properly leveling the things I do want. But that'll have to wait until the morning, I'm gonna go sit in my base and do things that aren't very productive. Alright, the next day let's head back out there, see if we can get this selection of books that I need out of the way. So that I can actually start playing the game. 18 days into the game. <laughs> Alright, here is another sort of hardware store kind of style of POI. Let's get in here and kill everybody. Oh, you're feral. That's not great. Now. Hey, filing cabinet. Vehicle adventures, nice. Who am I hearing? Oh, hello. Open pills crate here. The meds and stuff in there. There's also a construction crate here, probably. With some random shit in it. <laughs> no one in here? That's kind of weird. Some loot. Vehicle adventures again. Nice. Okay, that's locked. We're probably gonna have to fight some vultures on the roof. Hello? Oh, that's cheating. Oh. Another petal, damn. Okay, and down here. Anyone in this? That is. Him dealt with. That's locked. Let's continue over here. Oh, hang on. Meds. First aid get nice. Oh, well, that was just very poorly timed, wasn't it? Absolute dick. Oh, shotgun side crack. Uh, shotguns and a mop. Cool. That's right, break this random wall instead of something that makes way more sense. There's a lot of pedals there. Get back to the door. Make sure my shotgun is loaded. Ah, uh, they just broke through it immediately. Cheating. Little shit bags. Hi. Uh, some more random shit. This door unlocked? No, where do we go? Ah, this way. Be careful here, I'm pretty sure. Hi there. And then we're done. Right, so let's see what loot we got. No working Sif Tools crates. This game is just so funny. Uh, hunting ri uh, rifle magazine. No schematic for a thing. Savage Country box with a dick hitter. This thingy with a handgun magazine. We make level 1 pistols, which I already have, so not too helpful. A random can of sham. Let's open up the end loot here. Uh, tools digest, bows, and a couple meds and ammo. Okay. Not bad. We got one at least, right? Yeah. Could have definitely gotten more, but hey, it's something. We got a bunch of other useful books as well. Shotguns again. Let's go see if there's any more useful locations around. We have this bot factory. I don't know if this is a real POI though. I've never been near it. It's not. This is a remnant. It's fucking huge. Hello. Probably worth a check to see if it's got any useful crates in there. Though. Got cardboard boxes with random shit in them. So this is where they invented boxes. Wowee. There's a poppin' bills crate over there. It's something. Magical journal. Hello. Goodbye. Another skill point. Let's just go more grease monkey. Hey, books. Oh, shotguns and vehicle adventures, nice. Need 15 more of those to get a motorcycle. More books in here, doesn't look like it. Pissed off somebody. Where is he? I legitimately have no idea. Has this got books in it? No. Well, I don't know where that one guy is, but I got everything I'm getting out of there. Let's go look for some more POIs. We have a Shamway warehouse. wonder where the end loot actually is. I really don't feel like doing a whole POI. Ah, stamina. Oh good, I'm thirsty. That's perfect. Can I drink the acid? Where's the end loot? Is that radiated I saw? Oh no, I was seeing one of the green shells. Oh hey, a hobo stew. 
That'll restore some of my health and slightly solve my water problem for a little while, hopefully. More zombies, I'm assuming. Seems like a place where zombies would be. Is this where the end loot is? Hmm, suspicious. Ladder onto the roof. Where is a vulture coming? Just attack me, you little shit. Ow. Anybody in here? Someone is. Some more red dye. Or are we going even further in? Oh no. The one zombie there. Close that soldier in there. Hey, a working food vending machine. Do I need any of this? Eh, not really. Anyone else in here? Oh, hello. Demons, okay. Ow. Also, ow. The drinks vending machine. Let me get an actual thingy of water. Vehicle adventures. Nice. Those two points are really helping me. And gun magazine. Is this the end? Loop? Yep, run away. I think we're good. Seems to actually all just be Shamway Craze this time though, because of course this one time would be the time when the game decides, yep, we're gonna make it match the outside. Because of course they would, why wouldn't they? Another vehicle adventures. That is a way out into the roof there. Now let's see. Ammo. Useful stuff. Let's unlock this. It's almost all of them. Damn. Two more tools to digest them. Let me check these. Oh, weapons bag and these Shamway things. Tech planets. Some varyingly useful things. Come on, Shamway Craze, give me, give me three meat stews. That's not what that is, but there's still a chance. Oh, those aren't what I'm asking for. Well, fuck. Did I loot this? I did. Something up here. Ah, more books. Those digest, cool. Need five more of those total. Right, we got a wall safe here. Ah, I can probably pickaxe this open, but it's annoying. Money. Cool. Some ammo and food out of that. Where's my bike? Dump all this, and let's keep moving. I only need five more harvesting tools magazines to get that out of the loot table, and then I can really start powering through the other stuff. Wonder, does the eye candy company have anything good in it? Oh, it's also a tier zero. Yeah, I didn't know that. Well, at least it should be fairly easy. Oh, a feral ship. Oh, that one burned out, I think. Some meds. Ah, don't hit me, Feral. There we go. Now, all these containers are looted. Slightly annoying. Where do I go? Ah, up these stairs, probably. Anyone home? Oh, I turned my sensitivity up by accident. There we go. Ooh, that was, that could have been bad. I'm, I'm so lost now. Here we go. Back up these stairs. That's locked. There was a hole in the wall. That's probably what I'm looking for. A ladder or a hole here? Oh, I see. This is another hole. The old ladder. Ah, there's a Feral. I remember when I used to not have ferals constantly. Those were a nice two days. Who's behind me? Oh, look, a feral. Um, oh, meds and stuff. Cool. That doesn't seem like the way I want to go. Down here? But it just leads me back here. Bloody tier zeros. There must be something on the roof, though. You can't make a building this tall and not put something at the top of it. Oh, I see a shamway crate. That's not a good sign. <laughs> no vultures. The meds. No actual meds in it. A fucking shamway crate, that's what all that was for. Well, at least it didn't take too long. Have I searched this truck before? I have, and I left an axe in it. Weird, but okay. What tier are you, house? They're tier two. I feel like I've been here because the door's open, but the zombies have respawned. Maybe some zombies ran through it at some stage. I see books on the table, so. Ow. Some stuff and books. Shotguns, rifles, hello there. Oh, she's dead in one hit, cool. You can make pump shotguns at quality 3, probably worth doing. Hey there. And he's dead. You go outside? Oh no, that's how you're supposed to actually go into the PY. And what's hiding in here? Apparently nothing. Oh, there's a weapons bag up there though. More shotgun. Now oh, this seems fun. Chemistry station. Ooh, glue. Are you hiding the zombies game? Yeah, right in front of me, that would make sense. Perfect place to hide them, I'll never check there. Now, isn't this floor fucky or. No, it's not that one, okay. Well, this was all terribly timed. Where's this other guy? You going to join us down here or are you going to be annoying? Yeah, he's going to be annoying and do that. 
me as I look down to get up to him because zombies are just so smart. It's crazy. So where's the... Ah, here we go. Two first aid bandages and the custom fittings will be good once I actually have some upgraded armor. You can't actually put them on padded right now. Crapping and home cooking weekly. Okay. Well, it was something. Not exactly what I was looking for. Here's another house. Have I done it before though? I imagine not. I usually search the cars in these. Have a look inside. Hi. That was fortunate. Anyone home? Sounds like it. Really? It's done. I hear fire. Oh, hey, a bookcase. No oh, paper. Anything going on in here? A little lumberjack. Stay down, please. Go away. Hey. I don't think I've ever done this house before. It must be a newer one. No one's hiding in there. More nerdy glasses because this game is hilarious. Oh, there's a vulture trying to come in. Oh, there's definitely a dog up here, I would imagine. Nope. Only one crate in this savage country. Well then, I feel slightly robbed. Maybe there's another one hiding around here somewhere. And it's just a BDU. Okay. That was weird. There's a passing gas over here. Oh, hello, dog. I did say there was one around here. I just wasn't sure where. <laughs> Uh, tools digest and a wheel, medical journal and a first aid kit, cool. I actually don't know how to turn off that pipe, but oh, is it just under it? it seems kind of pointless. Oh, these are steep. I think I have to take my stuff back. Carrying too much between me and the mini bike. Right, so I could spend some more time hunting down those last few books that I need, or I could try and get the next level of pump action shotgun first, which would require... Probably stuff that I have, so give me a minute to hunt down what I have here. So the last thing I would need is some steel. Now my main options for that are of course going to be to go and scrap a bunch of shit, which takes ages, or I could try and buy some steel, which would involve selling random shit that I don't need. I wonder how many steel club parts am I really going to ever need? Looks like five. So if I just take half of these, keep that there, I won't have to worry about the rest of them and I can sell the spare club parts that I've got. Okay, let's go see what Joel has in terms of steel. He's got fucking none. Didn't anticipate that. Okay, well, I sold him some stuff at least and I got a skill point. Let's put that into Grease Monkey as well. I suppose we could go and check if Jen has steel. I really don't feel like breaking down all these damn street lights. Real quick, this is a tier 3, isn't it? Hi. Where do they keep the end loot? Is it over here? I think I see it up there. Oh, hello. Two big hitters, that's nice. Wasn't the end loot though. I'm guessing they're hiding that in the lower levels. Right, so let's take on this building then, I guess. No need to do the whole POI, but we can certainly clear this. Even does have the end loot in it. I actually don't think it does somehow. Is there a bunch of crawlers? Yeah, they're XP, whatever. Right, wrong building for the end loot, I guess. Basement? I'm being roped into doing a whole POI, aren't I? Not again. Big hitters and vehicle adventures. We're getting a lot of those vehicle adventures now, that's good. How dare you hit me? Anything hiding in here? Oh, hello. Just a hoodie and a sweatshirt. Up we go. Hello, feral. Or was he not a feral? Guess not. Ow. I need to get some heavy armor if I'm going to play like a heavy armored character. Uh, I'm going to have to bash up in this thing, but we got a passing gas crate here first. I'm guessing the other crate that usually comes with these things was in that tower over there, so that would make sense. Let's bash this. Okay, so from that POI, I've got up to 99 tools. I need one more to be done with that. And we still need to buy some steel from Jen. So let's work my way over there. Barns are usually pretty good for tool crates, actually. Trouble is, I don't know if I've looted this one in particular. Let's see, maybe I could pillar up to that window. Ah, here's the end loop. Well, that makes that easier. Um, shotgun Messiah and some arms. I've completed Shotgun Messiah, so now I will have a completion bonus, which is one-shot most wood blocks and bulk craft shotgun ammo. Cool. 
Ah, I had a shotgun crate, that's kind of annoying. There might be another crate sitting around somewhere though. Tactical warfare, well that's just shit. Is there another crate in here? Let's see, doesn't look like it. Ah, whatever, let's keep moving. We do have fiery farms over here, which is a bit of a scary POI to just waltz into, but the loot is good. Hello, Feral. So many zombies. Including a drink, which I need. Oh, the miso soup could also give me water, right? Yeah, a little bit. That was a mess, but we can just hop up into the end loot now. There will be enemies up here, though. Hello, soldier. Can we, crate? Seriously? Ow, oh, that was poorly timed. Now I've been hit by a feral. An abrasion, really. Okay, back to the end loop. Disappointed to see there's no tool crates though. It's usually pretty good for that. Here we go. Southern farming. Food. Home cooking weekly. Weapons bag here. We're going weekly in a level 6 bow. Is an improvement on mine, so I'll do that. And cat food. Right, let's bash open this. Probably not gonna get to Trader Gens now, so the shotgun will have to wait for the next episode. Tools Digests and some stuff. So we're now officially done with Tools Digest, which means that I'm free. I can now actually loot, like, passing gas containers and related stuff and not just receive endless amounts of Tools Digests. So now looting certain POIs is going to be way more worthwhile. But that'll have to wait for the next episode, during which I think I will hunt down some of the gas stations I haven't looted around here to get some passing gas containers and really just get my hands on as many vehicle magazines as I can and maybe get a motorcycle. I'll of course look out for the extra 45 steel so that I can make a better pump action shotgun and we'll be well on our way to the end game. Once we get a vehicle and once we get a crucible, there's nothing standing in my way other than just hunting down the, the right magazines or going to the wasteland biome and doing some high level POIs and getting some good loot, but the magazines will actually come first. It's even because as slow as the magazines are, they're still faster than the loot stage system. So that will have to be the way we do it. Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die Hardcore. Today we can finally start moving on with the workstations books and the vehicle books because the loot table was pretty much filled with minor 69er books, which is not the best, but we finally got those out of the way. So now we should be able to just loot what I want and get what I want, essentially. Uh, we're very close to being done with clubs, actually. We only need uh, 14 more. That's probably not going to happen today because it's not the easiest one to level, but we're close. Shotguns are doing quite well as well, but the main one we're focusing on is workstations and vehicles. I'd love to get up to 15 workstations relatively soon, and I would love to get up to 45 vehicles relatively soon. Once I have a motorcycle, I'm, I'm pretty much set on vehicles. I can focus on getting better guns and melee weapons. So, there is a passing gas POI in the middle of the town that I've been saving for the day I finally got rid of the tool magazines from the loot table. We are going to go there and loot the passing gas containers it has in the hopes that I get some vehicle magazines, I should mention. I have three ranks of Grease Monkey, which should be a solid boost to my Vehicle Adventures magazines. So let's head out there, see if I can find that POI again. Okay, so here is the Tier 4 Passing Gas. I am going to clear this out and get the Passing Gas containers that I'm assuming are going to be in here. I'm sure I could skip to the end and probably get most of them, but I am worried about missing a couple throughout, so I will just do the whole thing. So let's get started. Go, oh, we killed him. Okay, well, here's the first Passing Gas container. Vehicle Adventures and another Tools Digest. Even though I've cleared them out of the loot table, they will still exist in some containers. Didn't be particularly frequently, though. Hang on, it sounds like there's a wandering horde outside. I mean, they seem to be just running right past. So, I guess I don't have to worry. Let's continue. Anyone else hiding back here? No, cool. Now this one's really annoying to sneak into because of the water, but let's, let's try my luck. Yeah, no, that didn't work. <laughs> ah, 
Ah, a cement mixer. Always good to know guaranteed ones of those. We got more zombies coming. Right, so this is a death trap, this section, so I'm going to make sure I have a way out here. I mean, we've got that little chair, but I really don't trust that little chair. Let's go in. Run away. That went well. Let's see, does this spawn more zombies? Of course it does. No one needs a feral. Oh my god, just die. Come on. There we go. There's a working stiff tools crate up there. Forge ahead. Cool. Bunch of medical stuff. Oh, there was two books there. Sounds like we've attracted some zombies from outside. Let's go deal with them. Let's see what we get in this safe. Mod some ammo and some silver. Of course, there's one more zombie, just to be annoying. Some meds and food, cool. Let's continue on. There's something hiding back here. Another working stiff tools crate. Uh, repair kits and tool parts, okay. Hello. Ow. Stuck on the damn door. Now, I got a skill point there, and I think the best choice would be another rank of Grease Monkey for even more, uh, grease, even more vehicle adventure books. Or meds. Ah, there's some actual bookshelves here as well, that's nice. Vehicle Adventures. Need 10 more. Rifles. Vehicle Adventures. Another Vehicle Adventures. Another zombie outside. There's always more. Oh, hey, biker. Go down, please. Got scrapping for fun there. Right, this top area is going to be kind of scary, but let's reload. wonder, is there anything good in here? I forget. Full bag with some aloe cream in it. And a sealed shipping container with a shotgun book. Well, it's something. Right then, let's go fight the last of these zombies up here. Oh, and of course, it's all working stiff tools crates. You gotta love that. Where's the dog? That's my main concern right now. Or maybe there just isn't one this time? Ah, there it is. Follow me, cop. I don't want him to pop near the loot. Oh good, you're a feral. Ah, there we go. Bunch of ammo and some club parts. Some meds. One passing gas container is very disappointing. Handy land, it didn't even have what I needed. Oh, uh, this game's RNG. Check these tool containers though. Acid and steel tool parts. Handy land again. Let me... Use some medicine. I got any lockpicks on me? I got one, let's give it a try. Oh, of course. Right, well, let's just bash it open then. It's gonna take forever, but so what? <laughs> okay, we got uh, vehicle adventures, scrapping for fun, mods, ammo, health, and time charges, which will be very useful. I'm gonna go buy something from that vending machine that was in the room over there, because I need a drink, apparently. Get some coffee. Wait, where's this one zombie being annoying? There you are. Okay, so we got a good few vehicle adventures there. That got me up to 38, so I need another 7. That's not terrible, and we also got a couple of forge heads. Where else can I go? You know, the loot in the funeral home is very easy to get to, so maybe we should just do a quick ooh, uh, jump onto the roof there and grab that. Anything in this? These are usually good for them as well. Let me search this. Any luck? Nope. Wiring and tech junkies, of course. Cars are also not a bad source of the Vehicle Adventures books. And there's a bunch of them in this POI, so I might as well search them. Nothing there. Nothing there. Shotgun book. Not what I was expecting, but I will take it. Glue. Okay. Any cars around this side? Nope. Okay. Right, let's get onto the roof and get the loot. If this is still... Same as it used to be, anyway. They might have changed the POI. I think they changed the POI. <laughs> they definitely changed the POI. Why is one of those in a tier 1 POI? Can the gas go away, please? Uh, water, okay. So, is this different or what? I'm so confused now. Okay, it is different, but it's not substantially different. You can still easily get up to the loot here. Uh, 
Are they coming behind me? I'll just shut that. Oh, you can't shut that, of course. If there's one thing I know about metal hatches is that you can lock them open. Game's weird. All right, let's go down and see what we can deal with. Where are you all? I assume they're caught on this door in some way. That one guy there stuck. He's very annoying. More acid. Oil. Right then, so, end loop, as I was trying to do before all the zombies in the POI woke up for some reason. Anyone else hiding back here? No. Ah, that's a way easier way to get to that, noted. Uh, shotgun choke mod, that's actually pretty helpful. Increases my accuracy with the shotgun, some ammo, some random items, and then the passing gas container. Come on, actually give me the thing. Here we go, vehicle adventures and scrapping. Where else can I go around here then? Hmm. Let's have a drive around and see what I can find. There's a Joe's USA over there. They usually have some bookcases at the end and I think I can see, or mailboxes, and I think I can actually see the loot at the end if I go in there. So it would be easy to tell if it's worth going in. An electronics crate is probably worth it because those also have a very good chance of giving you vehicle magazines. Oh, good one of these, okay. Right, let's, uh, let's go in here then. Ow. Oh, that was a weird time to get hungry. Quite distracting, actually. He dead. There he is. Press these buttons, I don't like being trapped in here. Let's get this. So, pipe bombs. I'd say no to those, let's eat the tuna. Some mods and ammo. Right, let's check this one crate that I actually wanted. There we go, vehicle adventures. Five more needed for a motorcycle. Right, I'm going to head back to my base really quickly and drop some stuff off. I might check Trader Jen's on the way back because I think I wanted to buy some steel from her for the uh, pump action shotgun I was going to make. But more importantly, I should probably get enough steel to make the motorcycle. And buying it would be the quickest way without a crucible right now. So Also, I think the Trader's reset today, so they might have some vehicle magazines for me as well. That would be a really useful thing for them to give me. I think they did last time, but... That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen this time. Three big hitters would not be bad. Let me take that and the forge ahead. Does she have any steel? No. Joel still might, though. Take Read these you. books and sell her some things I don't really want. Yeah. Right, let's go talk to Joel. Joel does have a shotgun weekly, but no vehicle magazines. And he doesn't have any steel. That is mildly annoying. But we can't even make the motorcycle just yet anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it too much, but still. Okay, so I'm in an area of town that I've raided a lot less thoroughly than the other areas. Let's go and see if I can find any books in here. Any pigs chasing after me, by the way? There usually is in this POI. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Some duct tape and gunpowder, cool. Some, ooh, Mega Crush, nice. You don't find that in loot very much. Anyone home? Not there. What about behind here? Nope, not there either. There's definitely gonna be pigs, though. One in here as well? No pig in here? Hmm, suspicious. Home cooking weekly. And some meat. Oh, there's a vulture hiding up here. Dealt with. Of the weapons bag. Pet kissers again. Nice. Need ten more of those and I'll be done with clubs. Alright, let's go check the main building. Oh, that was lucky. Medical journal, cool. Right, nothing's hiding down here. Let's go upstairs. Ah, two bookshelves, nice. We've got vehicle adventures in there. And digger mod schematic, okay. Less good. Some meds in that cabinet. Ow. Oh, there goes her arm. Anyone else hiding on this level? I don't think so. We just need to go up. Some food on top of the fridge. So close to being where food is supposed to be. And let's start that. Probably just want to run downstairs and fight them all outside, to be honest. Come on. Okay, game. The door is completely closed. There isn't even a hole in it. Food and ammo. Right, let's go see the end loot. We got an electronics crate, that's good. We'll just usually have a good chance of vehicle adventure books. 
some ammo and meds, and wasteland treasures and extended magazine. The extended magazine is quite useful, actually. Let me take off the cripple mod. Vehicle adventures and tech planet. We need three more vehicle adventures then. So that's good. And some meds. Let's go outside. So I've probably got all I'm going to get today. Tomorrow I will go out and scrap some cars for gas. And... Or maybe I could buy it from Joel. Now I'll need to scrap some to get where I want to go anyway. So I'll scrap some cars for gas. And... I will take down some tier 4 POIs I saw over near Trader Gens, which I know have a lot of books in them. We're bound to get three vehicle adventures from that, and then I can get on making a motorcycle, which would be a substantial improvement over this. Okay, so it is the... Is it? Yeah. Okay, so it is the morning. I had a little bit of gas back at my base already, but let's go and hunt down some more while I head over to the area near Trader Gens, where there are a couple of POIs I want to take down. And I'll scrap a bunch of cars on the way there. Alright, so here's the first place I want to deal with. The Mortician's House. It has a good few bookcases in it. It's tier 4, but it's one I can probably handle. So, let's go and clear it out. Oh, got someone down here actually. Is that a wandering horde or just a guy? Looks like it was just a random guy. Free lockpick there, nice. Weapons bag, hiding bag here. With a big hairs, nice. I can make a steel club at quality 4 now if I wanted. It just makes sense to wait until 5 though. Whoa. Bookcase, nothing useful in there. Let's snipe these 3 or 4 guys. That's a feral. Let's let him come to me. Also, there's some food here. I'm cooking weekly and some cat food. Great. Hey, I one shot him. Medical journal. Be sure to sneak into this back area here and get that secret staff. Forge head and cripple a mod. Any books there? Nope. More books in this room, though. Where's the zombie though? There he was. Handy land, ooh. Knife guy and wiring, that's disappointing. Ow. Got a skill point though, that's good. What can I spend that on? Now let's see, intellect, it would make sense to get lockpicking. Because that will actually increase my chances of getting Forge Head books, because this game is very weird. Level 6 fire axe, I'll take that. Home cooking and some food. And he burned out. Ah, look I already know. Very bad luck on these. Medical journal. Let me move my pipe bombs onto that slot, because I might need them in this next room. Oil shale, nitrate, forge ahead, nitrate and coal. And let's break open this poppin' pills crate. Furious fists and another beaker, because the game is very funny. Right, let's try and take on this last room. But be careful in here and make sure you don't get hit by a cop spit on those battles next to you, because that'll kill you. Uh, very easily, actually. Shotgun Weekly. There's a feral soldier, which is horrifying. Doesn't look like there's any cops though, so that's nice. Feral White. Random Lady. Feral Soldier. Oh, we attracted the White and the Soldier. Shotgun time. Or better yet, maybe pistol time. Come over here. Hit the door a couple of times for me. There we go. Hope they're both dead. <laughs> we done here? I think so, right. Let me eat one of these jailbreakers and unlock the end loot. Forge ahead, tools digest I don't need, sniper, some ammo, and some other stuff. More ammo. And shamway and working sieve tools. Not great for what I'm looking for, but hey, it works. Uh, scrapping and a level 6 wrench. 
home cooking weekly and some food items. And another home cooking weekly and another kind of food. Let's get over here. Certainly was not great for vehicle adventures, but I got a bunch of other stuff. Now, there's another one of those POIs further up the town here, so I think we should go there next. Oh, there's a dog coming. Might as well sweep the rest of this area. Yeah, there's one. Okay, no one else. Let's go. Again, let's check this area here. Bow hunters, okay. And a woodcutter mod. Anyone home? Nobody's a biker, so I can just go in and kill people. Thing I don't need. Thing I don't need. Thing I don't particularly need. Fantastic. Let's go deal with these guys again. Good. Decapitated him in one shot. Nice. Oh, hello. You're not supposed to be there. Where have you come from? <laughs> That was weird. I see he broke his way through the building, of course. Why wouldn't he? Armoured up in an armour pocket mod. Everything except what I actually want. Oh, you're feral. A magazine extender, not ideal. No books there. Some books here though. Where's the zombie hiding? Same place as last time, great. Oh, I have no stamina. And food and ammo. Vehicle adventures, shotguns and scrapping, cool. Let's fight these guys. Hey, hold still. Check the working stiff tools crate over here. Tools Digest, of course. Shotguns again. Herbal antibiotics, nice. Hey, yeah, we've got some testosterone extract there. I can make a cigar now. Just need to get a bunch of plant fiber, which isn't particularly difficult. And let's handle this last room again. Got a feral soldier again. A couple of more normal looking zombies. Let's get this one. If I could aim. It's really not wanting to go through this curtain gap. That is just some bad luck. Let me just... Yeah, there we go. And you know what? Let me get a sneak attack on him before it becomes impossible. I'm out of arrows though, but that's a minor issue really. Oh, she's feral. Okay, man, I think I'm clear. So I've got like one lockpick, right? Well, I do have the time charges, but I think I left them. Oh, I left the lockpick as well, because I'm a genius. That's fine, we can get the thing in a second. I do not need a pipe rifle. Come on, give me a vehicle magazine. There we go, there's one. We need one more. All right, let's see, how intolerable would this be? I can handle this, to be honest. Scrapping bows, another beaker, and a helmet light mod. The game is throwing beakers at me. It's laughing in my face. Ah, oh, cigar. Nice. Just as I get the testosterone to be able to make my own, it just gives me a cigar anyway, because this game genuinely is the funniest game that has ever existed. But not for any of the reasons they intended it to be. Actually, no, that would be Oblivion, wouldn't it? Oblivion takes that award. This is like the second most unintentionally funny game to ever exist. After Oblivion, of course, which is where they invented comedy. You can never be too good with a bow. I know I'm not. Shotguns? Have I raided this place? Because if not, I'm pretty confident I could probably get a uh, ah, yeah. vehicle adventures from it, and it doesn't look like I have raided it, so let's get inside. Books here. Scrapping. Electronic traps. Still digest and scrapping again. It's going to do that hilarious thing it loves to do where when you're one away from getting what you want it doesn't give you the book for ages lockpick am i hearing a zombie in there i am stop that hey 
I'm guessing no vehicle adventures from this POI then, but we might get lucky in this working of tools crate. Scrapping. Home cooking weekly. Anything in the weapons bag? Yes, well that's insulting. And medical journal. Alright, no luck in here then I guess. Well actually there might be something up here, let me check. A full bag. Ah, eh, painkiller. Can't even pick it up. Right, well surely we can't be too far away from an easy vehicle adventures book. Just need to think of a good POI to try. There's this place over here, the Junkville Saloon. Don't know if I've touched this one though. But if I haven't, there's probably some easy books. Oh, I've definitely been here. Have I... Yeah, I've looted that part. Have I looted the end part? Doesn't look like I've looted the end part. Yeah, I don't think I have. There's a passing gas container there, that's promising. There we go, I can make motorcycles and I can craft my own gas if I actually get a chemistry station. Which is still a little bit of ways, but hey. We're getting there. Shotguns. More ammo. And let me try and unlock this chest. In fact, I'll just use my pickaxe. Scrapping for fun, forge ahead, first aid kit, and a pocket mod. There we go. Right, let's go back to my base and see if I have the things that I need to make a motorcycle. I know I won't have the steel, but I need to make sure I have everything else before I go hunting down all the steel. Right, let's see here. Motorcycle. I'll need 25 for steel for the chassis and 5 for the handlebar. So 30 is not too bad, but let's get the other stuff first. So I need 20 mechanical parts. Got that. 20 duct tape. Okay, I've got 16 duct tape and 14 glue, so I can turn that into that much. I just need the cloth, which I have. There we go. I need a headlight. There we go, got those. I need steel, electrical parts, and 10 leather. Okay, we got the leather, so it's just the 28 more steel that I need, which is not a particularly difficult amount of steel to get. Let me just get some blocks. And we can head out and gather that up from lampposts and gas pumps, mainly. Right, so I have enough steel now, after far too much time wrenching, to make the motorcycle chassis and the handlebars. That'll take a couple of minutes each, but we should have a motorcycle by the end of the day. And let me just double check, I have absolutely everything else I need for it. Yep, I need a car battery, let's see. Yep, that would be all I need, so now I need to go get gas. I'll just buy some from Joel to get me started. Like a thousand or something. 800 dukes, I can pay that. <laughs> also, I got a skill point there that I'm going to put into lock picking since forge ahead is now the important thing for me i need eight more to get a chemistry station but once i have that gas will no longer be an issue and then if i can get the crucible i can actually you know realistically make the 4x4 or gyrocopter until i get the crucible that's just not going to be possible though i'm not spending that amount of time going around all the lamp posts and scrapping everything that would be absolutely just a waste of time right there's the parts let's craft the actual motorcycle there we go, we have a motorcycle. Now I can really get around. I'm gonna have to gather up more gas for this, though it has a bigger tank than I remember. But now that we can really get around, the game is gonna be much easier because we can go to the other towns that may exist. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can't I can't find traders the classic way because I'm not allowed to do quests. But um we can definitely drive out and find more traders. More traders means more Forge Ahead books because they each have two guaranteed, which would really help me in getting the chemistry station. So that's maybe what we'll do after the horde tomorrow. Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die Hardcore. Today, we are going to take my motorcycle out and we're going to hunt down all the traders because I want to get enough uh, Forge Ahead books to unlock chemistry stations, which would be really useful for a variety of reasons. We'll also be taking on the Horde, I still don't have a base, I probably just, I'm not gonna make a base, I'm, I still don't want a base, so 
we'll just do that on a building somewhere and hope for the best. Now, there is a slight problem with finding all the traders. Two, actually. I have next to no gas and there are no main roads that lead out of my town here other than the one to the north, which you can see is very long and leads into a wasteland. I would prefer to not have to go that far. So I'm going to assume there's a bunch of stuff to the west over here, which is that way. Let's see if we can find a bunch of traders. If we can find a big road, then that's all we really need. Now, the traders are closed. Uh, so if I want more gasoline, which I do, I've only got 33% of a tank, I'm going to have to scrap a bunch of cars. So on the way there, scrap some cars and see if we can't find some better towns with maybe a bookstore. That would be really helpful. And some traders who will all have guaranteed forge aheads for me, which will push me forward a little bit. I'll need to remember to leave myself time to come back for the horde, of course, but you know, should be okay. <laughs> okay, so straight away to the southwest over here. I just saw some buildings in between the trees. Could be a town over over here see that lodge directly in front of me but it looks like there's more behind it got any cars here they do ah, i don't know if either of these have gas though this one might yeah i don't think that's got any gas in it and the burned out ones definitely don't we'll have to keep driving looks like we might be heading into the desert over here which is good because that means higher loot stage which means finding better stuff and it means i'll be able to get oil shale that is a weird biome just half of a half of an island is a desert over there I swear I saw buildings though. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, no, I do see something. I think it's just a POI over there though. Yeah. Interesting. Very strange terrain generation, all things considered. The rivers are a bit weird. Hmm. Let me kill this guy. And check this car for gas. Huh. Duct tape. Cool. Right, let me scrap this. Do we have an enemy? Sounds like it. Oh, I hear a dog. That was not what I expected. <laughs> I was expecting a wolf. That's that refueled. Let's continue my search. Now, I think all of these sort of country roads eventually feed back into main roads, and main roads always feed back into towns. So if I follow them, assuming it doesn't like double back and go into there, I should find new places. I see a main road over there. Ah, I think we're finding somewhere now, actually. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to reconnect to my main town, but we'll find out on the way back. In the meantime, let's go and find someone to talk to. Oh yeah, I see a town over there, that's good. Now I am slightly damaged, so I'll probably be attacked by vultures as I drive through here, but I can probably handle that. I saw a snow biome to the north there. Let me heal up, just so they leave me alone, because if you're at full health, they'll pretty much just ignore you. Oh, here's a car, I will scrap this. I think I see a trader wrecked there. Buy some gas from him, that would help me out actually. Get the forge, forge ahead, cool. Nothing from the workbench. We might get lucky with the chemistry station and get another one though. And the cement mixer, wherever he's hiding it, will also have a forge ahead for me. Just checking if he has any books in these areas. Here's a cement mixer, another forge ahead. Need six more. And no luck with the chemistry station. Let's talk to him. Uh, let's get some gas, maybe just like a thousand. He is selling a chemistry station, but I don't have anywhere near enough money for that. Okay, let's check his town for bookstores and maybe check the mailboxes while I'm here and see if I can also find a book POI here, which would probably be in this section of the town. Hmm, there's a construction site here. There might be a cement mixer. Well, it's actually more of a demolition site, isn't it, now that I think about it? Oh, she's feral. Welcome to the desert. How many workers are bloody here? Entirely too many. Nothing at that site then, let's continue. Bound to be plenty of mailboxes around at least. Vehicle adventures, nice. Another feral dam. Vehicle adventures again. I do need more of those in general, so I will accept that. Though it's not really what I'm looking for. So I haven't found a bookstore, but what I did just find is the Hogzilla Ranch, which does... Oh, I don't have parkour. Which does have a cement mixer somewhere. Just can't quite remember where. See, ah, there it is. Bye-bye. There's another forge ahead. I think that's a Crackabook Cafe on my left, actually. Oh, and across the street, is that the other one? Well, that's fortunate. There's two Crackabooks right here. Well, let's spend some time here, I guess. 
I know what I'm gonna do today. Get in there. This one's better and it's easier, so let's do it first. Forge ahead and vehicle adventures. Great start. Scrapping. Shotguns. Vehicle adventures again. Medical journal. Knife guy and big hitters. Getting very close to being done with clubs. Farming and clubs. Bows, okay. Vehicles and clubs. Hammers and shotguns, and I'm gonna... Oh, I don't have any arrows, do I? That's slightly annoying, I can't get that call. Sharp sticks. Two forge heads in that one. Tech planet and hammers. Let's deal with a cop. And whoever else I just woke up. And you! There we go. Uh, big hitters, fists. Shotguns again. Big hitters again. We're gonna be done with clubs by the time I've done these both. We make pump shotguns in quality 5. I'll just wait until at least auto shotgun quality 1, I think. Forge ahead and scrapping. Big hitters. Some jukes out of this, hopefully. Yes. Another big hitters. Tech planet. Okay. Surprisingly high amount of those for someone without any points in it. Double armor pocket mods. Cool. Big hitters again. One more and we'll be done with that. Vehicle adventures. Forge ahead. We can now make the chemistry station at least. That's a big tech boost to me. Uh, vehicle adventures, I think that was. The final club one I need. Fireman's Almanac. Let's open up this. Nope. We woke them all up. Let's try and break it anyway. Hello, Feral. Ow. He was facing the other way, but whatever. Uh, don't need that club's magazine, but bow hunters. Board ahead again. Be nice to get the crucible, because that's really a, a technological limiting factor for me right now. Oh, I don't have any food. We could always head back to Wrecked. His thing is food, so it would make sense. Need that first aid bandage. I'm going to clear this side area real quick, because there's zombies annoying me. Alright, and back into the main area. Let's see what other books we can hunt down. Other vehicle adventures. Andy land. Kill this guy. Oh, he's dead. Another cop. Well, I might as well deal with this one. A little ammo pile here with some 9mm. Nice. More bookshelves. Shotguns. We can make an auto shotgun at quality 1 now. Vehicle adventures. Another vehicle adventures. Scrapping. Vehicle adventures. Those four points are doing me a lot of good. Other forge ahead. Is that all the books in this main area? I think it might be, but there's still more books in here yet. A working drinks vending machine. I could get a yucca juice smoothie. That would fix my water and my food a little bit. And some of my health, actually. A lot quick. And some money. There is a zombie breaking in the wall over here. Hello. You mind not doing that? Continuing on, hey, then in there, steel toe parts, could be useful. Ugh, stamina. No, he didn't die. Fun. Oh, he was a feral, that would explain why he didn't die. The books here, oh, just paper. Scrapping for fun, we can ratchet at quality 5 now if I want. Probably just do an impact driver at quality 1. Uh, scrapping for fun again, unlock the safe if I can. I have like 3 points in lockpicking, so I would hope so. Is that the only lockpick I brought? Just bash it open. And a trigger group mod schematic. That's not fantastic, but whatever. Let's try and get into some fights before I lose my first aid kit buff. This hits right now would just be free anyway. It's like health insurance, but less predatory. Oh, a feral? Yep, that, no, this is exactly like health insurance. Knife guy, vehicle adventures. Right, there's a dog in here, so I'm going to go for the old classic maneuver. Shotguns. Some food here, maybe some honey? No. Okay. I have antibiotics, it just would have been nice. Shotguns again. Vehicles. Medical journal and wiring. What we got in here? Eh. I'll take the medicine though. I'll use one of those to speed up the abrasion at least. I would use my first aid kit, but I have literally no health damage right now, so that would be sinful. Bookstore box. Spear hunter and tactical warfare. Well, why don't you just spit in my face? Right, that's probably everything in here, but we... Very helpfully, have a cafe of the same franchise across the street, so we can go there next. Random gen is humorous, isn't it? Right, zombies on the outside, fight me. Also, out of interest, what is my loot stage right now? 70, so I might as well be still getting day one loot, basically. It's not very good until you get into the hundreds. Demolition, we can make dynamite, that's probably just a bad idea. Shotguns at 63, though. Right, let's head into the cafe. I've angered everybody and got sharp sticks. Vehicle adventures. I really don't have the means to make a, what's it called, 4x4 anyway, or fuel one, so not too excited about it, but I will need it eventually, at least to get the uh, gyrocopter parts 
schematic thing. Do forge your heads. Vehicle adventures. Barb roller. Paper. Got skill point. Can I boost anything useful? Yeah, I can get more forge heads if I get more lock picking. Oh, was, was that zombie in here? Oh, he was. How dare you. Stop being feral. Another forge ahead. Another forge ahead. Another forge ahead. Okay. Oh, paper. We could have had a streak. Electrical traps. Great heist. Is this the one with the weird thing in the... I think it's actually over here. Yeah, it is this one. Getting into position for this is going to be annoying. Maybe I should have broke the light. Yeah, it has less health, actually. Oh, no, it doesn't. Well, fuck me. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have gone to the other one. Because this one lets you place blocks. All that for a fucking sharp sticks. Another forge ahead. And that third point of log picking really did a lot, didn't it? Uh-oh. No stamina. Is that beer or honey? Beer. Southern farming and some food. Whoa. Anybody a feral? He is. No, he isn't. Ow. Why'd that do so much damage? At least you hit me twice. Two vehicle adventures in there. Break a quick hole in here. And then, can I shoot anybody? No, I might need a bigger hole. There we go. I can shoot somebody, I think. Right, let's see what else we get in these containers here. Another forge head. Two more forge heads. Okay, that third point of lock picking is apparently the most powerful point in the game. This and traps. Scrapping, and there's another one here. Vehicles, iPod, medicine cabinet, medical journal, and let's bash open the loot while I'm here. Unless I found a lockpick. Oh, I have got time charges. I forgot about those. Probably going to be shitty on 50% block damage, though, but let's start with two and see what that gets me. Oh, machine gun parts. Okay, still locked, but how locked? Yeah, probably just bash this with the pickaxe. And we've got wiring, some lockpicks, a level 3 pistol. It's an upgrade, at least. And some meds and ammo. Right, let's head back to my base, because I do need to spare some time to get ready for the horde. But that was a lot more progress than I was expecting, because we found two bookstores right next to each other. That is very helpful. So now, I just need... Well, I can now make the best club I'm going to be able to craft. I can make a level 1 auto shotgun, and I need 14 more to completely finish workstations, and another, was that 35? 45? 35. Math hard. Uh, to make gyrocopters, so that is a good position to be in. Let's head home, because it is a long drive. It is 3 kilometers, which is actually not that bad, but I don't even know if I've got enough gas to do it, so let's leave time for... <laughs> stopped. Oh, hang on, hang on. Moe's Grocery. Got a guaranteed cement mixer here. It's off. There we go, so we're up to 62 of those now, good. 13 more is pretty easy to find. Oh hey, a vehicle adventures, nice. Oh, of course, the reason I couldn't find the main road out of town is because it's just, it's just stopped by the high school. The high school's just plonked here, and it doesn't connect. So I could have easily found that if I had just known there was a weird stub there. And we're back. Let me put this stuff away. Let's eat that honey. Right, so for the Horde Knight, probably want to get a little bit of extra explosives and ammo. Some extra meds, definitely. Maybe a splint in case something bad happens. Um, water would be smart. Maybe even coffee for the extra stamina. I'd go for more 9 mil if I wanted. We've got my emergency mega crush. Could get a Laren Elixir for a little bit of extra XP. Although it's not really my goal with these kinds of Horde Knights to level. Because, you know, they're harder. Because, you know, it's harder to kill them all when you don't actually have a base and you're just kind of standing. I might be slightly out of pipe bombs, but I've got extra molotovs. And I've obviously got my 20 on my hotbar there. Ah, oh, no, I've got like 40. I'm good. I'll need to make more for next time, it looks like, but that's perfectly doable now that I have much better tools than the time I actually made all these bombs. Plus, I have a reserve of extra gunpowder anyway. So that should be fine. Let me put these in here and get my lockpicks just so I don't remember. Just so I don't forget them next time. Right, so for the steel club, what do I need? I would need 50 forged steel. That's the big one. I don't have that kicking around. <laughs> I feel like the reasons for that would be mostly obvious, things considered. Uh, and I certainly don't want to try and do it while fighting a horde. But 50 forged steel is not unobtainable, but I really probably should just focus on getting the crucible first and then just not having to worry about steel. The chemistry station, however, does interest me. Let's see what we can do here. So I would need a beaker. There's one of them. There's four acid. There's two more. There's three cooking pots. I would just need 70 forged iron. I don't think I have that, but I can definitely make that. I've got loads of clay and iron just sitting around. 
if I just turn on the forge and have that go throughout the night, I can probably come back and start crafting that at least. I can actually craft like 200 now, so I'll just do that. And then when I come back in the morning, we can make the chemistry station. So let's go find a house to stand on. Actually, maybe I want extra 9 mil. No, I've got 600. That should do. With the chemistry station, I'll be able to make my own gas and I can stop wasting money or excessive amounts of time uh, trying to keep my vehicles moving. Here's the house we've been using. It's kind of falling apart because it survived two horde nights now. Let's see if it can survive a third one. If it can't, then, you know, there's always other buildings nearby that we can use. I've got Mega Crush and I've got beer, so I can outrun most things. I'm just going to have to sit and wait now. All right, here comes the horde. Let's see if this house can hold another night. Oh, I've got to deal with vultures this time. Okay. Not too big of a deal. A minor distraction more than anything. They make very loud noises most of the time, so I should be fine. So we have to kind of just wait for them to build up in these rooms underneath me. And then I throw bombs at them. If you've not been seeing the other videos. Oh, one's up there. That's concerning. All right, let's fight them over here. That looks like a healthy amount of them. I don't even think the zombies are sure how they want to try and get to me. Seems like a useful hole. Oh, it's not a real hole. <laughs> I forgot what game I was playing. What's my game stage, by the way? 62, that's not too bad. Oh, my pistol broke. Oh, hey there, dog. Got a skill point. Let's go for... Hmm. I'm not sure, honestly. Yeah, let's hold on to it for a bit. In fact, let's get the first rank of parkour. Hmm, I'm hungry. Let's eat some cat food and dog food. Get some more of my pipe bombs out. Oh, I'm out of pistol ammo. I guess we're switching to the shotgun. Oh, house is starting to fall apart. I don't know if it's fully falling apart or just that little bit. But still, I've got to be more careful now. It's fine though, we've only got like half an hour left of the horde and then I'll just run away. The other parts of the house falling apart? Yeah. No, it seems like it was just over here. Maybe if I just stand on this side of the house, they'll chew away at here for a while. Alright, the Horde Knight is over. They'll stop spawning now. I'm going to try and get away from them. See how many there even is. Maybe there's only like 10 left. if I can lure them away and get into the bags that they have there. Oh, there's more than 10, that's for sure. <laughs> Bloody stun. Oh, and infect. Lovely. I will return. Let me go drop off some stuff at my base and go back. I mean, how many are actually even here? I do kind of want that loot. Loot bag here for a start. Brass and ammo. There's another skill point, I'll just hold on to that. Ammo and meds. Ammo and water. Ammo and water again. Head upstairs. Those stairs even exist anymore. Ammo and meds. Ammo and drinks. Ammo and food. Ammo and meds again. Ammo and food. Anyone else hiding a bag for me? No, I think that might be it. Well, that wasn't too bad at all. Let me drive home and we'll get that chemistry station started. I'll cure this stupid disease. Here's the forged iron for the chemistry station. Let's queue that up. That'll take 15 minutes. Ugh. Okay, so while that does its thing, I should go and buy some gas from one of the traders and then go out to the desert and mine some oil shale. Now, let's see. Enough to make... 
crafted in lots of two, so maybe go four, two stacks of oil shale maybe. I've already got like 500, so that's a start at least. All right, let's head on over to the desert biome. I should get some coffee for extra. There we go. Hopefully the trader opens in time for me to get some gas. If not, I'll just kind of sit there for a minute. <laughs> Ooh, a water purifier mod. Let's get that. That'll solve water forever. Let's get a thousand gas. How much would 50 forged steel cost me? 6,000. I can't quite afford that, but I could come back with a few things and actually get that and make myself a level 5 steel club, which would be good. I think that's a worthy use of my money. Let's go see what I can sell. Right, there's a bunch of random shit. That should help quite a bit. Here we go, 12,000 dupes. I should have done this beforehand, but let's check if he has sugar butts. Ah, he does that slightly annoying, but it's fine. I wonder, how much um, steel do you need for an auto shotgun? 30. Mm -hmm. And he has, what? 82. You know, I could get 8 forged steel and make myself uh, an auto shotgun as well. That would be quite a tech jump. But let's focus on that steel club first. Right, so I can just make the auto shotgun immediately. So I'm just going to throw that on there. And then for the steel club, I miscounted. You don't need 94 steel, you only need 80. I, I told you I'm bad at math, okay? <laughs> so we can make the steel club as well. So that's going to be a huge upgrade on both departments for me. Uh, let me just get rid of my bow. It's really not doing anything for me right now. It'll be more useful later on. Right now, I'm not even remembering to bring ammo for it. So I just won't bother. Do the steel club up. Right, so there's a good, you know... 15 minutes of not being able to use that so let's go out to the desert and hunt down some oil shale i can then turn into gas the desert is this way is there some oil shale near the mouth of the desert there's some i'll do nicely how far is that two kilometers okay let's head over there right let's mine some of this until i've got about two stacks of it okay there's five thousand that should be enough that should get me ten thousand gas which is like good enough probably to last until i can make stacks of gas cans unless i already can i already can okay let's get another thousand they get six thousand i'll make three stacks let's get another thousand there's six thousand that's a good amount let's see chemistry station is done find a place to put it here will do oh there's a bag up here Hey, level 6 chest piece. I already have one though. Let's get three stacks of gas cans. I've given it way too much fuel. There, that should solve my gas issues for a while. So, I think what I'll do is cancel the shotgun really quickly. So I can get the club sooner and give that a little test run. So in two minutes I'll have a club. What can I do in two minutes? I don't have much gas. Maybe I should go and scrap another car. And that'll be like the last amount of gas I should need to scrap for. Oh, I have 1%. Let's, let's uh, give this a try at least. Just so I have enough to get around while I wait for that first stack of gas cans to craft. Which will take like 10 minutes. Technically I have no gas right now, but I can still move. So I'm just going to keep going until it eventually actually does stop. Ah, here we go. Police car. Here we go. Nice little refuel there. I can probably find at least one more car with that. <laughs> and there's a little bit more gas. Here's another car. Refuel. Find another one. Here's a pickup truck. That'll do. Decent amount of gas from that, but I do have to go get some food, so let's head back to my base. Club will probably be done as well. Club. Club is done. we got six more minutes on the shotgun. That's fine. Let me find, like, an ergonomic grip or something. A fortifying grip mod would do. Yeah, it'll have to do until I do find an ergonomic grip. Uh, where did I put that steel club real quick? Let's compare the damage values. Uh, I might have to unmod it to show them correctly. So this did 66 power attack damage and this does 77, so that's decent. Let's go give it a test. This has 5 minutes to go, cool. We're gonna need to make my own shotgun shell soon because it's kind of not giving me very many. I have like 70 left, which is not great. Okay, we got the downtown meltdowns. Saw some decent loot at the end of that, so let's find the entrance to this and give it a go. Oh, is this the entrance? Okay. One shot him. Ripped his hand off. Anyone hiding in here? One shot him as well. This is very good. Oh, let me guess. I have to fall in. How annoying. 
Oh, she's one tapped. Some cat food. Anyone home? Oh, Baker, hello. These shots for a Baker's not bad. Where do I actually go? He hiding something back here. I'm very confused. Am I missing a button? Oh, I'm missing a rope ladder. Oh, it's so good. Vehicles and shotguns. I'm guessing I'm supposed to go out here, but this looks like an easy way to die, so I'll consider another route. Hello, Vulture. Oh, a lumberjack, okay. Oh, well, we'll never figure out how long it takes to kill him, but he's gone. He's not a problem. More books. Forge ahead, nice. Oh, that was a body shot as well, and it still one-tapped him. I like this. Uh, two forge heads. I think it may be the only thing I've got left boosted. Oh no, shotguns as well, yeah. You got shotguns there. Assume one of these is fake, yeah. His armor stops me from one-shotting him annoyingly. Forge head again. Vehicle adventures. Some coffee, nice. Wait, where are they hiding? Ah, hello. Oh, another big hitters, even though I'm done with them. Shotguns. You are gonna take a few hits, I imagine. There we go. Sharp sticks. How dare you. And some paper. Right. Not a bad POI for books, honestly. Anyone in here? Oh, yep, definitely. Oh, definitely gonna be people in here. Honk. I need some better armor. I think we're clear, but there's definitely someone still trying to break in here. But in the meantime, let's uh, get this loot. Shotguns, vehicle adventures, and a robotic headlamp mod. 69 of those, ha ha ha. Wiring, and tactical warfare. Cool. Bunch of meds, and I did actually bring lockpicks for once, so I should be able to open this. Even with three ranks in lockpicking, it's still a pain in the ass. Let's see what we get. Forge head, shotguns, another level six bow, and an impact bracing mod, which I think I already have. No, wait, I don't. Put that on there. Let's get out of here and check on that shotgun crafting then. Oh, have I searched this? I have not. Scrapping for fun, nice. Well, let's go back. So the club is doing very well. That should serve me quite well until I get very lucky with loot and find a level 6, which isn't very likely, so this might be my melee weapon for the rest of the game. I'm fine with that. They can one-shot unarmored basic zombies. That's basically all I need it to do. Right. Shotgun, are you done? Yep, it is. Cool. So let's get those mods off. So what's the damage difference? 15 across 10, so 150 versus 20 across 10, so 200. That is a pretty big improvement. And let's just chuck on as many mods as I can. I've probably got an extended magazine around here I can put on this. There's one. So now, this will probably hold half my ammo, which isn't ideal, because I don't have much ammo. I might be able to buy some ammo, just as a temporary measure, I'm not sure. Oh, I broke that, that's fine. How's the chemistry station doing? Any of the gas made? Cool, there's one, I can fuel my motorcycle with that. I'll go see if Trader Joel has any ammo to sell me, just so I can give this a bit of a test run without leaving myself with no ammo, because that would suck. He does not, that is shitty. Alright, well, I'll just have to make my own shotgun ammo once I've given this a quick test. Let's see, did I ever take on this, oh, version of the Jericho Ranch? Not sure. Hello? Well, that's a good sign. Yeah, this thing definitely works. Switch back to my club to deal with the snakes in here. I don't have to go waste shotgun shells on those. For once in my life, I will actually remember the weapons bag that's here. Shotguns and a single pipe bomb. 69 shotguns now too. Ha 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 ha. Oh yeah, I should be testing my shotgun. Yep, that's pretty good. <laughs> Forge head, cool. Bunch of medical journals. Forge head and bows. Up to 69 on the forge heads. Ha ha ha. There we go, up to 70 on those. We're almost at the crucible. Let's head upstairs. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> someone behind me? No. Is there someone behind me? It's a weird sound effect. Yeah, this is a very good gun. I think we knew that, though. Uh, urban combat, a bunch of random shit. A few shotgun shells for my troubles. 
more books. Two forge heads. I'm going to be done with that so quickly. Home cooking weekly, and this last box has forge a head, knife guy, and the other thing. But two skill points. Let's just put those into agility and get out of here. So today I got my level five club. I got my level one auto shotgun. We solved the gas problem. We'll be able to make lots more ammo as well because now I have the chemistry station. I can make gunpowder at much more reasonable speeds. I'm very close to being done with workstations. Uh, two more and I'll have the crucible which will allow me to make like level 5 auto shotguns and gyrocopters and 4x4s if I want to. Um, as for vehicles, we're one way from the 4x4 but I'm probably not going to bother with it to be honest. Because it's just a repair kit drain more than anything. Um, shotguns are coming along quite nicely. 31 more and I'll get a level 5 and that'll be pretty damn good. Clubs are done. Once I'm done with vehicles, I can... For getting elixir out of intellect entirely and get like, you know, 20 skill points back and dump those all in things in agility. And that'll really help with surviving the horde nights without a base. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Hardcore. Today we are going to be finishing up the last two books I need to get the crucible. And then I'll be making a crucible, which I can confirm because during the night I gathered... Uh, well, I didn't gather anything. I had everything I needed for the crucible, but I sorted out my storage. So now I have this little system so I don't have as many chests that were just strewn around their place. Uh, so I found all the stuff I have for the Crucible. It's just a matter of finding those last two books. Now an easy way to get two Forge Ahead books would be to visit a trader. And I do have a lot of gas now. So it might be worth checking out the north of the desert town. And seeing if I can find a road out of there that will lead me to another trader. There's sometimes two traders in cities. So I might get lucky that way. But either way we're going to drive a few kilometres to the west here and see if I can find a trader, or if I get lucky and just find a bookstore again, or a couple of useful mailboxes, or maybe just a, a stray wild cement mixer running around the streets of the game. That would also work. I would need two though. Either way, we're very close to having the crucible, and then I can make mountains of steel, which will deal with some of the limitations I'm having, in terms of like tools and weapons and stuff like I wouldn't be able to either afford or spend the time scrapping the steel to make like a level 5 auto shotgun. Not that I have the capabilities of making one yet anyway, but it would be a good idea to get the crucible, get a load of steel and just let myself have all those end game items which are the last few things that are holding me back from pretty much being done with the game. I would like to get an auger because obviously with my 50% block damage the Steel pickaxe is going to get absolutely obliterated by the auger on any test because on default settings if your pickaxe can break a door in one hit it will usually be faster than an auger. That's a good rule of thumb. But uh, there's no chance I'm one shotting any of those kinds of things on these settings. So an auger is going to be very useful for this character. Same with a chainsaw probably. Uh, I'll probably want to wait until I can make level 5 at least, but an impact driver would be really nice. Again, scrapping is painful because of the reduced block damage. So getting all those kinds of items which require a lot of steel would be really nice. Alright, it doesn't look like there's any more traders in this town. And it looks like I already got all the cement mixers that I can see easily anyway. So let's follow this road out of the town and see if it'll take us somewhere useful. It usually does. Oh yeah, there's another trader over there. Looks like another wrecked, I think. Here we are. So where is his cement mixers again? Here's the cement mixer. Forge ahead, we need one more. We need, well, we might get one from a chemistry station. Nope. I think his forge is over here. Yeah. There we go. We can now make crucibles. Before we head back, I am interested in seeing what he's selling and also what is in the town nearby. Damn, Could be another bookstore like and that would be really powerful. Okay, oh, Wreck doesn't have anything I particularly I want. But there is a town to the west, which interests me, so let's go and take a quick look at it. Since I came all the way out here. I have plenty of gas in the back of the motorcycle, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. And we might find another trader. Not that I really need another one right now, but hey, I'll take it. Alright, we got a town in the snow biome here. I have to be careful in the snow biome because lumberjacks are not fucking around. And I have very terrible armor. So, probably somehow more dangerous than the wasteland for me right now. <laughs> because of how fast the lumberjacks are going to be. Which is funny how that works out. 
I am interested in seeing what the police cars have for me in this biome. What's my loot stage? 90. Still not great, but I might get something good. Let's see. Uh, level 3 hunting rifle. Yeah, that's not something I'm going to bother myself to look through all these for. Still getting basically tier 1 gear. So I will not waste my time on that. Oh, there's another trader over here. Is this another wrecked or is that? No, that's trader Bob. He might have something good. Hey, Bob. He's got a couple of vehicle adventures. I do need more. There, I can make 4 by 4s now, but I'm not going to. They just eat repair kits and gas. A completely a waste of time. So let's head back to my base. However far away that is. Uh, 5 kilometers away. Let's head back to my base and see if we can get a crucible done and if we can get enough iron and steel to make all the other stuff I'll need. I need to make a lot of glue, I think. I'm going to make all these upgrades. So that's something to consider. Alright, we're back. I got the stuff of the crucible out the back of my motorcycle there. Let's craft you. That'll take four minutes, that's fine. Uh, let me sort out my inventory really quickly. Okay, so that'll help me with the steel. How much iron have I even got in this? A good amount. Uh, enough to make 174 forged steel once I actually have the crucible. So that's good. And that one will take like 20 minutes, so that'll pretty much be done by the end of the day if I time this all correctly. What I'm going to do right now, because on the way here I found a trader queue and I bought a few books from him and some glue. So I now have no money, so I'm going to see what I can gather up and sell to Trader Joel just while I have nothing to do. Alright, let's go sell some stuff. Okay, I've got a few thousand dukes there now, that's something at least. Enough to probably buy the forgetting elixir I want to get soon. But before I do forget an elixir, I need to get all the vehicle magazines I want to get to get the gyrocopter and then I can just get rid of intellect it's not going to be too helpful for my build there's the crucible done good and there get all the steel and that should be good so now we just need to do other stuff while we wait for that to happen so it's 170 forged steel so what would I be able to make in terms of augers and stuff so I would have enough to make an auger what about a chainsaw or a steel fired axe I think I would prefer the steel axe over the chainsaw there's another 50 forged steel. Still got 70 spare in that case. Um, auto shotgun is only at level 2. So can't really do much with that. I'll wait until level 6. So I'll just do the two tools I need. Uh, what about impact drivers? They take steel, they do. But I don't have a very high level of them anyway. So I'll probably just wait until I can make level 5 of those as well. And I'll gather up more steel during the nights or something. So let's go find a POI to do. I don't think I've done the restaurant here, and this is usually a pretty easy one, so let's do that. Is my shotgun loaded? Yep, yeah, cool. Let's head inside. Oh, the steel club's so good. Home cooking weekly there. You make sham chowder. Cool. Right, who's next? Medical journal there. We'll be done with those soon enough, I hope. Everybody's still alive in here? I think they're all dead. Have a look in these containers. Another home cooking weekly there. To make grandpa's awesome sauce. Another one there. Who would have thought a restaurant would be such a good place to find these? Some acid in there, that's helpful. Alright, everybody come here. I don't use a bow, so just come and attack me. Food pile here with miso soup. No magazine though. Another bottle of acid. Wow, two shot her. Another medical journal. We can make a first aid bandage with that. Who else is in here? Some money. Any vultures? Yeah, there's one. That was messy. Shotgun. Some red tea. I didn't need to drink that. I already had the... I already had a... Uh, yucca juice smoothie. Oh well. Try and unlock this wall safe real quick. Some more money. Farming magazine. And a meat stew. 
Right down into the final area of this POI. Where's that little thing? There we go. Now I can escape. Another home cooking weekly, nice. Right, so normally in this last area I would bring a bow and it would be much easier. So I'm going to have to do this the scary way. Those eye just weird. I think the best way to do this is to try and sneak in and get a sneak pipe bomb. But which which area is more populated? Oh, the aggro it doesn't matter. <laughs> Take this outside. That's right, get up there. And then we can fight 1v1. <laughs> Actually, this might be the opportunity for a pipe bomb as well. That went well. Ow. Good, I'm over encumbered because of one clay. Anyone else still down here? Nope, I think I'm clear. That wasn't too bad. Let's unlock the chest here. Uh, treasure map. I will read that. You know, I could use some ammo. Maybe it wouldn't be the worst way to get it, considering I don't have other quests available to me. But let me go put some stuff in my motorcycle before I open up the other crates here. Home cooking weekly. Some ammo. Scrapping for fun. Vehicle adventures and scrapping for fun again. And the last one is pop bills. Medical. Didn't mean to eat that, but medical journal and some steroids. Let me grab a few of these as well, because they have water in them, which is useful. So, let's head back and see how much steel's done. Here's 88 steel. Looks like the limiting factor is actually going to be my clay, which is unsurprising. So maybe let's get an auger as soon as possible. Five more tool parts, an engine, and some bicycle handlebars. Let's have a look here. Got an engine, five auger parts, and I doubt I have bicycle handlebars just sitting around. Yeah, let's make a pair of those as well then. Duct tape, leather, mechanical parts, okay. Here we go, we can make bicycle handlebars which require a workbench. That'll take 30 seconds, but that's not too bad otherwise for the auger though. That should be everything, yeah. That'll help me get ores easier, but it'll also really help with the uh, clay, because I'm still using a stone shovel just by pure chance basically. That'll be nice. Here we go, auger. I'll take a couple of minutes. What I'll do is let that finish crafting and in the middle of the night, I will go out and I will mine some ores, and in the morning, we should have some more things smelting into here, and we can go out and see if I can hunt down more books, really, that's just what I need, I need more salvage ops, I need more shotguns, and I need more vehicles. But we should be making good progress on those at least. So, I will skip to the morning for you. Okay, so, it's the next day, I've got a bunch more steel coming, that's useful, we'll be able to use that to make a steel axe or a chainsaw maybe. Actually, on the topic of chainsaws, do I have a spare engine just sitting around? I do not. Okay, well when I get a spare engine, I will make a chainsaw. For now, I think it's just going to be a case of hunting down more books like before, and leveling the appropriate skills. I'm not sure where I want to start, or even what I want to get. Shotguns, salvage ops, and vehicles are all kind of in the same place, and I kind of want them all equally. <laughs> Suppose I should try and focus on vehicles, because that would mean I could come out of intellect entirely and get a whole new skill tree opened up for myself. So, maybe looking for gas station types of POIs would be a good idea. Honestly, it might just be best to just loot whatever I can find, and just by process of elimination you'll eventually have all the books you need. Let's see, what tier is this? See, that's pretty doable. Let's go and do this then. Some ammo up here. That's some 762. Not too helpful for me, but hey, it's ammo. Some kind of crate here. Just some frames. Oh, hey there. Everybody dead? Good. Oh, there's a bunch of loot down here. Let me outside. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the end? Yeah. Where are they all coming from? Above? Oh, he's a feral. He's... I want to shotgun him. Uh, 
All right, that's that handled. Let's see what loot we can get in here then. So we got hammers and electrical traps. Ooh, more frames. Shotgun book, at least that's something. Some meds. Scrapping. I didn't bring food. I'm so smart. The ammo, and let's try lockpicking this. Equal Adventures, a triple armor pocket mod, and a few lockpicks. Nice. Don't have anywhere I can put the triple armor pocket mod because my helmet can only take one mod, which is annoying, and I would rather keep the water purifier on it. I suppose I could switch between them, but I feel like I'm just gonna forget. Ah, see what I can do. Oh, I did bring food. Good. I forgot to take that out of my inventory. That's helpful. Now, I remember I cleared the actual library part of this POI, but I didn't finish it, I don't think. So there should still be stuff at the end for me. So let's go and check that. <laughs> Anyone up here? Okay, there's a ladder there. Well, that was inconvenient. Skill point, though. Alright, I need to make some cloth soon. Ah, here we go. There's a snake, apparently. Where are you hiding? There we go. There, I'm repairing all my armor. No, oh, do I have to fall down here? I hate that. Oh, there's the end look. Yeah, get outside. Where are the landmines? Pretty sure I heard another one somewhere. Where are they hiding? Oh, maybe they're downstairs. There's some books here though. More shotguns, cool. Hmm. I don't know, let's get the loot though. Some basic ammo, some meds. Check this. Great heist, some lockpicks, and some ammo. Cool. Let's open up these crates. Vehicles, farming, and a book I already knew. Level 6 iron pick. Okay. And some random shit. Let's get over here. Hello. Bye. Where else is useful around here? Hmm, this place could be good. The cathedral. A bunch of books in it, I'm pretty sure, unless I'm thinking of the wrong one. This and another beaker. I have six spare of those now. This is kind of just dumb. My weapon's back. Shotguns. Right, let's take on this place. No one's hiding behind me, good. Oh, hey there. Well, that's a lot of damage. What was that? I've got no stamina, of course. One moment. Bloody feral does so much damage. Come here. Fight me. You see why I need better armor now. Any more zombies in here? Plenty of books, at least. That's something. Make sure I'm not going to get jumped while I'm searching them, though. I think I'm clear. Let's have a look. So, shotguns. Bunker buster schematic, okay. A, another mod schematic. Shotguns again. Vehicles and repair tools or whatever it's called. Scrapping, okay. Vehicles. It's pretty much going to be those three main things. <laughs> these are the things I have points in. I'm cooking weekly. Tactical warfare, question mark. Shotguns and handguns. And shotguns and scrapping. As well as rifles. Weird. Okay. Let's continue. <laughs> Anyone behind me over here? Oh yeah, definitely someone. Okay, we're clear over there. Anything hiding back here? A purse. With some money and soup in it, of course. The old purse soup. Classic. A bunch of people are going to be waiting for me here. Even more so here. I don't trust this. Step in here. At least these, like, slow them down a little bit. Just, just to make them hesitate. In case there's a feral. Doesn't look like there is, though. Actually, I think he's feral. Could be. I don't know when they added the ability for zombies to hit you while they're lying down. Like, they actually have an animation for it. But I hate it. Anything hiding over here? Oh, a purse. Some money and lockpicks. Cool. Right, first, is anybody above me? Yeah, hello. Just fight me already. You two are very annoying, you know that. Oh, here you go. Now you. 
nobody's down there, I don't think. So let's go back up. Somebody's here. Hello. You fat all. Oh, you're just a normal zombie who has fallen. Remember that door's there. All the enemies here. Oh no. Radiated zombies. I'm gonna have to use my shotgun in here, I'd bet. Yeesh. Now, can I get a better look at their eyes? Are they ferals? Hmm. The lumberjacks might also be a problem. I wonder if I can just, like, do a little bit of artistry here. And then... Get, like, a quadruple sneak grenade. Yeah, that was pretty effective, but the radiated one still survived, so let's get the shotgun ready. Yeah, that softened them up very nicely. Saving me using all my shotgun ammo on them. Some ammo and steel. Rucksack back here. Scrapping for fun. Some books. Shotguns again. We're really getting there now. That's good, because as soon as I can get level 5 auto shotguns, the game's going to become substantially easier. I just need to focus on actually making ammo at that point, and then I can just kill everything. You know, for a challenge that's this obnoxious, it hasn't been that much slower than a normal playthrough. <laughs> it's just been more annoying. Forge ahead. Weird, but okay. Let's check the safe. Two handgun parts, okay. Bow hunters. Boo. Anybody hiding over here? I forget. Here's someone. Anybody up here? I think it's just vultures at this point. Should have brought some pistol ammo, it would make this next segment mildly easier. Hey, hip shits. There we go. Anybody else guarding this area? Doesn't look like it. Ooh. Anybody up here? No. Cool. That's pretty easy. Medical journal. Two passing gas crates. That's probably going to be vehicle adventures in both of them. At least one. Yep. This will possibly give me one as well if I'm lucky. Oh, no, I got a bunch of other random shit though. Let's unlock the hardened chest. A knife guy, a bunch of lockpicks, some mods and ammo. Go. Cool. It's a shame I don't have access to tier 5 infestations. They would make this so much easier. Oh, that's dangerous. Let's, like, do some fucking science here. So I need to place one like that. <laughs> give me, like, a half plate. Jump up onto that. And then give me this. Saved. Anyway. Let's head back down. Just fall off of here and then down here. I should be good. Has occurred to me, I was supposed to be getting an engine, so I'm gonna go scrap a few of these vehicles I see over here and see if I can get one. Now ah, there's another vehicle adventures magazine. There's an engine. Okay, so for my chainsaw, I'll need my steel. I'll need handlebars, I'll need the engine, and I'll need motor tool parts. So the handlebars, I always forget what they take, but let's uh, do that. So two duct tape, two leather, one mechanical part, six pipes. And two springs. So let's do this again, make a handlebar, and then I'll make the chainsaw. I don't desperately need one, but my fire axe is a bit slow and it's annoying me, so chainsaw will help. There we go, and chainsaw, that'll take two more minutes. Now it's not super high priority, so we can just go back out and continue looting and come back. At least I'll have that for me. I could make a 4x4, but they're just a complete waste of resources, so I'm not going to. Let's go find another location to take down. See what books do I need again? I need 21 more vehicle adventures, and I need 21 more shotguns, and I need like 17 salvage operations, or salvage, whatever the book's called, I forget. Let's go find some. There is the super sham way, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass as far as POIs go. I'd rather not do it, to be honest. Have I done the Eco Trash Recycling Center? It's a pretty good POI. Let's see. Anyone home? Definitely is. The one behind me is kind of weird. Where'd that vulture go? Come here. Hey, there's a yellow ammo crate up there. I want it. Eh, just some 762. Some books on the ground with some shotguns. I can make a quality 3 now. Are you still trying to get in this way? Stop it. Alright. Oh, hello. Bunch of random shit. Hello. There's a dog coming. Oh, I completely missed. Oh, 
Where'd he come from? <laughs> Little crate here. Nah, just to forge ahead. I can't even use some books. Vehicle adventures. Those are determined to stay at the same level. Medical journal. He survived. Well, he's fast. I need better armor. Hitters. Okay. Oh, almost missed those books. Shotguns and medical. Oh, I've already looted this. <laughs> Didn't realize I've looted the end of this place, so I don't have to worry now. Oh, well, I got some books out of it. I don't mind too much. Let's keep looking. Oh, there's a bunch of houses over here. I wonder if I've looted them. Those houses are usually good for books. This is a tier zero, though. Ah, yeah, here's a filing cabinet. Scrapping. Probably worth coming in here, then. Not a coffin pills crate. Let me guess, it's got a beaker in it. No, but it has got a first aid kit, which I'll accept. No enemies down here. Is there a way upstairs? Is there an upstairs? There is. Urban combat. Land silently when you're sneaking. Okay, that's kind of useful. That is a safe here. Shotguns and some random crap. Alright, not a bad little bit of loot for a tier 0 POI. Let's go across the street and see if the situation is the same there. Apparently there's loot here. Shotgun ammo. Oh, this is like an actual POI. Ow. Bloody abrasion. Oh, where'd you come from? Oh, I got infected. Love that for me. I think I've got honey on me, though. Let me... Oh, let me eat that. I'm gonna wait on curing the abrasion, because I want to get the most out of my first aid kit. In fact, I'll just eat one, and that'll speed up the abrasion healing. And then I'll just recklessly clear this place whilst having the overheals. Magnum Enforcer, I already know. My life is ruined. And this circles back to the start, or it comes out here. I'm guessing there's just multiple entrances to this POI. Let's head upstairs. Anyone? Oh, hello. Knives and shotguns. Electrical traps. Boo. Random screamer. Oh, I know this POI. Let me check this real quick. More big hitters. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Anyone else? I think that's it. Check this weapons bag. Shotguns again. Great. We're doing really well on those. I think we might be able to get like a level 5 auto shotgun in the next episode. Shotguns again. Rifles. Boo. Some ammo. And a hardened chest here. With nothing of particular value, but the ergonomic grip mod is good, actually. Because now my club swings for slightly less stamina, so that's always good. Okay, so that place was pretty good. Is there anywhere else around here that is of use to me? Have I been here? I've searched that, that's a sign. But I've not searched this. Hello. There's two spare skill points. I'm kind of just waiting when it comes to skill points. Because I can't really do anything with them right now. Because I just want to put them into agility to be more mobile. But at the same time, I... I have a bunch of points already invested in intellect that are kind of just wasted until I get rid of the vehicle books. Yeah, I've been up here, but I must have missed like the first room of the POI, which is weird. Oh, there is the uh, deracinated domicile over here. That's usually a good house for a few books if you've not already looted it, but I can't remember if I have. It doesn't matter anyway because, you know, XP for killing things, but let's have a look. Any zombies respawned? Have I somehow cleared this in the last, like, seven days? That seemed very unlikely. Yeah, I've been here. That's, that much is clear. Oh, I know I've not finished this place. Unless I have. No, I haven't. This door's shut, and that door's shut, so... Unless I went all the way back around, I've definitely not been here. Try and get it done quickly before nightfall. Ow. 
Ow. Hey, stuff. Fear and ammo. The best combination. Oh, God. Downstairs. Hello there. Kill him. Down into the bunker area. Almost missed these books here. Two shotguns in a vehicle adventure is nice. Ow. Another bookcase. Curious fists. How dare you. Right, careful here, there's sometimes bikers. Doesn't sound like there's a biker this time. Okay, we're coming up on the last area here. I'm gonna just eat food to heal a little bit. Someone's behind me. Stop it. Someone in this bathroom? Hey. More books. Vehicles and bows. Uh, more damage to bears. I've not seen a bear this playthrough. That's weird. Meds. Any? Oh, working vending machine. Nice. Eh, I'll buy a red tea. Right, so, are these guys not spawned in until I go across? Because that's very annoying. Yeah, that seems to be the case. In that case, I'll jump over and jump back here. And then fight them over out of this, like, area. Ow. You fiddle. Stop running towards me. Demanded. Yeah, another first aid bloody bandage. I'm just using my melee weapon at this point just so I don't have to waste my very limited ammo. Meds I have more of than ammo, I'm pretty sure, so I can just do this. Alright, let's see, what do we get? Uh, wiring. Yeah, that's a load of shite. Savage Country has a knife guy. Hammer. Vehicle Adventures and Tech Planet, though, that's something. There might be some more books in this last area as well. Ammo pile. Shotgun shells, nice. Ah, no more books in this area then. Okay. Let's head back to my base and get my chainsaw. Still, we're making really good progress on those uh, magazines. I need, what, 13 more for shotguns? Yeah, that's not too difficult. And then we'll be up to level 5 of those. And I'm close behind with vehicles where I need 17 more. And then salvage tools are still taking a while because I only have one point in that, so... I'm really getting salvage tools by default when that happens because it's the only thing I have boosted but there's so little left in that loot table that I still see it a lot more than the other stuff. <laughs> so let's head home. Over the next couple of days though I think I'm going to have just the best gear. The only thing that's lacking as usual is the armor. I have a weird tendency in 7 Days to Die where I either get full level 6 military or steel by like day 8, or I don't get anything better than padded until day 40. <laughs> it's just a weird thing with me. But as I get a forget an elixir and take a load of stuff out of intellect, I could definitely see myself boosting the light armor skill to just massively boost the amount of armor books I get, and then I can try and craft military armor, which I hate doing. But it's not impossible, it's just really tedious. During the night, I will probably go out and mine some stuff. Now that I have a auger and mining isn't intolerable. So, chainsaw is done. There we go. And it has four mods, so my woodcutting should now be way easier. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days of Die Hardcore. Today, we are going to be heading into the wasteland because I think there's a town there. Look, there's a road here, a main road, that goes off into somewhere here and down here there's a big road that comes up so I really think there's something around here maybe it's like over here but this this road kind of indicates to me that it's nearby maybe on the other side of that mountain there uh, I would have to take a big turn around there but that's fine the reason I want to find another town is because this town didn't have any bookstores uh, this one did but it had two right next to each other and I used those obviously we're playing hardcore and I have loot respawn disabled on that. Well, I always have loot respawn disabled, actually. I didn't see one in this small uh, 
snow town but it didn't really look like there was room for any either so my last bit is going to be to follow the roads up here now i saved you the journey this four kilometer journey from my base up here so let's head into the wasteland on insane nightmare and see what we can find have i searched this i haven't ah some repair kits nice uh, we can also search some police cars and see if my loot's any good in that biome and if it's worth looting there yet. Because if not, I'll probably just stick to the uh, snow biome. So my loot stage is 122 in here, which is solid but not crazy good. This mountain is weird. These vultures should leave me alone because I'm at full health. Okay, this is kind of taking a weird direction. I don't know if it is actually a link to that road down there. So it'll be interesting to see. Maybe there's another town over there. I think we're coming up to one here now, so that's good. Hello, cop. If nothing else, we'll probably find a trader in here. We've got a little bit of money if I need to buy a couple of books. This doesn't really look like the bookstore kind of town, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh, there's a trader over there, at least. Let's head in here and talk to him really quickly. Oh, no, wait, he's still closed. Okay, we'll come back for him. We'll come back. That's fine. Let's have a look around. Oh, this town's got a lot more than I thought originally. Okay. Could have some potential here. It's a very white town. Hmm. Oh, a police car. Quickly search this. I don't think anybody's coming after me. There's a snake coming after me now. Wonderful. A military chest piece? That's better than nothing. Oh, here come the vultures now that I've taken damage. Use some food to heal up so the other ones leave me alone. Ow. Where'd I get military armor? Level 1 kind of shit, but it's better than nothing. Probably don't want to go wasting all the loot in this biome yet, but I still want to look for books. Maybe in like 10, 20 levels it'd be worth looting out here. But if I'm getting just level 1 military armor, I think I'll pass. I mean, at the same time, level 1 military armor, like a full suit of it, would be a significant upgrade, because if cause I would have more armor slots and I wouldn't have to like get bloody military fiber, so maybe it is worth it. Hmm. Definitely maybe want to try the police cars again. See if I can get a couple more pieces. Okay, mineral washer. I mean, I can't complain about that. Not exactly level blue, but it's something. Is that bookstore over there? Let's have a look. Oh no, it's a buy and go. Unless I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah, I don't think I was seeing one there. There's plenty more commercial buildings here, though. Oh, a meathead zombie. Scary. Oh, there's a bookstore, I think. Yeah, there's Crackabook. And to Crackabook Cafe again. So both of towns that had bookstores in them had two across the street from each other. That's very unlikely, but here we are. Right, let's uh, try and clear this area out. Ugh. I'm rusty. I've been playing just normal Seven Days to Die with Laney. Now they're all sprinting around. It's terrifying. So this is a tier two in the wasteland. This will be interesting to see. There's a zombie outside, I think. There's a zombie inside as well. Hello. Hello, nurse. Oh, you're feral. What do you expect from the wasteland, though, really? Right, let's have a look through the rest of here. Where's the dog? Oh, outside as well. This is going to be a common theme, isn't it? So many weird stragglers from outside are going to come and annoy me. Ow. Right, we got a mutated zombie and we got a lion tourist guy here. He's down. He's dead. It's over for him. Where'd the mutated zombie go? It's kind of annoying me. Ah, here you are. Yeah, yeah, do your thing. And then... Hey, loot. Tactical warfare. I mean, I might make a machine gun. I doubt it, though. Arlene, fight me. Or go completely in the wrong direction and make me waste stamina. That also works. Oh, there's so many dogs. Probably handle it, though. Let's get these guys to fall down on me. Oh... Oh, other guy. Hi. Anyone else hiding back here? Definitely. Who else? Hello. Oh, he wasn't even feral. He didn't stand a chance. He is. Go down, please. Zombies outside are being annoying. Any of these working? No. Let's deal with the zombies in here. Oh, good. That's, that's great over there. You guys made yourselves a nice little entrance, I see. Don't you dare destroy my bloody blocks. Blocks? Books. I'm going to drag them through here. Because I don't want to fight them in the bookstore. They're probably still going to break some of the bloody books because they're arseholes. But, you know, 
can at least try. God, that block damage on you guys is insane. Where's the uh, tourist? Hey. What? How, was this a wandering horde? Why is there so fucking many of you? No, don't do it. Damage the books. Did we get everybody? Okay, is this the one with the stuff on the roof as well? Yes, okay, let's deal with that. Is there a vulture? There's usually a vulture. Not today though, I don't think. Come on, break the bloody metal. You're not very bright. Anyone else? I know there's a dog at the end, but... Hi there. There we go. Okay, let's see what books we can get. Hey, I need one thread I already knew. Perfect start. Rad remover. Vehicle adventures. Now, I need 16 of those, and I bet I'm probably going to get it. Salvage ops, which I also need 15 of. Bow hunters. Another home cooking, maybe? Yep. Decent um, armor mod there, actually, now that I have armor that isn't completely light. I didn't think about how loud my tools are going to be. I'm going to have to club this open. <laughs> I don't want to bring half the wasteland over with my chainsaw. Ah, that was not worth it. Uh, oh, two home cooking, we please, and bows. Pretty shitty start, not going to lie. For what I have my points in, that was not very well catered towards me. Let's go check the main book area, though. That's usually much better anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a vulture. <laughs> Need to eat to make sure I don't get attacked by too many of those. That was overkill, but whatever. Now, let's see. There's also a safe in here, isn't there? Yes. That's probably worth checking, because those have a loot stage bonus, and I already have a massive loot stage bonus being in this biome. Or I can get some shotgun shells in a custom thing. That's also fine. Fireman's Almanac. None of these filing cabinets are working. Anything in the workbench? Some wood. Right, let's have a look at the main main stash here of books. The shotguns. I do need those. Vehicle adventures. Another vehicle adventures there. Perfect. Another vehicle adventures. Demolitions. Never bad to get demolitions. Next planet. You know, I do kind of want to test the drone, so it could be worth it. Another vehicle adventures there. I need 12 more. Probably, almost definitely gonna get that here. There's another one. If not here, then at least in the other book POI as well. Which will be great. Furious fists. Shotguns and farming. Farming's another one that's usually, you know, always tolerable to get at least. Bunch of vehicle adventures. So many zombies outside. I'm just minding my own business. I'm just reading. Can I gotta read? Need seven more, oh, six more vehicle adventures. Two I already knew. That's very bad luck. All right, I'm going to have to bash open this thing anyway. Let's just kill them. Just get out of the way. I'm a man of science. You're disrupting me. Why is there so many fucking big blue dress ladies? Wasteland just hates you, doesn't it? Oh, a reflex sight mod. Vehicle adventures need five more. I can do this. The nice thing about that is I'll be able to completely and utterly become no longer a man of science. This intellect is fucking worthless to me. <laughs> Two I already knew. Another one I already knew. Damn. Handyland and electricals. Scrapping. That's good. Shotguns. I can make an auto shotgun at quality four. That's nice. Ten more and I'll be able to make a level five. That's really good. Although, a lot of steel as well. But I do have the crucible now, I think, so it would be good to get that much steel. That's the main, huh? Uh, two vehicle adventures, perfect. The large motor tool tank mod is amazing, so I'll take that. I don't know why it's amazing. Reloading really isn't that big of a deal, but, like, just trust me, I like it, okay? Uh, another tools digest. Stop giving me them. Uh, bow hunters. Oh, I pissed off a dog outside. Armored up. Go deal with the dog. Hang on, there's a bag here. Bones. Fuck, there's a bear. That's fine. Just, you know, try and do this quiet-ish. On my part, the dog can scream all at once. Yeah, there we go. Machine gunner, okay. Do I have the thing to make drum mags? I do. I should do that for my shotgun once I have an actual source of ammo for it. Another bloody plating mod. Vehicles, I need one more. Are you going to be comedic here, game, and not give me a... There we go. He told you we'd get it in here. I can now make the gyrocopter, which is great. Shotguns. Ooh, some ammo on the floor. Shotgun ammo, nice. Uh, I pissed off another zombie, hello. 
Okay, I think I got all the books out of this place. Let's give it one quick check, but either way, we're done with vehicles now, and that's really good. I'll be able to forget an elixir out of intellect and put those points to use. Ah, here we go. Looking good though. <laughs> so what else do I have boosted that I would probably want? Slash, is there anything I need to boost soon? Because I do have a couple of spare points lying around. Uh, shotguns would be the main thing. I need nine more though, so I don't have to worry too much. After that, what do I even need? Oh well, salvaging would be nice. If I could finish off salvaging, that would work. I'm gonna respec soon, so let me just dump a couple points in there so I can get more salvaging books before I'm done with this other bookstore. And I should finish off shotguns and salvaging in there, which would be very nice to just be mostly done with books. Like 99% done with books. I don't see myself farming. The only thing I would consider is definitely armor. <laughs> Let's go to the crack a book cafe across the street here. Slightly harder POI, but nothing crazy. Usually, anyway. Hello. Die, please. Good job. Ooh, a biker, hello. Oh, it's just a normal one, we're good. Oh, there's a zombie outside. You better not blow up and kill all my books. Oh, he's inside now, hello. Very fast. And we got him as well. Go down, please. There we go. Perfect. That's the wasteland. I'm trying to wake up these zombies here. I don't have to shoot my gun. Or... Use the auger. I'll wait for some stamina to regen. There's another shotgun book. And this and rad remover. Like planet. I can make a stun baton at quality too. Oh my god, that's the best thing ever. And knife guy. Home cooking weekly and tactical warfare. Crapping. There we go. I need 10 more of those as well. Ah, reserve fuel tank mod. Nice. But I'm not getting any of the books I'm spec'd for right now. The game is holding out on me. Apparently, just forgot shotguns existed. Head of the journal. Okay. Shotguns, there we go. Need seven more. That's not hard to get. Well, you would hope the bookstore would be a bit more useful for them, but, uh, you know, happens. There's a bunch of crates back here, at least. You know, I'd really appreciate it if you idiots would just fight me. Let me fire one bullet. I think I was relatively quiet there. That's right. Look, knock down the door for me. Oh, they're both there. I'll run away. First aid bandage, because the other one hit me and I have shit armor. Some more books right here. Scrapping for fun, nice. Caught guns in handy land. Scrapping for fun. Heck, planet. And more shotguns. Okay, we need five more. We've got a reinforced chest here. This is a real test of the loot in the wasteland, I'd say. A decent level loot here. Fuck me, the bear shin again. Shotguns, no level loot, so it's kind of hard to tell. Annoying, of course. Let's see if there's any more books to find. I know there's another crate in the back, although I don't know how worthwhile it's going to be to get it with the bear guarding it. I already do it. The bear doesn't seem to be here, so that's good. Bookstore box with home cooking weekly. Okay. I mean, shepherd's pies are good, but I don't need to make them. So we still need five shotgun books. Of course. Well, there is a bunch of mailboxes in this town I've not looted. I bet I could find it there. But who did we do on scrapping? We still need eight more. Yeah, we didn't do very well on scrapping, actually. <laughs> oh, there's a gun store over there. That would be a good place to check for weapon magazines because it'll have a bunch of shotgun messiah crates, which with as many points as I have in guns, is probably going to give me the shotgun books. Primed group is also a good book POI, but I don't feel like doing it. Oh, they made this place a tier 4. That's scary. Alright, well, let's fight some zombies. Hello, biker. That's a lot of zombies. Well, it's not night time, so I'm not too scared to use my gun, you know.
Weirdly, we didn't attract that much attention. Anyway, some gun containers in here. I'm not expecting many books, though. Magnum ammo. Some military armor parts. We might find actual military armor in here, to be fair, because the level of loot stage. The military boots, but I already have a pair, so I don't have to worry. Got a gun safe here. Let's give this a shot. Another loot stage boosted thing. Focused on weapon loot. I guess I'd get a shotgun messiah thingy in here. Nope. <laughs> I got sharp sticks. Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? And some magnum ammo in there. Really bad luck on those magazines there. I feel like the game really does secretly have a feature where it just says, Haha, you're close to being done? I don't think so. Now, if I recall correctly, there's a weapons bag in the ceiling up here. But also a bunch of zombies, so I'll be careful there. Hello? I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Demolitions, and a bunch of parts, and probably... No, I can carry them, good. I can make contact nades, I mean, what more else? What else do I need, really? Healing cabinet, always good. Scrapping, okay. Not what I was expecting to find in here, but I'll take it. Any other zombies in here? I think I already aggroed them. Nothing here. Right, so there's a really scary room after here. I don't feel like doing it if there's not actually any loot in there. Ooh, there is a weapons bag. Am I going to risk it all for a single weapons bag? Of course I am. Of course I am. Of course I am. Don't try this at home. See ya. Um, I got one knife guy. It really wasn't worth it. But it's fine. I don't really need that side of the POI right now, so I just need to lose them. They're not horde zombies or anything, so I should be able to. Ah, some of them have definitely noticed me, but that's fine. Tactical Warfare. The game is determined to not give me what I need. Shotgun time. Hello. I mean, I could use the XP. Plain on. I mean, if you're gonna be that stupid. Who else is still around here? Hello. I don't think there's anything in the back that I want, but I'll go have a quick check. Any loot hiding back here? No. Nope. Same with the roof. Ah, this is locked. I've already made enough noise, all the zombies that were gonna come over probably already came over, so... Anybody hiding? Hello? Anyone else? Hi. Oh. Anyone in here? No, nope. cool. Let me just shut that really quickly. Don't trust it. That's some steel, nice. Let me... Unlock this gun safe. Rifle world, really. Magnum, at least. Weapons bag here with finally a shotgun thing and a machete, which I will use as my new skinning tool. Any decent loot back here? Mods and parts. Ammo. Ammo. Soon to be ammo. Right, so let's go check this last area. Now, if I recall correctly, the AI won't even spawn if you go through this door rather than coming from the ceiling. But I am going to be careful in case they patched that. Seriously? What if I touch the loot? This seems like an oversight in design that I can just walk into the end loot after killing two zombies and breaking down one small door. Kills digests and some other shit I already knew. This is a very dangerous game I'm playing. Oh, shotgun magazine, cool. I'm going to take a mega crush just in case I need to run. What happens if I... That's it. What if I go through the door like this? No, do I have to come through the ceiling? I love that. The, the boss fight of zombies won't spawn unless you do things a very particular way. Incredible game design fun dumps. Bunch of ammo. Don't need those bones, I guess. Another shipping crate back here. Oh, a tactical assault rifle. I mean, I'll take it. Not really what I need, but whatever. So I got a surprisingly little amount of shotgun magazines from there. I'm two away now, so that's something. Where can I get two shotgun magazines? Honestly, mailboxes are the way to go. Let me pick all that stuff back up and pick up the motorcycle and just run with the Mega Crush. You know, I don't think the Mega Crush is doing all that I thought it would be doing for me, so let's just drive. Um, I get some boost, please? There we go. So, mailboxes. Some water, okay. Not having any luck with the mailboxes for shotgun magazines yet. Oh, never mind, there we go. I need one more. Another police car here. It's not giving me much leveled loot, but it is giving me good ammo. 
which I do need because I don't have tier 5 quests to just spam ammo at me. More shotgun ammo and more mineral water. You know, I'd bet I would find some in here because this is always a good book POI early on. I only need like one or two book containers and some luck. Oh, he fell through the floor. Hate that. Oh, hello. Pretty sure that's a different guy though. The other one's still around? Oh no, I think he died through the floor. Maybe he got burned. Anyway. Books, please? Anybody hiding here? No. Nope. Yes, there is actually. But there's my shotgun book at least. There, I can make the best auto shotgun I'm going to be able to craft. Might as well finish this place. Might be some good loot at the end. You never know. some armor parts. Let's check these other containers really quickly. Okay, some meds. Okay, so we didn't get anything amazing, but we did get that one book I needed. Still need to get salvage operations or whatever the books are called. Scrapping for fun. Um, but that's not... Well, I probably should check that gas station across the street, actually. I was gonna say that's not too important, but that is right there. I mean, I'm probably still not gonna max it out, though. How many do I need? Yes, yeah, still seven more, but... It'll take two minutes. And I get to check this ATM. Ah, lots of money, which I'm going to turn into shotgun ammo. <laughs> like, where's the zombie that spawns in here? Hello. We're, here we are. Scrapping for fun and some gas and a wheel. Ooh, hello, I didn't know the safe was here. Ah, nothing too good there then. Hello. Let me get some frames. Oh, I didn't. That's annoying. Put them away. And go one of these. Who's scrapping for funds? Hey, I'm four away now at least. We're doing great. If I see another easy gas station, I'll probably take it. Probably worth checking that working sift tools van as well. Just really quickly. Yeah, see? I was right. I need three more. Oh, level six wrench. Right, well, let's go. And if I see anything else that might have some easy scrapping books for me, I'll grab it. But otherwise, I'll probably... Hello, have I searched you? I have. Otherwise, I'll go home. <laughs> so scrapping for fun. Need two more. I think there's a gas station. Stop saying. Is there a dog in the back of this one? No, cool. Oh, yes, there is actually. Just in a different place. So, bag. Oh, I should check in with that trader as well. Tools Digest, you insult me. You better not be a feral biker. One more scrapping for fun. Oh, there's no safe in this one. That rarely happens. I've never noticed that before. Like randomized wall safes. Yeah, let's go check in with the trader. Maybe he's selling one. That would be very convenient. Ooh, ATM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep getting distracted by stuff. This is probably very annoying for some people. But, uh, fuck them. That's what I say. More monies, which I am just going to turn into more shotgun ammo, because it's the biggest issue I have other than shit armor right now. Hey, scrapping for fun. We're done with that now, too. Hang on, there's another police car. Bunch of ammo at least, and some first aid kits. Never have too many first aid kits, that's for sure. Joel has a bunch of books, I probably should have just came here. Uh, he does have that one, like, little tower that has a military chest in it, and those sometimes give you level 1 military armor, just even on day 1, so it's worth checking that. Ah, just some books today. Unlucky. Although isn't Joel the armor guy, he might just be selling armor, that's also an option. Tech planet. Something. Knife guy and handguns. If he's got anything. What are you settling? No good armor, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, he did have two scrapping for fun, so I could have just came here. I do need to forget an elixir, you know. Can't afford one, though. Uh, that's fine. I can probably sell him some things I found throughout my journey. And get that. But first, let me check in his little underground area here. Medical journal. And nothing else. Okay, let's go check the car. Sometimes you get high level tools in cars, not just glue. Well, glue's always good. But yeah, let's go see if I've got any stuff to sell him once I kill this one lady. And probably this cop as well. And probably you too, and you as well. 
because none of you fucking learn. Uh, I don't need steel club parts at all anymore. I can't craft a better one. Don't need rifle parts or pistol parts or machine gun parts or baton parts. Could probably get a discount with a magnum actually. And I could definitely sell him that tactical assault rifle because I'm not going to use it. So yeah, I could also sell him a bunch of 762, but he'll only buy three stacks of it anyway. Alright, let's let's do that. So I can get a nice forget and elixir and forget all the fucking shit I have and actually have a decent build. There my reading is shit. Hello, Joel. Okay, that was quite effective. Let's also just sell him the fucking Magnum. Um, oh, I should have actually bought the Forget and Elixir first, shouldn't I? <laughs> Whatever. Um, which which tab do you keep that in? Why am I, why am I lost in a trader? Here we go, food. Uh, buy that. Uh, probably shouldn't take it now because I might want to actually consider my pair of choices. And it's, you know, 45 minutes till he closes. So I will not have an opportunity to do that. So let's just drive home and then I'll respec my build into something actually useful that doesn't have eight points of intellect dumped just so that you can play the game. How far away am I from home? Oh, so very far, but that's fine. Nighttime anyway, so five kilometers, I've got spare gas. I will see you guys back at home. I'll probably cut to the morning and we'll go and get a bunch of iron probably because I'll need loads of steel to craft the new shotgun and the gyrocopter and the impact driver but that definitely at least gives me a goal for tomorrow is to get that shit up and running. I'll see you guys over there. Okay so it is the morning I have made the gyrocopter accessories and the gyrocopter chassis well the accessories are 30 seconds away. I need an engine before I'm able to actually craft it though so we'll have to go out and find one of those and I'm just about there on steel for the auto shotgun in 16 seconds I'll be able to make that. But I'm going to need a further, I think it's 80 forge steel to make the impact driver that I want. And I'm going to need a little bit more duct tape, I think. But I do actually have that crafting. I gathered up all my water and bones and glue and started crafting as much duct tape as I could. I've got like a spare 20 murky water going on in here. So that'll eventually turn into glue for me at least. There's my two steel. We can add the auto shotgun to the list. We can grab that. So now to make the gyrocopter, I just need an engine. So let's go out and hunt down an engine. Wouldn't be too hard. I just need to find a few vehicles. It'd be really nice if I had my impact driver right now, but here we are. There we go, an engine. Let's head back and start crafting the gyrocopter then. Then it'll be a case of hunting down the stuff I need for the impact driver. My shotgun is done as well. That's good. Right, so, for the impact driver, five motor tool parts. Ah, yes, I'm missing two motor tool parts straight away, so I'll need to check the traders and see if I can maybe buy a couple. I don't need steel tool parts anymore, so I can probably just get rid of that in exchange for money. Let me grab the shotgun. There we go, the level one's only worth like 100, but I'll still sell it just because why not. I could probably make it worth a lot more if I had a bunch of spare mods for it, let's see. Hmm, not many mods I could put on it. Cripple them first. I could use the suppressor, but I kind of want to keep that. Maybe a bipod? I've never checked. And yeah, I guess I'll have to do, let's see. Eh, it doesn't even increase the value that much. Fuck it, I'll just not do that. I'll just sell Joel the old shotgun. The new one is looking pretty good though. I just need to get a drum magazine for it. I'll also need 80 forge steel for the impact driver, which I don't quite think I have yet either, so that's on the list. Right, Joel, do you have any motor tool parts? He does. Buy two of those. Oh, did I sell them all of mine? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so I, I didn't get any. I just bought my own back, because I'm a moron. Love that for me. Okay. Oh wait, I've got one rifle part you can have as well. I've got nine gold in here. Sell that too. There we go. Alright, where else can I get like two motor tool parts? Some kind of construction related POI would usually be a good idea. Maybe fly over to the desert, depending on how long this is going to take. 16 seconds? Yeah, that'll probably work. Yeah, maybe fly over to the desert and see if I can get a couple of impact driver parts from various sort of related POIs. There's more steel crafting there. Right, let's fly over and see if there's any hardware stores or anything like that where I can get two motor tool parts. There's also a trader wreck who could be selling them. 
Right, so we're in the desert town. Let's have a look around. This building here usually has some easily accessible, like, crates, which could include a working sift tools. Of course, that would be a good way to get more tool parts. Oh, just a book. Oh, it's going to be a long day. Fuck off, Arlene. Some forged iron. Let's have a look around. Right, we got a trader wrecked over here who could just be selling some. It'd be worth checking. No luck here, although he has a lot of steel, but I'm not going to waste my money on that. You're getting all right, well, let's have a look around for like a hardware store or gas stations. Speaking of that, there is one right there. Although I may have looted it already, I don't know. Hello? Free money. Who's chasing me? Go away, Mo. Hey Arlene. Rifle magazine, not incredibly helpful. Anything up here again? I forget. Duffel bag. Isn't there loot through here? I must... Yeah, there is. It's just a passing gas container. Not really what I was thinking of though. Nothing too useful there. Still, there's a few more containers. Hello. See if I've got any luck down here. Nothing too good there. Home cooking weekly though. Nothing in there and behind here I'm, I'm doubting it a bit. What the shot? Yeah, no, you're not gonna get anything there. And some meds. Ooh, two medical journals there. Right, hey, let's keep searching then. Hello, I see a tool truck in here. Also a million zombies, but that's you know to be expected at this point. Okay, here's the truck I actually came for, and we get hit in the face by a vulture, love that. Oh, Tools Digest, well that sucks. Well, how's the end loot for here looking, and do I have any food on me? A little bit. Right, so, end loot, what do you have? Oh, I fell. Guess we're fighting them all either way. Radiated zombies, really? All right, basically free loot. I just need two motor tool parts. Come on, game. I believe in you. You can do it. A double barrel shotgun. Okay. So we got this stuff. Wheel and oil. Fuel saver mod. That's pretty helpful. And one motor tool part. Okay, well, we're closer than we were before, at least. Can't complain about that. Just need one more now. Ow. Sure, there's some kind of uh, construction crates around here in some other POI. Yeah, there's a bunch of warehouses and stuff around here. I think we could definitely find one in there somewhere. I think I saw working stiff tools on my right here, though. Yeah. Probably gonna be my best bet for a mean one motor tool part at this point. Oh, that's the tier 3 one. Ugh. Mildly annoying. Where the zombies? Hey, stop breaking the loot. Okay, you're not even fucking looking at me. Impeccable game, honestly. Impeccable. search the things. Here we go. Better get a motor to apart from one of these. 
duct tape. Never say no to duct tape. There's four motorcycle parts. See? I am a genius. There's two lockpicks as well. And there's two more motorcycle parts. Definitely the place to go if you need these then. Right, well I don't want to spend extra time here because I do need to get back and get a bit more steel. If I want to get this all done today. So let's head back to the gyrocopter and we can come back later if I need more motorcycle parts or lockpicks. Although I could just make lockpicks very easily actually, that would be kind of dumb. Right, let's head home. Okay, so I'm back. I'm sorting out my inventory, but I've gathered up the stuff I need for the impact driver, except for the extra 40 forged steel I'm obviously going to need. That is crafting at the forge, so I have it, it's just a matter of time. I could speed it up though by going out with the ratchet I have and taking down a few lampposts, just so I'm not doing literally nothing for five minutes here. Though either way you're not going to see it because I'm not going to make you sit through me driving around climbing lampposts. God, this thing needs repairs. There we go. So let's go find some steel. Right, there's 61 steel. I've managed to get an extra like 20 from just like five lampposts there, so that should be good. I imagine the forge has in that time produced, you know, at least 10 or something. So let's go and get that and then start the impact driver crafting. The only thing I need after the impact driver is mountains and mountains of ammunition, which is of course a problem. And I'll also need better armor. The armor is going to just have to happen over time because my loot stage is not high enough to find a lot of level 6 military armor and I'm guessing my armored up is nowhere near good enough to start making that either. Yeah, no, I would need another 60 magazines pretty much. Military fiber is a needle to the anus as far as ease of making it is and finding it is also a similarly displeasing experience. Here we go, there's enough of that. Impact driver. There we go, that'll take three minutes. So while we wait for that, let me put some stuff away first, hang on. But yeah, while we wait for that, I do still have the friggin' elixir here. I'm now done with intellect, so let's just eat that. And that'll give me back so many skill points. First, we need to make sure I've got, let's go for seven strength. Four ranks of that, and then two ranks of that, I guess. And I'll need my minor 69er and mother load. Heavy armor might be okay, because I would find a lot more books, but I'm not actually going to use heavy armor. So it feels kind of like a waste of 5,000 dukes in the future when I want those four skill points back. It might be time to go into some agility, get at least four and get the first rank of parkour. First two ranks of parkour, sorry. Six, get another one. Can we get up to eight? We can. So I've got max parkour, and that's about all I can afford from it. But I actually am using light armor, so this will give me more armor and parts and books. So that would make sense to get some of that as well. And my next two skill points will obviously go here. I might get some gunslinger as well, because an extra ammo type that I can use is never a bad idea. Although I would have to find a great deal of pistol magazines. I mean, we're not starting in an awful place. I'd only have to find 81 but to make a level 5 Desert Vulture, but I don't need to make a level 5 Desert Vulture because at 67, I would get the level 5 SMG, which I would say is actually better than a Desert Vulture anyway. So, as far as getting a quick, sort of mid to late game, sudden boost of firepower, an SMG5 would be an easy one because I would only need... 48 books to get a level 5 SMG5. Pretty doable. Um, does mean finding even more books, and I really doubt I'm going to find more bookstores, but there are still a good amount of um, military and gun related POIs I can use to get armor and gun books quite easily. So that can be a little thing to do in the end game here. So that would be an additional 2 plus 4, 6 skill points. And I could start moving into another playstyle. I'll want to get run and gun as well. I forgot about that. That's a really useful one, especially for shotgun builds and for non-horde base users. So I'll probably actually prioritize that. So yeah, I need like an additional nine skill points and then we'll be very, very powerful. We already are, but like stupidly powerful. Yeah, that's pretty good. How's the impact driver going? 30 seconds. Okay, let's see here. Let me gather up some mods for it. Basically anything will do. I'll put some more of these custom things on my armor. 
as well while I'm at it. Anything that can take it anyway. Yeah, I've only got a couple of pieces that can actually use that, but that's fine. Impact driver is done. So let's compare the block damage here. We get 60 point, let's call it 61 on the ratchet versus 143 on the level 5 impact driver. That's going to be considerably more helpful for destroying various kinds of cars. Let's go find a car just to test it on. I don't have salvage ops now, so it will actually seem like probably worse, but it'll make up for the lack of salvage operations. I might once I'm done getting those extra 10 skill points into agility, start going into some perception and get salvage operations because it's a really good character to have and I have 50% block damage so scrapping things is even more painful than usual. So it's always good. And then you could put points in explosives as well which is always good. Here we go, a truck. You can measure the damage on that. 105. That's pretty good. You'll be able to one shot a good amount of stuff with that, obviously. Not a truck, but still pretty doable. The real issue is the stamina use, but that's pretty normal. I can use a full stamina bar to get a truck to half health. That's pretty, pretty solid. Oh, I can jump really high. I forgot that was weird. So we got the gyrocopter. We got the level five auto shotgun. We got the level five impact driver, and we're working towards being even more agile and having much better armor. Hello and welcome back to seven days to die hardcore. During the night, I went out and I got some ores of various kinds. I was low on gas, so I had to do a lot of it with my steel pick. But I did get some oil shale, so I should be fixing that problem soon. I'm not really sure what I want to do today, other than obviously it's going to end with a horde night on day 28. The thing I need to work towards now, more than anything, is decent armor. And I'm not sure how I want to do that. I've got two points in the light armor perk, which should give me more armor, obviously. Uh, but that involves looting, so I guess we should just go and loot some tier 3, tier 4 PYs, things I can do quickly, and check their loot. But my loot stage is 40, because I'm level 40, so that's not going to be a very good way to do it in the forest biome, and the wasteland's kind of not good enough yet either. I guess I just need to level. That's annoying. I have to grind for some levels to play the game. Well, at the very least, if I go through a bunch of different POIs, I'll be able to find various kinds of books or book containers, which will give me armor books, which I can use to craft my own armor. That would certainly be an option. I don't know if there's anything left of this town for me to really loot. Let's see. We could go to the desert town. We would get a nice loot stage boost as well. Yeah, let me fly over to the desert town. I think I still have plenty of fuel in the gyrocopter. It's just I don't have any spare. So let's head over there. Another thing I could definitely work towards is handgun magazines, because if I can get like 40 of those, I'd be able to get a level 3 SMG, which would be a very good use of ammo that I already have. I did gather some lead and gunpowder, which is currently crafting into its uh, component parts for shotgun shells, so I should be able to solve the ammo problem soon enough. Because this 149 shells right here, that is all the shotgun ammo I have, which is the only real long-term noticeable factor I've seen with this setting. I'm playing Insane Nightmare, Permadeath, 50% block damage, 150% zombie damage, or maybe even more than that, and I'm not allowed to do trader quests, but the only noticeable difference, really, is how little ammo I have, because I don't have tier 5 infestations to just throw it at me. Because you can do a tier 5 infestation with less than a stack of ammo and come out the other side with another nine stacks of ammo. Might not necessarily be the ammo you want, but it usually is. A couple stacks of it anyway. Now I have to go out of my way to mine it and craft it, which is harder with the reduced block damage. But I have an auger and I have full miner 69er, so it's not too intolerable. Kind of boring. Here's a couple houses I'm pretty sure have some books in them. They're probably worth checking. Let's see, did I get this loot already here? Yeah, let's go inside. Anyone home? Yes. Hi. I missed. Nice bit of murky water there. I'll check these for cooking books as well. I don't really think I'll need them. But, I mean, if you're going to put a bunch of collectible books in your game, I'm going to try and collect a lot of them. That's how it works. Okay, some lockpicks. A pedal biker? Oh no, I'm just playing Inside Nightmare. <laughs> I forgot. Ow. What a dick. Uh, oh, did I not bring first aid? Oh no, I did. Here we go. I know I've got first aid kits. I always bring first aid kits. I just wasn't sure if I brought first aid bandages. 
Fuck, that's gonna take so many of those to heal. Maybe I should have just used the first aid kit. <laughs> At least now if I get hit, it won't matter as much. Oh, the club is so good if you've got a few points of pummel peak. Even on insane. Doesn't matter. Unless you try and fight a radiated zombie, in which case it'll take 50 hits or something. Where the fuck did you come from? Oh, end of the hallway. That would answer that. Uh, let's see, anyone in these other rooms really quickly? Yep, hello. What about in here? Okay, and up the ladder. Or in fact, probably gonna check this first. There we go. And then the ladder. I think I'm clear. Okay, baseball bat, some meds and mods. I only got my stone axe, because again, I ran out of gas, so this is gonna be slightly painful. Handgun magazine, cool. Arming magazine and some meds down here. Now, I saw a lot of bookcases downstairs, so let's go and see what those have. Here's the first one. This little peat book I already knew. Great start. Fantastic start. The best start I could have asked for, really. Some lockpicks in that purse. Another bookcase here. Scrapping for fun I already knew. Well, this is just wonderful. More books. Two tech planets and an armored up. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Home Cooking Weekly. There's a bunch of these cabinets that are worth searching as well. There's another one. 73 of those. I swear there's more books. Farming, Knife Guy, and Armored Up again. Okay, we've got two Armored Ups. Plus a couple of other useful books. Not much more you could expect from a house. Maybe I missed some stuff in the basement here real quick. Let's check. No, that's okay. But there's plenty of other houses around here. The wonderful thing about towns. Mailbox with a batter off I already know. That's the loot we come to new biomes for. Let's check this place, it's a tier 3, we'll get some better end loot at least. Hello. Gun safe in there, I'll search that in a second. Hello. Another one burned out, cool. Downstairs, who else is around? Ping me, hello. Anyone else in here? Someone else, oh, hello. Because there was someone outside, but I think I was hearing them. Or maybe I wasn't, I think I was hearing you. Come back here. Alright, turns to the basement. Books in here as well. Oh, she did not even do the hit animation. I want my money back. What money? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Eat that food. Anyone hiding in here? I see a crawler over there, I think. I just run over him. No, where are they? Ah. Anyone else hiding back here? Not in there. And not in here. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's have a look around. Handy land and some ammo. Decent amount of meds. Some more ammo. Let's check these boxes. Ooh, hello weapons bag. Sharp sticks. Anyway, let's check these boxes. Another scrapping for fun that I already know. The game doesn't even know what to give me anymore. I've maxed out so many of the loot tables, it's just giving me shit I already know. What kind of helmet do I have? I have a padded hood, why am I not using a football helmet? It's just a leather helmet with extra steps. It's an upgrade at least. Yeah, 36% damage rating. Absolutely awful, but it's better than it was before. Armored up. And urban combat I already know. It doesn't even do me the service of giving me shitty skill books I don't know. Armored up. Get hammered and tech planet. Uh, let's see, a double barrel shotgun, not really of much use to me, and tech planet and a couple of mods and some ammo. Never say no to more shotgun shells. Oh. 
I guess I'm getting lots of military armor parts, so when I actually try and craft some military armor, that shouldn't be the limiting factor. It will be the military fiber, I imagine. Uh, do I have that one thing that lets you harvest it yet? Because that could be a big priority if not. Harvest military fibers from chairs and military trucks. Um, need one more wasteland treasure as well. I'm hunting for books anyway, so if I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. Check in with traders as I go past them. Right, not too much useful in that house. Dumped the loot though. But let me just take the motorcycle around. See what other houses I can find and what um, traders I can come across. Vehicle adventures I already know. Thanks game. Electrical traps, at least I don't know it. Let's see what's going on in here. Anyone home? Door's locked. Suspicious. Sounds like we might have a wandering horde outside. I think it was just her. Oh, well, still. Anyone else? Oh, I see. She might have fallen down there and then um, went around. Or maybe I'm talking shit. It's the second one, I think. Let's see. We got another electrical traps. Not too useful for someone who doesn't want to build a base, but eh. Good to have my options open. Bows and electrical traps. No button. He just break my way out. Okay. I'm sure now there's like four zombies in here. Okay, there's a downstairs. One second. Let's go down. Oh, that's a lot of them. I'm stuck on the door here. Anyone else hiding down here? Oh, just a bunch of nooses. Okay, I think we're good in here then. We've got Heck, planet. You would think I have points in it or something. Sounded sarcastic. I, I literally don't have points in it. <laughs> right, what do we have in the end loot? Nothing much. Helmet mod, though. Probably got a slot for that. There. Now we can see slightly better. Home cooking weekly here. Okay, very little of note in this house. Let's continue. How do I get in this house? Oh, there's the end loot. Go stronger the walls. I can break this. Nothing too useful there, although advanced mufflers are okay if I can find a slot for them anyway. I don't think I have one. Okay, we'll hold on to that for later then. Ooh, a medical journal, hello. Need four more of those. Custom fittings. I think I'll take that over the helmet light, to be honest. Okay, well, we're in the POI. It doesn't seem to be an easy way to the rest of the POI, so I'm just going to break the doors. How are you supposed to get in here? Oh, does the ceiling break? Ah, I see. Can I jump? I mean, if I placed one block, I could, but I don't see any reason to. Let's just break through this shit. Hello, anybody home? Oh, I've went, I've went the wrong way. This is to the entrance of the POI. Ah, hello. Case. Book I already know. Probably shouldn't fall down there. Although I can't break my legs, so shouldn't have to worry really. Break down the door and see if it spawns any zombies though. Nope, okay. I think we're clear. Just loot the place. Blue. There's a home cooking weekly. Okay, I think that's all the house had. Anything in this car? Wheel. Let's keep searching. There's a trader wrecked over here. Maybe he's selling something useful. He's selling six jars of honey. Not useful, it's just notable. Maybe I should buy this military fiber just while I have access to it. Um, home cooking weeklies? Nah, I think I'll pass. Not selling much else that I need, though. No, Still, a couple no of military worries. fiber could be useful. I could, um... I could use that to make like level 1 military gloves if I get up to that many magazines. How many do you need? 39. I'm not even halfway there. <laughs> if 
fine. My next points are going to go into armor books or armor perks so I can find more armor books. Uh, let's see. These are usually pretty good houses. Also, we got mailboxes here. Let's digest. I'm insulted. Paper. I'm less insulted. That's useful. Let's check in here. Okay, a couple of somewhat useful things there. Zombies? Hello. Both dead. Great. Some glue. I will never complain about glue because it's always a pain in the ass. There's a skill point. Let's put that into armor as well. The effect is okay. I don't really care about it, but I really just want more books. I guess armor parts would be nice too. I suppose we should come down here and kill this one guy for the XP. Is there any loot down here? How's oh, a wooden chest filled with the most random objects imaginable? What about this? Eh. Take the plastic. Not a fan of farming. Alright, let's deal with the kind of scary area. Ow. Got myself trapped in that room. Unwise decision. Kill you. Why are there so many soldiers in this town? Come in here. I didn't bring a shovel. This can be mildly annoying. Weirdly, I think my impact driver might be the best option. Cooler with some water in it and a sealed shipping container. Smack that open. Ugh, all that for a vehicle adventure that I already know. Like it doesn't know I started boosting the armor. It just wants to keep giving me this. Hey, okay. there's an Arlene on the ground there. Got any food? Tuna. Hello. Bye. Anyone hiding in here then? No. Right, let's go up here. Try and not get caught on the thing. Hi, biker. Ow. that crawler even get down the ladder? Hello? Ah. Alright, loot, what do you have? Nothing amazing, although I'll always take extra meds because I always end up using a bunch of meds to get in here because there's always some biker hiding in a wall somewhere. Home cooking and handguns. Medical journal. Okay, so this place was just shit. Understandable. Oh, there is a mortician's house just over there. I'll have to expend some ammo probably, but it does usually have more books than your average POI. And the loot at the end will be better. Alright, let's fight the door guards. There's another one. And I think there's one over here too. Oh, and there's a vulture spawn somewhere too. Ow! Saw the shadow. It'll be faster than that, Mr. Vulture. Alright, let's... Do this the old-fashioned way, then. Ah, oh, I annoyed a zombie downstairs. That is definitely the old-fashioned way. Oh, I'm hungry again. I did just eat a can of tuna. It's like five food. Oh, well. Whoa. Stop bloody crawling at me. You can do that. You don't have legs. You have an excuse. Biker could very well be a feral, and I'm about to find out the hard way. It wasn't. Where's the other one? Hmm... It's very suspicious, there's usually two. What's it got cooked up for me then? Probably an extra zombie down here, I imagine. I just one shot a feral. Only need two more medical journals, that's nice. Not that I'm gonna get anything good from finishing it, but you know, it's nice to complete things. Another medical journal. Vulture. It'd be over there, didn't it? All over, please. So many armor parts. That might be like one of the kind of secretly best ways to make money. Putting points in armor so that you just find so many of those and you can sell them. Come on. Ah, the last medical journal. And a first aid bandage. Make up for that hit I took. Go in here. I should have picked that up. Okay, now I have to do this. Sledgehammers. Right, magazine extender, that may actually be a good thing to know. He was annoying me for a very long time. This room's always fun. Oh, fuck you. I hate the crawling mechanic. So very much. 
I am very thirsty and hungry now. This is actually kind of dangerous. <laughs> Fine, there's a trader wreck nearby, and I have loads of extra medicine to overcome the fact that I'm severely malnourished through duct tape. It's just first hit, first aid kit up. Kill the next two zombies. Oh, you better not be the feral that you look like he is. Stay down, stop resisting. Go. Quickly loot this before my meds run out. Uh, ugh. Wasted 10 health for that. Shotgun time. Hello. Oh yeah, it's not an infestation. I'm far too used to infestations. Okay, we're good. Here's the loot. Only used a few shotgun shells. It's not too bad. Uh, let's see. Electrical traps, some money, which I can turn into shotgun ammo. Ammo I don't need. Almost exclusively. You'll love to see it. And a mod I can use to make things more expensive to sell later. What we got in the actual bookstore box, though. One armoured up. It's something. Uh, sledgehammers. And passing gas, two things I already know. Yep. <laughs> Let's go talk to Trader Wreck, because I need to empty my inventory and I need to buy some food and water. There, sold Wreck some of my extra bullshit. All right, now Let's buy some food and water. Business. Salmon, pears, uh, yucca juice, I guess. But I'm not going to have much time to do anything. Let's see if I can find somewhere to loot in the next like couple of in-game hours. This place would be okay. Not sure what I'll get from it, but we'll find out. Hello. Oh god, he's a feral. That's right, chase me down the stairs, dipjip. Come on. I'm not letting you stumble hit into me, you motherfucker. Actually ran out of stamina. That much health. Just one spider. Oh, someone's behind me. Hello. Hey, loot. Armored up. Fuck that guy. And there's a weapons bag. Deck planet. Ow. Double hit by ferals. Love that for me. Where did you stop crawling? Ugh, oh, for fuck's sake. What a flawless video game mechanic it is. There we go. God, I hate that. Is this floor break? No. Let's see. Hunter's thingy. Extra damage to vultures. Rarely do I not one-shot them, but hey. I'll increase my chances. Uh, sledgehammers and shamway over here. Let me see if I missed any book containers on the way up here. I missed some meds. But books, I don't think I missed. Okay. Well, I'm gonna fly home. And I'll do some mining during the night. And in the morning, we will continue trying to hunt down these magazines very slowly. It's painful, but welcome to the game. Uh, and then we can do the horde night, which will be much more interesting. Okay, so it is the morning of day 28 now. I just need more books while I wait for this horde. Hmm. Oh yeah, I really, more than anything, what I think I do need is Wasteland Treasure 7. So that I can get, well, so that I can get the completion bonus so that I can actually get military fiber in any useful quantity to make military armor crafting a bit more bearable. Uh, let's see, is there a part of this town that I haven't really, you know, I've probably not done much downtown. Let's go there, see what I can find in terms of POIs I've not done yet, because I'm sure I haven't done much in that area yet. I wonder if it's worth just trying to steal the end loot from the Ostrich Hotel. I'm not doing the whole thing, because there's absolutely zero reason to when you don't get quest rewards, but I could probably take the, the final room, depending on how much health it all has. 5,000, 15,000... I mean, what's, what's 10,000 health of smacking, really? I only really need to do 5,000 and then I can go shoot someone inside and get this started. 
And the nice thing about it not being a quest, I can just fucking run away if it gets too much. Hello. Nope, I haven't had kept this particularly well loaded. I've got some pipe bombs here though. Let's throw that in there. Nice. Easy XP as well. Now I should be careful because there's radiated zombies trying to break out the stairs up there. Oh, that was terrible throw. Terrible throw. Uh, so they might come behind me, so I need to watch out for that. I got one of you, really? Okay. Speaking of behind me, here they come. Just in time for me to not be there. Oh, I think they're falling through the map. There's certainly more of them coming. I better get, like, a hundred shotgun shells from this or I'm going to be mad. No, there's seven shotgun shells. <laughs> right, let's see. What's got the most health? This, this still has a decent amount of health, but I can break through it. I will have to kill a demo, though, I think. That's not particularly difficult by design, so yeah, I'll just do that. <laughs> it's got some bullets in it. Here he comes. King, all of those missed. Ow. <laughs> Let me just jump on this car and get my stamina up. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. And now just run away from him. Don't get the XP, but who gives a shit, really? <laughs> Uh, he did get one hit on me though. That might have been the first time I've ever been hit by a demo. Because they're so rare outside of horde bases. Uh, so yeah, let's get the end loot. Now some people will be like, eh, pre-built, you didn't do the whole POI, but like, why the fuck would you? You don't have to anymore. If you're not doing a clear quest, why would you bother killing everything else? Because everything else doesn't have end loot in it. Oh, I forget, elixir, nice. Saves me like 6k dukes, there's a bunch of ammo and turrets. Uh, a needle and thread book, a leather hood, some ammo and mods and meds, five first aid kits, can't go wrong with that, some more ammo, some more meds, and let me break open, oh, hello, weapons bag, demolitions, and some gunpowder, let me break open these crates and see what I get, meds, unsurprisingly for that one anyway, armoured up, and a rifle, some food, well, food and water, and random shit, search these cars. Now, I think I made a net negative on shotgun shells there purely by bad luck, but it happens. If you get a shotgun turret bundle at the end though, you would get 300 shotgun shells and that would be very nice. Where the fuck did you even get this truck here? And a bandolier and some this chicken. That, that can't be used for much. The legs. Oh, I have a bandolier on, cool. Okay, well that was a nice little bump of loot for no work. Well, I wouldn't call that no work, but for very little work anyway. Where'd you come from? Let me read this treasure map there. Not bad for ammo most of the time. Let's see how many have I got? I've got four. If I had my auger on me, I could probably do those. Be a decent little source of ammo. And money. Maybe I'll do them then. In this weird world where ammo is hard to come by. Still will never do them on normal settings because they're just the worst way to get any of the thing they give you unless you're not allowed to do quests for some silly reason like this. I also want to check in at the trader and see if he has any books I want. Trader Joel I believe is the armor guy so it would make sense that he'd be selling a few armor books but when do things ever make sense really? Here's some gas. Let's first go check the trader. Oh, he has a lot of military fiber. The problem is I don't know how much I would need. I've never crafted military armor before. Hmm. Can I can I Google this? Is this a thing I could even Google? I rarely if ever Google anything about Seven Days Sty because for the most part I just know it from looking in the code, but the recipe for military armor at level five is actually something I don't know. It requires five per level. So oh hey, that's updated to Alpha 21. 
put on the wiki for finally not being Alpha 15. Um, let's see here. So I would need 25 for the full suit. Probably just buy that and just not worry. Hmm. Do you have any armored up? It has one armored up. Okay, let me check for like sugar butts first. None. Eh, fuck it. It's not that expensive. I know I don't need two for sure though, so I can get like 23. And if I have extra, whatever happens. Oh. And my sledgehammer parts. Okay, well, if he can find a Trader Joel who just sells it all, that does make it a lot easier, but that's kind of, like, the case for most things in the game. <laughs> One of those. Although, I'll need... Hmm. Thinking about it. If I was to go and make level 1, level 1, level 1, I would need extra. But I'll, I'll just assume I'll find that extra. Now that I have my brain switched to locate military fiber, I'm sure I'll find a few before I actually find the magazine to even make it, so shouldn't have to worry. And I've probably got a few spare anyway, but either way, I have enough to make a full set of level 5 military armor. Just need the books now. Let's see, I've got two in here, so yeah. And I'll need an additional, like, three to do what I need to do, so that's fine. Still want to check the treasure maps for ammo, though. Let's see. I'll need, it's better to look on the map and figure out like a route that makes sense rather than just going to the closest one. See, I had to go to the closest one, probably go like there and then come down to here or something. But yeah, here is a cluster of three of them, so that makes sense to go there. Let's grab you and fly over to... Have I got it marked? Yeah, Seda's treasure map. If they're going to be that convenient, I mean, sure. But I still only get like 10 shotgun shells from this because this game hates me. What level demolitions do you need for the good thing, by the way? You need level 25. Okay, so six of those should be a priority so I can get more efficient gunpowder. Not much I can do to force that, though, other than putting a point in demolitions, which feels wasteful at this stage anyway. Right, let's do a bit of uh, luring if any zombies are nearby. There's that guy, but he seems to be ignoring me, so let's dig. God, 50% block damage makes this pretty intolerable, but I'll live with it. Hey, Mo. You know what? I could use the clay anyway. Didn't think about that. Ah, here we go. Let's see. <laughs> Level 5 pipe pistol. 15 shotgun shells. A decent amount of treasure I could sell, though. Which isn't something to turn my nose up at when money is such a pain in the ass without quests. So, works for me. It's still not great, but... We do what we must. On this dumbass game mode I've made for myself pick this up, it's probably easier to drive to the other two. Oh good, this one's made of sand. Should be easier to break. There we go. Level 6 baton. 10,000 dukes though, that's pretty good. It's a very rare reward though, be wary of that. <laughs> like gambling. Chances of you actually getting the one that has 10k dukes in it aren't very high. But I will accept that for this one. And check this one. What happened to the quest? What the fuck? Huh? Wait, did it move? What the fuck? Wait, I'm so confused. I've just been digging in a random spot. But why would the quest deactivate whatever? Maybe I didn't turn it on. My brain's not fully engaged. I mean, I am just digging. Why would it be fully engaged? I apparently see it. There we go. Again, with the 15 shotgun shells. And a thousand money, which is worth about 2,000 dukes. But I will just turn that into shotgun shells. And a bunch of other ammo. These quests seem to be very specifically shit for shotgun shells, which I think is just rude. Let's go do the last one, which is over here. Alright, here's the last treasure map. No, oh, I left my gas in the gyrocopter. That's annoying. Oh, hello. Here's the treasure, though. Uh, 30 shotgun shells this time. And a bit more ammo and another bloody pipe pistol. If I get some weight, maybe I should save the rest of the treasure maps I find for the wasteland. As scary as they are in the wasteland. The loot would also be better. Only the leveled part of it though, but still. Better is better. Still we got, like, I don't know, 60 shotgun shells from all that. <laughs> it's not very good, but hey, it works. How many more actual shotgun messiah books do I need? Oh, none. I didn't realise I could bulk craft shotgun shells already. I should do that. Well, there's a thousand buck shot on its way. That's certainly going to help. How much does it take to make one shotgun shell again? I would imagine one, right? Yeah, one. Well, this is 80 to 100, but yeah. I'll probably just wait until I can do that then, and then I can probably make so many shotgun shells I'll be able to stay in the positive on them for a while. 
really the only issue with shotgun shells aside from having to engage with the crafting mechanics is paper it can be a bitch let's see if i got that gunpowder done by the way i do might be able to make as many shotgun shells as i can already where the fuck am i how did i get lost in my own house okay that was weird so let's see uh six boxes of shotgun shells so that's 600 and if i could get seven more buckshot i would be able to make a bit more hang on there we go seven uh, hundred shotgun shells that's pretty good and i've still got spare gunpowder and paper left over so we should be approaching decent amounts of shotgun shells you'd think i would be so low on shotgun shells because I've just been using them so extensively, but no. I've been very sparing with my shotgun. I've even sold several stacks of 762, and I just keep getting more of it than shotgun shells. It's really annoying. I could make some shotgun slugs, couldn't I? What do they take to make? Oh yeah, you need scrap polymer. I wouldn't, to be honest. It's not too bad, but I just prefer not to. It doesn't feel right. Now, I know I'm going to need a lot of glue in the future as well, so let me have a look here. Uh, murky water, regular water, bones, which are in the food for some reason. I suppose you can make food out of bones in real life, but not in the game. 15 water, I'll need more fuel than that. And then, chemistry station. You can make me another 22 glue. Hold on to the bones. It's 32, so that should be enough duct tape, I imagine. Right, well, really, I just need to go and kill things to get some XP. So let's go do that. I'm sure I will find more things to kill in the middle of town where I found the Ostrich Hotel. Could actually go into the Ostrich Hotel, but I just don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> Here's a tier four, that might be a bit too crazy right now. I've only got a few hours before Horde. Wonder, have I been here yet? The Hunink residence is usually a pretty easy POI. I've looked at the cars, but the zombies might have even respawned, so. There we go, there's a level. Usually get a few books out of this POI as well, so let's get the last rank of light armor. Let's loot this. Here we go. Nope. Fire. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, God. Hold still. Blue. Always welcome. Let's check up here. Are you feral or something? Why so durable? Uh, three paper. I'm insulted. Oh, you are a feral. Okay, so probably not that many books in here today. Let's go deal with the final room. That was very lucky. Oh, I one shot her. Ow, I'm gonna run away now. <laughs> Stayed kit, I have so many of them now. Let's see what loot we got. Ah, triple armor pocket mod. Probably the one I need to finish off my armor. Yes, it is. Let's change the arm. Oh no, I still need one more triple armor pocket mod. Okay. That's fine. Although, am I using double clothing pocket mods? No, I'm not. Okay, so I will actually not need one of these mods. Probably this double. If I can just get double clothing pocket mods. Which just come from a certain book that I have a random chance of finding, so not much I can really do. Armored up. And another armored up. Good. We're getting somewhere, finally. You only took four points into light armor. I could boost the chance even more by taking four points into heavy armor as well, but that feels wasteful, even though I do have a free forget elixir. There we go. Some water. I don't really need to, let's turn that off. I should probably go get ready for the horde. I got the one level I was looking for. So I should be much better prepped to find armor books now. It's a shame I can't reset any of the book POIs though. Those are just spent now. If I could find a book POI though, I would probably be done with armor already. Okay, so for horde night, I'll definitely want some extra 9mm I think because my pistol is still a solid damage dealer. Uh, extra pipe bombs, I'll have, let's, let's make it 40. Uh, have I got a 7.62 firing weapon? I think I had a tactical assault rifle, but I sold it. Yeah, so that's whatever. I should have enough spare shotgun ammo to actually be able to use shotguns for this now. Yeah, I'll still have five extra stacks, so I can go kind of crazy on the shotgun. 
Don't have to be so sparing with it now. But it's probably still smart to not really use it and use my pistol instead because it's obviously got 2,000 bullets. I don't have any points in handguns, so it's going to be kind of painful, but, you know, I'll be up on a weird building anyway. So we want to get the right aid items as well, of course, so let's have a look. Let's see if I got first aid bandages. Always a good idea to bring a little bit extra for Horde Knight. First aid kits should be fine, though. I sell kind of most of my other random consumables, though, so I'll have to do there. Uh, I got a couple of mega crushes if I need them. One learning elixir I've been meaning to use since like day seven. Some spare water, some spare food. I should be fine. Let's go find a building. Who's got all my gas? Must be in one of the containers. Yeah, there it is. What's my game stage? 82, that's not too bad. So I think the house I was using last time is pretty much dead. There's no real chance of me still using that one. Although there is, <laughs> is this like an exact copy? Well, that would work great. That lasted me like three horde nights. Let's use this place. Actually, I think this is a different one, but it's a very similar shape, so let's use it anyway. If I need to run, I can run. Now, I have parkour and stuff. Oh, this is the one with the glass here. Oh, that might not be a good idea. Oh, yeah, this is a bad idea. <laughs> There's just a path right to the roof. Okay, let's try somewhere else. Um, hmm. You know, I tried to survive on the other series on this place with Laney. But Laney did weird shit and made it not work. So let's see if I can make it work on my own. Basically, she built a bridge over from there, which there's a ladder, so of course they just... They tried to break through here and get there, whereas I don't know if they would do that. So let's try this place. Alright, here comes the horde. Let's see what we can do. Right, they're spawning again. Let me take my learn an elixir and start picking them off. That did not work very well. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to auger a hole. Oh, yeah, this is weird and wood. Because they're going to go inside, so I should probably just shoot them while they're in there. So they're trying to get up to the second floor here. That works. Ah, yeah, there's a ladder over there. Well, that's a good trip point to know about, because then I can throw my uh, then I can throw pipe bombs at it. Oh, that didn't quite work. There we go. Hey, he's on the roof. Not entirely sure how, though. I guess he crawled out there. Hmm. Fine, though, they'll eventually break the ladder. That it might be worth trying to pop that cop to do that. Eh, at least it makes it interesting. But yeah, I think they may have just broken the ladder themselves. I'm not sure if they can climb that now. Which means they'll stop trying to get to me and just start bashing the foundations. Which works pretty well for me, because I don't care about this building. Right, we survived to midnight. This has been pretty easy so far. What are you guys hoping to achieve over there? That's, there isn't a bridge. It's not gonna work. Now let me slot my other pipe bombs here. I mean, if you want to do that, sure. I mean, it just gives me a nice area to fire these at, but kind of weird. Here, Vulture. Where are they? He blew up a car. There's the Vulture. There's 2 a.m. and I'm still alive. Hey, skill point. Let's go for another rank of run and gun. Oh, I've fallen. Is there any loot left? Oh no, I've been here. Well, this isn't really that big of a deal. I'll just wait for their 10 minutes and then I'll fight them. Alright, let's clean them up.
Okay, I think we're clear. Let's see what we get in the bags. Hopefully, some armored ups. There's a rifle magazine. Here's one armored up. Gonna make leather and iron at quality three. Don't mind if I just don't do that. Uh, let's see. Do I get up there? On the shelf up here. Here we go. There's an AK. I guess I can spend some of my Sim 6 too. Uh, let's see if there's any loot bags outside. Although I kind of made a point of not killing many of them outside because it was mildly inconvenient to do so. Yep, that went very well. I have nothing to even say about it. It just it worked quite well. Why the fuck have I ever been building bases in this game, honestly? Certainly wasn't for the fucking fun of it, because I hate doing that. <laughs> I'll probably have to use a new place next week. There are many houses available. In the next episode, we will continue my hunt for armor magazines. How many more do I need to make, like, level 1 military armor, at least? I would need another 15. That's not too hard. But then it's a lot more to get to level 5. We can maybe do that, though. And, uh, yeah, that's all I really need to do is get better armor. And I guess maybe level handguns once I'm done with that so I have another ammo type so I'm not so strangled by the lack of shotgun shells, but it's pretty easy, all things considered. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Hardcore. Today, we're going to be continuing my hunt for good armor. If I remember correctly, I need 15 books to get to level 1 military armor, which might be worth the trouble to make. It would probably improve my armor rating by like 3% all things considered, but it might still be worth it. So we need to find, yeah, 15 books to get to level 1. And then I also want to get enough books to make better pistols. Because I am now heavily invested into agility after we got rid of intellect. So that is going to be what we're trying to do today. What have I got in here? Oh, the mega crushes. Let's put them away. Where do I want to go to get some new books? You know, the Wasteland was actually a pretty good place for books. There were a few PYs I went past, but I, I could probably do the snow biome. There's probably a bunch of houses that I haven't looted and a bunch of mailboxes. So let's go over there, uh, four kilometers, and see if I can find 15 armor books. Shouldn't be too hard. And then also like 40 handgun books would be nice, but I think that's going to take a little bit longer. Alright, so here we are in the snow biome. Let's have a drive around and see if I can find any buildings worth looting for books, specifically. I don't think my loot stage is high enough to really get anything good loot-wise, although we can test it with this police car, because these usually have decent level loot that you can check with. And it's hard to tell because it didn't actually give me a leveled item. Oh, you gotta love it. We can also find like a tier 1 POI and just see what I get out of it. Right, here's like the residential area. This is prime tier 1 territory. Check these mailboxes. Just some paper. Let's kill this lumberjack. Are you actually a tier 1? You're tier 2. That'll do. Anybody home? Oh, the floor breaks. Okay. Oh, you're feral. Ow. Let's take on the biker. Ooh, hold still. Okay. Some decent stuff there. There's some loot back there. I've pissed off all the zombies. We'll go. Grab a quick first aid kit, because that hurt. And then this floor broke over here as well, so let's go down. Oh, it just leads around here. Okay, that's not too much then. I'm assuming there's still more zombies that I missed somewhere, though. Yeah, up the stairs here, I'm guessing? Okay, that doesn't go anywhere. Ladder. Oh, this is great. Guessing there's zombies down there as well, let's see. Still no level blue, that's really annoying. I'm just trying to gauge how good the loot is here and it's not letting me. Grab these. Oh, that's a scary room. Okay, let's find somewhere else. Hello, dire wolf. I'm 
don't think I brought a machete. Oh well. I don't really care. Let's see, are you a tier one? Tier two. Still probably a good one to check. Night Stalker. Oh good, another hole in the floor one. <laughs> So oh, shit. Oh my god. It took like two hits there and I was down to half health. Yep, definitely need the better armor. Really I should use steel, but because I want to do street hordes, it's probably best to stick with my light armor plan. It does kind of restrict me in POIs though. Oh, what do you want, dog? Where are you? So annoying. Right, let's see what's up here. Some zombies it sounds like. Is the floor gonna break in this one? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, triple armor pocket mod at least. It's still not level loot for me to actually be able to gauge the situation with, but you know, something. Uh, home cooking tools digest great heist, I already knew. Handy land and some duct tape. And a cooler with some random shit in it. Okay, let's check another house. Nothing else. They're bound to eventually have books in them. <laughs> this one's another level two. Have a look. Here. Absolute chaos. Why does it sound like I'm getting run up on by like a whole horde out there? Just him? It sounded like three. Okay, here we are at the end. Loot. Come on. A level one lever action. Okay, that tells me the loot's pretty shitty. So, I'm not gonna go out of my way to try and get anything good in this biome. I'm just going to focus on trying to get books. Handgun magazine at least. And an armoured up. And another armoured up. Okay, Savage Country boxes. They have armoured up in their table. Didn't know that. Can probably use that. Let's go look in the main town area for a Savage Country. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but there is the police station, which I think has the armour racks, usually. So let's check this place. Oh, there's a mountain lion coming. Where is it? I'm getting my gun out. I can jump this, can I? Yes. On the other side of the building. Oh, it's a bigger building than I thought it was. You know, I'll just keep an eye out for it. How did they get there? What the fuck? Of course there's a dog outside. Why wouldn't there be? Oh, is it part of the PY? Okay, fair enough. I'll allow it this time. Farming. Uh, paper. Can't complain about paper, I need it for my shotgun, so, you know. Here's one armoured up. Shotgun weekly. Where the hell did you come from? Some meds. Another book theme or paper. Oh, skill point. Uh, probably run and gun whatever the next rank is. The, yeah. So now I can properly use my speed on Horde Knights. Oh, there's a vulture? Really? Why am I pissing everything off on the other side of the BY? Is my shotgun doing the funny thing? It's annoying. Hop up on here. There we go. Home cooking weekly. Okay, nothing out here. Continue. A radiated cop. Any of these books in- hello. Any of these books intact? The magnum ammo. Ah, they're all- they're all broken filing cabinets, that's annoying. Ah, working desk though. Needle and thread I already knew. Thick sad. Why do I feel like there's dogs out here? Glue? Bunch of police cars. Good loot in them at least. Oh, I'm gonna break all my lockpicks. I love this mechanic so much. Ooh, a lot of magnum ammo. Anyone in here? No, this is really suspicious though. Check this police car. Very foggy out here, isn't it? 
Another lever action rifle and another triple armor pocket mod. I don't even know if I need another one. My inventory's fully open. Yeah. Really what I need is double clothing pocket mod so I can take one of these off. Still nice to get it. Hey, loot. Ugh, give me it. Uh, some ammo and food, okay. Anybody hiding back here? Nope. Oh, there is probably a dog out here. Maybe that's where- Ah, there was a dog in here. It's just I killed it already. Who is awake? Why are they making noises? What's going on? I'm so confused. Did I ask that door? Is there anybody in here? There's books on the floor there. Okay, I'm being told to go onto the roof by like three different ladders. I think the game wants me to go onto the roof. Anyone hiding in here? Maybe I already broke out to be fair. Okay, we're going back down, are we? Here's the loot. Where are the zombies? Let's get them onto the roof. Okay. Apparently a couple of you are already up here. Where's this one guy? Oh, he's actually in the loot room, okay. Oh, it's so nice to be able to reload and not lose speed. Where are you, one guy? Let's see, weapons bag, tech planet, I do kind of want those. Check the chest. Handy land and an armoured up, and some other somewhat useful stuff. So we're getting there on armoured ups. Just very slowly. There was no armour racks, unfortunately. That was kind of what I was banking on being in here. Oh, more books, hang on. Wiring and fists. This door. Ah, unlocks these doors behind me. I'm dropping stuff off of my bike and we'll check some other POIs, I think. Maybe the gun fortress would be a good one. Might have some of those equipment racks I was mentioning. Probably check that by looking through the window, maybe. Yeah, we've got gun racks at least, some weapon bags. We could probably get handgun magazines here. I don't feel like doing this whole POI though, that feels pointless. Let me just break down the door. Although I bet there's a lot of filing cabinets and stuff in the back that are probably going to be useful to me anyway. Hey, go away. Okay, just don't don't switch when I say that's fine. It's fine. It's fine guys, it's, it's a really new early access game. I've barely had a chance to improve it, as you know. Gotta go easy on them. And things like the scroll wheel don't work. Okay, so there is some armor racks in here, good. Is this not the end loot room? I really thought it would be, but whatever, it's also just a good room in general, so... Eight military armor parts, I mean... Useful, but not what I was looking for. A bunch of weapon parts that I can probably just sell at this point. I think I've crafted all the weapons I'm gonna craft other than handguns, so... What about you? Military parts. Military fiber, do need that. And a shotgun magazine. I love this system! Right, let's see. Um, there's a back area with filing cabinets and desks. Let's have a look. Attitude. Genuinely confused by that. Let's see, is this where the actual end loot is? Oh, we're going down. Yeah, I remember now. It's coming back to me. Let's just drag them all up here because I hate that kind of staircase. I'm gonna break their own staircase and make this really easy for me. They did the thing, yeah. <laughs> did I even hit him there? I'm not even sure. Where is he? Oh, that's where they were coming from. I just ran to them. I assumed they were in the rest of the uh, area there, but no. Just bamboozled by doing it backwards. Everybody else in here dead or what? Oh, hey. I get some damn shotgun shells from this place. Probably not though. <laughs> Let's see. Nope, none even from that. Okay. Steel club parts. Oh, reloading. Oh look, here's one of those rare, actually not broken workbenches that you can get um forged iron from. Very rare. I can think of like two POIs with one of those in them. Armored up in bows. Explosives. Won't say no to it. And pistol peep. Sure. Let's try the end loot. Um, essentially nothing. I think I'm full of loot. I may have to go back home. In fact, no, the gyrocopter has a larger storage than the, uh, the motorcycle, so I can actually start, like, loading that up. We can go from there. I'll just be without my motorcycle, which is fine. 
I won't be without it. I just won't be able to use it as storage. I can't take it with me either way. There we go. I'll just scrap that. Let's have a look for some more useful PYs. Probably a house is my best bet around here. If I can't find actual bookstores, houses are probably going to be the one. Or like office buildings type things. Ooh, sliding all over the place. Like it's a snow biome or something. There's nothing amazing there. Let's have a look in here. Tier 3. Okay. Promising. Fair kit. Always nice. Hello. Oh, really? A feral light in the first room? Someone coming behind me as well. Not sure where. Hello. Someone else. And someone else. It's like I'm firing a really loud shotgun or something. Ow. So fast. This one got someone above. Oh, Silent Captain, hello. Armoured up, cool. I think we need like nine more to make the level one military armour. Uh, we'll want to get through... Is it the fridge or the door? Or am I being dumb? I think that's the fridge. Hiding behind it. Nope, I was thinking of the wrong POI. It's the door. Uh, scrapping for fun, I already know. Hey, no oh god, that's a radiant zombie. Some meds here. Ooh, antibiotics, nice. Handgun magazine, nice. I can make a 44 Magnum at quality one. Might make a level five one of those, I don't know. Hello. That shotgun's so good. There's a home cooking weekly, anything in the night sand. Overalls. Um, nope. There's a gun safe here, but we're in a tier three, so I should get the end loop before I bother with a gun safe. Let's let them stand on those landmines. There we go. Ah, he's still alive. What the fuck? He doesn't have any limbs. What a game. Um, yeah, let's get the loot. I think after this I'll fly home though and we'll do some looting in another biome just to keep things visually interesting. So this this biome's fucking crazy. Nothing overly helpful there. Uh, have I got some military armor that needs custom things? No, it would be my arms that would need that and currently padded armor doesn't use those so not very helpful. The here, armored up Handyland and uh, pistols. Hairs, ooh. Tech planet wiring, other stuff. That's about it. Oh, meds I missed. Hello. And let's check the gun safe that's here as well. I've only got like three lockpicks left though, but I could auger it, but I am on 50% player block damage, so it would be agonizing, but I have time. Oh no, wait, I have time charges on me, or at least in the gyrocopter, so I would be fine. Uh, let's see, tactical warfare and a shit shotgun. Yep, that seems about right. <laughs> uh, let's fly home. Mailbox though. Armoured up. Maybe that's what I should do. Just while I wait for night time, I just drive around on my motorcycle and collect all of the mailboxes that exist around here. It does involve doing a lot of this kind of thing, though. I bet mailboxes are still the way to go. Let's deal with him. Another armoured up. Muzzle break schematic, okay. Pistol peep. Great, I can make 9 mil even more efficiently now, that's always nice, especially on a challenge where ammo is a little bit harder to get. Do kind of need to become good with pistols for it to be worth doing though. Uh, that's just a few skill points away. Uh, another armoured up, yeah, mailboxes were definitely what I should have just been doing. I forgot how good they are because usually they're all empty because I've looted them all. Is there not a mailbox here? Oh, it's on the path. Tactical warfare, nah. A machine gunner, I already know, wow. Thanks game. And a batter up, I already know. The search continues. There might be some newspaper stands in the more commercial area of town there. Does this place have a mailbox? It does. Spear Hunter. Great. And gun magazine, okay. Tech Planet. Electrical traps. Why do I have such a high level of electrical traps? I have no points in that. Armoured up. Two needle and threads I don't need. A vehicle adventures I don't need. Oh, the mailboxes are... Inconsistent. So. 
Ow. That was not what I was trying to do. <laughs> the post office here. Maybe some books in the entrance. Let's uh, heal up some sham chowder. We got mailbox, tech junkie, another needle and thread I know, and an art of mining I know. Life is pain! Anything in these? Oh, armored up, nice. And a view of adventures. I saw something green there, I think. Oh no, it's just a light. Ah, but you are green. Any more book containers or anything in here? There could be, but I got unlucky. Oh, there's a desk here, hang on. Anything in here? Oh no, that's just the same room. I mean, we may as well finish this while I'm here. So tier two is pretty quick. Where's the... Up onto the roof. Kill the vultures. Down here, kill the dog. I said, I said kill the dog. There it is. <laughs> and then open that up and kill everyone else. Ah, some savage country boxes. Nice. Hello. Clear. Where's the loot? Uh, a needle and thread I don't know, but not the one I want. An actual really good upgrade there, the armor thing. Ah, uh, I don't really want to put it on that. Let's put it on the legs. Yeah, that makes more sense. Uh, let's get the... Not working sift tools, let's get the savage countries. Sharp sticks. And an armored up. So we need two more to make level one military armor, which would let me upgrade like two pieces of my armor, basically, because some of it already is level one. But it's something. Shouldn't there be a third container? Something weekly. Instruction site box. Nails. Okay, that is everything in here, I think. Okay, let's continue the search for mailboxes. I just felt like stopping there for some reason. Oh, I should probably check in with Trader Wrecked before he closes. Oh, Trader Bob, actually. He might just be selling a couple of books that are useful. He's selling Bob. Oh, he's just selling a whole crucible after all the nonsense I went through. He has no books I really want. Kind of to be expected, but it was worth checking. Let's fly home. Here we are. So during the night, I'll fly home. I'll probably get some mining and some crafting done. You know, making bullets and stuff like that. And in the morning, we'll go to a new town, because I've pretty much gotten all the mailboxes in this one. It's very small. Here's my... Uh, House are we over like here, yeah. Is that direction. We'll go to one of the other towns, see if there's any good books. Well, not bookstores. We know we've pretty much got all the bookstores I'm gonna find. I mean I've got four and they were very lucky positions, so I don't think I'm gonna find any more. But book POI is like the TriMed group, which isn't actually a bookstore, but it is filled with books. So that's something we could do. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, so it's the next day. Let's take stock of what I actually got yesterday. I got up to 25 handguns. It might be worth making a level 1 SMG when I get those books because it would be a substantial upgrade from a level 3 pistol, but I am tempted to just wait until level 6 comes because it is only going to be at like 67 um, books, which is pretty reasonable for a tier 3 gun. And for armor, where does that live? Here we are. We need two more to make the level one military armor. I'm probably only going to get a couple of pieces of it because I realistically only need to replace my helmet, gloves, and legs right now with with level one military. Everything else already is, so there's no reason to. Let's have a look around this town. There's still buildings, particularly in the commercial downtown area in my original town that haven't been looted that probably have books for me so let's go over there and see what i can find another book i'd really like to find well it's not really a book it's a schematic but the banded armor plating mod would be really nice because i still need one two of those and that would give me four percent more damage resistance which doesn't sound like a lot but when you're working with light armor you'll take that extra four percent just to add to your already pretty limited armor potential. Of course I could just loot two banded armor plate mods, it's just kind of hard to guarantee that. Let's see, I don't think I looted the special tots, which 
probably does have like bookcases in it. All the other sort of preschool POIs have books in them, so this one would make sense to have it too. Anyone home? Yep, definitely. There's a bookcase. Lucky looter, more bullets. Or more brass, sorry. Okay, it's something. Oh, hey there. Ow. Some ammo. Anyone hiding in this little cafeteria area? No, oh, there's some food here though. Fine, let's go. Nothing in this little room. Is there any other rooms back here? No, right, let's jump out the window and see what we find. Oh no, that's how you're supposed to get in the POI. I broke down the front door, of course. We want to go up the stairs. Ow. That was poorly timed. Hey, man. So many medical journals that I just don't need. Gotta break open this door. There's books in there. Anyone home? Alright, seems quiet. Two books I already knew. Oh my god. Handyland. But the last 25 books of Handyland really dedicated to the nail gun. That's depressing. Another bookshelf here. I was at least right about the bookshelves. I'm just getting bad luck. Why is there a dog up here? Oh yeah, that works. Let's do this. Anyone else? Doesn't seem like it. Hello, Vulture. Uh, some muffled armored connectors. That is kind of useful. I don't know if stealth is ever going to make it into this playthrough, but good to have them at least. Uh, Tools Digest and a beaker again. Alright, there's an office building over there. Let's see what's in there. Oh, it's a pharmacy. It's level zero. We might not find much here, but we'll probably clear through it pretty quickly. Is that a slightly better helmet? It is. I'll take it. Another filing cabinet, home cooking weekly and rifles. It is determined to not give me what I need. Right, on to the roof. Is this other building a part of this? It's hard to tell. Food. Another home cooking weekly there. Vulture. Hey, let's sell. There's book potential, because there is filing cabinets, but in this case I've been unlucky with them. Uh -huh. I'm guessing my fate lies on the roof. Yeah. Handy land, okay. Let's see here. Maybe skip to the roof of this army takeover place. If there's anything even on the roof. That doesn't seem like there is, but let's kill some stuff anyway. Ow. Oh, hey, soldier. Mind if I just eat some canned food real quick? He did. Nothing in this place? Well, that's disappointing. Uh, yeah, I don't need any of that. Army truck, though. Bandolier. I think I have the only bandolier I can equip, so... Ah, more newspaper dispensers, though. Shotguns, uh, sharp sticks, and... Fear hunter. Depression. I wonder if I'm better off just taking on really high-level POIs. Nothing in name. Paper. Oh my god, every book is already read. Oh, there's one handgun, at least. Here's, like, an office building. I bet that has some filing cabinets in it. There's an electrical traps. Where's that zombie I heard? That's where he was. Yeah, there is filing cabinets. Those ones are empty though, but, you know, shit happens. A ah, clothing store. I, I really thought this was like an office building. Oh, this one is. The one in the middle. Why is there a lumberjack in an office building? There's no trees here, sir. Okay, nothing in here. Oh, anything on the roof? No, this isn't even... This isn't even a remnant. This is Pine Forest. No, wait, it is actually. Shabby Street Outlet. Just part of it is considered the forest biome. Oh, I need some better POIs, clearly. What's this? Governor's office. There could be paperwork there. Oh, mailbox hello. Paper. Anyone home? Uh, an ATM. Ow. I don't know what that opened. There's a pile of books here. Oh. I'm in so much pain. And the... Like here, zombie. I don't see. Hello. Oh, you're feral. Lovely. 
desk with scrap iron in it and one armored up. There we go, that's something. And vehicles the hammers. And then hide in here, hello. There's a mattress on the desk. Some cloth and let me try the safe. Some silver and a bomb. Okay. To the roof. Or to the next level. I don't know if we're on the roof yet. This is weird. Electronics crate with the usual stuff you would expect there. Hello. Is she dead? No. Um, is there anything on the roof? The bird's nest. Okay. What is blue birdie? I, I legitimately don't even know what this is. But I'm on the roof of it. Ow. Hello, Feral. So is the loot of this place not on the roof, I'm guessing? Fuck is a blue birdie. What is this even parodying? What kind what kind of store is this? Oh, it's a restaurant. What, and what is it parodying? You know everything in this game is a fucking reference or a parody. What the fuck is this supposed to be? Must be some American thing, I don't know. Lucky looter and a bone knife. Sometimes the loot is actively insulting, isn't it? This. Or the governor's office. You know, for a town with a massive downtown area, most of the buildings are tier zero. Kind of depressing. Is this the Mega Crush Tower? Yeah, it is. That could be worth doing. I hate it, though. But it, at least the loot at the end would be something worth having. Let's uh, get my motorcycle really quickly. What tier is this parking lot? Two. Hmm. I'll pass. Hey, a newspaper dispenser. That's another needle one thread I already know. I'm losing my mind. Alright, so. I do not feel like actually doing this POI, because obviously no quest rewards means some POIs are just not worth the time. But I'll definitely try and get the end loot from them. I just forget which end of this is the end. Ah, yeah, this is the end here. <laughs> Come on, do the jump. Or am I going to have to use one block? That's mildly annoying. There's a bunch of ammo. Come on, let's fight. Oh, there's books in there. Mean. Get these filing cabinets. Let's see, there's one armored up. So we can make the level one military armor now. That's good. Fists. And armored up again. Okay. Ah. I want the actual end of it now. Looks like I might need another block here. <laughs> Let's try and unlock this. I do have time charges if it wants to be a bitch though. I'm gonna get hit in the side of the head, aren't I? I hear someone running around down there. Ah, first try. Uh, handy land. Customized fittings are very welcome though. Those get rid of the already quite limited speed penalties that you suffer with this armor. I'll just hold on to that for now and put it on the next military armor I get. No good books there. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna fall, apparently, is what I was just gonna say there. Uh, did I see a military chest, actually? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not sure how I would get to there from here, but let's just go back up. See if that is actually a lootable container. This is not gonna take me anywhere useful. Was it this here? Yeah, is this searchable? No. Oh, metal desk clip. Eh, more military parts, can't complain. Right, uh, I'm gonna run over the rest of the PY and just see if I can pick out any more bookcases that might be in there. Let me just quickly pop that working desk. No. Failing cabinet. I'm falling apparently. Apparently I was on the, the edge enough to not fall, so that's good. Okay, no more filing cabinets or desks here. Eh, that'll probably do then. I wonder, maybe Trader Joel is just selling armor books. Because he's probably reset and he is the armor guy, so he might be worth checking. I'll do that, because we need to go back and make my, like, one... No, two pieces of military armor anyway, so we might as well check him while I'm there. Those two pieces of armor are going to be such a fucking shitty replacement. They're going to give me, like, 1% more damage resistance each. But, uh, better than nothing. I need all the damage resistance I can get on this difficulty. 
It really is making me want to use heavy armor though, but I'll pass. Right, Joel, you better have something good for me. He does not. Does he have any good armor? No, but he does have a lot of it at least, so he's at least doing something related to his occupation. Let's go and craft the two pieces I want then. It'll take another eight books to make level two, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. <laughs> It's going to be such a pain in the ass to now get another 35 of those hooks. And as painful as it's been, that's with four points in light armor. No need for that. The game has just decided it doesn't want to give me anything. Right, so. What are the two pieces I need? I need military gloves and military legs. Gloves. They're going to take probably the same thing to craft, so I probably don't need to worry about it too much. So two military armor pieces. Two fiber. Four scrap polymers. Uh, two duct tape and four sewing kits. At least the cheap ones are very, very cheap to make. That's something at least. Military gloves and military... I've already forgotten what the other one was. Was it legs? Yeah, legs. And they craft very quickly too. Okay, so these have 3% more on the hands and 1% more on the legs. So yes, literally 4% more damage resistance once I swap out all these mods. I think they have extra slots at least, so that's good. Actually, the legs have less slots. Oh well, I suppose. I'll just live without a bandolier for a little while, that's fine. So now the damage resistance is... 54. It's about 6% up from where I started today. I'm officially blocking more damage than I'm taking, so that's something. How are we doing on handguns? Still need another, like, 12, so that's a little ways off. Armor would need another 35. Now, still only give me a level 5. Oh, hello. That's the worst. Uh, but don't worry, I have a plan. Just throw a bomb at them. And then throw a bomb at them. And then throw a lit bomb at them. And get my shotgun out. That's such a long range. That was one hit, he did almost 100 damage, and that's with 55% damage resistance. That's the game's way of reminding me, you're still shit, just so you know. With the new bear models coming in Alpha 22, I swear to god, they better fix the hit animation, because that range was fucking insanity. So, let's have a look around, see if there's anything else I can loot. Still, I'm, I'm, oh wait, I still need a military helmet, I forgot about that. I forgot that the, uh, what's it called, the football helmet isn't actually a military helmet, it's a leather helmet in disguise. So let's go make one more. I will need to hunt down two more military fibre to make the full suit, but that's fine. When I get level fives, I've got a while to acquire that, so. Military helmet, there we go. Hopefully it's got more than two slots, might make up for it in some way. It does. So I could take something off my gloves, like the banded armour plate. And then I could put on the bandol- no, yeah, the bandolier again. Wait, bandoliers go on chests and legs, not the other thing. Fine, it's fine. I'm fixing, I'm fixing, I'm fine. So now we're up to 56%. Wonderful. I think it caps out at like 65 <laughs> when you're using light armor. Anyway, let's continue having a look around at a little zombie horde there. Zombie bear horde, that is. Zombie dog horde? I suppose it's a zombie dog horde. There was three zombie dogs and one bear. But the bear was definitely more of note. I wonder if I should go over to Trader Hughes Town. That's probably barely touched as well. This one I'm not even sure what places I have and haven't looted, but I'm pretty sure it's like 75% looted. So I'm gonna go fly up there. Alright, here we are in Trader Hughes Town. Let's quickly check him. We might have some armor books as well. Hey, here. Got some bombs I want, actually. Um, so yeah, books. Handgun magazines that I will take. But I was kind of hoping for more armor. Time to move on. Still, something at least. Let's have a look through this town. So I'm first of all, I'm pretty sure I've never been in this PY properly. So let's clear out the zombies. Hang on, go away, please. Nice, a free engine, always good. Some food lying on the floor with the home cooking weekly. Usually a screamer here, right? 
Not today. Anything good? Three shotgun shells, really. The handy land. At least this was quick. Let's I keep looking through these various houses. What level are you? One. Well, it's something. Let's see. Are all these doors locked? Let's break one down. Oh, I see. I went in the weird way. Yep, that would make sense. There's some books. One of the hunter books. What's the completion bonus for that again? I forget. It's been a while. Uh, hunter. Uh, harvest more meat, leather, and bones. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Another home cooking weekly. Books on the floor. Another flashlight mod schematic. Armored up, though. Only a million more to go. So look upstairs. I've been bamboozled. Yeah, he is dead, right? Uh, two first aid bandages. That's at least a very efficient way to get them. And at least I didn't get another beaker there. That would have possibly caused some kind of cardiac event. Let's keep looking. Oh yeah, the trailer park. Mailboxes. Oh, I've been here. I've been here. Well, I've probably not been in the, like, trailers, so... Judging by this bookcase, I'd say I haven't been. Nothing useful, though. Next. Uh, leather armor, some ammo and food. Still, there might be an extra bookcase in some of these. Oh, hello. Two food in here. That. I said that. No bookcases. Right across the thingy. A savage country and a book pile there. There's a zombie. Oh, hey. Books. Big hitters. Oh my god. It's like it doesn't even boost armored up, I swear to god. I might have to put points in heavy armor just to get them. There's one. Okay, we got two from this place. That's something. Don't know if I checked this one. Yeah, I didn't. Hello? Lots of food piles in here. Good POI early on if you can deal with that one dog. Of course, it's day three. I mean, I don't exactly need most of this. Did I search this one? No. Rack about. Perfect. Uh, handgun magazine, nice, and a fuel saver mod schematic. I think I already have one. It's like, why make another one? But it's nice to have, I suppose. <laughs> Let's check this house here, the Gilbert residence. I'm just gonna break the door down with a chainsaw, to be honest. Hi, please. There we go. More food piles. Someone outside? Hello there. Hey, die. There we go. Nothing much going on in this house. Let's have a look over here. Oh, hi. Someone's behind me. Ah, oh, hello. Is this where the loot is? It is. Level 6. Add a chest. Yay. That's exactly what I needed. I think tomorrow. We should go and do some higher level POIs. They're not the most efficient thing for books, but at least the end loot will be slightly less insulting, I think. Oh, a drum mag. Have I got one on my shotgun? I don't. Where did it just go? Oh, inventory's a mess. And we got a shotgun crate here. With shotgun parts. Okay. Not an amazing house, not gonna lie. Yeah, I think tomorrow... We just do high level quests so that my brain melts a little bit less and we can maybe get some good loot even if the books aren't great. Oh, my bike's way over here. But yeah, I think I'm gonna just drive back to the gyrocopter and go home. We at least got the armor today, that is something. And we're making some slight progress towards the SMG and better armor that I am absolutely bored out of my mind just running through all these places trying to get the most books. So I think I'm just going to endure having like 56% damage resistance and do some high level POIs. It's going to be such a waste of shotgun ammo though, but it's fine. When is Horde Night? Day 35. That is far enough away that I don't need to worry about it right now. So I'll fly home. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Let me know if you're still enjoying the series.
Uh, the uploads are going to be on a slightly different schedule from usual because I'm going to be taking a slight break from YouTube for like a week or something. It shouldn't really feel like any less. Other than having like five videos in a row for a week, I'm going to do like one every other day and spread them out so that I can take a few more days off because this game has burnt me out quite a bit because I've played a lot of it and I'm doing two series of it at the same time. Luckily, both of them are near the end, so I'll be able to start a new Seven Days to Die series and start another game series, so that'll be fun. Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Today we're going to be taking on some harder PYs, so I've come out to the desert because it's one of the areas with an actual city in my world, which is going to have some harder PYs for me to do. The reason I'm doing them is because I'm bored out of my mind of clearing like tier 1 PYs to try and get books. Now, while the loot will be terrible, I kind of just wanted to do something different. So, that's what we're going to do. Uh, have I done this mortician's house? I might do this first and then do the hospital. Because the mortician's house is like a good warm-up. So, let's go in here and see how it goes. We can, get a, we can get a gauge on how difficult the zombies are in this biome right now. My game stage in here is 129, which is pretty high. Not crazy though. There's a guy here. And I will actually get some books from this. The lack of zombies outside is concerning me. Have I done this place? No, oh, hey. Um, let's see. I may have already looted it, but I don't remember doing that. This is like the most random place I could come up with. Just. A random tier 4 in another biome. Surely I haven't been here. I must have been. I've killed the zombies. Hang on, let me take a look inside. When did I do this? Uh, yeah, no, I've been here. Okay, we're not doing the mortician's house because apparently I've been here. Which is like so weird to me because why did I do a random mortician's house in a biome far away from my house? It's not a climbable rope ladder. Why are you like this game? Here we go, okay. Oh, well, at least I'm slightly high up and I can find another place to do in the meantime. Maybe the Judy Witch behind me would be good. It's another tier 4, kind of similarly difficult POI. Uh, I have no reason to do this in the order it wants me to, so let's break down this. Let's start this. And then let them come to me. I will put... A pre-placed pipe bomb there. Maybe a second one because pipe bombs aren't going to do huge amounts of damage. And then I'll let them just kind of break that door a little bit. I did that too early. That's annoying. There we go. Right, let's take this outside. Is he alive? No, I think he's dead. Nothing good from that loot, though. Let's get the end loot. I don't think there's many good books in the Judy Witch POI, so I'm probably not going to do it properly. But the zombies don't seem, like, crazy difficult here. Let's use my time charges. Maybe four of them. Right, let's start with three, just because I can't remember if these take two or four. Okay, we definitely need at least one more. I think the 50% player block damage does apply to these, though. Seems like it. So it takes five. Handgun magazine, a few useful things. Got my uh, time charges back, at least. Completed tech junkie, which is completely useless, but, you know, worth noting, I suppose. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be many books in here, though. So maybe let's just go do the hospital now. I've had a look at the zombies in this biome. This is going to be way easier than the last time I did it, because it was tier 6 last time. And obviously this is going to be way easier. I could go onto the roof, couldn't I? Just fight those zombies. See, that's the thing about the no trader quest challenge. I'm really struggling to figure out a reason to actually do these POIs when I'm not being paid to. Or getting quest rewards to do it, you know? Like, why am I going through all of this when I know there's nothing good? What reason do I have to not just skip to the end? Maybe that's what I should do today. Just skip to the end of, like, every single tier 5 there is.
Where'd the other one go? Oh, did she go inside? I wish I had some contact grenades, but I'm really only going to get those if the traders are selling them, or I guess if I ended up with enough explosive magazines, which I have. I could make my own. But they do take a lot of materials for what you essentially throw away. So, hmm. Need another first aid bandage here. Got the zombies behind me, that's fine. Uh, honestly, I might as well just do what I usually do. Come in here, come out here, jump over here, and bring them all down across this area. I got enough shotgun shells for this, I made some more during the night, so I'm really good on that front. Some food and shotgun ammo. Where are the others? Oh, did they fall down there? Oh, that's unfortunate for them, I suppose. Give me that ammo. Where did he come from? Probably over here, actually, I think about it. Eh, screw those doors. Someone's breaking a door somewhere, but I don't see it. Quite concerning. There's some. I think they just broke the doors above me. There's some crazy shit going on somewhere, that's for sure. I think I just woke up these guys. Hello. Yeah, now would be a good time to dodge away so I can kill those vultures. There we go. Kind of a shame all my ammo is close range. This would be a great opportunity to snipe some of them. I can jump off the roof so many times, I do not care how many times I have to jump off to kill you. Cop's gonna spit. Here, come fight me on this bridge. That was successful. Oh, hello. There's still more here. Alright, well, at least we're at the end now. See, it just doesn't make sense in my brain to think about doing an entire hospital. This is basically exactly what I would get from it, it's the same thing. Let's open up these crates first, or actually just the loot. Explosives magazine. Bunch of shotgun shells, nice. Southern farming. Oh, I meant to read that, not eat the pasta, but whatever. Right, so the other one took five, so I'm going to assume this one will take five as well. Let's pile these on as best I can, if you can even fit five on it. Oh, one of them's inside. I bet it breaks it. I hate when that happens. Really, you survived. That leads in. another one, I think. 50% block damage doing its thing. Still a little bit locked, but I'm guessing, yeah, I'll, just, I'll break the rest of this. Let's see what we get. A blade trap bundle. Whoa, I'm so happy. I hate those. Uh, say this treasure, Matt. A couple of handy lens. Bunch of meds and ammo, though. Can't complain about those. Let's uh, break this open. Yeah, you know what? I'm very much glad I didn't actually do this be like. The blade trap bundle absolutely sucks. You know, thinking about it, military bundles are probably in these loot, aren't they? So I should probably do the thing I was talking about where I just skip to the end of all the tier 5s. Because I do want better armor, and the armor magazines are absolutely intolerable. So maybe it would make a lot of... Oh, that was a bit further than I wanted. Maybe it would make a lot more sense to just skip to the end of all the tier 5s and see what bundles I get. Hmm. Yeah, I bet that would work quite well. Let's go find another tier 5. I think I see the cracker book over there. Might actually be worth taking out the bottom floor there and reading some of the books. I think there is a gift shop in the hospital with a few books in it, but not enough for me to bother turning this bike around, honestly. <laughs> oh, there's an ostrich tower. Let's do that first. That one's got a very easy to take loot. Well, easy by my standards. It's still a fucking fight. Right. Where is the underground area? I'm going to go around every site except for the one I need to actually go to, aren't I? 
here we are. How do I want to do this? Probably just, oh, having a bit of a weird texture bug here, that's fine. Probably just want to break this down. Get, oh, hello, into a fight. Let's just let them pile up a little bit. Let me get everybody over. That's right, everybody come over. Go a few unlit pipe bombs there and then wait for more of them to come over. Five thousand XP, not bad. Definitely want to use my shotgun well here because that'll give them a stun. Make them all run very slowly compared to insane speed, obviously. But the frame rate is not on my side. Ah, reloading, stop. Still a good amount of XP for only doing the final room. Anybody else alive in here? Oh, yeah. Right, so I'm nervous about that demo suddenly spawning behind me as I'm doing the loot or something, so I'm going to summon him. Oh, there's a couple of other zombies. Come on, demo. I want him out of that room so he doesn't destroy any of the loot when I inevitably pop him. I mean, I'll try and kill him normally, but... Ah, there we go. I believed in myself. There's definitely someone still bashing around here. Where are they? Right, I think we're good. As far as tier 5 loot goes, that is probably the easiest one to get to. Especially if you don't have a gyrocopter, which I do, so it's not really a concern for me. Bunch of books of minimal use to me. Food. A crucible, okay. I already have one, but it's nice to see it in loot. And have we got any lockpicks? No, let's do my four time charges and then I'll alter the rest. Uh, let's see. We got the S. Oh, it's a shotgun turret bundle. Okay, I'll read that. Or I'll open it, sorry, so I actually get the shotgun ammo because I could use it. Finally, learn to craft double clothing pocket mods. That's actually the best thing in here. Plus a bunch of ammo. Cool. That will give me one armor slot back. <laughs> it's something. Let's go dump my stuff in the bike. And then I suppose I will pillar up the roof of Dishong Tower like a lunatic for the loot. Hmm, I've got a lot of space left. Now, someone will be correctly pointing out that I can just gyrocopter onto the roof, but I like to have a bit more control over it than that. So I'm not going to. Uh, I got there. I was looking for a little bit of extra meds there. Just leave the motorcycle here, it's fine. I wonder, is the Shong Tower 100 blocks tall? Never counted, because that would be a deranged thing to do. And while I am deranged, I'm usually deranged, but with less spare time than that. Nothing good there. Uh, where's the best area to do this, I wonder? Probably try and get onto that balcony there. And then I can, like, jump onto the roof. So, here. And just every so often connect the tower like that. So it's a little bit more secured. Just in case a zombie decides to try and take out the bottom. I wouldn't die, because I have parkour. But it would certainly suck. <laughs> I can't place a block there. Uh, that was only 70 blocks. So this is like, what, 75 blocks tall? It's not that crazy, to be honest. Now this is going to be crazy, though. But I'll try and do it the less dangerous way, which is this. Oh, have they not spawned in? Are you going to be a bitch game? I'll grab the duffel bag real quick. Um, yeah, I might have to do a bit more treading on the area there to let them spawn in properly, or maybe I have to go through the door to activate that trigger. I mean, if it doesn't want to spawn zombies, then fuck it, I don't want to fight them either. Ah, no, I see a vulture there. That tells me I have a fight on my hands. Good, because it'd be boring if I didn't. Oh, yeah. Okay, so my main concern here is going to be taking out all these bloody vultures. Ow. And dodging that, if at all possible. <laughs> is that a radiated cop, or did a bunch of them just hit me at the same time? Genuinely don't know. Yeah, that's right. Pile up there. Perfect idea. Genius strat. Or oh, just fall off the roof. Fucking ow. 
I must be a metal cop. <laughs> Apparently I'm not the only person here with a bloody shotgun. Oh my god, there must be like three feral cops around here or something. Not to worry, I have fallen inside the building, that's slightly worrying. I have a plan. I will jump back up. Make no mistake about it zombies, I can fall off this whole building and it will not affect me in the slightest, assuming I'm at relatively high health. Where'd he come from? Ooh, they're certainly making me work for the loot. Let me climb up here real quick. Oh, my stamina's gone because fucking jumping. Um, let's get another first aid kit for that abrasion and let's take some recog. I think I need a little bit of extra help damage wise. Let me get some extra stamina here as well. I need to like assassinate all the cops. Then I can like control this. <laughs> We'll come to this ladder, that'd be very helpful, actually. They shot me in the butt. Those bastards. One of the cops has popped. Oh, fucking hell. Cops spit today. Other cop popped. I'm mostly concerned if there's, like, another cop I don't know about, but... Should mostly be okay now. Where's this last guy? Oh, did he fall down inside? Sure sounds like it. Let's see. Oh, hey, ammo pile. Forgot about this. Right, let's go get the actual loot. I'm gonna use another first aid kit for that um, abrasion, otherwise, I'll take fucking ages to heal. It's still going to take 20 minutes, which is ridiculous, but that's what happens when you get pop spitted a million times. Um, get the loot. Well, we got books. Home cooking weekly. Nothing much there. One armoured up. Much of ammo. This might be like the best way for me to actually make a profit on ammo, because most other routes I would take would result in me breaking even at best, other than obviously just crafting ammo. But this is more fun than crafting ammo. I've not got enough fucking inventory space for this. This is going to be annoying. Like planet. Bunch of shotgun parts and stuff. I can live without that. Let's open up this. Have I got any time charges? It seems like no. So I'll have to auger that open. That's fine. It's just painful. Oh, let's get on with it. What we got here? Shotgun turret bundle. I don't have the inventory space, so I won't actually open that. But there's another big lump of shotgun shells from that then. There we go. Carrying everything. Let's... Open up this. Also, there's meds in the bathroom, actually. Hang on. Wait then, let's get out of here. That's all. I'll just do the sealed fashioned way. Jump down all the ledges. Oh, that works. <laughs> uh, also, because I forgot to actually secure this at all, I think, we can just do that and let it fall. That's always fun. Where's my bike? Yeah, I don't have the capacity for any of this. Let's see, maybe chuck it all in the gyrocopter and I'll end up with a bit more space. Let's see, probably want to keep the 9mm and the extra stack of those on me. Otherwise, yeah, this can all just live in here. Let's throw away some of the more useless shit in my inventory. And I will just come back to the gyrocopter because it's going to be inconvenient to get around on that right now. So, Higashi has a kind of scary end room that I could do. But I don't know if I really want to. I mean, screw it, why not? I can literally jump off of these roofs if I need to and I won't take damage because of parkour. Well, I will take damage, but I won't take injuries because of parkour, so that's good. Give me another hundred blocks. I heard someone running at me. Hey. Uh, is this flush against the wall here? It is, but there's a lip, so it won't really work that way. I am fully willing to drag all of these zombies down with me as I fall, which would be fun, actually. All I need to do is just remember to take a first aid kit when I land, and then obviously run. How is there someone awake right now? Who did I... whatever. I'm gonna quickly reconnect that just to be sure. 
one feels taller than Deshong for some reason, and I don't know why. Oh, hey, there's just meds here. Give me. Hello. I should have brought, like, a bow or something. <laughs> uh, this is just gonna be... I'm gonna get kicked off of this roof. I can already see this happening. Yeah, I pretty much just fell off immediately, but... I, I saved it. But the thing is, is, I need to keep moving or the cop spit's gonna get me. But the other thing is... Moving makes it hard to hit vultures, because they lose your path and they get all fucky and it's annoying. Come on, vultures. Where are you? Ooh. Might be time for a preemptive first aid kit. Where's that one vulture out here? He's annoying me. I think he's under this. It's all very weird. Let's see, we got two ways they can come up here, so... Ah. Oh no, there's another way they can come up. <laughs> Let's do this then, that works. Doesn't work as well as I would hope. <laughs> I just need to start killing some of them all. Ooh, two radiated cops. If they both connect at the same time, I'm dead. Oh, that was a bad time for a reload. Oh, really? Reabrasioned me. I'll go watch my stamina. Come on. Someone fall down. Oh, hello. That works. Some of them are falling. That's it. I'm getting off of here. <laughs> You're coming with me, you little shits. Hello, dog. I don't mind piloting up there again. Look at that guy go. I really need some medicine, I think. Some, like, antibiotics. Hey, fuck off. Where the hell did you come from? another box of shotgun shells there. Um, I don't know if I've killed them all, so let's go back up there. Definitely gonna be thinned out, if nothing else. I imagine a bunch of them just decided it was smart to go down the building rather than fall off the side, which might work in my favour. Definitely hear someone trying to break in their own there. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye as well. See ya. Ooh, frame rate is struggling up here. I mean, could I get all the loot and leave before those zombies make it back up to me? The answer may surprise you. Uh, where's the loot? Here we are. Some ammo. Handgun magazine. Let's auger this. Uh, let's see, we got another shotgun turret bundle. Nice, so there's more shotgun ammo. Another forgetting elixir. I actually already have a spare, and I got enough first aid kits to definitely at least make a profit on first aid kits this time around. Uh, let's get out of here. This is definitely faster than actually doing them, by the way, if you're worried, because it is obviously taking me a hot minute to still finish these off. But it is definitely still faster, because normally you could get like one, maybe two of these done in a day. And I've gotten three loot so far, and I've probably got time to get a fourth. Hey, piss off. Where is the front of the building? I want to take my cubes back as I go. Ah, down here. Cube reclaim time. There. Cubes reclaimed. Uh, where's the cracker book? That's probably the fastest one that I have time to do tonight. There is vanity tower as well, but I, that's more pillaring than I really feel like doing. Uh, there's the cracker book. Where's the motorcycle? <laughs> at least all the crates at the end of this are probably going to be cracker book crates, so I'll get a bunch of books, hopefully. Fuck you. Egg planet, and... The book I knew. Right, so... There's a variety of ways to do this, all of which are slightly painful, and I'm not sure which one I want to take. The loot is in the basement, but there is some books I would maybe want on this middle floor. So let me take down that dog. And that vulture if I can. Right. Stop eating the dog. Right. 
Let's break in here. Yep, let's go. Come on. You're also eating that goddamn dog. People are stupid. You're making it too easy for me. Someone's trying to break out the other side. I think I'll make it easier for them. Okay. So you don't even go here. And someone else over here. All right. So the books, the few bookcases you actually get in here, big hitters. Vehicle adventures. Oh my god, it's all gonna be shit. I already know. One handy land. Life is pain. Tag planet. Armored up. One that's actually useful. Another armored up. Two in a row. Lucky me. Uh, armored up. Three in a row. Actually lucky me now. <laughs> um, that's everyone there. Let's go clear the outside a little bit so I don't get hit in the back of the head for this next step. Bonk. I might want to do this over here actually rather than trying to go in... A slightly difficult way. Hey. Wake up. Does that lead into another wall? No, it doesn't go. Ugh, reload. Can you guys just hear me augering and deal with it? <laughs> the fact that they instantly went for the area behind me is concerning, but some of them are coming over here. Just gotta watch my back when I'm doing this. They will get around. I think the rest are going for behind me, so let's go deal with them. Hey. Apparently the best horde base in the game is just a fucking railing. Let's get that. And let's just go down here normally now. I think I should be safe. There might be some hiding in here still though, so I'll keep my gun out. Anyone home? Nope, not in there anyway. Anyone home in here? Someone upstairs is annoyed with me, but not for this. Weapons bag? Nope, not this one. Weapons bag. Nothing useful though. I'm gonna go kill the zombie upstairs who's kind of annoying me. Come clear. Book store. And a magazine. I do need one of those. Well, I need more than one, but I do need them in general. Magnum Enforcer rifles. I mean, at least finishing Magnum Enforcer is nice. Level 6 baseball bat. I think I'll pass, to be honest. Another bookstore box. Two armored up. Another one. Alright, I got like six over here. That's not too bad. Let's open up the end book. Can I close this door? No, that door's broken already. Right, well, I'll just have to keep an ear open. Another shotgun bundle. At least I'm getting lots of shotgun ammo. There's a seventh armored up from in here. And just so many first aid kits as well. Now let me chainsaw this paper since I'm here. Yeah, another 800 paper for my troubles. I think I'm going to go home now and get the cure for my infection. I don't have much more inventory space as it is anyway. So probably a smart idea. I could do this during the night, but I think we'll just go to another place tomorrow. Fuck the vanity tower, it's a shit POI anyway. So what, I got Ostrich Hotel, Dishong, Higashi, Crack a Book, and the Hospital. Got five tier five loots in one day, not bad. There is more here though, there's definitely vanity tower, and there is, I think, a poppin pills factory directly ahead of me. Or is that the hydroelectric place? No, that's the Poppin' Pills factory, so we could get a 6th and a 7th loot if I came back. Who do I get? Like a 8th, 9th and 10th though? That I don't know. It's quite hard to cheese the Poppin' Pill factory loot. Because it's basically just 
all of the zombies are in the loot room anyway. There, I can just pick up everything. There is a prison over there as well, so there's a third tier 5 loot if I want one. Or an eighth, I suppose I should call it. And that might be it for tier 5s in this town. But I could spend the day getting tier 4 loots, I mean they're not that bad. But the bundles are really what I'm after because you get a bunch of ammo, or you get a bunch of food, or you get like a security camera bundle and you want to stab yourself in the head with a ice pick, but you know, that's the risk you take. I wonder if there's maybe a Karen Higashi house around here. It would be hard to tell from above. Didn't they make that old gun range a tier 5? So if I saw that as well, I could get tier 5 loot from it. But I don't see it. Yeah, so I think tomorrow we'll come back and we'll do these other three tier 5s. And then just finish up with some tier 4s unless I find another tier 5 that I can't really see from above. Or I suppose if I fly over a Red Mesa on the way home, that would also be a good one to do. Because Red Mesa has really easily cheesed loot. You just have to kill like two rooms full of scary zombies and then you're there. I could always do a couple in my hometown as well. I think I've already cheesed the Ostrich Hotel loot, but there is more I think. But yeah, we'll just do more of this tomorrow. I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, so it's the next morning. We're here at the 2-Bit Tower, which is next to the Ostrich Hotel at my original place here. When I'm up there, I'm going to have a look around for other Tier 5s, but this was the only one I immediately was like, yes, I know this one's there. And it's another one that's pretty easy to just get up to and get the end loot. It's a big fight, but it's nothing, like, impossible to deal with. So let's get up there. Oh, good, that balcony's a death trap. Good to know. Hello. Um, I would, like, be more over here. <laughs> Uh, hmm. This is going to be a tough one. I believe in me. What? There you go. Let's try and get up that ladder, I think. Actually, you know what? This might be a jump off the roof kind of one. I think he jumped off. Oh yeah, he did. So he's like away down there now. Maybe I can get to the loop. Hello. Well, I might still be able to get to the loop. I heard a brick break over here. But there's still more of you? How annoying. Are they all in here? Fucking hell. He has chosen a very strange route to go. Okay, can I get to the loot now? I mean, it's here. I'll just watch my back as I'm doing it. Should be fine. Nothing useful from that at all, really. Ugh, another blade trap bundle. Disgusting. But another armored up, so I forgive the game. So, now that I'm up here, like, let me get to, like, the highest point and then see what else I can see from here. Ah, there's even a even taller part of the tower that I didn't think of. Any meds? Yep, here we are. I know, they just hide meds up there a lot. Uh, it would have been nice if I'd brought a scope so that I could see a little bit further, but... I'm not seeing any other tier 5s around here other than Ostrich Tower, which I've dealt with. Is there a gun range? No. And is there a Higashi residence? I also think no. So it might just be a case of going back to the desert town now then. I don't think there's much here for me. That's fine. Let's go drop off some of this loot I just got. And then take the gyrocopter over to the desert. I wonder if the traders reset today, that might be worth checking because again, armor magazines might be available and handgun magazines. Let's see, day 34 is when he next resets. I don't know 
what that means for if I've already searched his stuff. Probably not if he hasn't armoured up. So it might be worth checking Jen as well, at least. More pipe bombs I will always take because they're slightly annoying to make. And I mean no, slightly, but still worth it. Um, So let's go talk to Jen, check if she has any good books. And then I'll fly over to the desert biome. I'll check some other traders on the way there. And then I'll do the prison, vanity tower, and the poppin' pills. If I can get all three of those done, that would be... 4 tier 5 loots today plus 5 yesterday, so 9 tier 5 loots in 2 days, and quite honestly most of it has been dog shit, but what do you expect? <laughs> so I'll see you guys over at Jen's. 2 handgun magazines, 2 explosive magazines as well, I'll take those. I just got enough to make a level 5 magnum, which might actually be worth making, because it's going to be another 30 odd books until I get a level 1 desert vulture, so that might be worth considering because it would be another type of ammo that I can use. Ammo being a little bit difficult to get on this challenge at this stage. It's, it's gotten easier, but it's still not the easiest thing ever. There's three traders over there. I'm going to fly over and I'm going to talk to those three traders and see what books I can get from them. All right, let's talk to Trader Wrecked. Hmm, nothing amazing there then. All right, okay, that's that fine. There is also a uh, trader wrecked up there and a trader bob in the snow biome that I want to check out since they're kind of nearby. So let's go talk to other wrecked. In fact, you know what? While I'm here, let's just take a little stop at Vanity Tower. I mean, I'm flying directly over it or into it. That also works. <laughs> I maybe hit the brakes a little too early. <laughs> let's try that again. Oh, you know what? I bet there is a Karanagashi residence around here. I'm going to have to check that because, like, these houses are that kind of style and it's kind of hard to tell precisely which one is hers, but it would be good to get to. Although, how the hell do you rush the loot in that place? All right, here we go. Oh, hey. Leave my gyrocopter alone, you fiends. Watch out for the radiated guys here. Brain mate is dying. Let me take a quick first aid kit. I had a spare one for some reason. That works. Two spare skill points. Good to know. Let me just take that opportunity to... Um, two gunslingers. Yeah. And my pistol will be better. And I will find more of the handgun books. So yeah, the loot for Vanity Tower isn't actually on this level, it's on the level below me. So we still have a definite fight on my hands here. Let's run to the other side of the building. I love running gun. I don't know if that's all of them, but it seems clear enough. There's one crawler around here somewhere, though. Ah, whatever, we'll ignore him for now. Ammo. Weapons bag here. With a bow. I might need a bow, I don't know. And let's open up the crates. Hammers. Handguns. Like an SMG 5 of quality one, at least. And some food. Right, let's... Actually, I was going to say let's lockpick this, but I think I put the lockpicks away, so let's auger it. So we got knife guy, bows, bunch of attachments and ammo, shotgun turret bundle with even more shotgun ammo for me, so I'm really getting good on that. Now I just need to get back onto the roof. I think I know a good way to do that, actually. From over here, we can actually place blocks over the edge. And then I can just do a little bit of parkour and try and take off from here. This is a bad idea. There is fucking explosives there. Um... I mean, uh, this is a perfect launch point. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's go see Trader Wrecked. Woo. Yeah, perfect. There's two out of the four tier fives I want to get today. If I can find a Karanagashi residence, I'll make it five, though. But the fog is not going to help. <laughs> right, here's the other Trader Wrecked. Let's see what he has for me. He's got two armored ups. That's something. And a handgun magazine. Great. 
That's all need you another buy. 21 armor books and another... Well, for, for the thing I really need, which is the SMG at level 5, I would need an additional 27 books, which is pretty good. So, and then obviously we'd get the Desert Vulture after that, but I don't really care too much about getting the Desert Vulture. As long as I've got a Magnum, I can do decent enough damage. And let's go Trader Bob now. All right, Trader Bob, what do you have for me? Customized things I will take. No books I need, though. Still, custom things or something. And pipe bombs, of course. Let's get out of here. So, let's head back to the desert town and check out the prison loot, I think. That would be the easiest. Is this the Dr. Karen Higashi residence, actually? It looks like it. Oh, there's a lamppost there. That's fine. Is it? Let's see. No, it's the last party house. Let me grab the gyrocopter. I'm going to drive around to see if I can hunt down that one thing. This is the Karen Higashi residence, I'm pretty sure. Yep, here's another tier 5. Let's do it. I knew there would be one. Let me put some loot away really quickly. So, the end loot should be behind one of these doors. Yeah, it looks like this one. Actually, this might be the start of the POI. Let's try the other door. There's a zombie behind me. Where are they? Yeah, that's the, the end. Here we go. This is the end, I mean. This is going to be hard. <laughs> uh, and possibly nightmarish to get through all these bloody doors and stuff, but I bet I can do it. Let's see, can we get a look into the area? No. Any of these particularly low health? Store? Let's do the door. I mean, I might as well just kill these while I'm here. You didn't even hear that. Oh, that was annoying. All right, let's see. Anyone else hiding up here? I see someone in the pool over there. Um... Can I get like a sneak attack on the zombie that spawns in here? I can, probably. Oh no, I can't. Okay. This is like the most tame end loot ever. Oh, that fell. That's not good. <laughs> Since when was that a thing? That's taking such a weird amount of time to fall. Is it like timed? Or is it just the pieces that aren't the metal grates? I'm so confused, as you can probably tell. Right, is that it? <laughs> is that all the end loot actually has in here? Because most of the threat comes from the other side of these doors. Because that's pretty funny if so. I think that might be it. Just a few guys. Let's let's try and get the end loot then. Nobody's waking up, so that's good. Let's see, auto turret bundle, nice, I'll take the extra SMG ammo, handguns, a couple of useful things, the first aid kits are the real deal to me, honestly. There's mountains of them every time I go into one of these. Handgun magazine again, a bunch more ammo, and hammers. Okay, so there's the third tier 5 loot today, or 8th overall in the past two days. Ah, at least there's one nice thing about not doing quests, and that is not having to clear all these fucking POIs to get dog shit loot at the end. But for two seconds of work, yeah, I'll take this loot very happily. Oh my god, ladder tutorial, there we go. Still, uh, there's... I did Vanity Tower, there's the prison and the poppin' pills. I, I can't really tell where they are from here. But I'd guess the prison's on, like, this other side of the town? I don't know, let's just drive. Got plenty of time, I think. And maybe I'll get lucky and get, like, a armor bundle, which would save me a lot of work if it was a bonus bundle. And it would be a nice stopgap if it was a normal bundle and I got a bunch of level 3 and 4 armor. It's pretty good. It's not tier 5 and 6, but it's good. I might have to go to the wasteland to get my hands on any military armor bonus bundles, though. And I don't think I'm quite where I want to be level-wise to really want to use my very limited supply of wasteland tier 5 end loots. How do you skip to the end loot in this place? Let's fight these guys. They're not really end loot, but I do have to fight them, probably. And bash a hole in that door and then I'll deal with them. Oh, is the end loot woke up? Great, that means I don't have to waste any of the health of that door. Okay. Where the hell, is, where the hell are they coming from? Okay, now I'm concerned. Where did they just appear from? Right, I'm confused, but let's just fight what happens here. I 
and like sneak through this. Ugh, that's annoying. Okay, the door's dealt with. We're gonna wake them all up. There we go. Let's see if I can kill a few of them. Oh, no, some of them just automatically get through their doors. Let's take this outside. Come up this ladder. Feral lights. Definitely more still in here. But most of them are stuck. Fuck off, cop. Crazy in here. Get them stuck behind this door. And the really nice thing about these, I don't have to deal with many fucking screamers. Those are always a pain. It's first aid kit, I'm gonna get hit by these cops but as soon as I get up here. Spitting constantly. Ow. Alright, I think we're clear. Let's uh, have a look in this loot. And another blade trap bundle because this game hates me. Treasure map that I can just read to get rid of it. Parts I don't need. Pock picks. Definitely don't need the triple armor pocket mod. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, we got one more tier 5 to do. That's me up to 9 in 2 days. And that would be the Poppin' Pills factory which is just across the town there. Let's dump some loot in the motorcycle and go over there. Oh, just drove past it because I was looking at the wrong tower. Here we are. So, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do this because the Poppin' Pills factory is mostly underground anyway. But I would bet if I went to the hatch, I could... Oh, those zombies are spawned and I have to be careful. If I went here... Really? Oh my god, that's so much help. It's probably still a lot quicker than doing the full PY though, I'm not gonna lie. Let me repair the auger. In fact, it's not just better to do one of these and then press the button. Possibly a big waste, but we'll find out. Yeah, that would be smarter. Definitely. <laughs> Is the door gonna be locked? No, okay. Let's get into a fight. Run up the ladder, probably. Kind of in a similar situation as the uh, prison. See where they're trying to break through them. Okay, so here's a scary room. Let's get outside before that becomes a problem. Trap them on that door. That seems smart. The security camera bundle. Boo. Now let's see, we got some level 6 boots, a level 1 magnum. Mostly not all that useful. Read another treasure map. Uh, we got some more loot though. So, a blood bag, a piece of paper, okay. One med. Might not be worth coming down here. I'm probably gonna be okay. Ammo and level 4 pistol. Uh, that is actually an upgrade. You can also swap that burst mod I've had on there for that. Okay, well, that is 10 tier 5 loots in two days. Oh, hang on, filing cabinet. Two armored ups. Here we go. We can make military level 3 now. I'll just wait for 5, though. We're making good progress on that, and I haven't been melting my mind with the absolute pain that is just running through tier 1s, at least. 
10 tier 5s in two days is a bit excessive, but I mean, I've done it, so that's fun. Uh, I got almost nothing good from it, but the amount of ammo I have now is at least going to last me the rest of the series, probably, so that's nice. I'm just going to fly home. I'm going to get somewhere where they're not going to punch me in the back of the head. I'll get in the gyrocopter and fly home. In the next episode, I think we'll go back to hunting down the last armor books and crafting the pistols I want. See, SM handguns, sorry, where are they? Handguns. I need probably 22 more. That's going to be a kind of a pain in the ass to get, but maybe do tier fours, just like loads of them. Run through them as get as many books as possible would be the solution. I don't know. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Hardcore. We are in the wasteland, as you can see, because I want to do some wasteland looting. My loot stage here is 155, which is solid. Uh, but I also wanted to check the Trader Joel here before he resets. And I know there's a couple of book POIs here that are decent. Not necessarily bookstores, but POIs that are filled with books. And obviously I'm still hunting down the last armor books I need. Uh, where is it? Armored up, armored up. I need another 18 of them. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. And handguns, I need at least another like 24 of to get to level 3 SMGs. That might take a little bit longer. But let's go talk to Trader Joel now that he's open. And we'll spend the day in the wasteland. Of course I'm hungry. We'll spend the day in the wasteland hunting down books and any good loot I want to take as well. Ever since yesterday where I've just been skipping to the end loot because there's no quest to make me do anything else. I've been thinking about doing that here at like tier 4 PYs and getting actual good loot. We've got a helmet light mod here. I think I have one though. I just didn't put it on. There's one armored up. That's something at least. Did I ever loot his downstairs area here? Like, did I do that? I did. So let's have a drive around on the motorcycle and see if I can find any good POIs that I want to loot. There's a mortician's house, which I always love to do because it does have a lot of good books in it. That might be a good place to start. Um... There is the tri- there's two Mortician's house. No way, that's the Fates Motel. Um, the Tri-Med group was the one I remembered, though. That's the one I should probably go and do first. If I can recall where it actually is. And I'll be keeping my eyes open for any Wasteland Tier 5s as well. I'm not going to do them today. I don't think. Um, but skipping to the end loot of those would be very nice later on. Oh, here we are, Tri-Med group. There is a gun range over there. I am interested in that. I don't know if I've already looted it, though. I would guess the answer is yes. I feel like I did this. Yeah, there's holes in it. I definitely did it. So we don't have to worry about that. So let's go do the Tri-Med group. Now, this is one I want to actually loot because it's just filled with books and filing cabinets throughout the POI. So it would be nice to just do it. So let's have a run through. Hey, books on the floor. Supercharger mod, nice. Filing cabinet with a handgun magazine. SMG5 quality too. Going great. More books. Handgun magazine again. I've got a zombie coming behind me. Holy shit. Radiated zombie, why? More books. Tech planet, that's kind of shitty, but eh. Can't expect every container to have something good. Ow, that hurt. Bloody feral tourists. Another pile of books. Knife guy. And then we look back to the start and there's a zombie outside, of course. Hey, don't run away from me. Let's move up to the next level. There's a bunch of zombies trying to break in downstairs. They're being very annoying. Skill point there. I'm not sure what I want to put that into. Um, oh, club would make sense, but you need strength ten for that. Ew, I'll pass. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to it because I don't want to pollute the loot tables with any other skills right now. So, just keep what I have for now. Hello.
Could you fucking hold still? What do you mean sneak attack? Oh, of course, now there's a bloody vulture trying to get me from outside. Game makes perfect fucking sense. Oh my god, would you just fucking die? Fucking hell. There's a bookcase there, let's grab that. Tech planet. Where'd you come from? Piss off. Another filing cabinet. Armor and explosives. Well, that's not a room I want to be locked in. There is books here though. Armoured up again. Only need 15 more, it's actually pretty doable. Books on the floor. Two handgun magazines, lucky me. Ah, uh, Night Stalker I already know, that's sad. Tools Digest I already know. Broken filing cabinet. I wish the other bloody vultures would just come inside and stop being annoying. Armoured up. Working vending machine. Give me a book. Oh. Nothing there. Wait, what was that? Oh, just a weird whiteboard type thing. Um, nothing there. Alright, I think we're going on to the roof now. Some meds on the floor, some ammo. I think we're clear. Of course I'm hungry again. Might get some food at the end here. Let's see, did I bring the lockpicks? I did. So not an amazing BOI for books, but pretty good compared to like a random restaurant or something. Uh, level 1 tactical assault rifle, couple weapons and mods and stuff. Uh, rifle magazine for some reason. Bunch of meds. Bunch of ammo. Uh, five club parts. The meds and chili. Well, it is food. Let's get out of here. Right. Where else can I go? I've obviously already looted these bookstores, by the way. I'm not blind. A savage country might be a decent place to get armor books because... Oh, the daycare is also a good book place. Um, the savage country boxes have a decent chance of giving you armor magazines, so we might want to do that place. Electrical traps. Hey, piss off. Buddy. These probably have a bunch of lockpicks in them in glue, so I'm gonna actually search them all. Here's some lockpicks and duct tape. Piss off. I'm shopping. Would you shut up? Anyway, back inside. No reason to really do the rest of the POI, so let's break in here. See if I can get someone's attention. Or in fact, maybe parkouring over would be the smarter choice. Just a, a little block there. Onto this. Get rid of this one sandwich I have in my hotbar for no apparent reason. Drop down. Right, let's have a look here. One armored up, another armored up. Tech planet and electrical traps, level six stun baton. Nine military armor parts. And let's check the reinforced chest. 15 fucking lock picks. This game sucks so much balls. Oh my God. What do I get for it? Fuck all. I'm losing my mind. Fuck you. Oh, I destroyed a block. Right, I'm gonna go check another POI now. The daycare is actually pretty good for books as well, so let's go have a look over there. Yeah, the... See, there's books in the doorway. Robotic drone cargo mod. Meh. I might get one of those, I don't know. Uh, attack planet. <laughs> the game is encouraging me to get one of them, at least. Should've brought my motorcycle, I need to put stuff away. My hubris! Dump this shit in there. That'll do. Keep the lockpicks, though. I'll maybe open half a container with ten of them, you know. 
Damn, you do a lot of damage. You fell. Oh, that was a normal one. Loads of books in here. Hello. Headlamp mod. Uh, my god. First trigger thingy. Vehicle adventures. I already know I'm going to go deal with that. Fucking dick. More military armor parts. Uh, another armored up. I need 11 more. That's almost tolerable. Filing cabinet here. Another armored up in a handgun magazine. We might just get somewhere here. Right, so is this room scary? A little bit. I'm not sure how you made that, but whatever. Let's see. Ah, two books I already know. Some meds, a desk here with nothing particularly useful in it. And more of these. Is there anything up here? No, it's just a way to get around, I think. Is this the end? Of it might be. Let's see. Ah yes, it is the end loot. Armoured up. A level 5 steel club, is it better than mine? Mine does 45.2, this one does 45.1, so no, but just barely. Still, it's encouraging to see. That's oh so many zombies back there. Any more zombies in here? Yes, there is behind me. The amount of radiated feral lights. Jeez, handgun magazine. Uh, night stalker. Ugh. Handgun magazine again. And some ammo. Pick the lockers. Didn't expect much. Let's try my 10 lockpicks. Let's see if it's enough to open a single container here, guys. This this is going to be really close. Uh, did it first try. Scared of me. Clearly. It should be. Sharp sticks. Another steel club. And some magnum ammo. Let's check these. We got another armoured up. We need eight more. And some food. And some food. And some meds. Right. I think that's all that I'm gonna find. Let's have a quick just uh that I'm not gonna find books in the bathroom, am I? Is there books outside though? I don't think so. Yeah, let's just leave. Let's just keep looking. Where's the keys? There we go. Oh, I could have broken like immediately. Right, good to know for the future. Uh where's the bike? Did I leave the bike there again? I'm just dumb. Let's keep looking for more good PYs though. We're getting there at least. Better than I was the other day. Explosive magazine. You're just waiting for that one guy to hit me, aren't you? And then you'll actually attack me. Fucking dick. What else do we have? Handyland and handguns. None of those were useful. Let's see what else we can find. There is a post office. That's kind of book-ish. Fuck me, a zombie bear, really. Ugh. They're just such a minor inconvenience that can kind of kill you in two hits. Which is the worst kind of minor inconvenience, I have to say. Ooh. There we go. have a look in the post office. It's usually not very good, but better than nothing. You need to fuck off. There's a million zombies outside. Yeah, oh, fuck off. Ooh. 
floor breaks in there. Mailbox, though. Two armored up. See, it was worth it. Deal with these fuckers. Right, I'm going to prepare myself for this because it can get pretty hairy in here at high levels. So, can I jump that? No, I can't, so I need to be more prepared than that. Can I jump that? There we go. Just in case I need to make a swift getaway. Hi. I would like to deliver a package. I don't know any, I don't know any post-service puns, to be honest. Oh shit, <laughs> that could have went badly. <laughs> Get me out of here. Oof. I don't have any bloody fatigue thingies. Which is just the worst. Where are they going to? Hmm. Now is not the time to get hungry. Ah, there they are. Yeah, I prefer to fight on this horizontal axis, to be honest. Okay. Well, I need a vitamin, but otherwise I'm good. Three frag grenades. Eh, nothing amazing. Slightly better hand armor, though. Yeah, I'm each you. Right, hopefully I have a vitamin in my motorcycle. Oh, bookcase, hello. Nothing useful, though. I might as well have not found that. Filing cabinet. Handguns. And another filing cabinet with an armoured up. Five more to go. We're almost there. Let's get out of here. Unless there's something under here. No. Not sure where else I'm gonna check, but we have plenty of time still to figure it out, I think. Oh look, another zombie bear. Nature is healing. I think I saw an easy to cheese gas station over here. Might be worth a quick look, although I'm not expecting many good bookcases in there. Um might get a crack about crate though. I loot this, I have not, let's see. Um, a robotic turret and some ammo. I mean, okay. <laughs> Handgun magazine. Rifle magazine. Right, let's skip to the end of this place. I'm not expecting much good from it, but it does have a rooftop loot area. Which means it's extra easy to cheese. Oh, you're still alive. Any... Well, there's some bookcases in there, I think. Let's go inside... Yeah, armoured up. Four more. Yeah, let's check this room. Oh yeah, there's filing cabinets. I'm feeling good here. Hey, do I have to come through this door for you to spawn? Sounds like it. What the fuck? Oh, here come the vultures. Another armoured up. Let's uh, heal a bit. Hang on. It's off. Uh, not good. Another bookcase. Handyland. I have no points in that. You're insulting me. Um, any of these desks searchable? No. Oh, this one is. Yeah, nothing. Any other bookcases or anything hiding back here? No. Right, let's go get the end loot. Hello. Oh, more power crates. Not looking good for my armoured up books, not gonna lie. <laughs> Scrapping for fun. Bunch of random books. Another bunch of random books. Let's try this container here. Um, nothing good there, and medical supplies. There is the Hunic residence and that other blue house there. They are usually good for books, so I should go over there next. Let's eat that, store some shit, get on a bike, and leave. <laughs> Newspapers, this is I already know, Night Stalker I already know, and paper, which I don't know. The paper is mysterious. But yeah, let's check this blue house here. Usually has a few bookshelves in it. Okay, I don't know how I did this. Anyway, there's an armoured up. Oh, oh, she got knocked over. 
And another armored up. And Magnum Enforcer, I already know two of those. We need one more armored up. And I can finally get good armor. Just place this like there. Maybe another one above that. And just pop up here. Shotgun out. Oh. Anyone else? There's one over there, but I don't really care. What do we have here? Lucky looter and some food. Some meds and some ammo. And working sift tools box. I bet, if nothing else, I will get a armoured up book at the traders tomorrow, so I'm not too worried now. I'd really like to get it done now, though. Oh, it was over here. <laughs> Let's check the Hunic residence. If that is what that is, I think it is. I checked this mailbox. Yeah. Damn, no bookcases in the bookcase room. That is not a good sign for the bookcases. Anything in here? Nope. One second, someone's coming behind me. Right then, so let's see what the end loot has here. There's some more meds, lots of some ammo, and a sports bag, which may have my armoured up, but it doesn't. I hate my life. Crack a book with one armoured up. There we go, we can make the max level armour now. Well, the max level armour that you're going to be able to make anyway. So I can finally go home and make some decent armour and probably have like maybe 60% damage resistance if I'm lucky. Um, but that also removes the armoured ups from the loot table, which will open up more for the handguns, which are doing quite well as well. I'll need another 11 to get the level 5 SMG, which will be really good, so we can work on getting that tomorrow. But let's go home, make a magnum, and make a full set of tier 5 military armour. I'm pretty sure I have everything I need for both of those, but let's go and see. I'll drive back to the gyrocopter and then fly home. Alright, so it's the next day. We're up here at Trader Hughes because I didn't want to wait at Trader Joel's and waste time. I got the level 5 military armor crafted. I now have a 65% damage rating. Pretty good. We can get it up to like 68 with uh, banded plates. And if we get level 6, you can get up to like 70%, I think. I've got a load of stuff to sell and we're going to go check all the traders for handgun magazines and anything else I might want to buy. Peter Hugh is an obvious start because he is the gun guy. Right, well, there's 30,000 dukes. That's pretty good. Right, let's see. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> he doesn't have anything. All right, that's fine. Who else do we have? We have Trader Joel up there. Then we have Trader Bob down there. I think I saw a trader in the snow over there that might be worth checking out as well. But let's go over to whoever I just marked and see what they have. Right, let's see what Joel has. He's a blessing. An armoured up. I'm not excited to see those anymore. I just need SMG books. It does have a custom fitting wheel. I will take that. And I'll take that BDU top for the die. Otherwise I'm good. Take that red die. Put it on my magnum. And put the custom fittings on something. Here we go. Just to improve my movement speed even more. Now I am interested in finding other wasteland towns. But I haven't seen any. So the next destination is going to be this trader hue down here and i'm going to keep an eye open for any other traders and towns as i go but it's going to be quite hard to see when you know wasteland biome so we'll just see how that goes ah there's a wasteland town let's go over there nothing amazing in this town in terms of like tier fives or anything this wasteland is very disappointing but there's probably a trader around here we got a trader wrecked here as well. No handgun magazines from him either. Anything good though? A compound crossbow would be a good addition to my weapons. 
Watch yourself, stranger. Okay. I know some fellers who break legs. So let's continue on that path to Trader Hugh like before. Doesn't seem to be anything in this wasteland town worth being here for. All right, Hugh, what do you have? Oh my god, it's like everything but what I need. Although he is selling a level 5 SMG. That could be worth my effort, to be honest. I think I... Sorry, he's selling a level 4. I think I can make a level 4, so it doesn't seem all that worthwhile. Unless, am I, I, am I misremembering? Handguns... Yeah, I can make a level 3. I'm not going to buy a level 4 for like 20k jukes. Does he have any good armor mods? No, he does not. Well, this is all very disappointing. Let's go and see. Trader Rekt. And then we'll go to Trader Bob. I think there's another town up here that we should go and see, and then we'll come back and see that Trader Rekt, and then Jen and Joel. Seeing all the traders today. Alright, Rekt, what do you have? Three handgun magazines, okay. Let's read those. 59, not bad. Let's go to Bob. Trader Bob, what do you have? Nothing. Although I'll take the two explosive magazines. Thanks for shopping here. Come again. So there's a town up here, so let's go and find that and see if there's a trader at it. Alright, so there's a snow town here, but it definitely looks like there is a wasteland town further north as well. So we might want to go and check that out, because if I can find a good wasteland town with like loads of tier 5s in it, that would be really useful. Now, does this town have a trader? It does as a trader gen on the border of the wasteland there. Now, Jen usually has a bit of books, so let's have a quick read through these. There's 60, and there's 61. I think she has some books in her little, like, house at the back as well, but she doesn't seem to be selling any. It's mildly annoying, but I'll survive. If I had a duke let's do a quick check over here. Books on the floor, anywhere? I remember this. Is it in the bathroom? Yeah. I don't think it is. Okay. So let's go and hunt that northern wasteland town that I think exists, but might not actually exist, but I'm pretty sure it exists. I mean, why would there be roads to it? Let's go. Alright, we do have another wasteland town here, I think. I think this is a new one. Looks like it on the map anyway. Let's see if we can find anything of interest in it. Oh, it's a big one as well. Nice. Yeah, there's some tier 5s here. Good. I wanted some Wasteland Tier 5s. We've got the Poppin' Pills Factory, I see the Ostrich Hotel, I think I see the prison over there, just in the distance. And then there's one of those big houses, I think that is a Tier 5 as well. I'm not seeing a trader yet, although that trader wrecked might be a part of this town. Oh no, there's a trader, I think. Looks like a hue? Yeah, here he is. Right, I have some handgun magazines. One is definitely better than none, but I would have preferred more. Next there we go, and I can put a less laser sight on my magnum. Right, so that's probably all the new stuff I'm going to find. Let's head back down to this Trader Wrecked, and then head back over to Trader Jen and Trader Joel. Hopefully I can get that done before nightfall. And then I will have checked them all. Right, we're in the desert with Wrecked. Let's see what he has. Make it snappy. I gotta take a crap. The handgun magazines. Weirdly, Wrecked has been the guy for those today. 65. Let's go and talk to Jen and Joel. I need two more and I can make a level five. So that'll be good. All right, Jen, give me the two magazines I need. Nope. Lots of fists, though. That is her thing, though. Because the game weirdly associates. Don't know why I used the medical bandage there. I think I was trying to get food and I just use the wrong item. Anyway, I think the game considers uh, Knuckles medical items for unknown reasons. Still, we've got one last trader, Trader Joel, unless I forgot. Is there anybody over here? No. Oh yeah, it's just him left. That I know of anyway. All right, Joel. No handgun magazines. Okay, so we're gonna have to find two more tomorrow to actually make the SMG, but we're getting there. We're very close to having everything I need. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Hardcore. In the last episode, we got very close to getting handguns at a level 67, which is what you need to make a level 5 SMG. So I need to hunt down two tiny little books, just two, and then I can make an SMG. The problem is I have no idea where the hell I'm going to find those books, but let's have a drive around and see if there's any obvious choices. I have plenty of time at least before the horde today. But that probably is the main goal, is to have the SMG before the Horde, so I can really use my 9mm properly. Because the shotgun's nice, 
but it's not the best when you're hiding on a roof from the horde. So probably just use the SMG more than the other one. Or I could use my Magnum, but again, it's not got exactly the DPS you're looking for in a horde weapon usually. So I think the SMG would be a big help in mopping up the last horde. I think it's going to be the last horde of the series. This is episode 18. We'll do two days today. Episode 19 will be two more and in episode 20 will be two more, which is only six days. So it won't be enough to reach the next horde. So day 35 is going to be the last horde in this series. So I need to get the SMG before I do that. Otherwise, why am I even doing it? Hmm. Have I done this POI? If not, I could skip to the end of that, take on the big fight, and then get some loot at the end, which would be pretty likely to give me what I need. Okay, see ya. They fell down there, I guess. Um, I don't know if they're my problem anymore. <laughs> Both dead? No, that one's still alive. Is he still alive? No. Alright, so... We're up here. Let's see, is there anything in these chests? No. I love parkour. It lets you just skip to the end of POIs when you're not doing quests like this. Let's jump up here. Oh, I didn't know there was going to be zombies there. Oh, that didn't work. I'm trying to get on top of this. Here we go. There we go. Now I can take a look from above. Did he just kill himself? Oh no, he's stuck. And then I think the loot is mine. Easy as that. Bunch of ammo and mods. Some medical supplies. And did I bring lockpicks? Yes, I did. Let's give this a try. Uh, nothing there. And I doubt I'm going to get any handgun magazines from the rest of this. But it only took me couple of seconds to do this so I don't feel too bad. Right let's see we're high up where else can I go? Um I don't know let's go check the other side of the town there. There is this house here that I don't think I've done. Let me see if the hatch is open. That'll tell me if I've been here. The hatch isn't open so I've probably not been here. Let's do this POI. All I need is a couple of lucky bookcases and then I'll have what I want. Hello? Wood desk has nothing for me. If I can get those meds there, nice. Anything in here? Ah, books. Farming, really. Ow. That's an awful lot of you. I just remembered I have the automatic mod on this which makes it way easier to use if I just hold down the trigger. Use that. It's already like a really shitty SMG. Down here. Here we go, a fire axe. Weird. And some food. Let's try this. Just a hat mod. Shotgun Messiah crate is good though. That'll probably have at least one handgun magazine for me. Yeah, there's one. I need one more. Okay, this area can be a little bit scary, so I'm going to give myself a little escape route if I need it. Oh, he didn't even have an arm to hit me with. Holy abrasion. You know... The automatic pistol, which is a pistol with an automatic mod on it, is uh, kind of underrated, but what a shame I'm about to immediately replace it with this SMG5 I can now make. So let's check this loot anyway, and then let's unlock the reinforced chest. Some somewhat useful stuff there. Let's get out of here and go make my new SMG. Right, we're back at my base. Uh, I apparently need a drink one second. So let's make an SMG. Handgun parts. There's some. Uh, steel. 
duct tape, scrap polymer, springs, then just steel. There we go. Make an SMG. That'll take two minutes, that's fine. Let me quickly see what other mods I need to get for it though. Can I make a drum mag? I can, that would probably be smart. Oil and mechanical parts, queue up the drum mag. Right, my SMG is done. I'm going to have to wait a little while before I can use the drum mag on it, though. I've got some glue crafting so I can make a flashlight and then make a flashlight mod so that I can put it on my magnum to get four mods on it. Very normal day, as you can see. Unless I can find something to replace the mod on my shotgun, because I've got a flashlight there, so that might work. I got a full auto mod on my shotgun? I don't. Let's do that. That'll be easier. And then the magnum can have the flashlight just for the damage boost. So Magnum, Shotgun with Drum Magazine and Full Auto. And this is just waiting for this Drum Magazine, which will take another two minutes. It's fine, let me put this stuff away. I have loads and loads of shotgun ammo and loads and loads of 9mm, so that's good. Shouldn't have to worry about ammo then for the rest of the series here. Or meds, so we should be good to just do whatever I want to do. So I'm just going to wait for this Drum Magazine to be done. And then we'll go out and give it a quick test, and then we'll do the horde night. Right, so, the drum mag is done. I'm now fully equipped. I have every weapon I was wanting. I could maybe try and get a desert vulture. But, if I end the series with these weapons, I will be satisfied that I got all the weapons I wanted. And there's not much left for me to even do. But I think I'm just going to be taking on really hard PYs for the fun of it. But, in the meantime, I just want to give the SMG a quick test run. Before I use it for Horde Knight. So let's go find a POI that still has zombies in it. Well, actually, most of them will still have zombies, but I want to get loot at the end, so let's go find a, a POI I haven't looted. Right, here's a POI I don't think I've done. Let's give the gun a little test run. Great start. <laughs> How much damage does it do? 80. It's 20 less than the Magnum, a lot less than the shotgun. But the shotgun's a shotgun. Howdy. Armored up, of course. It's just taunting me after how long it took to finish that. Hmm, can two shot one of the weaker ferals. That's good. Of course, that doesn't work in practice when you're spraying and braying, but you know, it could. Two more handgun magazines. You can make a Desert Vulture at quality one. It would be slightly better than the Magnum, I'm pretty sure. But I'll wait. Another handgun magazine. Hello. Sledgehammers, of course. That's exactly what I need. Three extra skill points, let's see. Maybe just nine agility and then ten agility and get maxed out, uh, gunslinger, I guess? Make the most sense. My shotguns are doing enough damage as it is, so it makes... So it'd barely make a difference. Anybody here? Oh, yeah, there's a radiated guy up there. Okay, let's get ready. Oh, hello. How dare you survive that? That's annoying. Right, well, did I get any good loot from this? Handgun magazine, tools digest, some boots I don't need, and a suppressor. Could be good for my SMG to reduce the amount of heat it uses, you know? It will also reduce the damage a little bit. I don't think it'll matter too much. I'll obviously switch it off for Horde Knight because it won't do anything on Horde Knight, but... I could use it for clearing POIs. 
Uh, rifle magazine. Okay, let's go find somewhere else to clear. I still have bloodlust. Yeah, there's a wandering horde over there. Let's kill them. Hey, look. Eh. Some ammo. Well, here's the tier one loot. <laughs> Nothing much in there, as you would probably expect, but I just wanted to kill more things. Another fucking beaker. Oh, I have like 90 of them. Right, let's go back home and get ready for Horde Night. I think I'm going to go to the Wasteland to do it, since it will be the last Horde. So there won't be another opportunity to do that. I'll need to take a lot of stuff with me, though. Right, so I'm back at my base and I got a bunch of stuff. I'm going to take one of my forgetting elixirs. Because there's a few skill points I'm just not going to really need from now on. So, strength I'm going to take to three. Like, three more points. And then I'm going to get Boomstick three and Pummel Pete three. Because I'm less reliant on my club now. I've got three guns. And the shotgun doesn't really need a fourth or fifth rank. It'll do just fine without it. Which means I can invest the rest of my points into maxing out agility. Gunslinger. And I'll probably want light armor anyway, so I've still got 13 spear skill points. So maybe I could go and get this as well. Because I'm not using minor 69er anymore. That's the main thing. And then I could do that and get a fifth rank of shotguns. So I'd be even more OP with those. Yeah, that would leave me in a very good position. I'll be slightly slower with my club, but honestly, who gives a shit? And my next four skill points can go into Pummel Pete and Big and Fast. And then I'll have a pure strength agility build with just mostly, or entirely, combat effects rather than anything else, which is pretty good. So let's take the gyrocopter over to the wasteland and see if I can find a place to do the last tour night of the series, probably. Alright, so we're here in the wasteland, and I think I'm going to try and maybe survive in the bear den, or where, where else is there? i got time to have a look around. I'd really like, oh, maybe, maybe the Butcher Pete POI. It's tall, but it's got a bit of a weird roof to stand on. There's a book POI there, that's annoying. <laughs> um, hmm. Maybe this yellow house, it's got a nice sort of horde base-esque shape to it. Oh, this one would work. It's got like a tier system. Because they'll try and get onto there and then you can kill them from the roof. That would work quite well. Machine gunner, automatic weapons have less degradation, nice. Let's try the D. Smith residence. If it doesn't work, I can get away because because of like Mega Crush and stuff. So I'll be good. I pissed off the zombies inside, but who cares? We're gonna have bigger problems soon enough. Oh well, that definitely reveals a flaw in my horde base plan. Right, maybe not this roof then. It's apparently. This is just, like, the most fragile roof in the game. Although there is loot there. Let me, let me let me hop inside real quick. Where's the ladder up to it? That's the real question here. We could cut that out, and then they would have to dig their way up to me. That might be the way to do it. There. So that should maybe make this a bit more useful. I can always run away. Let's try and unlock this chest while I'm here. I mean, loot is loot. Oh my god, stop eating on my lockpicks. Then... Ah, banded armor plate. Perfect. I actually do need one of those. Let's replace the advanced muffler. I'm not gonna ever sneak, am I? 67% damage resistance. Great. Almost 70. 70 I would consider to be, like, good damage resistance. 80 being great, and 90 being literally as much damage resistance as you could even have. So, really good. But, but it's not very easy to get 90 damage resistance, but uh, yeah, I think it is possible with the right rolls on some level 6 steel armor and banded armor plates, but I am not wearing steel armor, so I don't have to worry about that, Max. But now we wait for the horde. What's my game stage out here, by the way? 229. That is pretty high, with a loot stage of 174. So the bags will probably be good if I can get a few demos, maybe, with like red loot bags. I could probably get some damn good loot from those some level 6 military armor maybe. Here comes the horde. 
I don't see any zombies. Ah, there they are. Oh, radiated cops. This is. I'm gonna die up here, aren't I? Eh, maybe I should just wait for them to be in the roof before I even bother attacking them, because I'm not going to be doing a lot of damage with this thing at this range. Oh, although I could magnum them. But not exactly great. Are they up there already? They're trying. I could, like, shoot a hole in the floor. Oh, well, there's a wall there. Great. Oh, yeah, I can see them now. Let's throw a pipe bomb down there, see what happens. Nothing concerningly. They're breaking out the bricks somewhere, where are they? Confusing. I need to destroy this, otherwise they're going to try and claim it. There, yeah, they should be very much contained there. Oh, they're right underneath me there. Well, there goes the floor. Let me hop over here safer on the outside. There's the first hour survived, though those cops are doing a lot of damage to the building. At the fucking basement, oh my god. <laughs> well that kind of works in my favour if they get stuck down there, because it's stone and they're going to have a harder time breaking through all that. Oh, not if that happens. Eh, I have a plan. Run away. The cunning plan, I'm sure you'll agree. Is that... Is this got landmines around it? Or is that a different house? Different house, okay. Well, let's do a bit of a street horde then. At least until I get a little bit too much damaged or injured or something. Reload time. This is why I got run and gun, so I could do this if I wanted. Who left this bus here? God damn it, get out of my way. Oh, frame rate, hello. Ah, a wall. Let me take a quick first aid kit, because I'm probably going to take other hits anyway. Ah, oh, explosive barrels, hello. Yeah, 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 whatever, cop. Why does my SMG have such dog shit durability? I feel like I've fired like two magazines. But they're getting up there. Those fucking psychos. Whoa. I wonder if these battles explode. Is it snowing? These battles do explode. How long one of these trailers will like survive for? <laughs> oh, hello. One of those is gonna pop. I'm gonna let them do some damage for me. There's midnight, so we survived a third of the horde night. Hang on, hang on. This frame rate is absolutely terrible. Let's see. Turn the dynamic mesh down a little bit more. Maybe get like 10 more frames out of this. So I can keep actually playing. Whoa. Yeah, there goes that uh, trailer. I 
wonder if I can find a way onto this roof. There we go. Oh. This one had its own zombies in the roof already. Which is a bit of an issue. <laughs> Let me break that. There we go. A little bit safer now. How did he even get up there? Whatever. What's a dick? Let me eat another first aid bandage. Here's 1 a.m. I don't think this rooftop might not be the best defense point, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, <laughs> I'm being attacked from four points. I think that's about as many as I'm going to be able to handle. So let's find another rooftop. Here might work for a little while, for a couple hours. doing a real speed run on testing the effectiveness of these, aren't we? Another mega crush found. Mm, those damn curved roof. Why am I looking for paper in the middle of Horde Night? Oh, stone walls, hello. Yes, I can work with this. How the hell do you get up here so fast? There must be something over there. and try and remove that, whatever it is. Or are they just World War z -ing? I think they're just World War z -ing. yeah. Where did you guys come from? Yet yeah, they're just piling up on all the walls, that's fine. Come here. They turned on the police car somewhere. Not to worry, the actual police station can also be used temporarily. Really want to search that now. Nothing good in that bit. What's it got? Got the demo. <laughs> this is a lot of damage. Here's 2 a.m., so we're making it so far. I'm only slightly destroying this biome. I mean, it's a wasteland. How much worse could I make it? I need to eat, though. Let me go find somewhere to stand. Now uh, the daycare will do. Food. So let me eat that knife guy. Right, back to fighting. I have eaten. Oh, they're coming out the side. Okay, I need to open up some of those shotgun shells, so I'm going to need to find another rooftop while they get stuck. Uh, let's see. 
Okay. No, oh, that's a great deal of them. Whoa. Hello, Vulture. Whoa, the AM. We've got to survive one more hour. Need a bigger magazine. Well, no, am I actually out of nine mil? I'm actually out of nine mil. Okay, oh, hey, this thing's still going on in the background. Where is it? You can hear that from so far away. Might as well loot it. I'm here. Some 762, okay. 15 minutes before Horde Night ends. Well, hold still. Fucking hell. Right, where's my motorcycle? I'm gonna start running towards that. Because Horde Night is about to end, I don't feel like mopping them all up. Okay, there we go. We survived probably the last Horde Night. Got just under 3,000 kills total now. But there's still a few more things I want to do in this series. Let's get back to the gyrocopter first, though. Right, let's take the gyrocopter home. I have a couple of things I need to drop off before we do anything else. Alright, so stuff has been put away. What do I want to do today? Maybe take out these last few treasure maps? Get them off the quest bar here? Would be smart, I imagine. Have I got a spare gas? I think I do. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. And one gunpowder. No, thanks, game. Put that there. Uh, let's go to the different treasure maps and finish them all off. And see what we get. Probably nothing. Right, so I don't have minor 69er now, so this is going to be slightly more difficult, but it's probably still going to be pretty easy. So I'm going to kill this one zombie. See if there's anyone else around. There's one. And then I'll dig up this treasure. I only have one lockpick, so I'm going to have to dig through it as well. It's going to be absolutely painful. So we got a bunch of ammo and some money. From this first one. Let's go to the next one. Alright, so let's take the next one. Okay, so in this one, we got more ammo and a couple of shitty weapons. <laughs> but it was better than the other one, because we are in this biome at least. Let's go to the last one. Then we'll be done with all the treasure maps I have. If I find more later, then we can do a little bit more later, but I don't think I'm going to. And a bunch of money. That one's actually worth it. Let's head back to my base really quickly. And let's drop off this loot really quickly. And then I'm not sure what I want to do. Getting a desert vulture might be a little bit of a goal. Oh, I have a skill point. Um, Let's get another point of clubs. Um, I would need 29 more handgun books to get a level 5 desert vulture. That might be a little bit of a goal for the last couple of episodes. 
So this is where I have to come into the video with a little bit of unfortunate news, which is that episode 19 and 20 of this series aren't going to happen. And first of all, you're not going to miss much. The plan for the end of the series was just to do some POIs that I've done in other series, so you can go and watch those if you really want to see me take them on. But the reason that it's not happening is because I was sitting down to record episode 19 and 20 and I was doing it as one video file and then there was a power outage in my area and those of you who know anything about mp4 files will know that if you will know that if you lose power whilst writing an mp4 file it's dead. I in the past have already tried spending stupid amounts of money on softwares to repair mp4 files and it's just not really very successful. I genuinely think it would be easier to resurrect the dead than it would be to repair a corrupted mp4 file. All that technical stuff out of the way, what you basically need to know is episode 19 and 20 aren't going to happen because of technical difficulties. And before someone suggests I use a different video file type, some people like to use mkv. No, it's inconvenient and video corruption does rarely ever happen to me. This happens like once a year. It's not worth changing to a different file type that disrupts my workflow. These things just happen. It's on me for trying to do episode 19 and 20 as one file recording just for the convenience of it. All I had to do was press a button, but power outages, you know, I couldn't have predicted it. So the series is going to end on episode 18. All you missed was me going to the wasteland and doing some more end loots. I didn't get anything interesting. And then at the start of episode 20, I was yapping on about getting some other kinds of loot. But I think the series has pretty much done what it needed to. Insane nightmare, really hard settings. I've pretty much beaten the game. You can see that. So, well, this is an unfortunate way for the series to end. I hope you still enjoyed it and are ready for the next series. Let me know if you did enjoy it. And in the meantime, special thank you to my members and patrons. Patrons, if you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one? I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.